Shrouding the Heavens. Chapter 301 to Chapter 350. Have fun reading as well as listening. Hey guys. Can I trouble all of you for a moment? Please don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell button so you won't miss new audiobook updates. That's all. Thank you. Chapter 301 A gust of autumn wind blew, ruffling the yellow leaves and rustling the mountains. The northern region was a land of bitter cold. The four seasons changed, and autumn and winter were long. Half of the year, there was no sign of life, and it was dry and cold. The disorderly cloud state had endless mountain ranges that stretched on endlessly. There was not a single piece of flat land, and the high peaks pierced the sky. It was also the reason for its name. I think this state is not bad. Yi Fan said. Tu Fei nodded and said, this is a mountain range with mountains everywhere. It is indeed a good place to seek refuge. The disorderly cloud state was a journey of 11 to 12 days from the northern region holy city. It was separated from the fire cloud state by an oasis and two reddish brown deserts. They had chosen for more than half a month before finally deciding to take action in this state, waiting to be discovered. The black emperor hid in a mountain range and was responsible for engraving Tao patterns. Yi Fan and Tu Fei wandered around to understand the state situation in detail. Although Mountain Rock City was located in the middle of the mountains, it was the central city of the disorderly cloud state. There were mountains everywhere, so there was no flat land to build a city on. The city was not magnificent. The roads were paved with mountain rocks, and the trees on both sides of the ancient streets were almost bare. Yellow leaves fluttered in the air, telling of the chill of autumn. Yi Fan walked on the narrow stone streets and circled around the city. Soon, he learned a lot of news. The important figures of the various sacred lands were deeply attracted by the ancient scroll. Now, all their energy was focused on Purple Mountain. The various factions were constantly trying to figure it out so that they could successfully open it in the future. Yi Fan went to a restaurant and ordered a flask of aged wine and a few dishes. He drank by himself and listened to the conversations of the cultivators. The holy city has cut out something good again. It seems to be a rare treasure that was bought by the central state's royalty. Many people are searching for that Yi Fan. Are there any clues? He is worth 50,000 kilograms of origins. 50,000 kilograms of origins is too little. Think about what he has on him. That is the myriad source chi, a priceless treasure. It is a sacred item that even ancient emperors would covet. Important figures are studying Purple Mountain. It looks like there will be a big commotion in the near future. Many geniuses from the Holy Lands have come, not just from the Alcade and the Ji family. No matter how big the northern region is, there is no place for him to hide. The source chi of all things will fall into the hands of the holy lands. Actually, many elders are also secretly looking for that young man's surname Ji. It's just that they haven't revealed themselves yet. After all, the myriad source chi is too precious. Come to think of it, the sacred body of the ancients used to dominate the world and was invincible. Now, however, it can only advance to the holy Ji palace secret realm. Otherwise, if it were to grow and compete with the saints and saintesses, the future of the eastern barren territory would be extremely lively. Yi Fan's heart stirred. He had heard of many outstanding and famous figures. There were those of the younger generation and those of the older generation. They had all come to the northern domain, and all of them were aiming for his cauldron. Thud, thud, thud. Very rhythmic footsteps could be heard, as if it was ringing in the hearts of the people upstairs, causing their hearts to beat along with it. Many people's hearts tightened, and they felt suffocated. It was as if someone was strangling them and controlling their breathing. At the top of the stairs, a young man around 13 or 14 years old walked up. He was dressed in white and spotless. His hair was black and shiny, and his skin was as white as snow. His eyes were like black gems, and his lips were red and teeth were white. He was very handsome and could be called a handsome young man. Sacred body of the ancients? Invincible in the same level? The way I see it, you're just a stray dog. If I run into you one day, I'll take you back and make you my slave. The young man was like a jade tree. He was so handsome that he was almost enchanting, but his words were very rude, which made many people frown. Two old men followed behind him. They were dressed in grey and looked very old. Their backs were hunched, and they looked like two loyal old servants. One of them walked up and chose a table for the young man. He carefully wiped the table with his sleeve before letting the young man sit down. The two old men then stood behind him. Whose child is this? How did they educate him? He's so arrogant at such a young age. 
Isn't he afraid that he'll go astray? Although the people upstairs could guess that the young man was no ordinary person, some of them still couldn't help but mock him. The young man glanced across and asked in a lukewarm tone, What? Am I wrong? Child, you should be humble when you speak. Many geniuses die young. Humph. The young man snorted coldly. His voice was like a shaking golden bell, making the blood of many boil. He said, the sacred body of the ancients has been deified. Even hundreds of thousands of years ago, he might not be invincible, let alone now. There was no lack of experts among the cultivators who traveled from south to north. One of them retorted, back in the day, the sacred body of the ancients was invincible. It's an indisputable fact. Even now, that crippled body has shown extraordinary combat strength. Few people of the same level can suppress him. The young man in white sneered and said, it doesn't matter if he's a crippled body or a sacred body. It's still used to suppress. Young man, you're getting more and more arrogant. How old are you? How can you defeat the sacred body of the ancients? Even if it's a crippled body, it's almost invincible among those of the same level, someone goaded. A frog at the bottom of a well doesn't know how vast the sky is. I'll kill him all the same even if we're of the same level, the young man in white said coldly. Where did you come from? Are you really confident that you can defeat the sacred body of the ancients of the same level, someone asked in surprise. I'm just a commoner who lives in the mountains without any notable background. Does suppressing a sacred body of the ancients have to depend on one's background? He's really nothing. The young man in white's expression was cold. The eastern barren territory was boundless, and there were many extraordinary people deep in the mountains and rivers. Not all the experts were in the sacred land. Everyone looked surprised, thinking that the young man might really have come from such a lineage. Some of them couldn't help but probe with their divine consciousness, wanting to test the cultivation of the young man in white. However, they were struck by lightning before they could even get close. The eyes of one of the two old servants in grey flashed, and a terrifying light shot out, forcing back the seven or eight divine consciousnesses. Tu Fei walked upstairs and found a table to sit at. He glanced at Yifan, who was not far away, and said, who's boasting shamelessly? Aren't you afraid that the wind will cut your tongue? They entered the city together to understand the situation, but they didn't walk together. It was only now that they arrived at the restaurant. He glanced at the young man and asked, may I know your name? Xia Jioyo. As the son of a great bandit, Tu Fei was not afraid even if he ran into people from the sacred land. Naturally, he would not be polite to a young man. He said, I've heard of Gai Jioyo, but I've never heard of Xia Jioyo. Eight thousand years ago, Gai Jioyo was invincible in the central plains. Many people thought that he would become the great emperor, but he eventually left for the eastern barren territory and disappeared from this land. You'll remember this name from now on. The young man in white, Xia Jioyo, smirked. I see that you're so arrogant. How about I exchange a few moves with you? Tu Fei squinted at him. I'm not interested in you. This time, I'm here for the sacred body of the ancients. Xia Jioyo didn't even glance at Tu Fei. Tu Fei wanted to slap the young man to death, but he couldn't. He asked, did the sacred body of the ancients offend you? No, I still want to catch him. I read in an ancient book that the blood of the sacred body can be used to refine medicine. I'm here for him. I want to refine a cauldron of divine medicine. Heroes come from young, Yi Fan said. He poured himself a glass of wine and drank it. In fact, he really wanted to beat this young man up. It was his first time seeing such an arrogant person. He was so young, but he kept saying that he wanted to refine his sacred body. You're here for the sacred body too. The Ji family and the Alcade family are both offering a reward. If there's a clue, how much will you pay? Tu Fei asked. I'll pay whatever they offer, the white-clothed young man, Xia Jioyo, looked at him and answered. At that moment, everyone on the second floor was shocked. Who was this young man? The highest reward offered by the two great sages land was 100,000 kilograms of source. How could a young man like him have that much? Everyone looked at him in surprise. He didn't look like someone from a holy land. Who was his master? 100,000 kilograms of source isn't a small amount, Yi Fan said casually. Can you afford it? Tu Fei was also skeptical. Although 100,000 kilograms of source isn't a small amount, I'm not so poor that I can't afford it. The white-clothed young man, Xia Jioyo, looked indifferent. What's this young man's background? Is he a disciple of an old sacred master who came to the wasteland in his later years? Some people guessed. He he. A tender laughter came, and a fragrant wind blew at the top of the stairs. A beautiful young girl walked up, and her voice was like small pearls falling on a jade plate, clear and pleasant to listen to. She said, this little brother in white is so bold. It was a tall, sexy girl. She wore a green dress, and her hair reflected blue clouds. Her feet glowed with a five-colored jade light. She was very charming, and her eyes were like water. 
Her hair flew in the wind. GBUA. Yi Fan's heart jumped. She was one of the top three young experts of the Ji family, second only to Ji Haoyue. Although this girl was charming, she was definitely a ruthless character. She even wanted to kill her own sister. The white-clothed young man, Xia Jiuyo, asked, Who are you? I am Ji Biyue. Ji Biyue's smile was very charming, dazzling many people on the second floor. So you want to compete with me for the sacred body of the ancients? Xia Jiuyo asked. Why would I compete? He killed the great elder of the Ji family. I just want to kill him. Ji Haoyue's smile was very sweet. But I don't have to kill him. I want to use his blood to refine the divine medicine. I want to take him as my servant, Xia Jiuyo said. Tu Fei sent a message to Yi Fan discreetly. Did you see that? This kid is making me seethe with anger. Who is he? How should we beat him up? Yi Fan didn't change his expression. He also sent a voice transmission. Don't act recklessly. When the big thing is done, we can slowly deal with him. He probably has a big background. A sound came from the staircase again. A young man in blue came up the stairs. He had an extraordinary temperament. His heroic spirit was restrained, and his eyes occasionally flickered with divine light. Brotherly Roy of the Alcade, you are here too. Ji Biyue chuckled. He was a young expert of the four extreme secret realms. He was the top expert of the Alcade generation. After the Alcade Saint Child was taken by Yi Fan, he would probably be appointed as the new Saint Child. Seems like we all got the same news. Someone is selling to us at the same time, Li Roy answered with a smile. Two Fei's appearance had changed a long time ago. Although his aura was not as different as Yi Fan's, he wasn't worried about being recognized because he hadn't had any real contact with the people in front of him. He sent a voice transmission to Yi Fan. Damn it! Which bastard is giving them the news? Is he the same as us? He wants to trick them and coincidentally runs into them? Yi Fan was also worried. The Alcade and the Ji family's people had come to this mountain city. Apparently, the situation wasn't normal. No matter who comes, I will take the sacred body of the ancients. He will be my future servant, Xia Jiuyo said coldly. This time, we don't care about anything else. We must cut this white-clothed brat into pieces. Doesn't he have 100,000 pounds of source? Rob him. Tu Fei was furious. Yi Fan also wanted to beat him up. This Xia Jiuyo was too arrogant. However, he seemed to have a big background since he dared to compete with the people of the Holy Land. Chapter 302 How bold of you to want to take the sacred body of the ancients as a slave. You've really opened my eyes, an old man said drunkenly from upstairs. Gbuel let out a bell-like laugh and said, taking the sacred body of the ancients as a slave? What a great idea. Come to think of it, I'm tempted too. Another middle-aged man drank a cup of wine and sighed, has the sacred body of the ancients really declined to this extent? Thinking back to the supreme charm of the past. Nothing can be predicted with the changes of the world. Xia Jiuyo was not old, but he was quite cold without a trace of youthful innocence. He said coldly, so what if he has the sacred body of the ancients? Natural selection has long been unable to adapt to this world, so he can only become a slave. Since ancient times, no one has dared to take the sacred body of the ancients as a slave. This has never happened before. The invincible body has indeed been buried in the dust of history. In the restaurant, many people frowned at Xia Jiuyo, but they could not help but sigh. This was an indisputable fact. The so-called sacred body was now useless and could not be of any use. Little brother Xia, I also want to take this sacred body as a slave. What do you think? Ji Biyue smiled sweetly like a green peony. Xia Jiuyo was only 13 or 14 years old. He had red lips and white teeth. His eyes were shining like black gems. He was so beautiful that even women would be jealous of him, but his words were quite domineering. I've already said that no one can compete with me. This sacred body is mine. I want to use his blood to refine the elixir. From now on, he will be my most loyal slave. Little brother, you are too domineering. I also want to take him as a slave. How about this, in order to avoid conflict between us, whoever captures him first will be his master. How about it? Ji Biyue smiled like a flower. Because of some reasons from your Ji family, I don't want to fall out with you. So whoever captures him first will be his master, Xia Jiuyo answered coldly. The two acted as if there was no one else around. Their simple words were as if they were deciding whether to take or leave a commodity. They did not care too much. What if I capture him first? Li Rui, the top young cultivator from the Holy Land of Yaguang, asked. His heroic spirit was restrained, and lightning occasionally flowed in his eyes. Yi Fan had the source chi of all things on him, so there was no way he wouldn't make a move. 
Otherwise, he wouldn't be able to live up to the expectations of some of the light-shaking realm's grand elders. This was an opportunity for him to become a holy son. Brotherly Rui, do you also want to take the sacred body of the ancients as a slave? Gbua smiled sweetly. He kidnapped the son and daughter of Yao so of course I have to act. I have to bring him back to Yao and let the elders deal with him. Li Rui had no other choice. He had to act. Whether it was for public or private reasons, he had to capture and kill Yi Fan. I've heard of the Yao saint, but who are you? How can you compete with me? It had to be said that although Xia Jiuyo was young, he was rather powerful. This is one of the four great young hotshots of the light shaking realm. He has entered the four extreme secret domains three years ago. He's the peerless genius of the light shaking realm. Not many people in the same generation can rival him, said Two Fei slowly. He wasn't doing this out of goodwill. He wanted nothing more than for the two of them to collide into each other like a meteor crashing into a comet, creating destructive sparks and starting a great battle. Yi Fan smiled and didn't say anything. I just want to know if he's stronger than the Yao Guang saint, snorted Xia Jiuyo. Many people on the second floor were watching. This handsome young man in white clothes didn't put anything in his eyes. His arrogance shot up to the sky. People were waiting for him to fight with someone else. Li Rui came from the Yao Guang Holy Land. He was calm and natural. He didn't respond to anything and just smiled calmly. If you're not as strong as the Yao Guang saint, don't compete with me. Just leave early, said Xia Jiuyo indifferently while playing with his glass of wine. Little brother, don't you think you're too overbearing? Who is your teacher? Li Rui's face was cold. Even a man made of clay had three parts of his nature. Moreover, he was a genius who had been despised many times. If he didn't care about him, it wouldn't be his bearing anymore. It would be his weakness, which would weaken the prestige of the Yao Guang Holy Land. Then, he would have no chance to be the saint. Why do you ask? You just want to test me, don't you? Just attack me. The young man in white clothes, Xia Jiuyo, was direct. You're too arrogant, Li Rui shook his head. Why is there a need to be so fake? Just do whatever you want. Since you can't put down your pride and need an excuse to take action, then let me beat you up. The young man in white clothes, Xia Jiuyo, took action as soon as he finished speaking. He was direct enough after all, not saying any unnecessary words. He raised his hand and pressed forward. His long and slender fingers looked like they were carved from fine jade. They were even more beautiful and flawless than the delicate hands of a woman. At this moment, many people were greatly alarmed. They felt as if they were suffocating, and the powerful pressure made it hard for them to breathe. Xia Jiuyo's jade-like fingers moved, pulling out an iron steel. Patterns flickered on its surface, and it was filled with the aura of the Tao. It was incomparably powerful, and it immediately descended to suppress Li Rui. There wasn't a single person who wasn't shocked. This wasn't some kind of weapon, but rather a Tao steel condensed from the white-clothed youth's divine force. He was relaxed and natural, as if he had just casually struck it out. Pung. Li Rui used his hand to support the sky, stopping the steel from descending. However, his expression changed. This steel made him fearful, crushing his arms until they were numb. Qi. The patterns on the steel flickered, shining brilliantly. The aura of the Tao pervaded the air like water ripples, becoming more and more heavy. Ka. The floor beneath Li Rui's feet began to crack, extending outwards like a spider web. He was about to sink downstairs, and the pressure he endured was incomparably great. Suddenly, a dazzling holy light rushed out. Li Rui's body became holy, as if a raging holy flame was burning within him. He immediately lifted the steel up. This is, the mixed origin sacred light technique, known to be impervious to all techniques. It is the eastern wasteland's most powerful defensive secret technique. Li Rui obtained this kind of inheritance. Could it be that he is really going to replace the Alcade Saint Child? Many people were shocked. This kind of secret technique was not passed on to the Alcade Saint Child. Normally, only one or two people from the younger generation could learn it, and it was all grasped by the previous generation. Up to the heavens, down to the yellow springs. The white-clothed youth, Xia Jiuyo, softly chanted. Even more patterns appeared on the steel, as if they were interweaving with the Tao. With a wang sound, it trembled, as if a true divine steel of the great Tao had appeared. Not to mention Li Rui, even the people around him felt a great pressure. Many people in the surroundings almost fell to the ground. Ka. The floor cracked again. Li Rui frowned. He felt that the situation wasn't good. This white-clothed youth truly had the qualifications to be arrogant. Chang. Suddenly, the divine light was blinding. Everyone closed their eyes, unable to look straight at it. A divine sword hacked over, knocking the steel to the side. A yellow-clothed youth appeared at the top of the stairs. He was very young and vigorous, but he was very calm. The divine sword flashed and entered his body. Just now, he was the one who had saved the situation. 
Who dares to attack me? The white clothed youth, Xia Jiuyo, had a cold glint in his eyes. Dian, Xia Nifei. The yellow clothed youth announced his name. Everyone present was shocked. Just now, the divine sword had shone resplendently like a divine sword from the heavens. Some people had already guessed it, and now, it was confirmed. The Dian sacred sword was extremely heaven defying. When it reached its peak, it could cut through everything and create a small world. So you are from the Dian sacred land. Do you want to fight me? Xia Jiuyo asked. He was not very old, but his aura was imposing. The Dian sacred land had never produced a great emperor, nor did they have an extreme weapon. However, it was famous in the eastern wasteland as one of the most powerful forces. The two words, Dian, represented the evolution process of heaven and earth. Those who dared to take such a name were naturally extraordinary. They imitated nature and had all kinds of unfathomable divine techniques. In reality, the Dian sacred land was even more ancient than many other sacred lands. It was one of the most ancient inheritances in the eastern wasteland and was unfathomable. Xiang Yifei came from this sacred land, so he naturally represented power and mystery. No one dared to look down on him. He said, I only want to be a peacemaker. I don't want the two of you to fight to the death. Is there a need to fight to the death to fight him? Xia Jiuyo laughed coldly, not giving him any face. You. Li Rui was furious. His black hair danced chaotically. The Dian Sacred Land Xiang Yifei smiled and said, Little brother, you don't look more than 13 or 14 years old, but you are a heaven warping talent. Your future accomplishments are limitless. It's just that your temper is a bit too big. Everyone present had experienced the temperament of the white-clothed youth. It was somewhat unbearable. It was precisely because of his forcefulness that they forgot his age. Only now did they realize it. At this age, he was already able to compete with the inheritors of the great sage's land. This was a bit too shocking. He was truly a weirdo among geniuses. Being outstanding at a young age doesn't mean that you will also be a genius when you grow up. Are there few examples in the past? In the Eastern Wastelands past, there were exceptional geniuses who stepped into the four extreme secret realms at the age of eight or nine. What was the result? In the end, didn't they still become mediocre? Some people couldn't stand Xia Jiuyo's arrogance and spoke out to refute him. It's still much better than you guys who became mediocre the moment you were born. The white-clothed youth, Xia Jiuyo's arrogance didn't change. He sneered as he swept his eyes over everyone. Many people were speechless. This youth didn't have any misgivings. It was as if he dared to become enemies with everyone in the world. At this moment, even Yi Fan wanted to give him a finger. Of course, it was hard to say whether it was the thumb or the other finger. Most of the exceptional geniuses of the ancient times have already grown up. After all, accidents are few and far between. An old servant behind the white-clothed youth said calmly. Everyone was speechless. How old was Xia Jiuyo? He was only 13 or 14 years old, yet he could already suppress the experts of the four extremes. If he was allowed to grow up, he would simply be a monster. Boundless Celestial Being A pleasant Dao name rang out like waves of celestial music, cleansing everyone's hearts. A female Daoist had unknowingly appeared at the staircase. Her figure was tall and slender, and her temperament was otherworldly. She gave off an extremely special feeling. She was clearly standing there without any lingering mist or celestial light covering her body, yet no one could see her appearance clearly. She was like a beautiful figure in the Moon Palace, and also like an immortal orchid on a precipice. It was as if she had become one with the Tao, making it impossible for others to see through her depth and true appearance. The inheritor of the Tao won holy ground. Someone cried out in surprise. Yi Fan's heart also jumped. He had deeply experienced how powerful and otherworldly this female Taoist was. When they destroyed the ancient tomb in Li City, she used her soft, heavenly voice to chant the four words, boundless celestial being, purifying thousands of evil people and horses. My sister from the Tao One Holy Ground is here too. This way, please. Gbua smiled sweetly. She twisted her soft waist and walked over, pulling the female Taoist to the side. Yi Fan and Tu Fei looked at each other. There was definitely something wrong here. Most likely, there really were people who wanted to trick the two great sage just like they did. They wanted to draw these strong people here to testify and create momentum. What's the use of so many people coming here? You guys should leave as soon as possible. You guys don't stand a chance. Xia Jiuyo glanced at everyone. He did not care even if he was the enemy of the entire world. Aren't you afraid of being killed by the sacred body of the ancients alone? Tu Fei's expression was unfriendly. He had no scruples. As the descendant of a great bandit, he would still challenge the Alcade saint, who was invincible among the younger generation. The sacred body of the ancients is nothing. He's just a slave that I'm going to raise. If he dares to be disrespectful to me, I'll turn him into ashes with a flip of my hand. Tu Fei wanted to slap him. 
Xia Jiuyo didn't care about anything else, but he kept talking about being a slave. It made two phase homage. Not to mention Yifan. He tapped the table lightly, wanting to give the white-clothed young man a good beating. We'll start with you too. Leave now. Xia Jiuyo said to Yifan and Tu Fei, who were the closest to him. He wanted to clear the place and chase away all the cultivators. You think you can make the two of us leave? Chapter 303 Do you think you can make the two of us leave? Tu Fei squinted at Xia Jiuyo, his face unfriendly. Do you want me to send you away with only one finger? Xia Jiuyo said coldly. Tu Fei was so angry that he almost vomited blood. Being looked down upon by a 13 or 14 year old boy, he had the impulse to kill someone. That Yao Guang expert is just like that. Do you think you can defeat him? The young man in white sneered, still arrogant. Everybody was speechless. Xia Jiuyo was so arrogant that he wasn't afraid of offending people. He even belittled Li Rui, the Yao Guang expert. Tu Fei took a deep breath. After a while, he said, you haven't even grown your hair yet. Why are you so arrogant? PFFF. People around laughed. They didn't think that Tu Fei would say something like that in front of so many people. Xia Jiuyo's face stiffened and then became cold. Tu Fei was annoyed. He thought that he couldn't defeat this young man. He was just 13 or 14 years old, but he was so intimidating. Tu Fei held his breath. Then let me see how strong you are, said the young man in white coldly. Why would I lower myself to a kid's level? I won't bully you, said Tu Fei shamelessly. He was afraid that the young man would teach him a lesson. Then I will bully you. Xia Jiuyo stood up. Tu Fei waved his hand. Forget it. If you want to compete, we will have a civil battle. Otherwise, I will see your tender skin. You're even more beautiful than a little girl. It's not good if you get hurt. How will we have a civil battle? The others booed as if they didn't want the situation to be chaotic. Of course, it's a soul consciousness battle, answered Tu Fei deliberately. What kind of civil battle is that? It's the most dangerous one. Seems like they want to have a life and death battle. People around were scared as they thought that Tu Fei was impatient. All right, if you want your spirit to decay, I will fulfill your wish. Xia Jiuyo sat there calmly. If I take action, I will bully you. Send my brother. Tu Fei patted Yi Fan's shoulder, pushing him forward. Two shameless, sending their own brothers to their deaths. Someone muttered in a low voice. You two should come together, mocked Xia Jiuyo. Kid, you haven't even grown your hair yet. Don't be so stubborn. You can't defeat one of them, let alone two of them, Tu Fei boasted shamelessly. Xia Jiuyo's killing intent was revealed. Two beams of divine light shot out from his eyes. They were extremely dazzling, and no one dared to look straight at them. Chi. A beam of light shot out from his glabella, which was more beautiful than a rainbow. It pierced through Tu Fei. This level of soul consciousness was really intimidating. Clang. A beam of purple light shot out from Yifan's forehead. It was like a divine sword being unsheathed. Clanging sounds rang out, and it was comparable to the purple heavenly sword. He was intentionally concealing his golden divine consciousness. The heaven and earth transformation great art recorded in the Book of Origin could alter his aura and charm. Chi. The two of them fought with their divine wills. The tables and chairs around them were silently annihilated, turning into powder and ashes. This was a powerful collision. There was danger to one's life at every turn, and it was quite possible that one's divine senses would be destroyed, consigned to eternal damnation. The purple light against the colorful light created a dazzling scene in the sky. The soul consciousness was like a saber. It was even more dangerous than a real battle. The foreheads of the two were sparkling. The onlookers were scared out of their wits. If such a powerful divine consciousness swept over them, many of them would lose their lives immediately. Clang. 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 Yi Fan's soul consciousness turned into a three-inch tall little purple man holding a spear. He looked like a purple god of war, advancing step by step. Xia Jiuyo's soul consciousness turned into a seven-colored little man holding a divine bell. He looked very elegant. When he shook the bell, colorful light rippled out like ripples. The soul consciousness turned into a human body, fighting fiercely in the air. Many people couldn't help but shiver. This was a battle of the most basic origin. Clang. The little purple man became braver as he fought. He was like a god. After the spear in his hand pierced through the air, it swept horizontally. The seven-colored little man was very agile. He held the divine bell and looked ethereal. He couldn't dodge in time, so he carried the bell on his back and blocked the spear. Boom! A soul consciousness sound arose. Many people felt their soul consciousness stinging. They were affected by this battle. Swoosh! 
the two little figures separated. Purple Radiance and Multicolored Radiance shot out, fighting a great battle again. Stop fighting. At this time, a gray clothed elder behind Xia Jiuyo suddenly spoke. A dusky streak of light shot out from between his brows, sweeping towards Yifan's soul consciousness. When this type of aura appeared, many people's expressions changed. They felt as if Doomsday had arrived. This soul consciousness was too powerful, as deep as the sea. Swoosh. Light flickered. The little purple person rushed into Yifan's forehead. That place was sparkling like jade, flickering with light. What is the meaning of this? Yifan asked with a sunken voice. Just now, he felt as if he was locked in place by a vicious beast. This elder was extremely dangerous. His soul consciousness was terrifying, most likely not weaker than his own. My family's young master is currently cultivating a divine art and cannot use his soul consciousness recklessly. That is why I stopped this battle. The gray clothed elder replied. My divine art has yet to be completed. It is indeed a hindrance. Xia Jiuyo spoke. His black gem-like eyes blinked as he stared at Yifan. You have exceeded my expectations. Your soul consciousness is actually so powerful. How much of your strength did you use? If it was more than 60%, you are not my opponent. Yifan smiled and didn't explain anything. However, his heart jumped. This youth was truly a monster. At such a young age, if his soul consciousness was fully unleashed, it would most likely be comparable to Yao Shi. It was hard to imagine who taught him. Could it be that he was personally taught by the previous generation's old sacred lord? After this battle, the expression of the white-robed youth, Xia Jiuyo, eased up a little. He no longer threatened to chase everyone away. Many people looked towards Yifan. He actually fought to a draw with Xia Jiuyo, causing this insufferably arrogant white-robed youth to change his mind. This shocked everyone on the second floor. The young Daoist from the Dao One Holy Ground, Xiang Yifei from the Super Yen Holy Ground, and Ji Biyue from the Ji Clan all revealed strange expressions. They couldn't help but size up Yifan. Boundless Celestial Being An old Daoist appeared and walked up the stairs. He looked to be around 50 or 60 years old. His body was skinny, but he was very spirited. He had a goatee, and his two eyes were shining like golden pearls. This person didn't look ordinary at first glance. Although his body was skinny, he was full of spirit. He was a very powerful cultivator, and people couldn't see through him. Daoist, you finally appeared. Do you have any accurate information? Ji Biyue asked with a smile. A monk doesn't lie. This poor Daoist will confirm his location soon, the old Daoist said seriously. Yi Fan and Two Fei's hearts jumped. They exchanged looks. This was the person who wanted to trick people? This Daoist is really talented. He also wants to trick the Holy Land. He is even more like the real master than the real master. He thinks ahead of us. Tu Fei gritted his teeth. This old Daoist was dull. He didn't talk much. When people asked him, he answered. He looked simple and honest, which was far from being cunning. Yi Fan nodded and sent him a message. If he deceives the Holy Land first, we can't do anything. We only have one chance. Tu Fei was enraged. Look at this Daoist. He looks so honest. Damn it. I want to slap him. Boundless celestial being. I don't know where he is now. It's not time yet. If you give me the source now, I won't accept it, said the old Daoist with a sincere face. I want to slap him. He's a big traitor. Look at how sincere he is. Someone wants to give him the source, but he refused. Tu Fei was indignant. He wants to trick us. Why would he want such a small source? Yi Fan couldn't help but admire him. This old Daoist was really talented. He came here to trick people, but he still looked honest. He didn't even want the source. He had integrity. After one hour, everybody left. Only Yi Fan didn't move. Tu Fei said, hurry. Let's go after him. Let's see what the Daoist is going to do. It's no use chasing after him. If he dares to come here, he must have a backup plan. Yi Fan shook his head. He turned around and walked to the chair the old Daoist had sat on. He rolled up his sleeve and put it away. Why did you take that chair? You want to use it to find that Daoist? Tu Fei didn't understand. We can't, but that dog can, smiled Yi Fan. Tu Fei clapped his hands and laughed. A dog's nose is the best. That damn dog can do it. They had been walking around the city for a long time. They had learned a lot of news. The Ji family had sent three grand elders. The light shaking realm had sent some peerless hotshots. Also, the All Beginnings Holy Land had sent some famous guests. These were just rumors. They didn't know how many people from the big forces and the wandering cultivators had come. The young Daoist priest of the Dao One Holy Land was here. 
Xiang Yifei of the Great Yan Holy Land was also here. Besides, the Purple Mansion Holy Land's descendant showed up. However, they didn't know if the Grand Elders of those Holy Lands were here or not. The Mother of All Things has stirred people's hearts. A bunch of undying old men are here. It's going to be troublesome, said Tu Fei. Yi Fan frowned. He wanted to seize the chance when the Great Sage's attention was attracted by the ancient scroll. He didn't expect that so many people would come here. The old Taoist who wanted to trick the Holy Land had done exactly as Shi Yen had planned. It gave Shi Yen a headache. Should we take action before that Taoist does? asked Tu Fei. Yi Fan contemplated for a while and then said, We can't take action now. I think other holy masters will come. It's risky. Should we just stand and watch that cunning Taoist cheat us? Tu Fei was indignant. Yi Fan rubbed his chin and smiled, It's precisely because he's here that it's indescribably wonderful. Let him do all of this. When the time comes, we'll think of a way to get the source. We just need to keep an eye on him. Tu Fei understood. He laughed and nodded continually. Let him do his best. We'll take the origin. However, we have to know all his movements. That's how we can attack him. Yi Fan nodded. We can only count on that dog's nose now. This time, we have to find a safe way to rob Xia Jioyo. Tu Fei didn't forget about it. Two hours later, Yi Fan and Tu Fei returned to the lofty mountain range. The autumn wind blew gently, and the yellow leaves danced in the air. The mountain looked bleak. It was a valley where the plants were withered. Fallen leaves covered the ground. The big black dog was lying on the ground, panting. He had finished carving the Tao patterns, which were enough for him to cross the sky. You just carved some patterns. Do you need to do that? Tu Fei mocked. What do you know? The big black dog didn't even look at him. These two didn't see eye to eye. Since the first fight between the man and the dog, they had been fighting whenever they saw each other. What kind of Tao patterns did you carve? Yi Fan was a little surprised. The big black dog said arrogantly, I carved a serial Tao pattern. I'm not afraid of being frozen in the sky or being chased into the sky. How many miles can you cross? asked Yi Fan. I just tried. I crossed 60,000 miles, answered the big black dog. This damn dog must be talking nonsense. How could he come back from 60,000 miles in such a short time? Tu Fei dropped his jaw. He didn't believe it. Yi Fan's forehead was full of black lines. I left you a lot of origin. You used them all? Do you know what the serial Tao pattern is? There were a dozen transits along the way. Of course, I had to cross the sky to arrange them, answered the big black dog confidently. Yi Fan and Tu Fei wanted to punch him. This damn dog had used up a lot of origin. Perhaps half of it had gone into his stomach. This damn dog is so unreliable. Tu Fei cursed. Woof. The big black dog pounced. Stop. Yi Fan stopped him and said, Did you arrange any restrictions along the way? This time, we might encounter some extremely dangerous people. Don't worry. Even if we're chased by a ruthless person, I will make him suffer. The big black dog clenched his teeth and said, Being with you, I've been unlucky many times. This time, I've carved the Tao pattern with all my origin. Even if the God of Heaven comes, he can't catch me. This damn dog is so powerful. Can you lure Xia Jiuyo here, trap him, and skin him alive? Almost. Yi Fan nodded, then said to the big black dog, Now, help me find someone. He waved his sleeve, and a wooden chair appeared in the valley. What do you mean? The big black dog didn't understand. I want to use your dog nose to find someone, Tu Fei said. Woof. The big black dog pounced, and a battle between a man and a dog started. I at hashtag Yen. Damn dog, I'm telling the truth, Tu Fei screamed. Stop. We won't trick the Holy Land anymore. We need to find someone. Yi Fan hurriedly stopped him. What did you say? The big black dog became even more anxious. You made me carve so many Tao patterns with all my effort, but in the end, nothing happened? Of course, these Tao patterns are useful. They are the path of life when we retreat, Yi Fan explained hurriedly. Otherwise, this damn dog would rebel. The big black dog's expression softened, and he said, another bull's nose. As expected, this group of trash is not good. Of course, you're also immoral, sitting back and enjoying the fruits of others' labor. But I like it, hee <laughs> hee. Don't laugh. Don't be so despicable. The big black dog laughed dryly. His bald tail stood up, and he sniffed the chair. He frowned and said, extremely pure aura of divine power. The black emperor transformed into a cat and followed Yi Fan and Tu Fei back to Mountain Rock City. Then, they started their search from that restaurant. Their journey was smooth. 
They came to a deep mountain, and when they reached a cliff, the big black dog stopped and said suspiciously, he disappeared. Is he hiding here? Tu Fei asked. No, this person seems to have disintegrated here. The big black dog was suspicious. What nonsense are you talking about? Suddenly, the big black dog's expression changed, and he said, I know. He's not a real person. Is he a demon spirit? Yi Fan asked. He's a powerful expert, a god born in the Doctrine Palace. He cultivates an ancient technique from hundreds of thousands of years ago. He must be afraid of being followed, so he disintegrated here and disappeared in this world. Then, he reassembled his body dozens of miles away, the big black dog deduced. He's that powerful? Yi Fan and Tu Fei were both surprised. Yes, it's that kind of secret technique. I can feel that aura. He's not a simple person, the big black dog said. We have to find out who he is, Yi Fan said bravely. They walked dozens of miles like this, searching in the sky and on the ground. Finally, they found a clue again. It had to be said that the Black Emperor's sense of smell was unparalleled. He could confirm it with just a smell, and he followed it all the way. This was the pure aura of divine power left by a god in the Human Dao Palace. They believed that they would find the person soon. After chasing for more than 3,000 miles, they gradually approached their target. They came to a deep mountain. Damn, I smell a familiar aura, the Black Emperor said. A familiar aura? Besides the pure aura of divine power, there is also the aura of that person. It's a familiar person, the Black Emperor replied. What? A familiar person? Yi Fan and Tu Fei were both shocked. Don't get close. This person isn't simple. We can only watch from a distance, the big black dog said gravely. Fifteen minutes later, Yi Fan, Tu Fei, and the Black Emperor chose a secret place, looking at a mountain in the distance. He looks exactly like you. Tu Fei was a little surprised. Yi Fan frowned. On that mountain, another, him, was immersed in carving something. This is the ox nose that I bit in the great emperor's bedroom. It's definitely his aura, the black emperor said. That damn fatty. Yi Fan had never thought that it would be Duanda. What? An immoral Taoist? Didn't Grandpa Wu Dao chase this bastard to the central plains? When did he come back? He's really lucky. Tu Fei was also surprised. Damn fatty. Yi Fan clenched his teeth. This guy was worthy of the immoral Taoist title. He dared to trick anyone. This time, he even wanted to trick the Holy Land. Tu Fei also cursed. Finally, this bastard is in our hands. We must make him bleed. This bastard has guts to the sky. Yi Fan also had the urge to vomit blood. This immoral Taoist really knew how to make trouble. He could even think of such a dirty trick. He clenched his teeth and said, he pretended to be me to trick people. How could he think of that? Tu Fei said, this bastard blocked our way and even used your appearance. I have never seen such an immoral Taoist. What is he carving? Is he carving a Taoist pattern? Yi Fan was suspicious. The big black dog gave an affirmative answer. Yes. It looks like he's carving a Taoist pattern, and it's not an ordinary Taoist pattern. However, he's not good enough, so he's carving very slowly. Yi Fan rubbed his chin and said, I want to stomp this fatty to death. When he leaves, Black Emperor, you go and modify it so that he can't do anything when he crosses the sky. People will die if we do this. Although the Black Emperor said this, he still laughed dryly without any sincerity. When the people of the Holy Land surround him, let's see how he can escape. Tu Fei laughed. At this time, five Taoists rushed out of Duanda's body to help him carve the Taoist pattern. One of them was the skinny and honest Taoist. Now I finally understand why I wanted to beat that Taoist up. It's because of this damn fatty's god. Chapter 304 This mountain wasn't high, but it had dragon aura twirling around. It was the ancestral root of this mountain range. It was indeed a good place to cultivate. The ancient pines were green, and the strange rocks stood upright. There was also a surging spirit spring. Duanda was concentrating on carving the Tao patterns on the mountain peak. Next to him was a skinny old Taoist who was busy. In the mountain far from them, the Black King said, It's almost done. I'm sure we can finish it today. This ox nose isn't simple. It's time to sell this wicked Taoist. But I don't know how much we can get for him, Tu Fei mumbled. Yi Fan was afraid that the heartless fatty would notice them. He made a hand gesture, and the two people and the dog left in silence. Chaotic Clouds Prefecture was full of mountains. The ancient pines reached the sky, and the green peaks touched the clouds. They came to a precipice that was thousands of feet high. A few old pines that looked like horned dragons stretched out their branches, looking quite vigorous in the clouds and mist. 
When everything is ready, we will take the reward for him and lure the warriors of the great sages land here, Tu Fei suggested. Yi Fan smiled and said, we have to consider every step carefully. We can't make any mistakes. Otherwise, we will be sorry for the damn fatty. If they succeeded, Duanda would be so enraged. He had worked so hard and risked so much. But in the end, it was all for nothing. The Black King was like a wolf with a big tail. He also wanted to take Duanda's place, so he smiled wryly. The laughter of two people and a dog came from the cliff. Several hundred miles away, Duanda sneezed. He lifted his head to look at the sky and cursed. Then, he started to carve the Dao patterns again. Black King, you stay here and guard. If the damn fatty leaves, help him modify the Dao patterns. Tu Fei and I will go out to check. We will be ready to lure the warriors of the Holy Lands. When Yi Fan and Tu Fei arrived at Mountain Rock City, they felt something was wrong. There were too many cultivators. We can't do this. It's hard to deceive the origin. The great elders of the Ji family and the Alcade Kingdom were here. They didn't know which big shots from the Holy Lands were here. Apart from that, there were also quite a number of rogue cultivators. Many of them were well-known figures. Relatively speaking, the younger generation was not that scary. Yi Fan even suspected that an almighty being or even a saint lord had arrived. This was definitely not a good sign. If it was before, he would definitely cancel the plan. He could not deceive the holy land. Now, everything was being carried out by Duanda, but he was still somewhat hesitant. Duanda will be able to carve the Dao pattern today. At the latest, he will make his move tomorrow to scam the sacred ground. We don't have much time left. We have to decide as soon as possible whether to leave or to scam the fatty. The two of them returned to the mountain and discussed again. The large black dog had a squarish head and large ears, and he appeared extremely ferocious. He stood under an ancient pine tree, and said, in my opinion, directly snatching that cow nose is the most convenient and safest. A holy land that had existed for more than a hundred thousand years was not to be trifled with. The disturbance this time was great, exceeding their expectations. Quite a few older generation figures came. If they falsely claimed 100,000 pounds of origin source, they would be exposed. Also, the person Tu Fei had found wasn't reliable. But this wicked Daoist is too mysterious. I don't think we can deal with him. Tu Fei frowned. Duanda's background was mysterious, and his methods were extraordinary. He had been chased by Wu Dao for so many days, but he still came back alive. It was enough to show that he was not an ordinary person. Besides, he cultivated an ancient technique from more than a hundred thousand years ago, and his strength was unpredictable. Yi Fan said, it's really not a good time to claim the origin source. It's better to let Duanda do everything and let him take all the blame. We can intercept him halfway, but I don't think we can deal with this fatty. How did this damn fatty create such a big disturbance? He has a headache, and I'm afraid it won't be easy to deal with him. Tu Fei paced back and forth, but he couldn't think of a solution. The key is that we can't be sure how strong this fatty is. Anyway, we are not dealing with his body, but with his god. Yi Fan tried to guess the strength of that wooden Daoist, but he didn't get any conclusion. The listless black dog suddenly said, if we only deal with that wooden Daoist, it shouldn't be a problem. I just remembered that the ancient technique he cultivates has a fatal flaw. You know how to deal with him? Tu Fei was surprised. The ancient technique he cultivates is called the Heaven Technique of Crossing Calamities. Now that the Nine Calamities are not complete, a single god is afraid of thunder and lightning. I will carve some Dao patterns to trap him and trigger the sky thunder. He won't be able to resist. Yi Fan offered some materials he had collected in the Demon City. Black Emperor concentrated on carving, and he finished before the sun set. This damn dog is really cruel. He can carve such an abnormal Dao pattern, Tu Fei mumbled. Before the sun disappeared, Duanda finally finished. Retrieving the five gods, he exhaled in relief. Yi Fan and the others stood on a distant mountain, dozens of mountains away from him. They could only vaguely see his figure to avoid being discovered. It seems he won't act tonight. The real disturbance will come tomorrow, Yi Fan guessed. As expected, Duanda sat on the mountain peak and started to meditate. After midnight, Duanda stood up like a ghost and dashed toward the distant mountain. He was very cautious, observing the surrounding terrain. Black Emperor, it's up to you now. Yi Fan said. The black dog disappeared without a sound. He didn't leave for long and returned after a short while. He won't sense it, right? Tu Fei asked. I just did something. On the surface, the Dao pattern doesn't seem to change, but it can't travel through space, the black dog said. The sky was bright. Duanda sat on the mountain peak and breathed. White air currents as thick as arms went in and out of his seven apertures like dragons. It was the first time Yifan saw Duanda cultivating. 
He couldn't figure out this kind of ability. Those white air currents were the inborn origin essence chi. Swoosh. With a flash of light, a skinny and wooden Daoist dashed out of Duanda's Taoist palace and flew toward Mountain Rock City, which was 3,000 miles away. Yi Fan rolled up his sleeves and put the shrunken Black Emperor into his sleeve. Then, he and Tu Fei retreated silently and flew toward the mountain city. Now, they didn't need to keep an eye on Duanda. They just needed to keep an eye on the wooden Daoist. Hee <laughs> hee, we let the wicked Daoist do everything and let him take all the blame. Aren't we too cruel? That damn fatty should be dealt with like this. He used to do things like this. Now, he's just falling into his own trap. This time, they were very thorough. They didn't even need to go through the danger of impersonating the source. They only needed to rob the wooden Daoist at the critical moment. Mountain Rock City wasn't very grand. It was located in the middle of a mountain range and was surrounded by trees. Yellow leaves danced in the air. At noon, the atmosphere in the city suddenly became strange. It was as if an undercurrent had suddenly surged. Then, a large number of cultivators soared into the sky and flew toward a certain direction, entering the endless mountain range. They're moving. Yi Fan's eyes twinkled. Many cultivators had white hair and beards. They were from the previous generation, so they didn't know how strong they were. So many old fellas. I don't know how Duanda fooled them. He didn't expose himself. Tu Fei was surprised. Black Emperor said, the heaven technique of passing calamities has the supreme merciless strike. It can temporarily turn one into another person. Of course, this bull nose won't expose himself. At this moment, the young Daoist of the Dao One Holy Land, Xiang Yifei of the Great Yen Holy Land, Ji Baiyu of the Ji family, and the successor of the Purple Mansion Holy Land all showed their true forms and chased after them. The future God King of the Ji family is here too, Tu Fei said. The successor of the All Beginnings Holy Land is here too. Yi Fan's expression changed. Xia Jiuyo is here. This kid is really arrogant. Today, we should teach him a lesson too, Tu Fei said. In the sky, Xia Jiuyo was wearing a snow-white robe. He was just 13 or 14 years old, but he was as bright as a banished immortal. Nine streams of dragon energy were under his feet, carrying him toward the distant mountains. Two gray-clothed elders followed him closely. Yi Fan said, let's follow them. The wooden Daoist is leading the way. I think he already got a part of the source. Don't run away. Chaotic Clouds Prefecture was filled with mountain ranges. Many towering mountains pierced through the clouds. Today, there were countless cultivators. The sky was full of people. There were beautiful young girls and old people who were hundreds of years old. All of them were flying in the same direction. Duanda has gone too far this time. He thinks he can play everyone in the palm of his hand and control everything. Now that so many people have surrounded him, he suddenly realized that he can't cross the void. Let's see how he can resolve this. Tu Fei was looking forward to this scene. He wanted to see Duanda's expression at that time. They flew quickly and caught up with the others. From afar, they saw the wooden Daoist. He was still honest and calm. Huh. Let's see if he will laugh or cry. These people were flying fast, especially the group of old people in the front, the sons of the great sage, and the saintess. They could shrink the ground to an inch. Two hours later, they finally caught up to the spiritual mountain. Everybody spread out, surrounding the mountain from every direction. The mountain wasn't high. Green pines covered it. White ribbons hung down from the peak, looking very beautiful. There are people cultivating on the mountain. Maybe it's true. The two old men nodded and said. Their faces were ruddy, and their hair was like snow. They looked like old immortals. Far from them, people were discussing. Yi Fan was surprised. They were the two grand supreme elders of the light-shaking realm. On the other side, three old men with outstanding auras were hovering in the sky. Many people recognized that they were the three grand supreme elders of the Ji family. Yi Fan felt lucky that he didn't act rashly and let Duanda take the lead. Now that so many important characters were here, the situation was complicated. Tu Fei said, did you hear that? Someone was talking about the grand supreme elders of all the holy lands. Also, there was an old man who said that he vaguely saw a certain holy lord flash by. The people of the spiritual mountain seemed to have sensed it. They flashed and appeared in everyone's sight. It's him. Yes, it's the young man with the surname Yi. The myriad source Qi is with him. The wild was in an uproar. Many people recognized that it was Yi Fan. He was wearing a purple robe. His black hair cascaded down like a waterfall. His eyes were bright. He was only about 15 years old. He looked handsome and even a little immature. Do you holy lands have a dog's nose? How could you find this place, the young man in purple on the mountain yelled. 
His words caused an uproar. This sacred body of the ancients was indeed bold. He dared to act like this even after being surrounded. Ignorant kid. You're about to die, yet you're still talking big, an old man scolded. Huh. The young man in purple threw his head back and laughed. His messy hair flew in the air. He said loudly, don't try to take advantage of your seniority. One day, I will visit you holy lands one by one. When my sacred body of the ancients is completed, I will kill each and every one of your saint lords. Wow. Everyone was in an uproar. His words were too outrageous. He was probably the only one in the entire Eastern Baron territory who dared to say such things. Damn fatty, let's see how you're going to deal with this. Yi Fan gritted his teeth. The wicked Daoist priest had spoken so brazenly. He would definitely be held responsible for this. I wonder what this fatty's expression will be when he finds out that he can't travel through the void. I bet his face will turn green. Tu Fei chuckled. Chapter 305 The young man in purple on the mountain peak had his black hair dancing in the wind. He pointed out the world passionately, looking like he was facing the world alone. However, Yi Fan thought that the fatty was pretending to be him and felt disgusted. Otherwise, he would have admired him a little. The young man in purple stood with his hands behind his back, looking more and more relaxed. He raised his eyebrows and said, And you saints and saintesses, in my eyes, are nothing but flowers in a greenhouse. If I enter the four level secret realms in the future, I will challenge you one by one and make you bow down to me. Everyone was shocked, and many cultivators from the Holy Lands were even more furious. The younger generation was in an uproar. This barren ancient physique was too arrogant and intolerable. He pointed out the Eastern Baron territory, questioned the world, looked down on everyone, and thought he was the only one. You've gone too far, someone shouted. On the mountain peak, the young man in purple looked up at the sky and said passionately, My fate is up to me, not the heavens. In the future, this land will bow down to me. This fatty is too into it. He really thinks he has the sacred body of the ancients. Tu Fei was speechless. This immoral Taoist was actually stirring up emotions and looking heroic. You're too arrogant. Many people could not stand such words. The eyes of the young man in purple shone brighter and louder. He said, when my sacred body of the ancients is completed, I will bloom and kill all the flowers, sweeping across the eastern barren territory. His eyes were shining as he faced the crowd alone, looking like he was willing to fight against everyone in the world. However, when he remembered that he was Duanda, the big black dog felt like vomiting blood. Too shameless, too immoral. I have never seen such a person. Damn it, using someone else's name for fun is just inviting trouble for you. Tu Fei sighed at Yifan. Your arrogance has reached the heavens, someone from the Holy Lands shouted. Am I arrogant? I was just stating the truth. Duanda disguised himself as Yifan. He swept his gaze around with a brilliant smile. His snow-white teeth flickered with a crystalline luster under the sunlight. Holy Lands, all of you listen up. If you chase after me today, I will definitely repay you in the future. What right does a piece of trash like you have to say such things? You'll never be able to break through the Holy Xi Palace secret plane in this lifetime. Curses are meant to be broken, and miracles are meant to be created. Who can stop my destiny? Duanda was in high spirits. His eyes were clear and bright as he said, in the future, I will rule the world and visit all the lands of the Great Sage. I can't stand him anymore. Someone, hurry up and chop him up. There were people from the younger generation who were going crazy, truly unable to endure it any longer. Keep your ancient scriptures well. I will definitely borrow them to take a look in the future. Polish up your weapons, I'll definitely play with them in the future. Guard the great emperor's tomb well. I will personally open it in the future. Duanda said three sentences in a row, and all of them were shouted in a very impassioned manner. It was as if he had pierced through the sky, causing the faces of everyone in the Holy Land to turn ugly to the extreme. The place erupted with noise. The purple-clothed youth risked universal condemnation and spoke these words. It truly left everyone shocked and furious. Tu Fei cursed, this man is too arrogant. I want to see how he will deal with this later. The Black Emperor said to Yi Fan, he said what you wanted to say. Anyway, it's too early. This damn fatty is making enemies for you. Today, I will stomp him to death. I won't feel wronged at all. Yi Fan sighed, he said so much, but only the last sentence is his true intention. This damn fatty hasn't changed his wicked nature. He still wants the Great Emperor's tomb. The more he tosses and turns, the more painful it will be when he falls. What I'm waiting for the most is the change of this damn fatty's face. Tu Fei laughed evilly. Kid, you've said so much. You can die in peace now, right? said an old man in a low-pitched voice. You bunch of pigs, do you think you can trap this saint's body? Duanda was extremely sarcastic, cursing everyone inside. 
Ignorant child, do you think that by carving Tao patterns, you can cross the void without fail? An elder's face was full of disdain as he sneered continuously. Duanda shook his head, his face arrogant. You old fogies. Do you think you can use secret treasures to lock this place and stop me from crossing the void? You're too naive. Kill him. Although they were precursors, they couldn't stand him anymore. Some of them wanted to storm forward. Duanda turned around arrogantly, his back facing the crowd. He walked slowly, clasping his hands behind his back. If I want to leave, who in this world can stop me? The void is locked. I want to see how you can leave. A hoarse voice arose, sounding calm. The Tao patterns I control are the remnants of the great ancient emperors. Who can lock them, mocked Duanda. What? Don't send me off. Even if you send me off for a thousand miles, we will part eventually. From now on, the sea is wide and the fish can jump freely in the sky. I'm leaving now. Duanda waved his hand and then muttered, you will never understand my path. Many people landed on the mountain peak. Their gazes could kill, and they all had the urge to bite him. Life is truly as lonely as snow. His purple robes fluttered in the wind, his back facing the crowd. This saint is leaving. But he didn't move and still stood in place. Go, shouted Duanda. He still didn't move. Yellow leaves fluttered in the air, falling before his eyes. He didn't leave. Crossing the void. Duanda couldn't stay calm. The autumn wind blew, and the fallen leaves fluttered like butterflies. He stood there without moving at all. Damn it, crossing space. Duanda was anxious and had the urge to cry. But the autumn wind blew gently, and the scenery before him didn't change. This time, he was completely flustered. The consequences were too serious. He stamped his feet, but the mysterious jade platform didn't react at all. He couldn't cross the void. Duanda's body froze as if he had been struck by lightning. He felt the world spinning. Damn it, what happened? He felt his mouth dry and his buttocks on fire. The situation was extremely urgent. If he was trapped here, he didn't need to think to know what the consequences would be. Just now, he was in high spirits and looked down on the world. He had criticized the great sage to the latrine. If he couldn't leave, just thinking about it made his hair stand. Even if these old farts have secret treasures, they can't stop this Tao pattern. At this moment, he broke out in cold sweat. All of his coquettishness and elegance disappeared, and his calves started to cramp. After confirming again that he couldn't cross the void, Duanda's vision darkened. He staggered and almost fell to the ground. At this time, Duanda felt like he had stepped into the sky from a tall building. His scalp was numb, and his limbs were stiff. Damn it! He cursed in a low voice. At this moment, Duanda's face was completely green. He wanted to cry, but no tears came out. He wanted to curse the ancestors of the heavens. Why haven't you crossed the void? The mountain peak was already filled with people. They were less than 30 meters away from him, and it was impenetrable. Duanda turned around, revealing a smile that was uglier than crying. Guys, I... What about you? Where's your arrogance? Someone mocked him. I... If asterisk king want to cry. God is messing with me. Duanda's face was green. He looked worse than if he had eaten a dead toad. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. Two Fei laughed crazily in the sky, which attracted people's attention. Yi Fan also had the impulse to pound the ground. He laughed happily. Seeing the wicked Daoist so gloomy, he was so happy. Finally, I see this damn fatty's face. Ha ha ha. Two Fei laughed crazily, talking to Yi Fan. Black Emperor also laughed hollowly. His big mouth almost reached his ears. He looked a little evil. Why don't you run away? Everyone surrounded Duanda on the mountain peak, and all of them had mocking expressions on their faces. Just now, he was too arrogant, and now that he was on the verge of tears, they were all incomparably carefree. I'm so f asterisk king depressed. Duanda's face was pale. His eyes moved back and forth as he was trying to find a way to escape. Where's your drive? Keep showing off. Duanda gritted his teeth. He couldn't say anything. He had been too high profile and said a bunch of harsh words. Now he could only watch helplessly. Are you scared? Why aren't you saying anything now? Someone sneered. F asterisk CK, who's talking? Come out. I'll fight you one on one. If you don't like it, come over. I'll kill you with one slap. Duanda shouted again. He didn't dare to reveal his real body. He could only use the name of Yifan to show off. If he could escape and change back to his real body, he could still be free. He's arrogant again. You good for nothings from the Holy Shi Palace secret realm. If it's one-on-one, -on -one, I'll kill you one by one with one finger. 
Duanda was arrogant. F asterisk CKU. Many people wanted to spit out these four words. Is there any cultivator from the Holy Xi Palace secret realm who dares to fight with me? If it's one-on-one, -on -one, I'll kill you all. Duanda challenged. He didn't mention the saints and saintesses of the four levels secret realms. He didn't look at the elders in the distance. He shouted at the cultivators from the Holy Xi Palace secret realm, trying to find a chance to escape in the chaos. Whoosh! A group of people rushed up. They were all cultivators from the Holy Xi Palace secret realm. They started to beat Duanda up. All kinds of treasures flew in the sky, beating him until he ran away. I'll fight all the heroes in the world alone. I'll leave my name in the history of the Eastern Baron territory. Duanda suppressed his cultivation to the Holy Xi Palace secret realm and hid among cultivators of the same level as him, shouting non-stop. In the distance, Tu Fei chuckled. You're famous today. Yi Fan rubbed his temples. He really didn't know if it was worth it. Duanda, the bastard, was using his name and acting so arrogantly. It was really troublesome. Don't worry about this bastard. Hurry up and take down the wooden Taoist. Yi Fan flew into the distance. He had to admit that the honest wooden Taoist's mind was really strong. When Yi Fan and Tu Fei arrived, they heard the wooden Taoist standing on a mountain peak with the Alcade and the Ji family's people. This man didn't want to run away. He wanted the two holy lands to pay him 100,000 pounds of the source each. Tu Fei sighed and said, he's a genius. Under such circumstances, he's still calm and collected. He's still here to swindle the source. I really want to cut this wicked Taoist's heart open to see what he looks like. Taoist priest, although the information you've provided isn't fake, what time is it? We don't have time to go back and collect the source for you. After that, you'll have to pay us a high price. Moreover, we've already given you a lot. The Alcades people were speechless. They hated the old Taoist. At this moment, taking the source chi of myriad beings was more important. Killing the purple-clothed young man was more urgent. Taoist priest, you've collected 10,000 pounds of source from the Ji family. If you add the rewards from the Alcade and the other big forces, you have at least 50,000 pounds of source, said the Ji family's people. Tu Fei sent a message to Yi Fan. Should we wait a little longer and let him swindle more source? We'll take action later. Don't. This wooden Taoist has the same temperament as that damn fatty. They're the same. They're both cunning. It's obvious that he wants to run away. It's his last chance to swindle us. Yi Fan made up his mind. He gazed at the wooden Taoist, ready to take action. Eventually, the Ji families and the Alcades people dashed to the mountain peak, leaving the wooden Taoist there. Taoist priest, if you don't take the source now, do you expect them to give it to you later? Yi Fan approached the wooden Taoist. That's what I think. However, we can't provoke the holy lands, said the wooden Taoist. Swoosh. 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 All sorts of lights flickered as star stones, divine blood soil, and other materials engraved with Tao patterns flew out at the same time, sealing this mountain peak. Who are you? The wooden Taoist was startled. There were many people around. He didn't expect that someone would dare to attack him in front of so many people. The Tao patterns covered the mountain peak. Purple lightning was drawn down, stirring heaven and earth. The lightning was so violent that it scorched the ground and rocks. It's specially used to restrain me. The wooden Taoist's face changed immediately. Unscrupulous celestial being. It's you. Duanda's god was so angry that his nose almost became crooked. On the mountain peak, Yi Fan and Tu Fei took out their mysterious jade platforms. They were ready to steal the source and run away. The big black dog was controlling the Tao patterns to attack him. Duanda couldn't recognize Yi Fan and Tu Fei, but he definitely recognized this big dog. Boom! The purple lightning stirred heaven and earth. It was so terrifying that it hit Duanda's body. Chapter 306 The wooden Daoist's entire body was charred black. He had almost been burned to ashes just now. Every single streak of purple lightning was as thick as a water jar. They stirred up the nine heavens as they hacked down from the heavens. The lightning radiance was terrifying, scorching the earth and stone. The wooden Daoist's expression changed drastically. This was the purple sky that countered him, and it could destroy his body of nine tribulations. Without a consummate heaven technique, he definitely couldn't block it. The lightning was terrifying. He was like a tender branch in a storm, about to break at any moment. His Daoist robe had already turned into ashes, and his body was filled with terrifying burns. It's you again, you damned dog. Your nose is really sharp. I still haven't settled the debt from last time, the wooden Daoist shouted. He was one with Duanda, and there was no difference. Cow knows, I felt regretful that I didn't take you last time. 
Today, I've come to take you as a human pet, the large black dog shouted. He controlled lightning, causing heaven and earth to tremble, and the lightning was terrifying. A large dog threatened to take him as a human pet. How could Duanda, who had never been at a disadvantage, endure this? He was so angry that his fingers were trembling. He wanted to skin the dog alive, then immediately cook a pot of black dog meat, and swallow it with soup and meat. You dog demon, I'll definitely suppress you. Human pet, don't be disrespectful to me. Be careful, I'll slowly train you in the future. The large black dog was like a wolf, very arrogant. Unscrupulous. Celestial being. Duanda chanted, and his body emitted waves of light. It's useless. I know you cultivate the tribulation passing heaven technique. All of this was arranged for you. The large black dog laughed sinisterly. On the mountain peak, there were Tao patterns everywhere, and it was completely sealed. He controlled the purple sky, and lightning struck one after another, turning this place into a sea of lightning. Although Duanda's cultivation level was high, he couldn't rush out of this forbidden area, and was trapped on the mountain peak. A purple sky from left and a muffled thunder struck him, making his body tremble. He was scorched black, and his body was about to be destroyed. In the distance, many cultivators couldn't see clearly what was happening here. They could only see the thunder in the sky. The Tao patterns carved by the Black Emperor were very mysterious, isolating the mountain peak from the outside world. Only the lightning descending from the sky could be seen. Dog demon, we have no grudges or grievances. Why are you doing this? What do you want? The wooden Taoist shouted. Hand over source capital, and I'll take you as my human pet, the large black dog replied as he raised his bald tail. Damn it! The wooden Taoist Duanda was exasperated and said, Infinite celestial being, you are too evil. Today, I will take care of you even if I have to sacrifice my cultivation. On the side, Yi Fan laughed mischievously. Light flashed in his hand. He had already prepared the profound jade platform. The operation this time was about to be completed. Two Fei teased him. That dog. If you can make him your human pet, I will admire you. Woof. Boom. A purple lightning strike came, almost hitting Two Fei's head. He hurried to shut his mouth, not daring to say more. This forbidden land belonged to the big black dog. Nine heavens and nine earths. Purify the undying body. The wooden Taoist Duanda shouted. However, his voice was quickly cut off. The large black dog roared, heavenly tribulation. Tens of thousands of lightning strikes descended from the sky. All the purple lights connected together. The purple clouds were misty, and the light was dazzling. This was a world of lightning. There were purple skies and thunderstorms everywhere. Every inch of space was filled with a terrifying brilliance that could destroy everything. The heavenly tribulation of the nine tribulations Tao pattern? The wooden Taoist Duanda exclaimed. Boom! This was not just a single lightning strike. It could be called a sea of lightning. Endless purple lights gathered together and fell down. The wooden Taoist Duanda's body cracked and was about to be smashed. Although he was made of divine power and not flesh and blood, he still felt a bone-piercing pain. He shouted, you know this kind of ancient technique? I know many more. Hurry up and become my human pet, the large black dog shouted. Damn it. Unscrupulous celestial being. Duanda was so angry that his nose was crooked. However, the situation was not in his favor. He had no other choice. Boom. Endless lightning struck down, and Duanda's body became faint. Much of his divine power dissipated, and he was almost killed. Human pet, surrender. I will give you supreme glory. The large black dog was extremely excited. He was just like Duanda who was cursing all the holy lands with his purple clothes fluttering in the wind. Unscrupulous celestial being. Damn dog, don't be so proud. Duanda clenched his teeth and tried to think of a way to break through. Boom. The sea of lightning struck down. Duanda was beaten into the ground, and his mouth was full of sand. Human pet, tremble. Your master is angry. His anger will sweep through the nine heavens. The large black dog was extremely solemn and sacred. He had surpassed Duanda not long ago. Two Fei was dumbfounded. F asterisk CK. Did this damn dog also get into the mood? He doesn't want to be in front of the beauty Duanda, but he also wants to look down on the world. Boom. Thousands of lightning bolts interweaved and struck down. It was so dazzling that Duanda's eyes rolled back. Human pet, repent. Kneel before me, and I will forgive your sins. The large black dog became more and more arrogant. His huge head was raised very high, as if he was an inviolable god. Yi Fan was also speechless. This damn dog was really immersed in his role. He thought of himself as a god. He was even more Duanda than Duanda had been not long ago. 
Human pet, repent. I am everywhere, and I will walk with you. I will guide you back to my throne. The large black dog was majestic. He had a completely arrogant attitude, and his appearance was solemn. Boom. Tens of thousands of lightning bolts shattered Duanda's arms. Although divine power could be regenerated, he still cursed in pain. F asterisk CK. The wooden Daoist Duanda's face turned completely green. He had never suffered such a great loss before. A dog was looking down on him with its head held high, and it was clamoring to take him as a human pet. This made him want to vomit blood. Damn dog, what do you want to do to make me stop? Duanda couldn't hold on anymore. The god that was born from this Dao palace definitely couldn't be harmed, because he still needed this clone to save his main body. Black Emperor, make him hand over the source first. Yi Fan shouted. This damn dog was only concerned with having fun, and had almost forgotten the proper business. Human pet, kneel down and worship me. I will forgive your sins. Crawl under my feet, and I will guide your path forward. The large black dog was becoming more and more engrossed. Boom. Lightning descended, and Duanda jumped and fled. F asterisk CK, are you done? Duanda was so angry that his whole body was trembling. Hurry up and hand over all the source. I will make it stop, Yi Fan transmitted his voice through the lightning. You are too inhumane. This is something that I risked my life to obtain. How can you do this? Duanda shouted unwillingly. Daoist, haven't you always done things like this in the past? Yi Fan mocked. I have always left some leeway, but you. The wooden Daoist Duanda's hair was disheveled, and he was in an extremely sorry state. Human pet, bow down. I will forgive your ignorance. The black emperor acted like a charlatan, and a purple sky descended, interrupting his words. Human pet, pray, I. Human pet, kowtow, I. The large black dog was really addicted. His majestic voice rang out continuously, and lightning struck wildly. Duanda was so angry that he wanted to vomit blood. Damned dog, hurry up and take back the source. Yi Fan couldn't stand it anymore. This guy was too torturous. Human pet, from now on, surrender to me. I will be with you, and my glory will be with you. I will guide you to the path of immortality. My human pet, kneel down. The large black dog finally spat out his last words. It was really torturous. Even Yi Fan and Tu Fei couldn't stand it, let alone the unlucky Duanda. Duanda was struck by the lightning until white smoke rose from all over his body. He was barely breathing, and only half of his body was left. He lay there motionless like a dead dog, but he was cursing. Damned dog. F asterisk CK, black dog meat. I will stew you alive. Human pet, do you surrender? The black emperor raised his head and shouted. I'll give you the source. Hurry up and open the restriction here. The wooden Daoist shook his hand, and a large pile of colorful source appeared on the ground. Yi Fan didn't step forward. He said, this is only 10,000 kilograms of source. It's far from enough. One can't be too greedy. Duanda said in a low voice. Then there's no room for discussion. Black Emperor, continue to cast lightning. Yi Fan sneered. Do you really think you can kill me? The wooden Daoist's body suddenly became faint. He actually disintegrated on the spot, turning into nothingness. Heavenly technique of passing tribulations. Immortals are immortal, and they are everywhere. They are very difficult to destroy. The large black dog's eyes flashed, and he said, but he's unlucky to run into me. Does he really think he can escape this tribulation by disintegrating? Boom. Lightning interweaved, and every inch of space was filled. The lightning was like an ocean, drowning the mountain. This is the nine tribulation Tao pattern. No matter what you become, as long as you are alive, you have to pass the tribulation. You. Duanda screamed, his voice coming from the void. Hand over source, we don't want to talk nonsense. If you don't take out 30,000 kilograms of source, you can just wait to turn into dust today, Tu Fei shouted. My human pet, if you don't know how to appreciate my kindness, don't blame me for being merciless, the large black dog threatened. Fine, you guys are ruthless enough. I'll give you all the source I have. Duanda was anxious. He was afraid that his main body outside would be destroyed. The sky was sparkling, and many source pieces fell from the sky. The mountain peak was resplendent, and it was dazzling. With so many source pieces piled together, the spiritual chi was dense, and it made one feel lost. This kind of dazzling thing was really bewitching. Black Emperor, trap him. I'll go collect the source. Yi Fan didn't want to be sneak attacked by Duanda. Everything went smoothly. Yi Fan waved his sleeves and collected the source pieces on the ground. There were more than 25,000 kilograms, and this was a huge fortune. 
If he added the 25,000 kilograms in his hands and the divine source, he could almost break through to the fourth heaven of the Tao Palace. Boom! Suddenly, heaven and earth trembled. This mountain peak collapsed, all of the Tao patterns cracking apart, the endless lightning disappearing. What's going on? Tu Fei was shocked. Oh no, someone ruthless destroyed everything with absolute power. The large black dog was frightened. Without another word, Yi Fan took out the profound jade platform, threw it on the ground, and jumped on it with Tu Fei. Then, he put the black emperor into his sleeves to avoid being exposed. Boom! At the same time, there was a second tremor. All the patterns shattered, and the world became clear again. Everything was clear. They saw that the real Duanda's main body was in a miserable state. He was covered in blood, and his hair was disheveled. He had escaped to this place and attracted many cultivators to attack. They worked together to destroy the mountain. Bada. In the sky, the wooden Daoist, who had been engulfed by the last purple cloud, fell down. Duanda and the wooden Daoist sensed each other and understood everything. They were so angry that they almost spat out their hearts. Mother of Asterisk Kerr, you guys. He pointed at the two people standing on the profound jade platform. His entire body was spasming. They had worked so hard and were almost killed, but in the end, all of their origin source was stolen by someone else. Many cultivators didn't understand what had happened. Even when the purple-clothed young man, Yi Fan, was spitting blood, he wasn't this excited. What was happening now? Something is wrong. In the distance, Ji Hao Yue's face changed. He was born with the God King body, and he had a strange connection with the Saint body. He felt something. Yi Fan waved his hand with his back facing the crowd. He had a fight with the flirtatious Duanda, but the result was like heaven and earth. At the last moment, Duanda fell from heaven to hell, while Yi Fan had successfully crossed the void. At this moment, Duanda was so angry that his intestines were twitching. His stomach, liver, lungs, teeth. His entire body was in pain. Light flashed, and the formation sparkled. Yi Fan and two phase figures disappeared into the open void. Stop him. Don't let them cross the void. Ji Hao Yue shouted. Xia Jiuyo didn't know why, but before Ji Hao Yue shouted, he had already moved. Nine beams of dragon energy under his feet turned into rainbow-colored waterfalls, flying forward. Chapter 307 The moment Yi Fan entered the void, he heard Ji Hao Yue scream. He shivered inwardly. The king god physique was really sensitive. He had sensed something strange. From such a far distance, Shir Yen didn't try to suppress his saint physique, but the other had sensed it. Anyway, it wasn't important anymore. He had crossed the void and entered the eternal darkness. Freeze. An old voice arose from the mountain range far from him. The entire space trembled. The mysterious jade platform that Yifan's team had left couldn't self-destruct. Everything was frozen. Xia Jiuyo's white robe was otherworldly. He stepped on nine flows of dragon energy and was the first one to jump onto the mysterious jade platform. He disappeared shortly. The two grey-robed old men followed him closely. Ji Haoyue had the king god physique. He had an imposing appearance with a divine moon above his head. It was as bright as a god. It flashed and disappeared. He had successfully crossed the void. Duanda's purple robe fluttered. He still looked like Yi Fan. He turned into a wisp of black smoke as if he had grasped a life-saving straw. He also disappeared. After him. Don't let him escape. The people behind him screamed. They all dashed forward and started to cross the void. Poor wooden Daoist. Before he could crawl up, he had been kicked seven or eight times. He grimaced in pain. He also dashed forward to chase after them. Two thousand miles away, the void became dim. After a moment of distortion, a crack appeared. Yi Fan and Tu Fei flew out of it. It's not right. Someone is chasing us. Yi Fan's heart jumped. That space crack fluctuated fiercely. Obviously, many people were crossing it. Hurry. Someone is hiding in the dark and has stopped the mysterious jade platform, said the Black Emperor. However, they didn't feel any fear. It was because they had made ample preparations, engraving even more complicated chain Dao patterns on a mountain peak. Yi Fan and Tu Fei flew to the mountain in front of them. They climbed the vast platform and prepared to cross the void one more time. Boom! Not far from them, the void was torn open. A group of people rushed out, Xia Jiuyo, Ji Hao Yue, Xiang Yifei, the Superfluous Evolution Holy Land Successor, the Dao One Holy Land Successor, the Purple Mansion Holy Land Successor. Of course, there was also Taoist Duanda. He had been beaten out of the cave. Even though he was in the dark void, he was still engaged in a life and death battle. A group of people were chasing after him. The most frightening thing was that a group of old people had successfully crossed over. 
They had locked onto Duanda and Yifan. In prison. The ancient voice resounded throughout the world. Let's go. Yifan activated the chain Dao pattern and traversed the void again. Someone wanted to stop Yifan and the others from crossing the void, but they didn't expect that the Dao pattern carved by the Black Emperor was very special and wouldn't be affected. In the darkness, Yifan said in shock, there are powerful people watching us. Black Emperor, is the Dao pattern you inscribed okay? The large black dog was extremely confident, and he sent a voice transmission from within Ling Han's sleeve. I'm not afraid of vicious chasing after me. I'll definitely be able to escape with my life. If he isn't strong enough, I'll just torture him. Buzz. The void trembled, and they appeared 2,500 miles away, landing on a jade platform. This was a Dao pattern platform that could allow them to cross the void in both directions. The large black dog laughed sinisterly like a cunning wolf, and said, destroy this jade platform and cut them off in the void. This damned dog is too vicious. Tu Fei was shocked, and then he also laughed. Without saying anything, Yi Fan shattered the jade platform with a palm strike. Then, he stepped forward and landed on another formation pattern. He was about to cross the void again. Boom! Behind them, the moment the jade platform was destroyed, the void was also pierced. A group of people fell out, and many of them directly turned into blood mist. Of course, most of them were just in a sorry state because there were a dozen old people holding up the void with their terrifying weapons. Thus, they didn't cause too many casualties. Stop fighting. I admit defeat. I'm not that bastard Yi fan. Duanda's miserable cry came from the crowd. No matter how powerful he was, he couldn't withstand the attacks of a group of people. A group of old men was watching him like tigers watching their prey, so he didn't dare to use his true strength. Swoosh. With a flash of light, Yi Fan and the others quickly disappeared, and they crossed the void again. Black Emperor, your chain Dao pattern is also useless. They've chased us down, and only a few dozen people died just now. Yi Fan felt that something was wrong. Don't worry, the chain Dao pattern needs to be transferred more than a dozen times. They'll be in trouble later. The large black dog still didn't panic. Buzz. The void trembled slightly, and Yi Fan and the others rushed out. Outside, black mist billowed into the sky, and they couldn't even see their fingers in front of them. The killing intent was dense. Two Fei said in surprise, where have we come to? This is the dark hell killing field of the Dao patterns. They fell in here by mistake, and they'll be in trouble. The Black Emperor sneered. Yi Fan finally understood why the large black dog was so tired when he finished carving these Dao patterns. He was really diligent. Entering here without reason would definitely cause people to die. With the large black dog leading the way, they quickly walked out and appeared on a jade platform not far away. Behind them, a dense killing intent could be felt. The void split open, and the moment the pursuers rushed out, their killing intent soared into the sky. Streaks of Dark Hell Sword Chi shot out. Each streak was as thick as a water jar, and they were indestructible. Poo, poo. Blood splashed, and miserable screams could be heard. Many people were pierced, and they died on the spot. This was practically a massacre. When Tu Fei looked at the large black dog, a strange expression appeared on his face. He felt that this damned dog was indeed not ordinary, and it was very frightening. Boom! Suddenly, the dark hell killing field shattered, and it was turned into dust by a large bell. Damn it, what a ruthless fellow. Could it be that a saint master has come? Yi Fan was shocked, and he crossed the void again. The black wind in this heaven and earth was like a blade, and the mist floated. When rocks were thrown into the mist, they would be turned into dust upon contact. There was a soft yin energy circulating. In this area, I have carved the Shadow Dao pattern. When the shadow astral wind blows, the human body will be turned into a meat paste immediately. The large black dog led the way, and said, You too, be careful. Don't take a wrong step. Otherwise, you will be turned into a puddle of blood. This damned dog is really good. He can even carve such a vicious Dao pattern. Tu Fei was frightened. As soon as they walked out, the void behind them cracked open. Those people could always stop the dark jade platform and chase after them again. It was hard to get rid of them. Ah. The miserable screams were especially shrill, rising and falling. This area was dark. When the shadow astral wind blew over, many people's flesh and bones were turned into meat paste. They couldn't resist at all. Even the powerful weapons were turned into dust immediately. Boom! Suddenly, a large golden hand crossed the sky and slammed down. 
Instantly, the sky collapsed and the earth cracked. The shadow astral wind scattered, and the Black Emperor's Tao pattern was destroyed with absolute power. Damn, too ruthless. He destroyed the shadow astral wind with his bare hands. This person is too terrifying. The Black Emperor was given a big fright. Yi Fan and the others fled at the first moment, but it was still difficult to get rid of the other party. The Dark Jade platform was always stopped by the other party, and couldn't self-destruct. After crossing the void seven or eight times, they still couldn't get rid of that large golden hand. It was like a terrifying nightmare that entangled them. After crossing the void for the ninth time, they appeared in an ancient battlefield. Crimson flames burned here, and Yin Aura soared into the sky. Many white skeletons were suspended in the air, and it was extremely eerie. Damn, I don't believe that the Tao pattern that I carved can't stop them. The large black dog was also anxious. The killing field that he had painstakingly carved was destroyed one by one, and it made him feel the seriousness of the matter. What formation pattern is this? Yi Fan asked. This is the ancient killing field, the Lost Sea. Elites will sink into it, and it will be hard for them to free themselves. A terrifying killing intent will appear and destroy them. Yi Fan and the others walked out of the ancient killing field, the Lost Sea. In the end, the pursuers behind them crossed the void and appeared again. Duanda screamed, stop chasing me. You should be able to tell that I don't have the sacred body of the ancients, and I have nothing to do with that be asterisk star Yi Fan. Ji Haoyue, Xia Jioyo, the young Taoist priest of the Tao One Holy Land, and many others, as well as many seniors, had already realized that he was definitely not Yi Fan. However, the others kept attacking him. Even some holy sons were sneering, forcing him to reveal his identity. One of them asked, who exactly are you? In the ancient killing field, the Lost Sea, a myriad of killing intents suddenly appeared, and many people fell for it. Xia Jioyo and Ji Haoyue engaged in a fierce battle, and Duanda began to fight desperately with an old man. Yi Fan and the others stood on the jade platform, preparing to cross the void. The Black Emperor sneered, how can the Tao pattern that I carved be useless? Dong! Unfortunately, before he could finish his sentence, the giant golden hand appeared again and smashed the ancient battlefield, disintegrating the Lost Sea. Two phase expression changed instantly, and he said, I know. This is the clone of the old Rock King. Let's go quickly. The old Rock King's real body may arrive at any time. Yi Fan's expression also changed on the spot. He had put away the little Rock King, and the old Rock King was searching for him everywhere. It was not surprising that a clone had come. Let's go quickly. The old Rock King was a demon king that even the great sage lords feared. His strength was terrifying, and he possessed the world's fastest speed. He was the most difficult to deal with. Don't worry. After passing through three more Tao pattern killing fields, we will reach the place where I carved the ultimate Tao pattern, the large black dog said. Behind them, there were not many people chasing them anymore. Along the way, many people had been killed by the large black dog's Tao pattern. He had killed them without spilling any blood. After passing through three more killing fields, they finally reached the place where the large black dog had said he would carve the ultimate formation pattern. They quickly rushed onto the jade platform. The large black dog said, Alright, we are definitely safe now. With a flash of light, they disappeared on the spot. In the darkness, Yi Fan asked, Are you sure that we are safe now? This should be the last Tao pattern. If we still can't shake them off, the consequences will be unimaginable. Don't worry. As long as we leave, the Tao pattern will close up and evolve again. Only we can travel through the void. That place will become a dangerous place. In reality, this was indeed the case. After they left, the place where they had been standing flickered with light, and the Tao pattern had changed. It had completely changed. In the heaven and earth, chilly winds howled angrily, and sword chi was like a rainbow. This place had become a land of death. Unfortunately, they could no longer see it with their own eyes. The ultimate Tao pattern allowed them to travel 50,000 miles in one go. They were completely far away from the chaotic cloud state, and they appeared in a vast desert. What is this place? There was no sign of human habitation in the vast golden desert. Yi Fan, Tu Fei, and the large black dog flew for a long time, but they still could not leave this boundless desert. Finally, the large black dog carved the Tao pattern and traveled through the void again. However, he still could not leave this boundless desert. What the hell? After shaking off that group of people, what kind of damned place have we come to? Although the large black dog had traveled through the void when he was carving the Tao pattern, he had never come here personally. They had traveled 60,000 miles in the first dozen times, and the last time, they had crossed 50,000 miles. They didn't know where they had ended up after traveling more than 100,000 miles. 
Let me think. Tu Fei pondered for a while. Suddenly, his face changed as he said, the area 100,000 miles away from the chaotic cloud state should be the famous godly desert. What kind of place is this? Yi Fan felt something was wrong. This is a damned place. Many cultivators get lost in there, and they can't get out for the rest of their lives, said Tu Fei. It can't be. Yi Fan frowned. It wasn't good news at all. Tu Fei's face was heavy. According to the ancient books, some people can get out after half a month, but some people can't leave until their lifespan is exhausted. This godly desert is really evil. The corners of the Black Emperor's mouth twitched as he cursed, damn it. Turns out it's this place. I've been trapped here for more than 100 years. I hashtag at percent yen hashtag percent. How come you've been trapped here for more than 100 years? Yi Fan asked in fright. The large black dog's face was dark. That year, to find that ruthless man's territory, I got into the godly desert by mistake. I was almost suffocated to death for more than 100 years. They could cross the void to get in here. However, if they wanted to get out, crossing the void wouldn't work. This was the godly desert of evil creatures. Yi Fan felt the seriousness of the situation. This godly desert wasn't normal. It had trapped the large black dog in his prime for more than 100 years. Perhaps we're lucky. We can get out after a dozen days. Tu Fei made an optimistic assumption. I hope so, nodded Yi Fan. Just like that, they continued to move forward in the godly desert. They got lost and couldn't find the way out. Six days later, Yi Fan and the others were a little anxious. They didn't see any sign of getting out. The desert stretched as far as the eye could see. At noon, it was as hot as a furnace. At night, it was cold to the bone. The difference in temperature was huge. On the seventh day, at noon, the sun was scorching. Yi Fan gazed into the distance. Suddenly, he was shaken. There's a building. In the golden desert, the sun was as hot as fire. At the end of the horizon, they could vaguely see a building that wasn't tall. In this desolate and uninhabited desert that could even trap cultivators, they were naturally alarmed to see a building. They quickly flew over. It was a Taoist temple. It wasn't grand, and it was small. It wasn't even as spacious as the stone house of a poor family. Although it was old, it was still intact. Half of it was covered by sand, and the exposed part wasn't even as tall as a human. Yi Fan waved his large sleeve, scattering the golden grains of sand, revealing this small ancient Daoist temple, revealing its full appearance. It was built with the most common stone in the north region. Although many years had passed, the stone Taoist temple hadn't collapsed. It was still standing. How come there's a stone Taoist temple like this? Tu Fei was surprised. Yi Fan walked into the ancient temple that didn't have a door. He looked around, and his face froze. He saw some familiar words on the wall. They were words from the other side of the galaxy. It was the Bell Cauldron script from the Preaching period of China. The Preaching ancient characters were different from the characters of this world. Yi Fan recognized them. He was shocked, and his heart beat furiously. The Bell Cauldron script from the Preaching period. He was shocked. Since he had come to this world, Yi Fan had learned a lot. He wanted to connect this world to the other side of the galaxy, but he couldn't find any clues from the ancient books. He didn't expect to see the preaching ancient characters here today. It was easy to imagine how shocked he was. During the preaching period, people came to this world from the other side of the galaxy. Yi Fan deduced. He was so excited. The two worlds weren't isolated. The ancient people had come here before. Maybe he could find the way back. What are you mumbling? What kind of stupid characters are these? How come I don't know any of them? The big black dog looked suspicious. Let me see what's written. Yi Fan was so excited. He carefully read the ancient Bell Cauldron script. Chapter 308 Early Qin referred to the era before the Qin dynasty in ancient China. It started from the time when humans were born and ended in 221 BC when Emperor Qin destroyed the six states. The Bell and Cauldron script was also called the Golden Script. It was carved on the bronze wares of the Zhou dynasty. The Golden Script was used from the early Shang dynasty until the Qin destroyed the six states. The Zhou dynasty was the most prosperous. Inside the temple, lines of the bell and cauldron script were carved on the modeled ancient walls. They were strong and majestic. The qi was dense and the atmosphere was solemn. Yi Fan looked at them attentively. There were 215 ancient characters. The strokes were strong and slim as if they were alive. He recognized 69 characters but couldn't understand the other 146 characters. 
No matter how hard he thought, he couldn't understand them. Among the 69 ancient characters that he recognized, nine of them were inferred based on the meaning of the text. These ancient characters were really too ancient. Even a real scholar couldn't recognize all the Bell and Cauldron script. On the other side of the universe, the later generations could only recognize some of these characters. Chi practitioner of the early Qin dynasty. Yi Fan was shocked. These were the characters left by the ancient people from the other side of the universe. He read the records carefully. Although he couldn't recognize most of the characters, he had a preliminary understanding that this person belonged to the early Qin dynasty in ancient China. However, he couldn't figure out who he was and whether he had a prominent position in the ancient history. After all, there were 150 characters that he couldn't recognize. Qi Practitioner It was the first time he had heard of such a term. These three characters made Yi Fan daydream. He seemed to see a mysterious period of time. There were secrets in the ancient times that no one knew about. He could recognize 69 characters, but they weren't connected. It was hard to connect them. After reading for a long time, he could only vaguely understand some of them. This Qi practitioner of the early Qin dynasty didn't cross the void and come to the other side of the universe. There was a reason in the Bell and Cauldron script, but he couldn't recognize it. Is this a secret technique? The big black dog asked impatiently. No. Kid, you're hiding something. We found it at the same time. Decipher it, the big black dog urged. Yi Fan didn't mind it, turning to Tu Fei. Are there other worlds outside this one? Have you ever heard of them? Tu Fei was skeptical, shaking his head. Never heard of it. What do you know? Beside him, the large black dog seemed to be astonished, and he said, These bird characters are records about this? Yi Fan suddenly thought that this big dog was very mysterious. Perhaps it knew many secrets that no one knew, so he said, Have you heard of it before? I have heard a little about it. The Black Emperor replied, then asked impatiently, What exactly is recorded in these strange words on the wall? Tu Fei also looked at them. He also wanted to know the history of this Daoist temple. The things recorded on it are unimaginable. It says that there is another world on the other side of the starry sky. What? Tu Fei screamed in fear. Are there really immortals? The big black dog's eyes twinkled, asking further. More details. Translate all the characters on the wall. Let us know more. The people in that place call themselves Qi practitioners. This is a Qi practitioner from the pre Qin dynasty. He crossed the endless starry sky and came to this place, leaving these stone carvings. How, could it be? Is it true? Tu Fei was shocked, gawking, and tongue tied. Are the pre Qin Qi practitioners that strong? Could they be as strong as emperors? Yi Fan said, he didn't come here by himself. He followed the path left by the ancients and came to this world unknowingly. Ancients. What kind of people were they? Did they travel through many star areas? Tu Fei's heart was stirred as he had many thoughts. The big black dog's eyes shot out two sharp beams of light. Where did he go? If we can catch him, we will get priceless treasures. Someone has come to this world. Has no one sensed it? Yi Fan was disappointed. He thought he could get some clues from them. If he's not from this world, he will try to conceal himself. So many years have passed. If he's still alive, he should be as strong as the great sage. Tu Fei guessed that this temple had at least 2000 years of history. Yi Fan nodded. A person from the pre Qin dynasty was at least 2000 years ago. If he was still alive, he could have become the sovereign sect master of a big sect. Kid, how do you know these bird characters? The big black dog's eyes sparkled, gazing at Yi Fan meaningfully. Tu Fei was also suspicious. He looked at Shir Yen with a puzzled face. I used to read an ancient book. There are some characters like this with some simple notes. I know some of them, Yi Fan answered calmly. Teach me. These characters are very mysterious. I want to learn them, the big black dog said. Yi Fan answered without hesitation, okay, no problem. I'll teach you one character, and you teach me one Dao pattern. The large black dog instantly rolled his eyes, and a resentful expression appeared on his face. Dao patterns were his ultimate technique, and Yi Fan had been eyeing him for a long time now. However, he had never managed to obtain anything from him. Black Emperor, you haven't told me yet. Have you heard about the world on the other side of the galaxy? Yi Fan asked. I know too little. A great emperor only said one or two sentences. I don't know the details. Can you be more specific? Yi Fan wanted to punch him. How can I be specific? I only know that the great emperor often gazed at the stars at night. I don't know anything else. The big black dog shook his head. 
Damn dog, are you hiding something? Yi Fan asked. Woof. The big black dog bared his teeth, pretending to pounce. You really don't know? Yi Fan was suspicious. If I knew, would I ask you? I only know that it's the great emperor's secret. Outsiders don't know, the big black dog answered angrily. Night fell, and the scorching desert became colder and colder. Late at night, it was bone-piercing cold. An ordinary person would definitely be frozen. Yi Fan gazed at the stars. He was looking for a way back. The ancients could travel through the void. I can too. I'll definitely go back in the future. He felt that there must be many secrets in his hometown in the ancient times. Brat, do you really think you're a great emperor, the black emperor said mockingly as he lay beside the temple. Did the great emperor look at the stars every night? Yi Fan asked calmly. Not every night. Occasionally, he would be lost in thought, and he would sit there for an entire night, the black emperor answered with a yawn. How do you know so clearly? Yi Fan asked suddenly. Tu Fei woke up too. He leaned against the wall of the temple, opened his eyes, and said, This damn dog has many secrets. He just doesn't want to tell us. He only knows how to snatch other people's things greedily, and he never shares anything with others. Woof. The dog's bark pierced through the night sky. All right, don't bite me. I heard all this from others. How can the great emperor's secrets be so easy to know? I won't tell others even if they cry and beg me. Which galaxy did that great emperor like to see? Yi Fan asked. Many. Purple Micro, Supreme Micro. The big black dog casually said a few names. Yi Fan returned to the temple and observed the characters again. He copied them with his hand and studied them carefully. Finally, he guessed another word, and that was. Purple Micro. The Qi practitioners of the Pre-Qin dynasty mentioned this word in the characters, and this moved Yi Fan. Then, he started to copy it on the wall. Russell, Russell. Suddenly, the stone wall fell like dust. All the characters disappeared, and a large part of the modeled ancient wall fell off. Was it because it was too old, or was there another reason? Yi Fan's heart moved. He used his finger to draw a line. Stone chips flew everywhere, and the stone inscription completely disappeared. A thick layer fell off. Ding! With a light sound, a dim metal box appeared in the decayed wall. It was dull, old, and ordinary. Here comes the treasure, the big black dog shouted. He pounced forward, baring his teeth as he wanted to fight with Yi Fan. Tu Fei was behind him. He grabbed his bald tail and stopped him from moving forward. Woof! Just like how one couldn't touch a tiger's butt, the big black dog's bald tail was also a forbidden area. He turned around and started to bite. Yi Fan cut open the wall and took out the metal box. It was long and made of bronze. It was about three feet long and a palm wide. It was tightly sealed. The bronze metal box was heavy and cold. There was a weak divine power on it. Yi Fan understood immediately. The wall was originally sealed. However, because of the passage of time, the divine power leaked out, and many stone chips fell off. Woof! The big black dog bit Tu Fei a few times and finally stopped. He quickly moved closer to observe the long bronze box. Stay here. Don't steal it. Yi Fan warned him. Don't worry. I just want to see. Why would I steal something from my own people? The big black dog answered, raising his bald tail. Damn it. Damn dog. Tu Fei cursed. A row of teeth marks appeared on his calf. He walked over, swaying. Two people and a dog were looking forward to it. After all, it was left by a Qi practitioner from the other side of the universe. Yi Fan was a little nervous. He took out the cauldron and put it above his head. Flows of black and yellow chi poured down to protect his body. Then, he slowly opened the long metal box. The lid of the bronze box was opened. There was no treasure light or auspicious light. There was even no fluctuation of divine power. Inside the metal box was a wooden whip. It was simple, simple, and carved with many mysterious patterns. The more people looked at it, the more attractive it became. It was more than three feet long and had more than twenty segments. Every segment had several complex patterns that were clearly engraved on it. It was natural and mysterious. A wooden whip from the other side of the universe. What kind of treasure is it? Yi Fan was surprised. Among the pre Qin dynasty characters, who had a wooden whip? He thought it over and over again. 
The big black dog was an expert. Seeing this wooden whip that looked like an iron sword, he almost drooled because each section of the whip had mysterious patterns of Tao. Is it a supreme treasure of a faction? But I don't feel any fluctuation of divine power from it? Tu Fei asked. Buzz. The wooden whip shook slightly and flew out of the metal box, flying toward the big black dog. Damn dog, you really want it? Yi Fan said angrily. As soon as I saw this treasure, I knew it was destined to be mine. I don't want the source I got from the cow nose anymore. I'll give it all to you. I only want this wooden whip. The big black dog held the wooden whip tightly with his big paws. What a greedy dog. You want to take the treasure as soon as you see it. Tu Fei gritted his teeth. AOO. Suddenly, the large black dog let out a bloodcurdling howl, and tossed the wooden whip onto the ground. Then, it stood on its hind legs and began to jump around. Its front paws were wrapped around its head, and its mouth was wide open as it howled in pain. Damn dog, what's wrong with you? Yi Fan asked. Damn it. My soul consciousness is attacked, the big black dog screamed in pain. You deserve it. Who told you to be so greedy? Yi Fan didn't feel sorry for him. Last time, he was convulsing on the ground because he wanted to take the fruit from the stone millstone. Today, he did it again. What kind of treasure is this? Tu Fei was suspicious. He didn't dare to touch the wooden whip. He circled it and observed, but he didn't find anything strange. Ah! Uh. All of a sudden, he screamed, covering his forehead. Brother Tu, are you okay? Yi Fan was surprised. Don't use your soul consciousness to check it. This wooden whip attacks the soul consciousness, Tu Fei said. Yi Fan was moved. He picked up the wooden whip and held it in his hand, mumbling to himself, is this a wooden whip that can attack the soul consciousness? The divine whip left by the pre-Qing dynasty Qi practitioners came from the other side of the universe. This kind of treasure could be left by a famous Qi practitioner. Chapter 309 This wooden whip was heavy. Although it was made of wood, it was heavier than metal. The patterns on it seemed natural and ancient, with a mysterious aura. Rather than calling it a wooden whip, it was more like an unsharpened iron sword. Not only was it heavy, but its shape was also similar. Yi Fan turned it over and over. The wooden whip was simple and natural. When he waved it, it was easy, but it didn't emit any divine light. He activated his divine power and poured it into the wooden whip, but it didn't have much effect. The wooden whip was still ancient and didn't emit any light. What's going on? Yi Fan was surprised. He waved the wooden whip in the air. It was heavy and powerful like a huge cauldron, twisting the air with its pressure. This is good. It looks ordinary, but when I swing it, it's very heavy. It can block the attacks of other weapons. Yi Fan was very satisfied. It was simple and plain. This kind of weapon wasn't bad. People couldn't see anything special about it, but it was still lethal. He tried to activate a wisp of divine sense, and it appeared in the temple. It wandered around, but it wasn't attacked by the wooden whip. When he controlled that wisp of divine sense and slowly probed the wooden whip, he instantly felt a needle-like pain. After understanding this result, Yi Fan understood that this was really a weapon that specialized in attacking divine sense. Yi Fan rubbed his chin and pondered carefully. He traced back to the characters of the Qin dynasty, from Yin Shang to Western Zhou, and only came back to himself after a long time. The large black dog gave one last cry of pain and finally stopped jumping. He slowly recovered and shouted, what kind of treasure is this? It specializes in attacking divine sense, and even I suffered a loss from it. Black Emperor, isn't your divine sense very powerful? Just attack me, Yi Fan said. F asterisk CK, you're trying to anger me, aren't you? Throw that broken stick aside, and I'll take it. The large black dog's expression was unfriendly. Just now, he had suffered a great loss. At this moment, Tu Fei also recovered. He looked at the wooden whip with lingering fear. Just now, his wisp of divine sense had been shattered, which shocked him. This is the weapon from the other side of the galaxy? How did he refine it? It's frightening. Tu Fei received the wooden whip and studied it carefully. It's a pity that I can't find someone to test it on. I want to see the power of this wooden whip, Yi Fan said. Tu Fei said, this thing can attack people's soul consciousness, no need to doubt it. Now, let's try its other attacking abilities. Two people and a dog walked out of the Taoist temple. Yi Fan stood with the wooden whip while Tu Fei held a silver spear with both hands, thrusting it towards Yi Fan. The tip of the spear sparkled brilliantly. Yi Fan wielded the wooden whip and lashed out. No divine splendor shot out, but a ka sound rang out. Under the moonlight, silver rays shot out in all directions, and the silver spear was broken. 
Two Fei switched to another purple electric hammer. Purple clouds twirled and twirled, but the result was the same. Yi Fan brandished the wooden whip with ferocious force, smashing the violet lightning hammer apart and leaving behind dazzling fragments in the desert. After testing, they found that this strange wooden whip was tough and hard to destroy. However, it couldn't perform any special divine technique. The purple gold gourd could store people, and the eight trigrams mirror could illuminate people. However, the wooden whip was just tough. When he held it in his hand, he didn't feel any strange power moving. Although it can break ordinary weapons, it doesn't have the Tao and principle intertwining. It doesn't have any other strange power, said Tu Fei. It can attack people's soul consciousness. Isn't it enough? The big black dog chimed in with an envious face. Yeah, it's the most dangerous strange power divine technique, nodded Tu Fei. Wait a minute. The big black dog seemed to remember something. This toy can attack people's soul consciousness. Just now, you used a weapon like the silver spear to attack. What if you use your soul consciousness to attack with a treasure? Two Fei's heart jumped. Does it mean? Yi Fan's heart was also moved and he revealed a look of anticipation. Perhaps this wooden whip would give him a pleasant surprise. Let me try. Two Fei gritted his teeth. He took out a silver brick, pressing it toward Yi Fan. It was as dazzling as a silver rainbow. Yi Fan strode forward with the wooden whip in his hand, striking at the sky. Pa! Under the moonlight, the silver brick was broken. Tu Fei screamed in fright. A wisp of soul consciousness in the silver brick was attacked. If Yi Fan hadn't stopped his attack in time, he would have been hurt again. It's really abnormal. This weapon has great lethality. The big black dog's eyes sparkled with green light. He almost jumped over to snatch it. Black Emperor, take out your weapon and try to attack me. Yi Fan said. He knew the big black dog had a golden bell, which was a divine item at the mighty level. The Black Emperor didn't refuse. He was confident in his weapon. A light flashed between his eyebrows, and a bell flew out. It shook slightly and enlarged quickly, turning into a golden divine bell. Dong. The sound of the bell echoed for dozens of miles. The dazzling golden light illuminated the entire desert. This place was as bright as day. Yi Fan strode forward, holding a wooden whip that had more than 20 segments. He swung it down. It looked simple, but it was heavy and powerful. The space around it became blurry. Dong. The wooden whip hit the divine bell. The sound was deafening. The golden bell rumbled, and the sand in the desert rose up into the sky. It surged in all directions like a tide, rumbling. The golden bell was a divine item created by a mighty level cultivator. It trembled slowly, numbing Yi Fan's arm. However, the wooden whip wasn't damaged. It was very sturdy. The black emperor had a wisp of soul consciousness in the divine bell. As long as the bell didn't break, he couldn't hurt it. Even so, he was still surprised. This wooden whip is very mysterious. I'm tempted. It can be called a rare treasure. According to the large black dog, this wooden whip could use divine techniques to attack one's divine sense. Moreover, it was extremely sturdy. The higher one's battle prowess was, the more powerful it would be. Think about it. If your battle prowess was astonishing, and this whip was indestructible, shattering anything it hit. It could even injure one's divine sense. How terrifying would that be? Yi Fan also understood that this was a rare treasure. It could be called a rare treasure. He couldn't help but ask, how much weaker is it compared to an ultimate weapon? He asked this because he felt that this weapon was very similar to a divine item in the ancient legends of his homeland. This. I don't think we should compare it. The large black dog shook his head. Why not? Do you know what an ultimate weapon is? If someone could use its full power, it would be like a great emperor being reborn. The large black dog had a yearning expression. But this weapon is. Yi Fan opened his mouth, but he couldn't say anything in the end. Tu Fei also shook his head, and said, This wooden whip can be called a rare treasure, but compared to the weapon of an ancient great emperor, it is indeed far inferior. Yi Fan thought for a moment. The legends about ultimate weapons were too shocking. They had the power to split heaven and earth. This wooden whip indeed couldn't compare to them. Qi practitioners of the early Qin dynasty, who traveled through the void to come here, and how many of them have survived until now? Yi Fan pondered. He thought of many things. In the early Qin dynasty, the legends of the immortals should all be Qi practitioners. What kind of people were the ancient great emperors? Yi Fan asked the large black dog solemnly. The black emperor pondered for a moment, then replied seriously, they were the loneliest people since ancient times. 
Could they travel through the void? Yi Fan asked. This. The Black Emperor was slightly dazed. Yi Fan said, you should know that the Qi practitioners of the early Qin dynasty came from the other side of the galaxy. Even if they followed the path of the ancient great emperors, it still proves that there were people who could travel through the galaxy. I know. He must have been to the Ziwei galaxy. The large black dog mumbled to himself. Tu Fei was startled. Someone had been to the Ziwei galaxy. This was world shocking news. Who are you talking about? Tu Fei asked. Yi Fan was also surprised. Someone in this world had been to the Ziwei galaxy? He also stared at the large black dog, waiting for him to answer. Ahem. The large black dog coughed to cover his expression. He mumbled, of course, it was a great emperor. I guessed it from an ancient book. What ancient book? Why haven't I seen it before? Tu Fei was suspicious. When I was reading the ancient book, your grandpa was still drinking milk. You wouldn't understand even if I told you. The large black dog looked impatient. This d asterisk mn dog. His words are so f asterisk king disgusting. Tu Fei wanted to punch him. Black Emperor, tell me in detail. Which great emperor had been to the Ziwei galaxy? Yi Fan asked. How would I know? I'm just guessing. The large black dog slid back into the temple. Then, a cloud of dust rose into the sky. What are you doing? Yi Fan shouted. The large black dog tore down the entire temple. He even dug up the foundation. He answered without turning his head, I'm looking for a rare treasure. Maybe I can find another one. You'd asterisk MN dog, to change the topic, you tore down a very meaningful ancient building. Yi Fan wanted to beat him up. The temple was torn down. Rocks rolled everywhere. Unfortunately, there was nothing else. The large black dog didn't find anything. In the morning, the morning glow came from the east. The red sun jumped over the horizon. Yi Fan and the others started their journey, trying to get out of the divine desert. The large black dog didn't want to give up. He was still thinking about the wooden whip. He said to Yi Fan, have you thought of a name for this rare treasure? Tu Fei smiled. Do I need to think about it? This whip hurt you first. It's better to call it the dog whip. Woof. As long as the two of them walked together, they would fight from time to time. They were born to be enemies. Yi Fan smiled and said, it comes from the other side of the galaxy. It's a weapon of the Qi practitioners of the pre qin dynasty. I'll call it the God Whipping Whip. A wooden whip that can hit the soul. Good name. Not bad. It should be called the God Whipping Whip. Tu Fei nodded in agreement. God Whipping Whip. This name is really special, the large black dog mumbled. I think the Qi practitioners of the pre qin dynasty also gave it the same name. God Whipping Whip. Yi Fan murmured to himself. He looked up at the sky. Unfortunately, the sun had already risen. They couldn't see the galaxy anymore. The golden desert was boundless. They couldn't see the end. It was boundless. They walked for another three days, but they still didn't see any hope. What kind of place is this divine desert? Why is it so strange? Is there no way to get out? Yi Fan couldn't stay calm. There are too many legends about it. This place is too evil. Two Fei sighed. Black Emperor, do you know what's going on with this desert? Yi Fan asked. Of course, I know. After walking for a few days, the Black Emperor was also a little dispirited. He said, this is the boundless desert that the Sun Divine Furnace burned. What? It's related to Hun Yu Great Emperor of the Jiang family? What happened? Yi Fan and Tu Fei were surprised. Hun Yu Great Emperor fought with someone. He used the Divine Sun Cauldron to create this divine desert, said Black Emperor. How could it be? The ancient Great Emperors are invincible in this world. Why would they fight to the death? Tu Fei didn't believe it. What if the opponent is also a great emperor, asked Black Emperor. Impossible. How could there be two great emperors in one era? The ancient books have never recorded such a thing. Chapter 310 Two great emperors were born in the same era. Who fought against Hanyu great emperor? Tu Fei didn't believe it. From the ancient times until now, there had never been two great emperors in the same era. The ancient books didn't record it. There are always some things that are forgotten by history. They won't be seen in the world. Even if they were earth-shaking, they won't leave any trace. What are you talking about? Did two great emperors really meet in the same era? Who was stronger and who was weaker? What was the result? Tu Fei wanted to know. 
Of course, Han Yu Great Emperor survived. That battle had a great influence. Otherwise, it's hard to say what would have happened. The scorching sun hung high in the sky. The desert looked like it was made of melted gold. It was scorching and unbearable. There was no wind or cloud. The golden sand was a little dazzling. What happened in the past? Tell us quickly. Yi Fan also urged. It was unknown how many tens of thousands of li this boundless desert was, but it was actually created by Hung Yu Great Emperor with a single strike from the Sun God Furnace. It was hard to imagine what kind of world-destroying might that was. What was the name of the other Great Emperor? Tu Fei also asked. No one knows. It wasn't a human, but its power was definitely comparable to a Great Emperor, the Black Dog said. What? Not a human? What was that? Was it an ancient Great Emperor of the Demon Clan? I don't know what it was, but it was definitely one of the strongest existences in this world, the black dog said gravely. Yi Fan and Tu Fei wanted to kick the dog. The big black dog wasn't hurried or slow, which made them anxious. However, it was still calm. Tell us in one breath. Be nice. If I don't show my power, do you really think I'm a sick cat? Even a great expert doesn't dare to disrespect me. Keep bragging. When you saw the red dragon Daoist, who ran dozens of miles, when you heard a saint master was coming, who ran away? That was then, and this is now, the black dog answered embarrassedly. An existence comparable to a great emperor? Where did it come from? Don't tell me it came from another galaxy? Yi Fan frowned. I'm not trying to be sarcastic, but the Qi warriors of the pre Qin dynasty you speak of really can't compare to the great emperor. The one who fought the great emperor to the death was born in the northern domain. Yi Fan and Tu Fei exchanged looks. They thought of the same place, their hearts pounding. Are you saying? You guys aren't stupid after all. You finally figured it out. That's right, that supreme expert comparable to a monarch came from the absolute beginning forbidden area. The large black dog's words could be said to be earth-shattering, causing waves to surge in everyone's hearts. This was extremely astonishing. Are you, sure? Too Fei gawked. This place is tens of thousands of miles away from the absolute beginning forbidden land. Why are they fighting here? Yi Fan was also skeptical. The large black dog said, in the past, the eternal universe emperor was extremely stunning. In order to forge an extreme weapon, he entered the forbidden land of absolute beginning and unleashed a massacre there. Yi Fan's heart skipped a beat. He had seen that place with his own eyes. There were piles of corpses. Even though hundreds of thousands of years had passed, there were still hundreds of sparkling skeletons. They were definitely terrifying creatures. When the Eternal Universe Emperor forged the extreme weapon, heaven and earth shook. Everyone in the Northern Domain could feel it. It startled all living creatures. On that day, when the Eternal Universe Emperor left the absolute beginning forbidden area, an existence comparable to him chased after him. Don't tell us that that existence chased after him from the ancient mine, the large black dog said in a deep voice. You guessed correctly. According to the research of a sage in the later generations, that existence did come from the ancient mine. Yi Fan was extremely shocked. The absolute beginning forbidden area and the ancient mine were two different concepts. He had seen the absolute beginning ancient mine from afar. It was extremely terrifying. He even suspected that there were gods inside. There were also rumors in the world that there were holy spirits inside. That night, the netherworld Ai Li Dishan saw many unusual things. Thinking about it now, he still felt it was unimaginable. In the silver waterfall of stars that fell from the sky, there were corpses wearing ancient clothes bathing in the holy starlight. They floated up and down, and there were also many specks of light. And this was only the tip of the iceberg. It was the outermost layer of the ancient mine. As for what exactly was inside the mine, no one could say for sure. A being that could compete with a great emperor came from the absolute beginning ancient mine. Tu Fei mumbled to himself, slightly absent-minded. You're wrong. It's not a human, the large black dog corrected. Then do you know what it is? Isn't there a legend in the world that there are immortals in the ancient mine? Could it be them? Yi Fan asked. The large black dog shook his head, and said, Some say it's an ancient creature, some say it's an immortal, some say it's a holy spirit, and some say it's an ancient person. There are too many rumors, and it's hard to explain. How long did the Eternal Universe Emperor battle it for? Yi Fan asked. He was more concerned about this question. It was a very long time. It said that on that day, in the entire North region, only three sages sensed the Supreme Emperor's might. According to them, the sky of the North region was shaken, but the others didn't feel anything. 
Is this the Supreme Emperor's celestial might? They fought to such an extent, and they could still deceive everyone. Tu Fei was shocked. The large black dog said, according to the notes left by a sage, the Eternal Universe Emperor had indeed met his match. Otherwise, he wouldn't have accidentally created such a boundless desert. The Eternal Universe Emperor killed the person who chased after him from the absolute beginning ancient mine? Yi Fan asked. He killed him. After a great battle of life and death, he was killed by the Eternal Universe Emperor here, and he was refined into ashes. The large black dog looked at the boundless desert. A being that could rival a great emperor was refined to the point that both his body and soul were destroyed. This was world-shaking news, and Tu Fei was stunned. Now, the great emperor was far away, out of reach. In the past, there was a war between great emperors, but now, they couldn't even see a trace of the great emperor. It made people sigh. The being that came from the absolute beginning ancient mind could rival a great emperor. His demonic blood dyed the desert red. His weapon was broken here, scattering everywhere, creating the incomplete patterns of Tao. That's how the divine desert, this evil place, was formed. Oh, so that's how it was formed. Tu Fei was moved. The large black dog knew too much, and the holy lands didn't know these things. How do you know the secrets of the great emperors? Yi Fan asked. I'm knowledgeable. From the ancient times to the eternal future, there's nothing I don't know. The large black dog tilted his head, looking somewhere else. It's, so dreamy. Tu Fei sighed, finding it unbelievable. He came from the absolute beginning ancient mine. You should know that this forbidden land has existed since time immemorial. From the ancient times until now, how many peerless geniuses have appeared in this world, but no one could do anything to them. However, an unparalleled elite came out, and Hung Yu Heavenly Emperor killed him. The might of the great emperor is unpredictable. This was indeed a shocking thing. If it wasn't recorded in the historical records, it was hard to believe it. Did nothing happen in the absolute beginning ancient mine? If an unparalleled existence was killed, there should be some reaction, right? Yi Fan asked. This isn't something the later generations could know. Even the sages of that era couldn't guess it. The large black dog shook his head. There must be some inference. Did anything special happen after that? Yi Fan felt that there should be some clues. After that, Hang Yu Heavenly Emperor never took a step in the area of 500,000 miles around the absolute beginning forbidden land. So, Tu Fei was shocked. Even the great emperor had scruples. The large black dog thought for a moment, then said, there's another legend. After that battle, Hang Yu Heavenly Emperor established his orthodoxy, went directly to the middle state, and never came back. What is in the absolute beginning ancient mine? Something that even the great emperor is so afraid of. Yi Fan was frightened. The third legend is that after the battle, Hang Yu Heavenly Emperor came to the absolute beginning forbidden land alone and sent a message to the absolute beginning ancient mind to make a deal with someone. Then, in less than ten years, he created the Jiang family of the remote antiquity and then disappeared completely. What's the truth? Tu Fei and Yi Fan were suspicious. They couldn't understand it. It was too long ago. Even legends couldn't be found, not to mention research and restore the truth. The large black dog sighed. In the past, the great emperors all did great things that shook the world. Their unparalleled talents weren't something people could guess. The later generations wrote books, but they only recorded some superficial things. No one really understood them. Huh. Did we get out? There are giant rocks in the distance. Tu Fei shouted. On the horizon of the desert, there were two giant rocks. Their silhouettes were faintly discernible. Finally, we can see something else. I was afraid that I would be trapped here for more than 100 years. The large black dog was still scared of what he had experienced in the past. Two people and a dog dashed forward. They didn't want to stay in this scorching desert for even a second longer. They wanted to leave a long trail on the ground. It's a black metal block. They were all taken aback when they came close. The two metal blocks were around 5 or 6 meters long. They were jet black with a dim halo. The cold air blew over. Even under the scorching sunlight of the noon sun, people still felt cold. The black metal block was full of bumps and hollows. It looked like someone had hit it with a palm. How could there be such a metal block? Tu Fei was surprised. At the same time, Yi Fan found that this desert was different from the other places. It was as red as blood with a cold air. The large black dog said, this red desert should be dyed red by the blood of the existence that could be compared to the great emperor. Even after more than 100,000 years, the color hasn't changed. If so, the metal block is. Tu Fei was surprised. 
Right. It's possible that after that person's weapon was broken by Great Emperor Hung Yu, these two pieces fell here. The large black dog's eyes were filled with heat. He dashed forward quickly. Dang. He hit it hard, but the black metal block didn't move a bit. It vibrated like the sound of a huge bell. It's definitely a broken piece of that person's weapon, the large black dog shouted. Tu Fei also walked forward and hit it hard. His hands were numb, but he couldn't leave a mark on it. It can't be compared to the holy treasure of the great emperor, but it's definitely a top-grade material for forging tools, the large black dog said. They didn't know what the black metal block was. Even if the black emperor was knowledgeable, he couldn't recognize it. However, one thing was for sure. This material was very precious, and its hardness was astounding. I guess even the great sage lords wouldn't ignore it if they saw it. Tu Fei and the large black dog walked forward. One man and one dog moved at the same time, each taking a piece. Boom! The sky shook and the earth shook. The moment the black metal block was taken, the void shook, and the scenery changed greatly. Chapter 311 The golden desert shattered like glass. The sea of sand in front of them disappeared, and the faint silhouette of a mountain appeared on the horizon. This is. They were all shocked. I understand now, the large black dog said. As expected, it's the Tao patterns on the shattered weapon fragments that are affecting the desert. We've put them away, and this corner of the desert has returned to normal. Presumably, the entire desert is like this as well. This was a pleasant surprise. The Black Emperor and Tu Fei had obtained rare materials and broken out of their predicament. They walked out of the desert. After walking for a dozen miles, they completely left the vast desert and came to the edge of the oasis. It was late autumn, and most of the trees had lost their leaves. Only pine trees, green maple trees, and a few other trees were still green. What a big fat dog. We're in luck. Tonight, we'll braise black dog meat. In front of them, there were a few figures standing at the edge of the oasis. They were smiling strangely. They wore iron clothes that shone brightly. You two little bastards, leave behind all the source energies on you and scram. The black dog almost jumped up, but he didn't act up. He ground his teeth. Who are you? Two Fei's face darkened. As the descendants of a great bandit, this was the first time he was robbed. You came to the wrong place. Leave your source energies behind and get lost. You don't have the right to ask questions here. These people were very arrogant. They didn't care about the two humans and the dog at all. Of course, this dog has to stay. We'll have a good meal today. They laughed unscrupulously. Woof. The black dog couldn't hold it in anymore. He pounced and opened his bloody mouth to bite. This black dog is quite fierce, but it tastes better this way. They say that fierce dogs have delicious meat. One of them was dressed in a suit of silver armor, and he walked up to the large black dog before slamming his hand down onto its head. Clang. This slap was very solid. The black dog didn't even dodge. He had bones of steel, and his physique wasn't any weaker than Yi Fan's. It brandished its large claws, and with a P.U. sound, this person was slapped over on the spot. A terrifying bloody wound appeared on his body. This dog. The expressions of the people behind him changed. The large dog was clearly more powerful than the average dog spirit. A single swipe of its paw was enough to make a first firmament Dao Palace cultivator vomit blood. The large black dog had been enraged just then. Now, he had transformed into a streak of black light and was rushing back and forth at the foot of the barren mountain. A pair of large claws waved, and those iron clothes were like paper, unable to block at all. With a kacha sound, these people were all pressed to the ground. You dare to eat me. There's no such person in this world. Two wisps of white smoke rushed out of the large black dog's nostrils. These wisps of white smoke were formed from his fury. The people on the ground had been arrogant at first, but now they all became more obedient. They knew that they had kicked an iron plate, and under the large black dog's sharp teeth, all of them began to wail in agony. Who are you? How dare you disrespect me? Yi Fan and Tu Fei didn't need to ask anything as the big black dog was already roaring. He needed to vent his anger. It stepped on their bodies, and every time its huge claws pressed down, they would howl. Under the big black dog's roar, these people confessed everything. They were bandits in this area, and their forces weren't small. Yi Fan instantly laughed and said to Tu Fei, they are in the same line as you. Don't compare these immoral people to me. The real bandits only rob holy lands. They won't bully the weak. 
Tu Fei walked forward and kicked them hard. Speaking of which, these people weren't weak. All of them were at the first firmament of the Dao Palace. They were definitely not weak bandits. Only a few of you? Tu Fei asked. We have a village with dozens of people. It's on the mountain in front of us. Under the large black dog's claws, these people confessed everything. They had come to the back of the mountain to bury Source and had coincidentally met Tu Fei's group. Yi Fan instantly laughed. Tu Fei had helped him borrow 25,000 kilograms of Source, and then he had robbed 57,000 kilograms from Duanda. In total, he had more than 80,000 kilograms. He still needed 10,000 kilograms to fill three cubes. Although he had a divine Source, he couldn't estimate how much pure Source it was compared to. Dig out all of your Source. You. These strong bandits were angry, but they didn't dare to disobey. At the edge of the desert, they dug out a dozen boxes of source. When they opened these wooden boxes, they were all colorful and sparkling. There were at least 500 kilograms of source. You guys are really good, comparable to a small sect. How many people have you robbed? Yi Fan sneered. Without hesitation, he swept away the 500 kilograms of source with his big sleeves. Leave half for us. Otherwise, we will be punished. The few of them cried, full of regret. You still have to hand it in. Yi Fan was surprised. This time, he personally interrogated them, using his strong divine consciousness to suppress them and get everything he wanted to know. This province was called Anjo, but it wasn't peaceful at all. It was a huge area, more than 8,000 miles wide. There were many bandits, and there were five famous groups. The few people in front of him were under one of these bandits. Within a certain period of time, they had to hand in a certain amount of source. After Yi Fan used his soul consciousness to look through their memories, he pointed several times and ended their lives. These people should be killed. Their hands are stained with blood. They are a bunch of scum. They even kill mortals. To the bandits of Anjou, this late autumn was a little cold. Within 8,000 miles, many bandits were robbed, and many leaders were killed. In this season when the last yellow leaves fell, and provinces roving bandits underwent a great purge, even three of the five most famous groups wiped out. For half a month, Yi Fan carried the god-striking whip and swept through Anjo, robbing all the bandits. To avoid being exposed, Black Emperor didn't show up. Tu Fei occasionally helped him. Late at night, bonfires flickered. This mountain range was filled with the stench of blood. This stronghold was huge. It was the fourth stronghold of the five big bandit strongholds in Anjo. In the stronghold, there were a total of six powerhouses at the fourth firmament of the Dao Palace holding down the fort. They were the toughest group of roving bandits. Yi Fan experienced a great battle and finally managed to kill them all. The yellow leaves on the ground rustled in the autumn wind, and the bonfire crackled. Corpses were strewn all over the place, and blood stained the ground red. Yi Fan didn't think that he would have such a big harvest this time. After he had purged all the big and small bandits within 8,000 miles, he had collected more than 20,000 pounds of source. Late at night, the bonfires flickered. The goat legs on the wooden rack were grilled until they were golden and glossy. Next to them were several bottles of wine that exuded a tempting fragrance. After dealing with the last group of bandits, Yi Fan and Tu Fei sat on the mountain, facing the moon and drinking. The Black Emperor was wolfing down the food. Of the four goats, three and a half were in his stomach. This time, I killed someone from the same profession as you. Yi Fan smiled. Don't compare them to me. I've never robbed ordinary people. I've never done anything evil, refuted Tu Fei. Those bandits had robbed many oases. They had accumulated a lot, which was beyond Yi Fan's estimation. Now, he had collected 100,000 pounds of source. Even if he didn't count the divine origin, it was enough. After purging the bandits in this oasis, even Tu Fei was surprised that he had collected so much source. Yi Fan took a bite of the tender yellow goat leg, drank a mouthful of wine, and said, according to this calculation, if I loot the bandits of the various oases one by one, even if it's five million kilograms of origin source, I can still gather it. Tu Fei shook his head. You're too optimistic. This oasis is special. I can feel that someone supports it. Otherwise, it wouldn't have so many bandits and source. There's only one group of bandits left. However, I don't want to touch them now. I need to cultivate in seclusion. I've collected 100,000 pounds of source. I can't linger. Yi Fan drank the last mouthful of wine and threw the cup into the bonfire. I'm going to disappear for half a month. Tu Fei nodded. You should cultivate in seclusion. I'll protect you. 
Anyway, you have to leave this place and find another place. I'm sure someone will support those bandits in case something unexpected happens. Kid, I still have a part of the 100,000 pounds of source. The big black dog lifted his giant head. You greedy dog. When you stole the god beating whip, you gave it up. If you want it, this prefecture has one last famous place for bandits. When I get out of seclusion, I'll take you there to get the source. That day, Yi Fan started to cultivate in seclusion. He chose a place deep inside a mountain range. He put the 100,000 pounds of source into the cauldron. Then, he walked into the cauldron. He thought that the saint body needed a massive amount of essence chi to break through at once. If it was too scattered, it wouldn't work. Thus, he put it in the cauldron. Besides, the Black Emperor carved a Tao pattern for him. The jade stones around sparkled, changing the sky and earth and gathering the essence chi from everywhere. In the depths of the mountain range, withered leaves were everywhere. The autumn wind was like a knife, cutting down the grass, cutting off the lush green and withering vitality. For half a month, mysterious Tao sounds reverberated in this mountain range, as if someone was chanting the supreme scripture of the Great Path. The essence chi from everywhere gathered like water, making the essence chi in this place like water. Many withered flowers and grasses broke out of the soil again. Endless vitality was restored. It was a miracle. The essence chi was so dense that it made the plants bloom again. They sprouted and bloomed again. The ancient cauldron was misty. Endless origin chi flowed and overflowed. 100,000 pounds of source was refined at the same time. What did it mean? One could clearly see the multicolored light inside the cauldron. Auspicious clouds were dazzling, and Yi Fan was completely submerged. The West Emperor scripture was indeed worthy of being called a supreme scripture. It effectively guided the rich Genesis Qi into his body like a tide. Inside the Tao Palace, the five great divine treasures shook at the same time. The passing self and the Tao self seemed to really exist. They moved heaven and earth and comprehended the nature of the great path. Chanting for the me of this life, existing with heaven and earth, making a wish for the me of the present, connected with the life master, immortal in the present. Regardless of whether it was the me of the past or the me of the present, at this moment, they were all moving the world of the great path, transforming themselves. The sonorous voice of the great path resounded through the mountain range. It was as if someone was chanting the supreme scripture and explaining the wonderful principles of the great path. However, it was difficult to truly distinguish the sound and understand the meaning. It was like the ancient emperors were chanting, or like the ancestors of ancient times worshipping the supreme saint king. Around the cauldron, withered trees sprouted, old vines turned green, and tender grasses broke out of the soil. Vigorous vitality reappeared. The smell of the soil was mixed with the fragrance of flowers and grasses. The plants welcomed spring and grew again in the bleak autumn. The flowers were dyed with color again. This was a new world. Life was growing. Tender green was tinged with yellow. Flower buds swayed. Everything was full of hope. In the distance, Tu Fei was shocked. He said, the chanting of scriptures in the Tao Palace is like the supreme great path. It can actually spread out and blend with the essence qi, giving the plants new life. This is really shocking. The large black dog was also watching and said, even in the ancient times, there weren't many people like this. To be able to do this at this cultivation level, the sacred body of the ancients is really not simple. On the 18th day, Yi Fan took out the grain of divine source. Because he was about to finish refining the 50,000 kilograms of divine source, he still hadn't advanced to the fourth heaven of the Tao Palace. He didn't want any accidents to happen and ruin all his efforts. Divine source was formed from the essence chi at the beginning of heaven and earth. It was the most original essence. Although it was only one grain, the moment it was refined, a divine light shot into the sky. It was golden and dazzling, making it hard for people to open their eyes. Swoosh. Immediately afterward, the golden divine light flashed and disappeared, returning to the cauldron. The most original essence of the world rushed into the palace of the Holy Ji, making Yi Fan's entire body shine. He was like a god that had existed for eternity. In the Tao Palace, the sonorous sound of the Great Path became even louder, covering the entire mountain range. Many plants were in spring, and endless vitality appeared. It was as if there really were ancient emperors discussing the Great Path and chanting the supreme ancient scriptures. It was also as if a saint king had descended. Countless ancient ancestors were praying with great sincerity. Chapter 312 Around the cauldron, plants flourished and sprouted leaves. It was full of vitality. This was a pure land full of life and hope. The chanting echoed through the depths of the mountains. Chanting and praying rose and fell. 
It was as if they had really returned to the primordial era and the great emperors were discussing Tao. On the twenty-first day, the cauldron was misty. Although the chanting of the great path was still ringing, it was very different. There seemed to be an indescribable feeling in the mountains. Tu Fei and the big black dog looked up. All they could see was lush greenery. It was as if summer had arrived. The vines and plants were flourishing to the extreme. Above the cauldron of all things, Yi Fan sat cross-legged. He had already appeared. This seclusion was about to end. Whoosh! He opened his eyes. Divine light rushed out like a real dragon, more dazzling than lightning. But in the next moment, he calmed down and landed on the ground. He blended into the surrounding scenery as if he had become one with the plants. The chanting stopped, and the cauldron grew to a meter tall, hovering above his head. Yi Fan carried the god striking whip on his back and stood there quietly, looking peaceful and natural. There was no frightening aura or elegant temperament. There was only reality. He was like a very radiant young man standing there, no more than fifteen or sixteen years old. He couldn't sense how powerful he was. He didn't seem like a cultivator, but more like an ordinary mortal with a body of flesh and blood. There was an aura of simplicity to him. I've finally come out of seclusion and entered the fourth heaven of the Doctrine Palace. I'm not far from the consummate level, Tu Fei said with a smile. The big black dog came over and circled around him. He was actually drooling and said, I heard that once the sacred body of the ancients is accomplished, the blood will be different. It's a divine substance for refining medicine. Kid, why don't you give me some of your blood? Tu Fei glanced at him and said, All right, stop talking. Prepare the chamber pot tonight and put it in Yi Fan's room. Go get the holy liquid tomorrow. It'll be more effective there. Woof. The battle between the man and the dog began. The man and the dog were fighting each other half of the time. Stop fighting, Yi Fan advised. This time, he had finally entered the fourth heaven of the Tao Palace. Just as he had expected, he had successfully cultivated the divine treasure of the spleen. The five elements were of the earth attribute, and he was in the five elements inverse Tao cultivation palace. The divine treasure of the spleen was in charge of the circulation and transformation of blood essence. It was the source of qi and blood, nourishing the internal organs and bones, and was the foundation of the postnatal realm. This divine treasury was extremely important. Many things needed after birth could be reborn through it. Yi Fan felt his qi and blood become more vigorous. The strength of his corporeal body had reached a terrifying level. Right now, he was not afraid of swords and weapons. He could withstand any dharma treasures and weapons with his body and shatter them with a single punch. Unless it was a weapon with a powerful background, it was useless against him. Tu Fei tried to use some treasures. However, the pair of gold fists smashed all of them into powder. Nothing was left. I think that if I fight you with my body, it will be a tragedy. I can only attack from a distance. Tu Fei concluded. This time, Yi Fan refined 50,000 kilograms of origin source and a divine source, which exceeded his expectations. However, the effects were obvious. He did not need to test it to know how terrifying his power was. This feeling is really good. Yi Fan's team didn't leave Anjou. Two days later, they arrived at a cliff. This was the last group of the five big roving bandits. Rocky cliffs were everywhere. Stone forests were everywhere. This place was tranquil. There was a majestic main peak in this rocky area. It was the residence of the fifth bandit group. Shadows were flashing on the peak. The scale of the stronghold wasn't small. Stars twinkled in the sky. The night wind blew through the rocky cliffs, making humming sounds. Yi Fan and Tu Fei climbed the main peak in the dark. Outside the stone stronghold, two big flags were fluttering. Some cultivators were hugging wine jars and drinking. They didn't notice that someone was approaching them. Yi Fan's team didn't take action. They quietly entered the stronghold and wanted to kill the bandit leader. Flames were sparkling on the mountain. The stronghold was bustling with people. Many people were drinking and drinking. The aroma of the wine spread far. Many people were surrounding the bonfires. At the same time, they heard drumming music. These people looked natural and unrestrained as they were drinking and having fun. In the air, a few young girls were dancing. They looked very ethereal under the moonlight, like fairies from the moon palace dancing gracefully in the air. Heavenly music echoed. It was really peaceful. This stronghold isn't simple. Letting the female cultivators sing and dance is really extravagant. Yi Fan carried the god-beating whip on his back, walking in big strides. Tu Fei stood next to him. Blackie was waiting outside, but he didn't show himself. You have big guts. However, at this moment, someone shouted coldly by the bonfire in front of them. 
You don't know how to live or die. You show yourself again. It's worth waiting for you for more than 20 days. A group of people walked out from the inner stronghold in a single file. There were even more people who stood up from the bonfire and quickly surrounded the area. Yi Fan's real face was shrouded in mist. He didn't use the sky and earth changing great technique. He stood side by side with Tu Fei. You two have robbed all the bandits in Anjou? This middle-aged man was around 35 or 36 years old. He looked at them with a dark face. Tu Fei was startled. This was a cultivator of the four extreme secret territories, not weaker than him. He immediately said, they've killed many people. They deserve it. Did you help them? You've ruined our master's plan. Even if we skin you alive, you won't be able to atone for it, said the middle-aged man with a dark face. As Tu Fei was a descendant of Deco, he would never lower his voice. He shouted, who are you? You talk big. Nobody dares to touch my people in the northern region. The middle-aged man grinned fiendishly. You've scattered the bandits in Anjou. You want to show off? You think we don't dare to skin you alive? Chenda, don't be rude. This is the grandson of Tu Tian's seventh master. Hurry up and apologize. At this moment, a feminine voice came. From the stronghold, two cultivators of the Holy Xi Palace's secret territories carried a soft chair. More than a dozen hotshots followed them, protecting them. They approached the stronghold quickly. On the soft chair was a feminine young man. He reclined on it, holding a glass of wine and swirling it. Four young girls served him on both sides. One of them used a white silk handkerchief to wipe the wine stain on the corner of his mouth. His face was pale, lacking masculinity. He waved his hand, asking the four girls to step back. He then threw the glass aside. Brother Tu, how have you been? The feminine young man greeted him casually. It's you, Su Yuan. Tu Fei was startled, his face grimaced. Who is he? Yi Fan asked discreetly. He's a scum we shouldn't mess with. He's the grandson of the third bandit, Su Tianxiong. He's favored, but he's bad from head to toe. He's not a good person. He's never done anything good. This was Tu Fei's evaluation. Is he strong? asked Yi Fan. Tu Fei said, he's not strong. I think he's still at the fifth sky of the Holy Xi Palace. However, his grandfather is really strong. He's the third bandit, Su Tianxiong. He's ranked above the Green Flood Dragon King. Who dares to provoke him? Besides, his older brother, Su Hang, is the number one hotshot among the descendants of the 13 great bandits. He can suppress Wu Zhongtian. This kid isn't afraid of anything. He's done too many bad things. He even touched the women of the other bandits' descendants. Yi Fan frowned. This man was a typical villain. It wasn't easy to deal with him. He had forces and connections. Tu Fei said, if we can avoid it, we shouldn't have a conflict with him. This scum holds grudges. He can do anything. Brother Tu, do you have a prejudice against me? Why don't you greet me when we meet today? Su Yuan reclined on the soft chair, asking coldly. Although Tu Fei didn't have a good impression of him, he had to answer, why would I? I'm just a little surprised. I didn't expect to see you here. Harumph. Su Yuan snorted, sitting up from the soft chair. He glared at Tu Fei and said, you're in a good mood. You came to Anjou and killed all my subordinates. Tu Fei said, it's a misunderstanding. I saw them burn, kill, and loot. They've done many bad things. No matter what, I would have never thought that they were your subordinates. Are you blaming me? Su Yuan's eyes were malicious, raking through Tu Fei and Yi Fan. He waved his hand and a young girl poured him a glass of good wine. She gently brought it to him. The thirteen great bandits have their principles. As their descendants, we shouldn't act like that, said Tu Fei. Pa. Su Yuan threw the jade glass in his hand on the ground, his face dark and gloomy. You meddle too much. Don't think that I don't dare to kill you since we're both descendants of the great bandits. You. Tu Fei was enraged. He was about to turn hostile. His competence was much higher than Su Yuan's. Four silhouettes flew over, standing in front of Su Yuan to stop Tu Fei. Their murderous auras diffused everywhere. You guys step back, Su Yuan sighed. Su Yuan sighed and said, forget it, I'm a little hot-tempered. We're both descendants of great bandits. Even if you've killed so many of my subordinates, even if you've destroyed the foundation of my Anjou province, I'll still endure it. Who asked us to be friends? Tu Fei was bewildered. This bastard was notorious. He held grudges and was ruthless. How could he be generous like that? However, Tu Fei soon knew the other's plan. Su Yuan's slender jade-like fingers gently tapped the soft chair. 
His voice was soft and sinister. We're friends. I won't mind it. However, I won't spare this man. He gazed at Yi Fan. Su Yuan, you're retreating to advance. I think you know who he is, right? Tu Fei darkened his face. The other wanted to rob the holy treasure. Su Yuan beamed a faint smile. I don't care who he is. I only know that he has killed many of my men. Today, I must subdue him. Yi Fan understood that the other had guessed his identity from Tu Fei. He wanted to rob him. Yi Fan revealed his real face. What do you want? What do I want? You've killed so many of my men. Of course, I have to take your life. Su Yuan smiled sinisterly. Tu Fei stepped forward and said, This is my friend. If you want to kill him, you should count me in as well. Tu Fei, don't force me. Friends are friends. He has destroyed the foundation of my Anzhou prefecture. Today, I have to subdue him. Su Yuan didn't look friendly. What if I don't agree? He asked Tu Fei in a low voice. Then I have to apologize to you. If I bring you to Master Tu Tian 7, I must take this man with me. Su Yuan smiled and drank another glass of wine. Then, I have to fight you, said Ru Fei coldly. I don't want my brothers to kill each other. How about this? I will compromise one more step. Su Yuan leaned on the soft chair and said, ask him to apologize to me. Of course, he must show his sincerity. How can I show my sincerity, asked Tu Fei. Next to him, the cultivator at the four extreme secret territories, whose name was Chenda, stepped forward. Of course, he has to kowtow to apologize. Otherwise, he would be a joke. Yeah, he should show his sincerity, Su Yuan smiled faintly. Doesn't he have the myriad chi? He has robbed our origin. We should just give him the cauldron. Another cultivator stepped forward. He had also entered the four extreme secret territories. All right. Su Yuan leaned on the rotten chair and said faintly, let him count out to me and give me the myriad chi cauldron. Then, I will spare his life and let him go. You're going too far. Tu Fei was enraged. Are you sure you can defeat me? Yi Fan was calm. He beamed a cold smile as he strode forward. Is the four extreme secret territories that great? He strode forward, shaking the entire mountain. Chapter 313 Everyone knew that Yi Fan was a cultivator of the Holy Palace secret realm and could not enter the four-level secret realms. But at this moment, everyone moved in unison. Both Su Yuan and the people around him had their glabella flicker, and a magical item appeared to block the sea of consciousness. In the northern region, many cultivators already knew that Yi Fan's consciousness was extremely powerful. Few of his peers could match him, so they had to protect their consciousness when they saw him. Although the sacred body of the ancients did not show the supreme charm of the ancient times and could not shake the world, he still had a certain reputation among the younger generation, and his consciousness was feared. Next to Su Yuan, a cultivator of the four-level secret realm mocked, what a big tone. You don't take the cultivators of the four-level secret realm seriously at all. Unfortunately, you will never be able to step into this realm. Yi Fan looked calm and ignored him. He said to Su Yuan, I don't want to have a conflict with you, but if you force me, blood will flow on this mountain today. Who do you think you are? What right do you have to talk to my young master like this? Kneel to the side and I'll deal with you later. Chenda shouted coldly. Kneel and offer the cauldron. Kneel to the side. How dare a small cultivator of the Holy Palace secret realm speak such nonsense? Kneel and wait for your punishment. The people around Su Yuan shouted loudly. Su Yuan put down his wine cup, wiped his mouth with a white handkerchief, and said in a soft voice, I've given you a chance. Whether you can grasp it or not is up to you. Kneel here and offer the cauldron, and I'll let you go. A man has gold under his flag. Su Yuan, you're deliberately forcing us. You have no intention of stopping. Tu Fei shouted coldly. Su Yuan smiled indifferently and threw the white silk scarf on the ground. He said calmly, how could that be? I said that as long as he offers up the cauldron and kneels down to apologize, everything can be forgiven. Boom. The ancient cauldron hovered above Yi Fan's head. The source chi of all things fell, and strands of it protected his body. He held the god-beating whip in his hand and stood in the middle of the field. How dare you attack in front of the cultivators of the four levels secret realm? You won't have a chance even if you kneel on the ground. Chenda was the first to attack. He arrived in front of Yi Fan with a single step, creating a gigantic hand made of energy that grabbed towards Yi Fan. The earth and yellow hand covered the sky. This was the power of a cultivator from the four extreme secret realms. Raising his hand was like a dragon, causing the void to tremble. His target was the myriad chi cauldron. 
He wanted to take it away directly. Do you think you're the golden-winged little pun king? Yi Fan sneered, not afraid at all. With the myriad energy cauldron above his head, he rushed forward. His left hand clenched into a golden fist, directly causing the void to collapse. He swung it towards the sky, and with a P.U., the sound of something shattering could be heard. That large hand was actually shattered by Yi Fan's fist. Energy surged, rushing in all directions, sweeping many mountain rocks into the sky. The giant energy hand was blocked by the sacred body of the ancients, which was beyond his expectations. How strong was his opponent's physical body? Everyone was shocked. Yi Fan's physical body was so terrifying that he could fight against the cultivators of the four-level secret realm with his bare hands. It doesn't matter. His physical strength is his advantage, but who would compete with him in terms of physical strength? Just kill him from afar, another cultivator of the four-level secret realm said. Chenda sneered and said, that's right. How can the cultivation of the Holy Xi Palace secret realm compare to the four-level secret realm? Today, I will beat you until you kneel and make you hand over the cauldron with both hands. Yi Fan was indeed fearless. In the past, when he was at the third firmament of the Dao Palace, he could suppress a fourth firmament expert. Even if he faced a fifth firmament Dao Palace cultivator, he would still be wary, but it was not as if he could not fight them. Now that he had refined 100,000 kilograms of Source Qi and advanced to the fourth level of the Holy Xi Palace, his divine power was like the sea. It was boiling, and there was no doubt that he could defeat a fifth level cultivator. Moreover, he could also fight against someone at the first level of the four levels. Yes, he had such a feeling. Every time the sacred body of the ancients advanced to the next level, it would become much stronger. Now that he had revealed the nine secrets, he could definitely fight against someone at the first level of the four levels. He had the confidence to win. The sky was dazzling. Chen De appeared in the sky while riding a blood-colored lightning bolt, striking at Yi Fan. Tens of thousands of lightning bolts intertwined to form a dense electric net that shook the sky and earth. However, the cauldron on top of Yi Fan's head flowed with the color of black and yellow, blocking all the lightning outside. It could not hurt him at all. So that's all the cultivators of the four levels secret realm are? Is that what you're proud of? Yi Fan taunted. Chen De's expression was not very good. As a cultivator of the four level secret realm, if he could not suppress a cultivator from the Holy Xi Palace secret realm, where would he put his face? He opened his mouth and spat out a brilliance. It was a huge golden net that covered the sky and fell toward Yi Fan. Ha! Huh. At that moment, Yi Fan let out a soft cry and a divine light rushed out of his mouth. It turned into a scroll that was filled with patterns of the Great Path. This is, the supreme secret technique of the Ji family, innate Taishu Qi. Many people were shocked. This was the innate origin essence that was refined from the void. When it was spat out by Yi Fan using the Battle Saint technique, it had a different charm and was equally powerful. Boom. The void trembled. The innate Taishu Qi was like a Daoist diagram that was filled with misty brilliance as it hit the huge golden net. Crack. The soft yet tough treasure was penetrated at that moment. The innate Taishu Qi was invincible, and there was nothing it could not break. The Daoist diagram rushed through. The huge golden net immediately dimmed and was no longer a treasure. It was like a broken fishing net, and all the essence was scattered by the Daoist diagram. Chen De's expression was gloomy. He was embarrassed to be defeated by a cultivator from the Holy Xi Palace secret realm. Dang! With a long, long rumble, Chen De took out a silver bell that shook the heavens and the earth. The entire mountain was shaking, and the dazzling light rushed into the night sky. However, Yi Fan was very calm. The pressure in the sky was very strong, but he was not afraid and stood alone in the field. The silver bell rang through the mountains and rivers. The stone cliffs in the distance made cracking sounds, and many large rocks rolled down. This was the power of the cultivators from the four extreme secret realms. The bell above Chen De's head vibrated, and silver ripples turned into terrifying sharp blades that slashed downwards. Dang, dang. The cauldron made from the chi of all creation was hit until it trembled, and it was under great pressure. The bell waves were like the ocean, and they turned into tens of thousands of layers. Under the attacks of the cultivators from the four extreme secret realms, Yi Fan was shaking, but he did not show any signs of losing. On the contrary, he rose into the air and took the initiative to attack. A firefly dares to compete with the bright moon? Chen De had absolute confidence that the cultivators from the four extreme secret realms would use all their treasures to fight against the cultivators from the Daoist palace secret realm. The silver bell rumbled, and it suddenly fell down, pressing down on Yi Fan. This bell was really extraordinary. 
Its entire body was crystal clear, and silver light shot out in all directions, illuminating the heavens and the earth. Yi Fan did not dodge at all, and he was still rushing up. The Chi of all creation cauldron above his head descended, and in his hand, there was a god-beating whip. It was simple and unadorned, but when it was swung, it caused the void to collapse, and it was as heavy as a mountain. Dang! The blow from the god-beating whip caused the bell to ring loudly, and everyone on the mountain peak had their ears ringing. They could almost hear nothing. Chenda's body trembled, and he felt as if his divine sense had been hit, but he did not think too much about it. Dang! Yi Fan held the god-beating whip in his hand, and he swung it down again, striking on the silver bell. His strength was immense, and the whip was incomparably hard. Even though the silver bell was extraordinary, cracks appeared on it. Chenda's body suddenly shook, and his divine sense stung. The divine sense that was placed in the bell felt as if it had been slapped. He wanted to control the bell to retreat, but it was too late. Dang! When Yi Fan swung the god-beating whip for the third time, the silver bell could no longer withstand it. It first made a loud sound, and then with a crack, it was smashed in the air. Hundreds of pieces of the bell turned into a meteor shower, splashing in the night sky, rushing in all directions. Ah! Chenda screamed, and his hand touched the space between his eyebrows. The god-beating whip specialized in hitting people's divine sense. Just now, Chinda's divine sense was smashed into pieces, and it gave him a splitting headache. Yi Fan's speed was extremely fast. He used the footwork of Crazy Bowl, and in a flash, he rushed past, swung the god-beating whip, and smashed it down. Crack. Chenda's head split open, and red blood and white brain matter splattered everywhere. His divine sense was completely destroyed, and his dead body fell to the ground. Below, everyone was like clay sculptures. They could not believe that all this was real. A cultivator from the Holy Realm of the Doctrine Palace had killed a cultivator from the Four Levels Secret Realms. How is this possible? The sacred body of the ancients is invincible among those of the same level, but he hasn't cultivated a vision yet. How can he cross the Secret Realm and kill his opponent? Many people on Su Yuan's side were shocked, and they could not accept this result. Only Tu Fei understood what was going on. Chen Da and Yi Fan were fighting. If he did not use his divine sense to control the treasure, he would not have been killed like this. Unfortunately, he encountered Yi Fan with the god-beating whip. This was destined to be a tragedy. The whip was indestructible, and it specialized in hitting people's divine sense. If one did not understand it, they would be restrained. I wonder if this is the god-beating whip from the Shang and Zhou dynasties. Yi Fan muttered to himself. The ancient wooden whip in his hand was full of the aura of time. Not only was it heavy in his hand, but it was also heavy in his heart. I wonder where those people in the past have gone. Yi Fan asked himself. He quickly came to his senses and landed on the ground. With the cauldron of myriad chi above his head and the ancient god beating whip in his hand, he strode forward and approached Su Yuan and the others. I said, if you force me, this mountain is destined to be filled with blood and corpses. Three cultivators from the four level secret realms came forward together, and the mountain suddenly shook. One of them said, even if you kneel on the ground right now and offer the cauldron of myriad chi with both hands, you will not have a chance to live. You go too. You must take his head. I don't want any accidents to happen. Su Yuan leaned back on the soft chair and let another cultivator from the four level secret realms come forward. A total of four cultivators from the four level secret realms stood in front of Yi Fan, and all of them took out their most powerful magic weapons. Under the night sky, the lights shone brightly. The divine power of these people was monstrous. After all, they were from the four level secret realms. Their bodies were bright and intimidating. In addition to their powerful magic weapons, the aura that they released was so powerful that even Yi Fan was pushed back. It seems that he is only a so-so. How did Chinda kill him so easily just now? Su Yuan revealed a doubtful look. However, at this moment, he was completely relaxed because he could already see that the four cultivators from the four level secret realms could easily suppress Yi Fan. He was far from being a match for them. Spare his life. He has secrets that I want to know. The four experts nodded and surrounded Yi Fan. Their murderous aura filled the air and shook the mountain. You forced me to do this. Yi Fan's voice was extremely cold. Even if they were the descendants of a great bandit, he did not care. Su Yuan drank a cup of wine and took the silk handkerchief handed over by the girl next to him. He wiped his mouth and said in a feminine voice, I gave you a chance, but you did not take it. You sissy, you want me to kneel to you, and you want to offer me a cauldron. 
Let's see how you will kneel in a while. Yi Fan directly attacked. The myriad Chi cauldron was hazy, and the yellow light fell down, protecting him inside. He held the god-beating whip in his hand and faced the four experts alone. The four experts each took out a golden cauldron, a purple lightning hammer, a silver eight trigrams mirror, and a red copper lamp. The four secret treasures were all extraordinary, and they pressed down on Yi Fan. The void trembled, and all the spiritual Chi in the sky was sucked dry. It gathered on the four divine items, trying to crush Yi Fan's flesh and bones. The four weapons all blossomed with auspicious colors and divine clouds. They were as heavy as mountains, and they crushed down on Yi Fan. The four people stepped forward at the same time and pressed down together. The mountain peak trembled violently, and under their might, the boulders on the cliff rumbled and rolled down the mountain. At this moment, Yi Fan mobilized all the spiritual qi in his body, and the secret of all of the nine secrets was activated. He swung the god-beating whip in all directions. Pa cha pa cha. Four consecutive sounds were very straightforward. The golden cauldron and the red copper lamp were all smashed. The god-beating whip specialized in attacking one's consciousness. The moment the purple lightning hammer and the silver eight trigrams mirror were smashed, the four people all screamed, and blood flowed out from between their eyebrows. Pft. Pft. Yi Fan swung the god-beating whip and smashed two of them into pieces. Both their bodies and souls were destroyed, and it was impossible for their consciousness to be preserved under this whip. Yi Fan did not kill the other two. He rushed past them and came in front of Su Yuan, raising the whip to strike. You. Su Yuan never expected such an outcome. It was completely illogical. How could the four experts be defeated? Clang. A golden divine pagoda appeared in front of him. This was a treasure personally refined by the third great bandit, Su Tianxiong. Its might was unimaginable and extremely extraordinary. Su Tianxiong favored this young grandson, so he naturally gave him powerful treasures for self-defense. The golden divine pagoda shot out a dazzling light that enveloped Su Yuan and protected his body. The golden pagoda floated in the air, blocking Yi Fan. However, Su Yuan's cultivation was only at the fifth firmament of the Dao Palace. How could he withstand the present Yi Fan? His divine power was like the sea, inexhaustible. Clang. Yi Fan lashed out with the whip, sending the golden divine pagoda flying. The impact caused Su Yuan's face to turn pale. His consciousness felt like it was being torn apart as he screamed. Yi Fan grabbed him by the collar. After reaching the fourth firmament of the Dao Palace, he had the confidence that he could easily suppress a fifth firmament expert. You want me to kneel at your feet? I think you should be the one kneeling. At this moment, the myriad Qi cauldron floated above his head and the god-beating whip in his hand. His divine might was awe-inspiring, like an ancient god of war had reappeared in the world. Chapter 314 Su Yuan was not weak. He was only 19 years old, but he was already at the fifth level of the Holy Xi Palace. He was quite extraordinary for his age. Divine light surrounded his body as he fought back with all his might. Unfortunately, he had encountered Yi Fan. Against the sacred body of the ancients, all of his efforts were futile. He could not break free or fight back at all. The huge golden hand grabbed his collar and lifted him up like a pair of pliers. Yi Fan carried him with one hand and held the god-beating whip in the other. He rushed back to the original battlefield like a ghost, intending to kill the other two cultivators of the four extremities. Su Yuan's face was pale as he struggled with all his might. He cut off Yi Fan's arm with the golden void-splitting hand. His palms shone with a green light that was comparable to divine jade. Clang. Unfortunately, no matter how hard he tried, he could not even hurt Yi Fan's skin. On the contrary, his hands hurt, and his jade-like green fingers were dripping with blood. Save your strength. A cold smile appeared at the corner of Yi Fan's mouth. He grabbed him by the collar with one hand and clamped him in the air like a chicken. Put him down. Do you know who he is? Acting so viciously will bring you a great calamity. A cultivator of the Four Extremities' secret realms put up a strong front. He could only use his status to intimidate him. It was too disappointing to fight. Just now, the four of them attacked together, and two of them were killed. Yi Fan sneered, I even dared to burn the Supreme Elder of the Ji family to death, let alone you guys. He rushed over with large strides and swung the god-beating whip. With the weight of Mount Tai, he smashed it down. The cultivator of the Four Extremities' secret realms was shocked. He formed the Chilin seal with both hands. Dark light shone in front of him, and a black Chilin appeared, roaring and rushing over. Pfft. Yi Fan shook the cauldron, and a wisp of source Qi rushed out like a chaotic sword aura. 
It was extremely sharp, and it split the black chilin in half. Boom! The cultivator of the four extremities' secret realms shook all ten of his fingers, shooting beams of dazzling divine light toward Yi Fan. The void trembled. Boom! Tu Fei took action. He didn't want to stay out of this. The imitation of the ancient sky swallowing jar was so mighty that it could even make people's souls shiver. This cultivator cried out in alarm. After all, he couldn't compare to the children of the great sage. His body was almost sucked in and fixed in midair. Although the replica of the extreme path weapon was incomplete, and the materials and Dao patterns were far inferior to the original, it was still very terrifying. At this juncture, he had no other choice. He took out all his magical treasures and attacked the ancient sky devouring jar replica. Light flickered and was exceptionally dazzling under the night sky. He took out more than ten magic treasures in succession and used all of his strength to strike, causing the void to tremble as he attacked with all his might. Pa cha pa cha. Yi Fan strode forward and swung the divine striking whip. One magic treasure after another was broken and the cultivator cried out wretchedly on the spot before falling to the ground. His divine sense was severely injured, and before Yi Fan could kill him, he was already unable to support himself and was rolling around on the ground. Puff. The cauldron above Yi Fan's head released a wisp of mysterious yellow gas and crushed him into powder in an instant, turning him into a pile of bloody mud. His body and soul were completely destroyed. The other cultivator from the four extreme secret realms wasn't so loyal. He had been watching coldly from the side and turned to leave when he saw that the situation wasn't good. Black Emperor, seal the outside for me. Don't let anyone out. Yi Fan sent a telepathic message. Su Yuan was captured by him. If the news got out, the consequences would be very serious. The third greatest bandit, Su Tianxiong, was even more terrifying than the mighty green dragon king. In the distance, the black fog filled the sky. The cultivator from the four extreme secret realms and the others who were escaping were all blocked and couldn't rush out. Why run? Didn't you say that you want me to kneel here and offer the myriad chi cauldron? Yi Fan chased with large strides and said, the cauldron is right here. You can come and take it. You, dare to touch Su Tianxiong's grandson? Stop now. There's still room for redemption. The cultivator from the four extreme secret realms wasn't very strong-willed. Things have come to this. You still want to redeem yourself? Tu Fei took action. The replica of the ancient heaven swallowing jar was taken out and a black hole formed in the sky. The simple and unadorned jar had a shocking devouring power. It was like a bottomless pit that could swallow people's souls. This person wasn't Yao Shi and couldn't be compared to the son of the great sage. Naturally, he couldn't block the heaven-swallowing devil jar. It was difficult for him to move as if he was trapped in a swamp. You! He screamed in fear. This was because Yi Fan had approached him with the god-beating whip. It was already very difficult for him to resist the heaven-swallowing jar. If he had to face this person who was like an ancient god of war, he would definitely die. Yi Fan's murderous aura was soaring. He didn't want to let him go. The cultivator knew that it was useless to admit defeat. His eyes were ruthless as he said, if you kill us, you won't be able to live either. Su Hung will take action. Su Tianxiong won't admit that his grandson was killed. He opened his mouth and spat out a rain of swords. More than a hundred flying swords were crystal clear as if they were forged from stars. They were extremely sharp and flashed with divine light as they pierced towards Yi Fan. Kacha, Kacha. Everything was in vain. Using divine consciousness to take out weapons to kill Yi Fan was like using paper to extinguish a fire. Yi Fan swung the god-beating whip and broke dozens of flying swords. The cultivator screamed and fell to the ground. His cultivation level was higher than Yi Fan's, but he couldn't stop Yi Fan's attack at all. This made him extremely unwilling, and even if he died, he wouldn't be able to die in peace. Pfft. Yi Fan pointed with his finger. A golden light shot out and left a bloody hole on the cultivator's forehead, ending his life. Tu Fei wasn't a pushover either. When he attacked, he didn't hesitate and swept the ancient heaven devouring devil jar in all directions. Yi Fan stopped. The cultivators of the four extreme secret realms had all been killed by him, and the rest were nothing to be afraid of. He looked down at Su Yuan. At this moment, all ten of Su Yuan's fingers were broken. Blood flowed, and the green light was shining. It was a little scary. His finger bones seemed to be broken, and he could no longer exert strength. Put me down. I have something to say to you, Su Yuan said in a low voice. Slap. Yi Fan gave him a slap and sneered, you're still putting on airs. 
You want to tell me that you're Su Tianxiong's grandson? Sorry, I already knew that. You. Su Yuan's face was pale, and he was shaking with anger. But he quickly controlled his emotions and said, I didn't mean that. I just want to talk to you. Maybe we can become friends. There's no need to be enemies. Why didn't you say that just now? Yi Fan gave him another slap and said, Just now, who was the one who calmly told me to kneel on the ground and offer the myriad chi cauldron with both hands? We don't get to know each other without fighting. Although we have conflicts, we can still become friends. Su Yuan's voice gradually calmed down. He knew that the person in front of him dared to provoke even the Holy Land. If he still shouted recklessly after falling into his hands, he would definitely be slapped to death. You're right. We don't get to know each other without fighting. We only get to know each other after fighting. Yi Fan threw him to the ground. Su Yuan rolled his eyes and almost fainted. Bang! Yi Fan kicked out like he was kicking a ball, sending Su Yuan flying. In less than five steps, he caught up and slapped him to the ground, breaking many of his bones. Puff! Su Yuan vomited blood. He struggled for a while but couldn't get up. He gave an embarrassed smile and said, You vented your anger. Let's talk. Actually, I don't like the people of the Holy Land. We can cooperate. How could Yi Fan believe him? Tu Fei said that this man was evil from head to toe. He had done all kinds of evil deeds. Moreover, he held grudges the most. Because he had a grandfather that no one dared to provoke and a brother that was invincible among the descendants of the great bandits, he could do anything. Pa! Yi Fan's palm landed on his face, sending him flying. Blood flowed out in a long stream, spitting out from his mouth, falling from the sky. Don't kill him. Otherwise, we'll be in big trouble. Tu Fei came to Shi Yan after dealing with the others. Tu Ji Yi, we've been friends for generations. Su Yuan looked at Tu Fei and shouted. Bang! Yi Fan kicked him into the air and slapped him repeatedly with his golden palm, causing Su Yuan to wail and wail. Even though he was at the fifth level of the Holy Xi Palace, he was unable to withstand the golden palm and fingers of the sacred body of the ancients. In the end, Su Yuan was almost crippled by the golden hands. His voice didn't belong to a human's. Don't, hit me. Su Yuan was dumbfounded. Throughout his life, no one had dared to touch even a finger of his. He had always been the one who ate others. Today, he had asked Yi Fan to kneel down and offer his cauldron. The result was tragic. Yi Fan slapped him one more time before stopping. He sat on the soft chair and said, I'll give you a chance. Apologize to me and give me all of your origin. Maybe I'll spare your life. Okay, no problem. Su Yuan gritted his teeth and knelt on the ground. A malicious light flashed in his eyes. As long as he could live, he was willing to do anything. With a flash of brilliance, a pile of origin appeared on the ground. It weighed more than 800 kilograms and was colorful. It was especially dreamy and eye-catching under the night sky. It's just a little bit. At most, it can keep one of your ears intact. Yi Fan's voice was cold. Su Yuan cursed in his heart but didn't show it. He said, although I have origin, I can't carry it all with me. If you want, I can get it for you. Do you want your grandfather to deal with me? Yi Fan sneered. Absolutely not. If you want to live, give me 200,000 kilograms of origin and we'll call it quits. Yi Fan demanded an exorbitant price. You. Su Yuan's vision darkened and he had the urge to vomit blood. I robbed the bandits of the Anjo and got more than 20,000 kilograms of origin. I don't think you've only managed this state, right? I don't want to listen to your nonsense. If you can't give me origin, I'll kill you. Under Yi Fan's watchful eyes, Su Yuan didn't dare to conceal anything. He was afraid that the other would use his powerful soul consciousness to check his sea of consciousness. If that happened, he would suffer. Indeed, he had supported some other bandits. He could gather around 20,000 kilograms of origin. It was his limit. He didn't have more. Yi Fan searched the entire village and found more than 3,000 kilograms of origin. At this moment, Tu Fei retrieved the gold pagoda and said, This is the weapon that Su Tianxiong has refined personally. He really loves his grandson. It's worth 30,000 kilograms of origin. This gold pagoda was majestic and sparkling. Not long ago, Yi Fan had used the god striking whip to whip it away. However, it wasn't damaged. It was as good as new. The materials it was made of were rare and precious. The Tao patterns carved on it were complicated. It was a rare treasure. The five-tiered ancient pagoda had dragon carvings on each level. 
They were natural and simple, filled with the aura of the Tao. I'm afraid this ancient pagoda has some background. Yi Fan nodded and then looked at Su Yuan. You can gather at most 20,000 kilograms of origin. Including this pagoda, it's only around 50,000 kilograms. If you don't have anything else, I have to kill you. Boom. All of a sudden, the gold pagoda shook. A shadow flew out of the fifth level. An old man appeared and said, Little friend, can you show mercy? Chapter 315 Grandpa Su Yuan was surprised and then thrilled. He screamed, Grandpa, kill them. Su Tianxiong Tu Fei was startled, staggering backward. Can you spare my grandson? Su Tianxiong wore an emotionless face. He was just a wisp of soul consciousness, but when he stood there, he seemed to be in harmony with the great path. I don't want to have a grudge with your grandson, but he doesn't want to spare me. You heard him. He wants you to kill us. With his character, he will harm me in the future. Yi Fan hovered above the myriad Qi cauldron and held the god-beating whip. Do you really want to kill my grandson? The old man was still expressionless as he asked. He emitted an oppressive aura that caused people to feel a chill down their spines. Buzz. All of a sudden, Yi Fan took action. Although he was facing Su Tianxiong who was much stronger than the Blue Flood Dragon King, he wasn't afraid. Roar. The god-beating whip lashed out. Su Tianxiong's soul consciousness had been sleeping all day. Unless Su Yuan couldn't protect his life, it would wake him up. However, even if he had the earth-shaking power, he was just a wisp of soul consciousness. How could he know the magical features of the god-beating whip? Pa! The god-beating whip hit him directly. It was so fierce that the gold pagoda was blown away. Tu Fei hurried to use the sky-swallowing jar to protect his body. Su Yuan screamed pathetically as the energy waves sent him flying. He fell far away like a broken leaf. What kind of secret treasure is this? Su Tianxiong, the third bandit, had his body cracked, but he still screamed. Pa! Yi Fan didn't answer. He continued to swing the god-beating whip, smashing it into a halo. Boom! Following that, he struck out a third time. The brilliance was extinguished, and it completely disappeared from the sky, turning into ashes. You attacked Su Tianxiong's soul consciousness? Tu Fei was startled. He didn't think that Yi Fan would be that bold. I attacked first to gain the upper hand. I saw that he wanted to protect his grandson. I was afraid that he would use some secret technique. Yi Fan carefully examined the ancient pagoda, fearing that there was something strange inside. He said, since we have offended their bloodline, we have to do it cleanly. Kill them all so that they won't be able to find us. Don't kill me. Su Yuan's heart was completely cold. He didn't even know that his grandfather's divine will was in the ancient pagoda. He had accidentally met him and thought that he could escape from danger. He never thought that this would be the result. Tu Fei sighed. Su Tianxiong is really intimidating. It's just a wisp of his soul consciousness. If it's his real body, I shiver just thinking about it. After checking carefully, Yi Fan threw it to Tu Fei and said, This gold pagoda isn't bad. You should keep it. Tu Fei shook his head like a rattle drum. Who dares to use this toy? If Su Tianxiong finds out, he will definitely hunt you down. Yi Fan chuckled and said, Leave it to that dog. I reckon that if it sees it, it will snatch it for itself. Do you really want to kill him? Tu Fei frowned. He thought that killing Su Yuan would be really troublesome. Do I have any other choice? Should I let him go? You know, with his temperament, he will stir up a storm to harm me, said Yi Fan. Don't kill me. Let me go. I promise I won't trouble you anymore. Su Yuan screamed. At this moment, he was filled with fear. His life was in the hands of the other's thought. Tu Fei thought for a while and then said, we should subdue him first and keep him alive. I'm afraid that Su Tianxiong will know about this sooner or later. At that time, we won't be able to save him. If we start a war with him, the Great Sage will have a headache. All right, nodded Yi Fan. Unfortunately, he didn't have a suitable item to seal the pagoda. He couldn't open the Li Fire Divine Furnace. If he opened it rashly, the little Pun King, the Yao Guang Saint Sun, and Yao Shi could escape immediately. Also, he didn't feel comfortable using the Gold Pagoda. Anyway, it was the other's weapon. Let me subdue him. Tu Fei put Su Yuan into the Sky Swallowing Jar. That's... Woof! The big black dog ran over. Seeing this, his big eyes almost popped out. He turned into a jet of black lightning, furiously storming towards Tu Fei. Holy sh asterisk t. This dog is crazy. Tu Fei screamed. He found that the big black dog was enraged. He wanted to risk his life to fight with him. 
Yi Fan hurried to stop him, using the God Striking Whip to stop the Black King. What's wrong with you? Are you crazy? The large black dog panted heavily, and his eyes widened in rage as he asked, Where did you get this jar? Damn dog, you're too greedy. It's a replica, not the real one. Why do you want to steal it? Two Fei scolded. Of course, I know it's a replica. But without the real one, how could you replicate it? The big black dog was agitated, his giant body shivering. Two Fei squinted at him and said, Did you climb out of your grave? Everybody in the northern region knows that my grandfather has an incomplete sky swallowing jar. Of course, he helped me replicate it. Oh whoa. The large black dog howled. He was as furious as he could be, and as sorrowful as he could be. He cursed, F asterisk CK. That was the treasure that I wanted. How could it have been stolen by that old fart, your grandfather? Damn dog, how could you talk like that? Tu Fei wasn't happy. What nonsense are you talking about? My grandfather has had the sky swallowing jar for hundreds of years. It's none of your business. Oh woof. Woof. The big black dog howled and barked. He was so agitated that he couldn't calm down even after running dozens of laps around the mountain. Oh no. It's over. This damned dog has been provoked. Yi Fan knew that the treasure left by the cruel man that the big black dog always wanted was this sky swallowing devil jar. He briefly explained the situation to Tu Fei so that he wouldn't irritate the big black dog further. How did your grandfather get it? After one hour, the big black dog calmed down and asked angrily. He picked it up, Tu Fei told him the truth. Damn it! He picked it up. The big black dog was almost driven crazy. That year, I risked my life to dig it out. I was trapped in the training field of the cruel man for many years. Your grandfather picked it up casually. Do you want to piss me off? Everybody in the northern region knows about this. My grandfather was really lucky. He picked up a jar by a dry ancient river. I didn't expect that it was the sky-swallowing devil jar that was famous in the antiquity era. Woof, woof, woof. The big black dog couldn't stand it anymore. He started to run around the mountain, barking non-stop. The black king couldn't stand this kind of stimulation. He had risked his life but he didn't even see the devil jar. But this guy picked it up easily. Where did your grandfather pick it up? The big black dog asked unwillingly. Didn't you guys make a big fuss in the Broken Cloud Mountain Range when you came to find me last time? Years ago, my grandfather picked it up by a river outside the mountain. The big black dog really wanted to vomit blood. Not only was his heart hurt, but his liver and lungs were also hurt. His whole body was injured. He roared fiercely at the sky, this is so f asterisk king unfair. How can I bear this? In the antiquity era, the sky swallowing devil jar was famous in the world. There were many stories about it. According to one, the emperor of the antiquity era, when he was about to die, used his nascent soul as fire, his peerless flesh as clay, and countless godly materials in the legends of the eastern wilderness to forge his own body into a jar, leaving behind an ultimate weapon for his descendants. Some people said that this emperor cultivated the indestructible heaven art. He created a divine fetus in his dying old body and forged his old body into an ultimate weapon, the sky-swallowing devil jar. Whether it's his old body or his real body, it's still his body. He was a ruthless man who forged himself, the big black dog exclaimed. This also showed how precious the phoenix blood gold and the source chi of all life were. They were rarely seen in thousands of generations, and even the great emperor might not be able to obtain them. Otherwise, who would refine their own body into an extreme holy weapon? The big black dog said, you mean your grandfather, that old b asterisk starred, only picked up the devil jar several hundred years ago but didn't get the lid? Damn dog, how can you say that? Tu Fei glared at him. Okay, I misspoke. Did the lid not appear, the big black dog asked nervously. Tu Fei answered, no. In this world, there is only one devil jar. The lid is not found. My grandfather tried to find it, but he couldn't find it. The lid is the most precious part. According to legends, it's made of the skull of the great emperor with some celestial materials. It has the seal of his primordial spirit. The word devil in the ancient sky swallowing devil jar is on the lid. It's the most terrifying source. The big black dog wasn't desperate anymore. He swore he would get the lid. Then, he gazed at Tu Fei maliciously. Tell your grandfather to be careful. I'll find him later. Damn it. Tu Fei cursed. Eventually, the big black dog calmed down. He finally noticed the ancient gold tower not far from him. It was just as Yi Fan had predicted. It pounced forward at once, snatched it into its hand, and pressed it down with its large claw, saying, This golden pagoda is a so, so it can barely give me some time to use. This is the treasure of the third bandit, Su Tianxiong. 
We've subdued his grandson. Do you dare to use it? Yi Fan asked. Which one is Su Tianxiong? I've never heard of him. The big black dog didn't care. He's ranked above the green flood dragon king. Think about it yourself, Tu Fei said. Damn it. The big black dog cursed, but he didn't give up. He said, I'll take it first. We'll talk about it later. He would rather kill the wrong person than let him go. As long as there was something good, he would take it. Yi Fan's group didn't stay in Anzhou for long. Following Su Yuan's instructions, they went to Kuan Prefecture and started to sweep the source stones. Su Yuan was ambitious. He was secretly building up his force. Even his grandfather and brother didn't know he was planning for the future. Unfortunately, he met two people and a dog. All his efforts were in vain. During this half a month, Yi Fan had robbed all the bandits in Kuan Prefecture. He had seized 28,000 kilograms of source stones, which was much more than what he had expected. Kuan Prefecture was a beautiful place. Evergreen trees were everywhere, including pines, celestial maples, purple bamboos, and cold vines. Even though it was late autumn, the land was full of vitality. The celestial maples were swaying, and their leaves were crystal clear. They looked like jade trees, sparkling with green light. Besides, some trees had snow-white flowers. When the wind blew, the flowers danced. The fragrance of the petals was refreshing. In front of them, streams of spiritual spring flowed through the celestial maple forest. Ah, there's someone in front of us. It's a beautiful girl. Tu Fei almost howled like a wolf. She's so charming. She could be considered a peerless beauty. Did you notice that she has a pure aura like a crystal heart? She's like a fairy on an ice mountain. The girl who could catch Tu Fei's eyes and make him exclaim like that was definitely not ordinary. His highest goal in this life was to steal the saintess to be his wife. He had high standards. In the celestial maple forest, a girl in blue clothes didn't have any worldly aura. She had an otherworldly beauty. She was like a white lotus with rolling dewdrops, or a fresh snow lotus on a snowy mountain. The immortal maple trees were all like green agates, emerald green and glistening. Moreover, there were pure white flower petals drifting down, fluttering about the young lady's surroundings, sparkling and sparkling, releasing a strong fragrance, making her look like a fairy, otherworldly and beautiful. It's her. Yi Fan was surprised. Chapter 316 The girl in blue was like a fairy under the moonlight. She had an otherworldly appearance as if she didn't belong to this world. She had both spirit and beauty. The immortal maple trees were so green that they looked like they were carved from green jade. They swayed gently with green light moving around them. Pure white petals fell from the sky. The fragrance was so sweet that it could intoxicate people. Wait, wait. wait. Yi Fan was surprised. He saw an old friend. Wei Wei came from the spirit ruin paradise. She was the one who took Yi Fan, Pang Bo, and the others out of the forest outside the desolate antiquity forbidden lands. Her beauty was rare. The spirit ruin paradise didn't want to delay her cultivation, so it sent her to the wavering light holy land. When Yi Fan crossed the sky to the north region from the southern region and sneaked into the wavering light holy land, Wei Wei seemed to have noticed him. She didn't expose him and even gave him some advice. Yi Fan didn't think he would see her here. He waved his sleeve and put the big black dog into it. Kid, what do you mean? The big black dog wanted to bite him. You met an old friend. Behave yourself. Don't give yourself away. Recently, he had been robbing bandits. Yi Fan had used the heaven and earth changing great spell to hide his true appearance. The only thing he could see was the big black dog. You know this girl who is as pure as crystal and as beautiful as a fairy? Tu Fei was surprised. Then he shouted, you beast, you beast. Why do I feel like you have relationships with many women? Stop your bad taste. I owe this girl. She saved me before she became a wavering light disciple, Yi Fan said. Although they were still far away, Wei Wei's spirit sense was very sharp. When she turned around and looked at him, her eyes were like jade beads shooting out clouds, brightening the entire maple forest. Why do I feel like she recognizes you? Tu Fei looked surprised. He already knew that Yi Fan knew the heaven and earth changing great spell, so he was surprised. Impossible. I didn't just change my appearance. Even my aura is different. How could she recognize me? Yi Fan said. However, Wei Wei really walked over. She was light and graceful. Her blue dress danced in the wind. Crystal petals accompanied her. She looked like a fairy. Can she really see through my true appearance? Yi Fan was a little surprised. Tu Fei said, this world has the underworld eye, which can see through the netherworld and the underworld. Other than that, there were also a few other types of heaven eyes. 
Among them, the celestial spiritual eye could see through falsehood. No matter how one tried to disguise it, it could look straight at the source. I think this girl most likely has a celestial spiritual eye. Look at her, she's as pure as an immortal, born out of this world. This isn't pure, this is a kind of immortal aura, and it matches with the legendary immortal spiritual eyes. Immortal spiritual eye. Yi Fan was surprised. Yeah, it's the immortal spiritual eye. Otherwise, how could she see through your earth and sky changing great technique? Two Fei suddenly became excited. Capture her. What are you thinking? Yi Fan wanted to punch him. You don't know. People with the heaven eyes are favored by God. She has the immortal spirit aura. If you marry her, you will benefit a lot. Two Fei's voice sounded like he was talking in his sleep. What are you talking about? You're just talking nonsense. Yi Fan slapped him to wake him up. No, it's true. You don't know that the Void Emperor of the Ji family became the Great Emperor because he married a Goddess King. Many people say that, Tu Fei said with an envious face. Black Emperor in Yi Fan's sleeve couldn't help but scold him. Dream on. Do you think that's how the Great Emperor became? The Great Ancient Emperors cultivate by themselves. Tu Fei argued. The ancient books have records that the Ji family will have a God King physique every ten generations. Because they are the descendants of the Goddess King, this inheritance is immortal. There's evidence that the Void Emperor used to marry the Goddess King. According to you, the Hung Yu Emperor of the Jiang family also married the Goddess King? Yi Fan smiled and asked. No, it's not that. Some of his descendants used to marry the Goddess King, said Tu Fei. Black Emperor sneered. What did the later generations think of it as? Marrying a God King isn't for cultivation. It's to let one of his descendants have a God physique to protect his family. The Void Emperor understood how hard it was to become the Great Emperor. Since the ancient times, only a few people could become the Great Emperor. He didn't think that a family could have a second Great Emperor. It's not realistic. Tu Fei argued. Then why did some Almighty say that marrying a woman with a God physique and immortal spirit aura has a chance to become the Great Emperor? There's only one reason for that. It's because the women with the God physique and immortal spirit aura are favored by the heavens. They have the immortal aura. Living with them, they will feel like immortals. Sometimes, they can understand something. However, if they want to become the great emperor, it's not useful. In other words, it's useful for cultivation. Tu Fei argued. What's the use? Tu Fei and the big black dog had started to fight before Vivian could reach them. Swoosh. Vivian was like a moving light or a flying shadow. When she came to them, she was graceful and full of wisdom. She was so beautiful that she didn't look like a mortal being. Fairy, what do you want? Yi Fan didn't believe that she could recognize him. Vivian's white teeth were sparkling. She smiled, which brightened the entire maple forest. I'm here to capture Yi Fan. Yi Fan knew that Vivian didn't want to kill him. She did recognize him. Where's Yi Fan? I'm also looking for that bastard. He's worth 100,000 kilograms of origin source. Tu Fei pretended to be dumb. It's not easy to find the real Yi Fan, but there are many fake Yi Fan. Last time, Daoist priest Duan was hurt badly. If he hadn't taken out the black iron token at the critical moment, he would have been beaten to death. Today, the real Yi Fan is worth 200,000 kilograms of origin source. Vivian's lips curled up. She looked charming and bright. Ha! Huh. Tu Fei laughed. That wicked Daoist has shown his true colors. You've been recognized, haven't you? These days, they were busy robbing the roving bandits. They didn't pay attention to what happened that day. The real old rock king has come. No matter how powerful Daoist priest Duan is, he can't escape. Vivian chuckled. Yi Fan thought that she wanted to tell him the news. Indeed, Vivian smiled. The big shots of the great sage's land are gathering in the purple mountain to open the treasure of the ancient emperors. The young generation and some rogue cultivators are looking for Yi Fan. Oh, who are looking for Yi Fan? Yi Fan didn't point out that they knew each other. They had a tacit understanding. Many people, and all of them are extraordinary characters. Even the Xia Prince of the Central Plains is looking for him. He wants to use the Myriad Chi Cauldron to forge the divine weapon of the Xia Dynasty. There were four immortal dynasties in the Central Plains. They had been around for hundreds of thousands of years. They had survived thousands of tribulations and were extremely prosperous. They were all founded by the ancient emperors. Yi Fan had seen a Prince of Grand Xia before. His body was shrouded in Imperial Draconic Chi and nine dragons soared into the heavens. He was comparable to the Yao Guang Saint Child. His races, Grand Imperial Sutra, was unparalleled in terms of attack power and was said to be comparable to the Battle Saint Art. 
I wonder which Xia Prince he is. He is stationed in the holy city of the north. There is a Buddhist flower pinching girl by his side. Vivian smiled. Yi Fan knew that it was the Xia Prince he had met. The Buddhist flower pinching girl was undoubtedly the white clothed nun who was also the princess of the Xia dynasty. Yi Fan smiled faintly. He was going to the holy city and there might be a stone gambling battle with this prince of great Xia. Currently, the biggest threat to Yi Fan is the Alcade Ten Masters. The Alcade Ten Masters? Between In Prefecture and Kuan Prefecture, the Alcade Ten Young Masters are looking for Yi Fan. Each of them is really strong, Vivian told him the news. How strong are they? asked Tu Fei. They are the disciples of the Alcade Sex Elders. They are at the fifth sky of the Dao Palace. They can fight against the warriors of the Four Extreme Secret Realm. Moreover, four or five of them are at the Four Extreme Secret Realm. So strong? Tu Fei was astounded. The fifth sky of the Dao Palace could fight against the Four Extreme Secret Realm experts. Four or five of them were at the Four Extreme Secret Realm. It was really amazing. Yi Fan frowned, asking, aren't there only four Four Extreme Secret Realm experts in the young generation of the Light Shaking Realm? That was one or two years ago. Everybody is improving. There will always be some outstanding warriors who have broken through. Moreover, the disciples of the elders are low-key. They rarely show themselves in front of people. Did the top ten young masters come out just for Yi Fan? asked Tu Fei. Although the Alcade Saint is not the number one warrior of the same generation in the Eastern Baron territory, he is not far from it. With him here, the Light Shaking Realm experts won't have any other thoughts. However, he was subdued by Yi Fan. It's hard to say if he can come back alive. Some Grand Supreme Elders and Elders of the Seclusion sect want to support their disciples to take the throne. This time, whoever is able to kill Yi Fan will be able to add a great deal of glory to themselves. Why did the top ten young masters of the Alcade sect come to In Prefecture and Kuan Prefecture? asked Yi Fan. Vivian smiled and said, everybody knows that the sacred body of the ancients needs a lot of origin to level up. Some people have robbed the bandits on a large scale. Of course, they will be suspected. The top ten young masters of the Alcade sect who have come out from the dark want to compete for the position of the saint. Of course, they are the most sensitive. Heroes are chasing after a deer, but don't let the deer kill them all, mumbled Yi Fan. Weiwei's immortal aura was otherworldly, incomparably pure and holy. Her eyes were clear and bright, her smile extremely moving. The corners of her lips curled up as she said, Aya, I'm going to leave. I have master's orders to capture and kill Yi Fan. She turned around nimbly. Her jade-like feet stepped on the crystal petals and floated away, leaving only a trace of her fragrance. The big black dog couldn't wait to rush out of Yi Fan's sleeve. He looked at the beautiful figure that was about to disappear into the depths of the maple forest and said, that girl is very unusual. Her celestial aura is very strong, and she has an indescribable charm. Tu Fei nodded and said, she is indeed unusual. Does she want to use us to eliminate the top ten young masters of the Alcade sect? Does she want to be the female saint lord? Yi Fan said, no matter what, she doesn't want to kill me. She has seen through my real body twice in the south region and the north region, but she didn't ask for the credit from the Alcade sect. Tu Fei looked pensive and said, that's why I said this girl is extraordinary. I think she is the same as me. She thinks you can break the curse of the sacred body of the ancients and enter the four secret realms. Yi Fan said, since the top ten young masters trained by the hidden elder of the Alcade Holy Land have come to the Anjo and the Kuan Prefecture, I can't let them down. I want to kill all the so-called top ten young masters to shock the north region. I don't want them to think I'm a piece of fat meat. Tu Fei was shocked and said, what are you doing? You just want to vent your anger. It's not rational to do this. Yi Fan smiled and shook his head. I'm doing this to give people the illusion that they will focus on the oases while I'm about to enter the sacred city. You want to gamble with the stone materials of the great sages' lands? Tu Fei was startled. Yi Fan had told Tu Fei that he had the original sky scripture. Since the other had helped him, he didn't want to conceal anything. Yeah, it's a good chance. The important characters of the great sages' lands are heading to the Purple Mountain to open the treasures of the ancient emperors. I want to get to the sacred city and gamble with the stone materials of the great sages' lands. Yi Fan talked to Tu Fei seriously. I need your help. After I get to the sacred city, you need to create a dense fog in the oases to make people think that I'm robbing the origin stones everywhere. Yi Fan had mastered the earth and sky altering great technique. However, to be safe, he thought it was better to make more arrangements. It's easy to do that. You just need to set up a deceptive formation. I'm sure they will come to you with hope. Tu Fei smiled. The Black Emperor also needs your help. You just need to show your face and carve some formations. 
Then, you can go out and walk around. Yi Fan didn't wait for the Black Emperor to express his opinion. You know that after I've cultivated the original sky scripture, it won't be a problem for me to find the divine origin. Helping me now is helping yourself. After they had discussed everything, Yi Fan looked at the distance and said, Before we get to the sacred city to gamble, we should finish the top ten young masters first. We should create more waves in the peaceful north region. Chapter 317 Before the Archaic Era, the northern region was full of vitality. Lush greenery was everywhere, and the spiritual chi of heaven and earth was so dense that it could not be dispersed. It crystallized and transformed into an origin. There were countless spirit herbs and godly medicines. Now, however, the flowers were gone, and the vegetation was withered. The land was desolate. The red soil and the reddish-brown rocks made it look desolate. Even though there were many oases, they were insignificant compared to the scarlet land. They were like scattered islands in the middle of a vast ocean. This also showed that the northern region was vast and boundless, because there were countless oases, many of them spanning thousands or even tens of thousands of kilometers. Between the Kuan Prefecture and the In Prefecture was a vast desert. It was scarlet and stretched as far as the eye could see. Yi Fan carried the god striking whip on his back as he walked alone on this reddish brown land. He had already learned that one of the top ten light shaking realm cultivators of the younger generation might pass by this place. Tu Fei had gone to the In Prefecture, and the large black dog had stayed in the Kuan Prefecture to help him search for the top ten light shaking realm cultivators. The boundless scarlet land was exceptionally desolate and cold. As far as the eye could see, there was almost nothing. It was empty and deathly silent. The only scenery was probably a few towering red rocks. On this boundless scarlet land, they did not attract too much attention. This was a kind of monotonous emptiness. There were no other colors or scenery. There was only ancient, withered land. Yi Fan did not walk very quickly, but his steps were firm. With each step, he left a footprint on his back. With the god striking whip on his back, he entered the depths of the scarlet land. Suddenly, he stopped and stood there silently. He gazed at the end of the land. On the horizon, a small black dot was quickly approaching. He's here. A cold smile appeared on Yi Fan's face. His first battle was about to begin. This time, he had made up his mind to fight. At the end of the horizon, the small black dot was extremely fast. Gradually, he could see that it was a sturdy figure. His feet did not touch the ground, and his shoulders did not move. He was three inches above the ground as he stepped through the air. In the blink of an eye, the person had already closed in. His figure and appearance were clearly visible. His steps were not fast, but they were extremely fast. With every step he took, he seemed to disappear from his original spot and quickly reappeared in front of him. He actually had the profound meaning of shrinking the ground into inches. This person was definitely not simple. This was a 21 or 22 year old man. He wasn't very tall, but he was very sturdy. His skin was bronze in color, and he gave off a powerful feeling. His long hair was jet black, and his eyes were spirited. He was very sharp, giving off an oppressive feeling, and even a bit invasive. One look and one could tell that he was a very strong person, as if he wanted to control everything in his hands. His skin was the color of wheat, and he looked very valiant. His body seemed to be cast from copper, and his every movement made people feel that he was brave and powerful. Whoosh! The newcomer suddenly stopped in his tracks. He was three feet above the ground and stood in front of Yi Fan, sizing him up. Two terrifying beams of light shot out from his eyes, like two sharp swords. It's you. Yi Fan. He spat out these four words, resounding and forceful, as if a golden bell was ringing, making everyone's eardrums tremble, the scarlet earth tremble. That's right, it's me. Yi Fan stood on the ground and stared at the valiant man in front of him. This person was indeed not ordinary, and even Yi Fan felt a bit of pressure. The man stared intently at Yi Fan and said, I was looking for you, and I didn't expect you to appear. Were you waiting for me? That's right, I've been waiting for you for a long time. Today, I'll be the first to send you on your way. Yi Fan's reply was very straightforward. Ha ha ha. The powerful man laughed loudly. His black hair fluttered in the wind, and a chill appeared on his bronze skin. He said, now, everyone in the northern region is looking for you, and you still dare to act like this? You can wear out iron shoes in a fruitless search, only to find what you're looking for without even looking. You've saved me the trouble of searching everywhere. Let's register. After all, you're the first opponent I've met today, Yi Fan said calmly. Gu Lidian. The valiant man announced his name. The top ten experts taught by the hidden elder. Let me see what's so special about you. Don't be smashed to pieces by my fist. Yi Fan walked forward. 
You know quite a lot, and you talk quite a lot. Unfortunately, this is no longer the primordial era. Your physique was born in the wrong era. Gu Litian landed on the ground and pressed forward step by step. He said, the top ten experts were all mobilized for you, but I found you first. This is the will of the heavens. The will of the heavens, do you think I'm a piece of meat on the chopping block? Yi Fan laughed. You have the sacred body of the ancients and are known to be invincible among your peers. Everyone knows that, but do you think the top ten experts are here to die? Gu Litian mocked and laughed coldly. In this world, there is no shortage of talented people. The sacred body of the ancients is no longer favored by the heavens, and there will always be other physiques born. Even in terms of physical strength, you won't necessarily be the best. Suppressing my physique, is it? Let me see how it goes. Yi Fan walked forward in large strides. Gu Litian did the same. He was not afraid of Yi Fan's extraordinary physique at all. It was obvious that he wanted to fight in close combat. However, in the process of pressing forward, an immortal glow shone between his brows. A piece of purple starry divine metal appeared, protecting his frontal bone and between his brows. Yi Fan was speechless at the sight of this. His powerful divine sense seemed to be useless now. Indeed, his divine sense was as vast as the sea and could kill powerful enemies with brute force. It had long been known to the northern region, and all the younger generation knew that one needed to protect their sea of consciousness first when fighting him. Gu Litian turned into a copper bolt of lightning and rushed over in five steps. He was indeed arrogant, daring to fight the sacred body of the ancients in close combat. I'll borrow your head. I'll bring it back to the sacred ground and offer it to my master, he said softly. His copper skin sparkled and was actually surrounded by dragon chi. Boom. Gu Litian threw a punch. It was as if there was an earthquake, and the ground beneath his feet shook violently. His arm was like a dragon, strong and powerful. Bam! Yi Fan waved his golden fist and met the attack. When their fists and fingers collided, there was a loud sound like thunder. Level 5 of the Holy Xi Palace Gu Litian had perfected the palace, and his combat strength was astonishing. He could destroy those at the first level of the secret realm of the Four Extremes. It was indeed as Vivian had said. Boom! Gu Litian was sent flying with a look of shock. He said, you've broken through again. You're at level 4. How did you get 50,000 kilograms of source? He was full of disbelief. It was no surprise, as 30 kilograms was an astonishing number. How could a lone cultivator collect all of it? Yi Fan did not move at all. His body could definitely look down on the Holy Xi Palace and the Four Extremes. In terms of pure physical strength, few in the same generation could compare. However, he did not let his guard down. Gu Litian was not ordinary, and he gave off a dangerous aura that was not inferior to the cultivators of the Four Extreme Secret Realm. Suddenly, the roar of a dragon was heard. The red ground shook, and Gu Litian's body shone brightly. Purple mist seeped out of his body, and his body underwent a drastic change. Purple scales grew on the surface of his body, and purple light shone around him. Even his face was the same. A demon? Yi Fan was shocked. Gu Litian did not answer. He turned into a beam of purple light and rushed over. He was filled with a dangerous aura. His body was extremely strong, and explosive power flowed within it. Bam! The moment he rushed over, he clashed with Yi Fan. Clanging sounds could be heard, and the two fists were like four divine hammers clashing together. Yi Fan was indeed surprised. Gu Litian's physical strength had increased by a lot, and he was actually able to block his golden fists. However, Yi Fan was not worried. He shouted and raised his battle strength completely. His body shone with golden light, and he looked like an ancient god of war. Boom! At that moment, he threw a punch, and Gu Litian, who was covered in dragon scales, was at a disadvantage again. He was completely suppressed, and then he turned into a bolt of purple lightning and flew backward. The sacred body of the ancients is indeed extraordinary. I've been refining my body with the blood of dragons since I was young, and even after twenty years, I still can't compare to your physique, Gu Litian said in a low voice. His master was very powerful, and he had tamed eight dragons to protect the mountain. Since he was young, Gu Litian would spend six hours a day refining his body with the blood of dragons. Furthermore, he would spend four hours sitting in a medicinal furnace, and his master would use all sorts of medicinal liquids to strengthen his body. As such, his physical body had reached a shocking level. Even so, he was still no match for the sacred body of the ancients. He paled in comparison when it came to close combat. No wonder he could fight against the four extremes in the Holy Xi Palace. So that's how it is. Even Yi Fan was a little envious. 
To refine one's body like that, one would need a lot of medicinal herbs and a lot of dragon blood. It was only because this was a sacred ground, or else no one would be able to afford it. Let me see the divine technique of Alcade, or else I'm afraid you won't get the chance to use it, Yi Fan said. Very few of the disciples taught by the secluded elders practiced the orthodox secret technique of Alcade. Gu Litian's physical body changed again, and he said, You've already entered the fourth heaven of the Holy Ji Palace. That's beyond my expectations, but that's nothing. I just need to take your head. Anyone can talk big, but you are far from being able to compete with me in terms of physical body. Yi Fan sneered coldly. Gu Litian shook his head and shouted, I've only cultivated my physical body. How can I stop here? Hand me your head. He opened his mouth and swallowed a purple orb. His entire body looked ferocious in an instant, and his joints crackled like beans being fried. An extremely terrifying aura emanated from him. Yi Fan was shocked and raised his hand to unleash a palm of the void. He activated the battle saint technique, and the palm turned from black to gold. Boom! The palm stretched across the sky like a golden cloud. It was so heavy that it was suffocating, and the crimson ground cracked right away. Boom! However, at that moment, the aura emanating from Gu Litian became even stronger. Purple light shot into the sky, and dragon scales flickered. He seemed to have turned into a purple dragon. He moved away like a bolt of purple lightning. His physical body seemed to be burning with purple flames, and his physical strength and combat ability increased several times over. Gu Litian consumed a dragon's orb. Of course, it was not a whole orb, but a piece, but it was still enough to frighten people. At that moment, apart from the lack of a tail and horns, he really looked no different from a dragon. The scales on his body became even thicker, and the purple light was blinding. Furthermore, his hands had almost turned into dragon claws, and his nails were half a foot long. They glowed with a cold light. This was a purple dragon in human form. Chapter 318 Yi Fan's heart skipped a beat. Gu Litian's physique and battle prowess had increased by several folds, making Yi Fan feel a sense of danger. In the past half a year, I've torn a total of five cultivators from the four extreme secret realms to pieces. You forced me to use my flood dragon transformation physique technique. Even if I die, I can be proud of myself. After Gu Litian turned into a purple flood dragon, his entire being seemed to have gained a bestial quality. He said, I can smell the scent of primordial saint blood. Why don't I let you live and imprison you for eternity? I'll extract your saint blood every day to refine my physique. You're speaking too soon. Yi Fan was fearless as he struck out with the embracing mountain seal. The great mountain stretched across the sky, forming a dark expanse. It blocked the sun in the sky and cast a large shadow on the ground. It possessed an incomparably great pressure. Gu Lidian grinned. He was extremely powerful and did not dodge at all. His right hand turned into a purple flood dragon claw and slashed forward. Pa! The purple flood dragon claw sank into the black mountain and tore it apart. The black mountain turned into a huge pile of debris that flew in all directions. He split the mountain with his bare hands and dissolved the embracing mountain seal, turning it into a storm of energy. Dark clouds filled the sky. Yi Fan frowned. His opponent's physique had indeed reached an inconceivable level. It was on par with him. The scent of saint blood intoxicates me. After Gu Litian turned into a humanoid flood dragon, he was extremely terrifying. He was even stronger than ordinary flood dragons, combining the strengths of both human and flood dragons. The only downside was that his bestial nature had clearly increased, to the point where it was suppressing his human nature. You've given up on yourself. The human body is filled with endless mysteries. Instead of exploring them, you chose to turn yourself into a half-human, half-beast monster. Today, I'll show you what it means to have an unparalleled physique. Yi Fan shouted as he turned into a golden bolt of lightning and charged forward. Even though his opponent's battle prowess had increased, he was not afraid at all. His golden fist brought with it an unstoppable force, causing the space in front of him to crumble. He arrived before Gu Litian in an instant. Wang. The void was like a painting scroll that was grabbed by a large golden hand and violently trembling. This was a horrifying scene. Yi Fan's physique was too powerful, and nothing could stop him. He was even about to break free from the shackles of space and break free from the cage of heaven and earth. Pa! The golden fist finally clashed with Gu Litian's flood dragon claw, causing blinding rays of light to fill the area. It was as if Tai Chi gave birth to Yin and Yang, and then they collided. It was as if two volcanoes erupted at the same time, causing the heavens and the earth to be dazzling with gold and violet. The ground was silently annihilated, and a huge crater appeared. The two types of energy turned the red ground into dust, and a large area disappeared. Ho! 
Gu Litian roared and charged out of the purple light like a wild beast. His legs shook as he pounced towards Yi Fan, his eyes flashing with a ferocious light. Yi Fan shook his head and said coldly, he lost himself. Even if he obtained great power, so what? How is he any different from a beast? Boom. Yi Fan's move was simple and direct. His golden fist punched out fiercely, hitting the opponent's claws. Clang. Clang. Kacha. Gu Litian's ten flood dragon claws were shattered and fell to the ground. Gu Litian screamed as his ten fingers were bleeding. Even though he had transformed into a half-human half-flood dragon and seemed to be able to compete with Yi Fan, his physical body was still not strong enough. The intense pain had weakened his bestial nature, and his consciousness had become slightly clearer. Is the sacred body of the ancients really that terrifying? He spat out a mouthful of purple blood. Then, his entire body surged with spiritual essence. Purple light wrapped around his body like a raging flame, creating a dazzling scene. Yi Fan stood in the void like a divine king. His entire body radiated with golden light. Even his black hair had a layer of golden luster. He pressed forward step by step. Gu Litian used a secret art to increase the toughness of his body and battle prowess. His expression became even more savage, and his face was covered with dragon scales. Nine Transformations of the Jiao Dragon He roared, and his joints began to shift again. The sound of bones cracking could be heard, and a chilling aura permeated the air. His body bent like the bones of a dragon and the body of a flood dragon before he charged forward with a whoosh. Murderous Aura Shocking Murderous Aura Purple light shot into the sky. His body was deformed beyond recognition, but he became even more powerful. The nine transformations of the Jiao Dragon had almost turned him into a real dragon. The nine transformations of the Jiao Dragon had transformed from a flood dragon into a dragon. Gu Litian charged forward and slapped with a pair of purple hands, causing the void to tremble and the dust on the ground to rise. Everything became unstable as purple mist surged. Hum. Yi Fan fought force with force and fought force with force. He slapped with his golden hands, breaking the sky with a single hand and shaking the heavens. Bang, bang. After more than ten consecutive collisions, Yi Fan stood firm in the sky, surrounded by golden light. Gu Litian, on the other hand, coughed up blood and fell back. Why? I clearly feel like I can suppress you, but why am I always at a disadvantage? Gu Litian couldn't understand. Purple blood dyed half of his body red. You are overdrafting your potential. Once is fine, twice is fine, but three times is too much. In my opinion, you are already exhausted. Yi Fan charged forward. He didn't want to give his opponent any more chances. My nine transformations of the Jiao Dragon, become a dragon among men. Gu Lidian roared. He opened his mouth and swallowed several purple cores at the same time. The Jiao Dragon cores were incomparably ferocious. Purple electricity shot out from his body and became incomparably violent. It was as if an ancient beast had come back to life. His body was stooped, and his limbs were deformed. He looked like a reptile, sinister and terrifying. Even his eyes had turned purple. The smell of divine blood. I will become stronger after obtaining your blood. His wild nature was revealed, and he seemed to have lost his sense of self. Yi Fan was like a deity with divine splendor swirling around him. His left hand formed a sun seal, and his right formed a moon seal. The two large millstone plates rumbled through the sky as he pushed them forward. As he pushed the sun and moon forward, it was as if a divine king had descended into this world, overlooking the common people. He was omnipotent. The sun and moon competed in splendor, releasing tens of thousands of rays of light under his hands. It was impossible to look straight at them. They were filled with a grand and divine aura. You have overdraft your potential. You have already withered. Yi Fan's voice was vast and dignified. Pung. Gu Litian was like a wild beast. He was incomparably ferocious as he pounced forward. However, what awaited him was only a great sun. The divine radiance shone down on his body. Pooh. Gu Litian was like a wooden puppet as he was sent flying by the great sun. A string of purple blood splashed down. He was shocked and furious. Swoosh. He bent his body and shot back like an arrow. He attacked again, but what awaited him this time was a bright moon. It struck him until he spat out purple blood and fell from the sky. It's time to end this. Yi Fan chased after him. He struck out with the embracing mountain imprint, but it was different from last time. The black mountain peak was pinched between his fingers, and it seemed even more realistic. Gu Lidian roared. Purple light flickered in his eyes as he grabbed towards the purple mountain. He wanted to tear it apart like last time, but this time, he couldn't move it at all. Pung. 
Yi Fan slammed the Black Mountain into Gu Litian's body, causing the surroundings to tremble. Gu Litian howled as his flood dragon body began to crack apart. Crackling sounds could be heard as the scales on his body began to fall off. Fresh blood began to pour out. Poo! Yi Fan pointed out, and divine light flickered as he gently chopped down. Gu Litian's head fell to the ground. Then, he struck out with the embracing mountain imprint, turning the headless corpse into dust. He landed on the ground and carved the character, Yi, into the red rock next to his head. The ten great experts of the Alcade realm have all come to kill me. You will be the first one I kill. Yi Fan only left behind the character, Yi. He believed that everyone understood what it meant. One character meant ten lives. The northern domain was about to be thrown into chaos. Ten great experts, I will deal with you one by one. Yi Fan turned around, the deity striking whip on his back as he walked deeper into the scarlet earth. In this battle, Yi Fan did not use the all secret character, nor did he take out the cauldron. He fought them head-on, attacking them head-on. He wanted to use this to test his own cultivation. Fighting against the ten great experts of the Alcade realm was the best way to temper himself. He would use these people as a sacrifice to his blade. At noon, Yi Fan encountered his second opponent. After a fierce battle, he killed him. Before sunset, he encountered his third opponent. Even though this person was only at the fifth layer of the Dao Palace, he was comparable to a cultivator at the four extremities. His battle prowess was astonishing, but he was still killed by Yi Fan. The earth was dyed red with blood. Yi Fan carved the third character, Yi, next to the head. The setting sun was as red as blood, connecting with the red earth. It was a beautiful sight. One could imagine that in a few days, the entire northern domain would be shaken. Of the ten great disciples of the Alcade realm's hidden elder, three had already been killed by him. The wind began to pick up. As it swept across the vast desert, it let out a howling sound. Yi Fan suddenly turned around. Behind him, three figures were coming at him against the wind. They did not waste any words and immediately attacked. He was shocked. One of them was at the fifth layer of the Dao Palace, but the other two were cultivators at the first layer of the four extremities. Wang. In the sky, golden divine light flashed. A huge golden gourd pressed down on him. It was extremely powerful, comparable to a golden mountain. Yi Fan dodged, avoiding the golden gourd. Suddenly, he felt a sense of danger. He quickly took out his cauldron and let it hang above his head. Thousands of strands of heaven and earth chi poured down to protect his body. Clang! Almost at the same time, an object struck in front of him. It was an earth-shattering blow, and both he and the cauldron were sent flying hundreds of feet away. Yi Fan was shocked. If he had not sensed it and hurriedly used the cauldron to protect himself, he would have been hit. That was a blow with astonishing divine power. He dodged to look and found a shining silver ring suspended in the air. It was this object that had hit him. In front of him, three people stood side by side. One had a golden gourd above his head, another had a five-colored feather fan above his head, and the one in the middle had a silver ring above his head. The three young men looked to be about 21 or 22 years old. They were all very handsome and had extraordinary temperaments. They looked very heroic. The source chi of all things is indeed extraordinary. Even my Vitra Chakram could not penetrate it, the man in the middle said. Yi Fan was shocked. He had been puzzled just now, and now he was even more shocked. The silver ring was called the Vitra Chakram. On the other side of the starry sky, there was a legendary Vitra Chakram with peerless power that could trap the heavens. Had it been brought to this world? Yi Fan pulled out the deity striking whip on his back and held it in his hand as he faced them. Chapter 319 The diamond chakram seemed to be made by nature and was extremely exquisite. It was silvery white in color, and its body was shiny. There were runes on it, making it look simple and natural. Yi Fan stared at it without blinking. He didn't know if this was the legendary diamond chakram from the other side of the starry sky. His heart was not calm. You're quite daring. You're still lingering here after killing someone. How insolent. The man with the golden gourd above his head scolded coldly. Yi Fan understood that these three must be the descendants of the Alcade and disciples of the Hidden Elders. They must be three of the top ten experts. Buzz. The golden gourd above his head swayed and instantly became bigger. It rushed over like a golden mountain. He didn't want to say anything else and directly attacked. Crack. At this moment, the ground below suddenly cracked open. It was because the golden gourd in the sky was too heavy. An invisible pressure came from everywhere. Strands of it fell down, causing the ground to crack open and rocks to fly into the sky. 
This was a shocking power. The Golden Gourd, which was comparable to a mountain, had not even pressed down yet, but it had already created such a scene. Red rocks flew in all directions. Yi Fan had the myriad chi cauldron above his head and the deity striking whip in his hand. He stood alone on the red ground, unmoving. Only the ground under his feet did not crack. The myriad chi cauldron descended and protected him and the ground under his feet. He was not affected at all. Buzz. The void was like a wall. It shook under the pressure of the golden gourd as if it would collapse at any moment. This golden gourd, which was comparable to a mountain, shone brightly. After a tremble, it fiercely descended, wanting to crush Yi Fan into meat paste. When the golden light slashed down like a blade, Yi Fan's left hand slapped toward the sky. Clang. The void palm was activated with the battle saint technique. Its magical power was like the sea. The golden palm was like a golden cloud and slapped the golden gourd. The golden gourd was like a giant sun that covered the sky. It shone brightly and trembled. A palm print was clearly imprinted on its surface. Go! Yi Fan shouted loudly. The huge golden hand slapped out again, and like a surging golden ocean, the golden gourd was sent flying far away. It flew into the sky and drew out a dazzling golden light. Clang, clang, clang. Suddenly, the golden gourd trembled intensely. Ten thousand streaks of sword radiance shot out from the gourd's mouth. Every single streak was as thick as a water bucket. Golden light blazed fiercely as they struck towards the ground. Swish, swish, swish. This was a rather terrifying scene. The bucket-sized sword radiance rained down from the sky, and the crimson ground within a radius of thousands of feet was pierced through. One could clearly see that many terrifying holes had appeared on the ground, reaching deep into the ground. It was a chilling sight. Ten thousand streaks of golden sword radiance pierced through the heavens and earth. The scene was horrifying. It was as if there were pillars supporting the heavens standing on the scarlet earth. The cauldron above Yi Fan's head was circulating with the myriad source chi, causing his body to become hazy. Clang clang clang. Thick streaks of sword radiance shot towards the cauldron and his body. Although they could not pierce through, they had an extremely powerful penetrative power, causing him to sway. Yi Fan stood in place without moving. He only slapped towards the sky with the void palm imprint. The huge golden hand wiped out many of the sword radiance. Everywhere it passed, even though the sword radiance was like a sea, they were all destroyed. They could not stop the huge golden hand imprint. Buzz. The void trembled. The golden gourd's radiance became even more intense. It was as if there was a golden flame burning, causing the horizon to become dazzling. Tens of thousands of sword radiance shot out from the mouth of the gourd. They were even more concentrated and fierce than before. They rushed out like a tide and pressed down on the huge golden hand. The golden sword radiance that was as thick as a water bucket shattered the earth. There was no longer any intact land within a radius of thousands of feet. Even the ground under Yifan's feet was shattered. This area was scorched. The bottomless sword holes were extremely concentrated. They were like a huge sieve. As far as the eye could see, it was a scene of desolation. Yi Fan used the myriad source Qi cauldron to protect himself. He held the god striking whip and sword into the sky. He faced the tens of thousands of sword radiance and struck towards the mouth of the golden gourd. Hiss. The master of the golden gourd gasped. The myriad source Qi was indeed special. It could actually defend against such concentrated sword radiance. He was deeply shocked. Clang, clang, clang. Tens of thousands of sword radiance rushed out and turned into a boundless sword rain. The heaven and earth were a blazing curtain of light. Yi Fan was under great pressure. Although the golden radiance could not penetrate his body, it still had a terrifying impact. He was unable to move forward. Every strike was like a huge hammer smashing down. Boom! He shook the cauldron on his head. At this moment, the myriad source Qi was hazy. Beams of it rushed into the sky and met the tens of thousands of sword radiance. This time, the sky was dazzling. The collision of the two beams produced extremely terrifying energy waves that swept across the heaven and earth. The myriad source Qi was even more terrifying than the sword radiance. It crushed the tens of thousands of golden sword radiance and hit the giant golden gourd. Yi Fan's speed increased. He used the cauldron to protect himself and swung the god striking whip. He rushed forward in the blink of an eye. All of a sudden, the tens of thousands of golden sword radiance disappeared. A mysterious light rushed out of the mouth of the gourd. 
It was dazzling like a waterfall and wrapped around Yifan and the cauldron. Whoosh! With a flash of light, he was sucked into the golden gourd. With a snap, the mouth of the gourd closed, sealing him inside. Pfft. The golden light sank. The golden gourd shrunk to the size of a palm and fell into the hands of the young light-shaking realm cultivator. Ha! Huh. He held the golden gourd and couldn't help but laugh. Sacred body of the ancients? That's all there is to it. Beside him, the cultivator with the five-colored feather fan hovering above his head said, Junior Brother's treasure is indeed powerful. It contains the mystical Eam true light and can suck in anything. I'm afraid even a cultivator at the peak of four extremities would find it difficult to escape. The master of the golden gourd shook the gourd hard and said, The mystical Eam true light will turn him into a puddle of blood in less than ten minutes. Be careful. He has the myriad source chi. He might not be turned into a puddle of blood, the young man with the diamond chakram above his head reminded. Don't worry. The mystical Eam true light is all pervasive and can transform anything. Back then, my master sucked in a cultivator who surpassed the four extremities' secret realms and turned him into a puddle of blood. Even if he has the myriad source chi and can protect him for a while, it can't protect him forever. Let's see how long his divine power can last. Boom! The golden gourd shook violently and almost fell from the hands of the disciple. What? Even the mystical Eam true light couldn't lock him in place. He can still struggle. Be careful, don't let him destroy this treasure. The two beside him reminded as they held the peerless diamond chakram and the five-colored feather fan in their hands. It's fine. This golden gourd was refined by my grandmaster. He added a tail of divine copper essence. It's hard to damage. As expected, the golden gourd only shook for a moment before calming down. There was no more movement. He sneered and said, Humph, just wait to be turned into a puddle of blood. Within the golden gourd, Yi Fan seemed to have fallen into a swamp. The mystical Eam true light bound him to the center of the gourd, making it difficult for him to struggle. This guy is only at the fifth level of the Dao Palace, yet he has such a treasure. It won't be a problem for him to kill cultivators at the four extremities' secret realms. Yi Fan frowned. As expected, the top ten disciples taught by the secluded elder all had extraordinary skills. However, he did not panic. Ignoring the protection of the myriad source chi, even without the cauldron, his body could withstand the corrosion of the mystical Eam true light. He stood at the center of the gourd, searching for the weakest point of the treasure. He was prepared to shatter it in one strike and attack. It's here. Yi Fan shook the cauldron and used the myriad source chi to disperse the mystical Eam true light. Then, he came to a gourd wall and swung the god striking whip, concentrating all his strength to strike forward. Clang. The golden gourd shone brightly, causing its owner's palm to go numb. Before he could react, there was another loud noise. Clang. Ah. Uh. He immediately screamed. His consciousness was in pain and he was in a trance. Kacha. The golden gourd cracked open and exploded in his hand. His palm and fingers were drenched in blood and white bones could be seen. With a cauldron hovering above Yi Fan's head and the god striking whip in his hand, he rushed out. Without a word, he swung the wooden whip and smashed down. Crack. The owner of the golden gourd did not even have time to grunt before he was torn to pieces by the god striking whip. His consciousness turned to ash and he died on the spot. Buzz. Yi Fan swung the god striking whip and swept it at the two people beside him. However, the two were prepared and had warned the owner of the golden gourd. Clang. The diamond chakram shone brightly and flickered with silver radiance like a great mountain. It struck the god striking whip and burst out a string of sparks. The divine power was incomparably powerful. The diamond chakram's divine splendor circulated and became misty. The Tao patterns on it moved like dragons and blocked the god striking whip without the slightest damage. At the same time, the other person's five-colored feather fan slapped over. The five-colored astral wind turned the ground under Yi Fan's feet into ashes and sent the large stone fan flying severally away. Bang! Yi Fan used the cauldron to block it. Even so, he was almost sent flying. The astral wind was too fierce and the divine power was like a tide. Dong! Suddenly, the moment Yi Fan was swept away by the astral wind, he opened his mouth and spat out a strand of innate origin energy. It melted with the void and formed a Tao diagram that shot forward. Innate Taishu Astral Energy It turned into a scroll with Tao patterns on it. Its power was matchless as it tore apart the five-colored astral wind and hit the side of the treasured fan. Clang. The five-colored feather fan shook and flashed with splendor. 
It was undamaged and blocked most of the innate Taishu astral energy, but a part of it still rushed through. Pfft. A small piece of the Tao diagram was like a peerless sword. It shattered the owner's arm and turned it into a bloody pulp. He was not Gulitian who specialized in physical cultivation. Even in the four extreme secret realm, he could not block this kind of close combat. The Ji clan's innate Taishu astral energy. He cried out in surprise. This change was too sudden. He did not expect Yifan to spit out the Tao diagram and catch him off guard. Boom! Yifan activated the secret of all of the nine secrets and was about to be sent flying by the fan. However, he suddenly stopped his body and rushed forward against the wind. His battle prowess increased by ten times. He had no choice but to go all out. Two enemies were in the four extreme secret realm, especially the diamond chakram of the other one. The five-colored astral wind could melt anything. It blew the rocks and earth into ashes and created a huge crater. Unfortunately, it was unable to send Yifan, whose strength had increased by ten times, flying. He was like a resplendent divine spear, unstoppable. He broke through the five-colored divine wind and arrived before them. Whoosh! This person waved the fan with all his strength. The divine wind surged like the ocean, but it was blocked by the myriad source energy falling from the cauldron above Yifan's head. Clang, clang, clang. He opened his mouth and spat out a dazzling light. Eighty-one divine feathers were sparkling and translucent. They were like immortal swords that hacked at Yifan. At the same time, the diamond chakram from behind also attacked. It was like a mountain hitting the cauldron with a measurable weight. Yifan clenched his teeth and took advantage of the situation. He allowed the cauldron to fall and the five-colored fan in front of him to temporarily escape his grasp. At the same time, the deity striking whip in his hand swung down and dozens of divine feathers were shattered. Ah! The owner of the five-colored fan let out a miserable cry. His consciousness was injured. The fan in his hand collided with the cauldron and fell to the ground at the same time. Pfft! Yi Fan rushed over. His fist flashed with golden light and killed him. He passed through the broken body. Swoosh! He grabbed the five-colored fan in his hand. At the same time, his cauldron flew back and released strands of myriad source energy to protect him. Chapter 320 All of this happened in the blink of an eye. Yi Fan risked his life and killed two powerful enemies. He wanted to train himself against the top ten, but the premise was that his life was not in danger. The situation just now was very bad, so he had to use all of his means. Buzz! The diamond chakram flew over. Its body was shiny, and its patterns were natural. It was as if it was imbued with the power of the heavens, causing the red ground to tremble. Yi Fan was moved. He wanted to test how hard the chakram was, so he took out the cauldron of myriad chi above his head. It was a holy item. Although it did not have Tao and reason interweave, it was immortal and could not be destroyed. Clang! The two collided, and the reddish brown ground rumbled. Sand and stone surged like a flood, sweeping in all directions. Between them, the earth seemed to have turned into a vast ocean. Layer upon layer of sand surged like waves. The void was like a scroll painting. It was as if it was being pulled in someone's hand and shook vigorously. The world shook violently. The diamond chakram was indeed terrifying. It had such great power that even the cauldron of Myriad Chi could not shatter it. Yi Fan was shocked and said, Is it really the divine item on the other side of the sky? Whoosh! He turned into a shadow and disappeared, retreating hundreds of meters away. The cauldron of Myriad Chi flew over and hovered above his head. Boom! The diamond chakram also rushed over. As expected, it had the power to split mountains and split the sky. It caused the ground under his feet to collapse and sent him flying. After this attack, the light-shaking realm cultivator finally stopped. He held the shiny treasure in his hand and stared coldly at Yifan. He said, We underestimated you. You have the sacred body of the ancients at level 4, yet you have such combat power. You even killed my light-shaking realm cultivators. Ten lives for Yi. All ten of you came out together for me. If you want to kill me, then be prepared to be killed, Yi Fan replied. Ten lives for one Yi. How impressive. You want to kill all ten of us by yourself? Do you think this is before the primordial age? Yang Yi's expression was ugly as he held the diamond chakram in his hand. Regardless of whether it's before the primordial era or now, it's all the same to me. I've already killed five of them. Are the remaining five still far away? Yi Fan was extremely calm. What? You killed five of them? Does that mean Gu Lidian wasn't the only one who died before we came here? Yang Yi was shocked. That's right. I've killed three people by then. You'll be the sixth. This is beyond my expectations. 
While the sacred body of the ancients has declined, it's still something special. Yang Yi's expression grew even colder. Yi Fan said, there's something I don't understand. I'd like to ask you. What is it? Yang Yi asked coldly. Where did you get that diamond chakram? What's its origin? Yi Fan stared at him. Why are you asking this? Yang Yi stood there, the diamond chakram in his hand flashing with a dreamy luster. Yi Fan said, I just have some doubts. This kind of weapon is rare in this world. Today is the first time I've seen one. Even my cauldron couldn't crush it. Humph. Yang Yi snorted and said mockingly, Don't think that you can defeat all the weapons in the world just because you have a holy item. Even the source chi of myriad beings is nothing before it can weave its own patterns. The blood-red setting sun disappeared completely. Night fell, and the stars dotted the sky. The night wind blew across the devastated land, making whooshing sounds. Does that mean your diamond chakram really has a great origin? Yi Fan asked. Of course. This is a secret treasure of my grandmaster. He gave it to me to kill you. Yang Yi's voice was cold. This diamond chakram is a treasure of a grandmaster? Yi Fan's heart skipped a beat. The Yaoguang sacred land was indeed not peaceful. With the disappearance of the sun, everyone hoped that their disciples would be able to improve, and they were willing to bestow great treasures upon them. This is one of the Yaoguang sacred land's treasures. It's a weapon forged from the dragon pattern cauldron of ultimate path and forged from Daluo's silver essence. Yi Fan's heart skipped a beat. What was Daluo's silver essence? It was definitely a peerless material for refining treasures. It was the favorite of the great sage because it was sturdy and could rot. In the past, he had met the Crow Daoist in the Fire Realm. The sheepfat white jade godly metal he used to refine treasures was of the same level as Daluo's silver essence and was equally precious. This diamond chakram was not much bigger than a bracelet. Its consumption was limited, but it was still extremely extravagant. This kind of peerless material was rare in the world. If that's the case, then your grandmaster must be someone with a great background. What Yi Fan was most concerned about was that this item was forged from the dragon pattern cauldron of ultimate path and not the diamond chakram on the other side of the starry sky. Thinking about it, this should be the case. How could he encounter such things one after another? It was impossible for him to always hear news about the Qi practitioners of the pre qin dynasty. Moreover, the ancient diamond chakram on the other side of the starry sky was peerless in power. It could move the heavens and shatter the earth. Such a peerless weapon would not fall into the hands of a disciple of the four extreme secret realms. However, Yi Fan was still tempted. This was a weapon forged from the dragon pattern cauldron of ultimate path. It would definitely be an important treasure even in the Wavering Light Sacred Ground. I heard that the Dragon Pattern Cauldron of the Wavering Light Sacred Ground rarely appears. They are suppressing their so-called trump cards. What exactly is that? Yang Yi harumphed coldly and said, you know quite a bit. If there was one ultimate path weapon that Yi Fan was most curious about, it would undoubtedly be the Dragon Pattern Cauldron. This was not just because the Wavering Light Sacred Ground had chosen to forge cauldrons like him. It was also because the Wavering Light Sacred Ground had never produced a great emperor, yet they had successfully forged an ultimate path weapon. This was definitely an anomaly. From ancient times until now, this was the only one who had produced an ultimate path weapon without producing a great emperor. No one else had been able to replicate this miracle. However, it could not be said that the Wavering Light Sacred Ground had luck. Everything was determined by their strength. Before the Antiquity Era, even though the Wavering Light Sacred Ground had never produced a great emperor, they had produced 28 sages. During that period of time, every generation had produced a stunning figure. The 28 sages had succeeded them. When the older sages passed away, the new sages would take their place. In total, they had spent 50,000 years refining the Black Dragon Pattern Gold. This was the result of the combined efforts of the 28 sages, as well as countless sacred lords and grand elders. Before every old sage passed away, they would carve their lifetime of comprehension into a Tao pattern and imprint it into the Dragon Pattern Cauldron. 50,000 years. Before it had become an ultimate path divine weapon, the Black Dragon Pattern Gold had been placed on the Wavering Light Sacred Mountain and had never moved. It had withstood wind, rain, thunder, and lightning, absorbing the essence of the sun and moon, as well as the power of the stars. During this period of time, countless disciples had prayed and worshipped it. In the end, on a rainy night filled with lightning and thunder, it had become an ultimate path weapon. It had become a supreme treasure of the Eastern Baron territory. This also showed how terrifying an ultimate path divine weapon was. Only a great emperor could forge it. The Wavering Light Sacred Mountain was the only exception. Twenty-eight ancient sages had expended their blood, sweat, and tears. 
Countless sacred lords, elders, and disciples had used up their youth. Using the power of the entire sacred ground, it had taken them 50,000 years to create the dragon pattern cauldron. Suddenly, Yi Fan felt an extremely dangerous aura. An extremely bad premonition rose in his heart. He turned into a bolt of lightning and retreated, dodging quickly. It's too late. You shouldn't have given me so much time to prepare. If you want to hear the secrets of the light-shaking realm, no problem. I can continue to tell you, but only if you can survive. Yang Yi laughed coldly. He had been happy to stall for time, focusing his divine power on the diamond chakram. Boom! He raised his hand and shot out the shining chakram. It turned into a bolt of silver lightning that seemed capable of shattering the heavens. The silver light shone resplendently and rumbled. The black sky trembled violently as if it was about to shake down all the stars in the sky. As for the crimson ground, it was directly shattered, and it continued to spread and collapse. Rubble flew through the air. The diamond chakram chased after Yi Fan. It had turned into the size of a millstone. Although it was not very large, it was extremely frightening and possessed unparalleled strength. Clang! The silver light was like snow, dazzling everyone's eyes. The diamond chakram fell down and slammed into the myriad chi cauldron. A deafening explosion rang out, and the ground collapsed. Many huge rocks and endless amounts of sand were sent flying thousands of meters into the sky. It was as if the end of the world had come. Under this shocking attack, Yi Fan was sent flying three or four kilometers. The myriad chi cauldron above his head was buzzing, and his blood was boiling. This weapon is too terrifying. It must be something that combines the Tao and principle. Yi Fan felt a chill in his heart. When he thought about how this chakram was made from Daluo's silver essence and was formed from an ultimate path divine weapon, he became even more uneasy. Boom! The second attack was earth-shattering. Within a radius of thousands of meters, angry waves surged into the sky. All the rocks and soil were sent flying, and then turned into ashes in the sky. On the ground, a bottomless pit with a radius of thousands of meters appeared. It was pitch black and extremely frightening. The power of one attack was so terrifying that Yi Fan sucked in a breath of cold air. This was truly frightening. Yi Fan's cauldron was sent flying into the sky and separated from him. This was sent flying by incomparable saint power, and he could not control it at all. At this moment, he realized the seriousness of the situation. The Diamond Chakram's terror had exceeded his expectations. The secret of all of the nine secrets was activated, and his speed increased tenfold. He dodged the third attack and rushed into the sky. Finally, he regained control of the cauldron before the Diamond Chakram caught up. This can't go on. He swung the deity striking whip and struck the snow white silver light in the sky. Clang. An earth shattering sound shook his eardrums and made his arm go numb. The power of the Diamond Chakram was too great, and its material was special. Even the deity striking whip could not shatter it. It really makes one wonder if this is the Diamond Chakram from the other side of the starry sky. Yi Fan was sent flying several kilometers again. This kind of terrifying divine might could easily kill a cultivator at the first heavenly layer of four extremities. If not for Yi Fan's special physique, that attack just now would not have made his arm go numb, but would have completely shattered it. He hurriedly checked the deity striking whip, afraid that it would be damaged. Fortunately, it was still simple and unadorned without any abnormalities. Damn it, does your grandmaster think I'm the saint child of some holy land? He gave you such a terrifying weapon. Yi Fan was full of resentment. Yang Yi ignored him and once again activated the diamond chakram. It emitted a dazzling silver light and struck down. Boom! The earth collapsed once again. Rubble flew into the sky, and a radius of thousands of meters turned into a land of ruin. The pit was so deep that the bottom could not be seen. Chapter 321 Yi Fan was beaten until his blood and energy were in turmoil. His ears were ringing and his vision blurred. He almost spat out a mouthful of blood. Yang Yi was a true expert at the first layer of the four extremes and was much stronger than Su Yuan's subordinates. The diamond chakram was simply unstoppable. After more than a hundred attempts, Yi Fan once again activated the word all of the nine secrets. Against a weapon interwoven with Tao and truth, even a powerful character from the four extreme realms might not be able to escape unscathed. He had no choice but to do his best to resist. Clang, clang. After successfully activating the word all of the nine secrets, Yi Fan took off his cauldron and held it in his left hand. He attacked the sky while his other hand swung the deity striking whip to violently collide with the diamond chakram. The tenfold power finally stopped this terrifying treasure chakram. The sky was about to explode as the deafening sound was like the ringing of a sacred bell in ancient heaven. The scarlet earth was shaking and had been beaten beyond recognition. 
Under the night sky, boundless divine power wreaked havoc in all directions like a surging ocean. After dozens of exchanges, the world trembled. When the effect of the word all was about to disappear, Yang Yi's face finally turned pale without a trace of blood. Buzz. The void trembled as the diamond chakram froze in the air. Resplendent silver light shone as it turned into a ring-shaped black hole that swallowed everything. It was like a true black hole in the boundless starry domain that swallowed the heaven and earth. The giant rocks on the earth and the endless sand all flowed into the sky like a river. All of the rocks and soil that got close to it were crushed into dust. Nothing was left behind. No matter what it was, everything that came into contact with that place would turn into powder and cease to exist. Yi Fan's expression immediately changed. He hadn't expected the diamond chakram to be so terrifying and could be used like this. A weapon interwoven with the veins of the heaven and earth is too terrifying. Its power is unimaginable. He took out the five-colored feather fan and fanned it with all his might. The treasured fan that could shatter mountains and rivers stirred up a five-colored divine wind that blew forward. Rumble. However, this kind of magic treasure was useless. The diamond chakram was as big as a millstone and as big as a black hole. It possessed an incomparable devouring power. With a rumbling sound, Yi Fan was pulled towards the black hole by a huge force. Your ancestral master, that bastard, really treats me like a saint. Yi Fan cursed. The multicolored feather fan in his hand fiercely flung outwards. At the same time, he enlarged the cauldron, preparing to smash into that black hole. Kacha. Something astonishing happened. Yi Fan had personally experienced the power of the five-colored feather fan, and it was extremely terrifying. However, at this moment, the precious fan shattered in the black hole, immediately destroyed. Yes, he couldn't even resist it. With a flash of colorful light, the rainbow feather fan turned into ashes, causing Yi Fan to shudder in fear. I forgot to tell you. My ancestor was from the same generation as the Sacred Lord. His treasure had already formed the pattern of heaven and earth 800 years ago. It's not wrong for you to die here. Yang Yi's face turned even paler. He had consumed too much of his divine power. Although the diamond chakram was powerful, it was not something he could use as he pleased. Yi Fan didn't say anything. Finally, he activated the secret of all, transforming the cauldron to a height of 9 meters and smashing it upwards. However, the black hole formed by the diamond chakram had an unimaginable power. It actually shrunk the cauldron and swallowed it. Yi Fan was astonished. He hurriedly activated it and did his best to resist. The all-life source was a holy object, but it didn't have the pattern of heaven and earth. It couldn't use divine techniques and could only be sturdy. Clang. Under his all-out resistance, the cauldron finally shrunk to a height of three meters and struck the diamond chakram. The sky shook violently. Yang Yi couldn't bear it anymore. His face was drained of all color as he spat out a mouthful of blood. Clang. Yi Fan activated the All Life Source Cauldron and struck it fiercely, causing the Diamond Chakram to shake violently. Yang Yi received the impact and almost fell from the sky. At this time, Yi Fan also rushed up to avoid the black hole. He swung the Deity Striking Whip and smashed the edge of the circular Diamond Chakram. Buzz! The void trembled as the Diamond Chakram turned into the size of a palm and spun in the air. Silver light flickered as the black hole disappeared. Yang Yi's divine power was insufficient and could no longer support it. The black hole disappeared as a result. Yi Fan activated the Great Cauldron. The All Life Source Qi fell down and with a swoosh, the Diamond Chakram was collected inside. He didn't want to face this terrifying weapon again. After the Diamond Chakram interweaved Dao and Logic, its power was so great that even he felt horrified. Clang, clang, clang. Even though Yang Yi's divine power was declining, he still persisted in activating the Chakram. He still had terrifying battle power. The diamond chakram attacked the cauldron, causing it to buzz and sway. Yi Fan endured and rushed over with the deity striking whip. He lashed out, causing the void to collapse as he went straight for Yang Yi's head. Light flickered as Yang Yi took out seven or eight magic treasures. But how could these things stop the deity striking whip? Pa cha pa cha. Shattering sounds rang out continuously as all the magic treasures were shattered. All kinds of sparkling treasure fragments turned into a resplendent meteor shower under the night sky and fell from the sky. Ah. Uh. Yang Yi's divine sense was injured. He held his forehead and screamed. Yi Fan brandished the deity striking whip and smashed down. Pa. His head was smashed. White brain juice and fresh blood splattered everywhere as the corpse fell from the sky. Finally, everything calmed down. The stars twinkled and the moonlight was as clear as water. The earth was full of desolation, destroyed beyond recognition by this great battle. 
Yi Fan landed on the ground and heaved a sigh of relief. This battle was finally over. The Diamond Chakram's power was beyond imagination. However, the harvest was also great. From now on, he had the Deity Striking Whip for close combat and this Treasure Chakram for long-range attacks. With the two working together, his battle power would rise to a new level. Under the bright moonlight, the Diamond Chakram was sparkling and translucent. Its entire body was silvery white with natural Tao patterns. Yi Fan didn't dare to be careless. He used the All Life Source Qi to hold it in place and then probed his divine sense into the chakram. He felt that even if a major character lent such a treasure to Yang Yi, it would most likely leave behind some kind of mark. As expected, when he probed the deepest part of the Diamond Chakram, a dangerous aura rushed over. Swoosh! He quickly retreated and a wisp of his divine sense chased after it. An illusory figure appeared in the void and pounced towards Yi Fan. Pa! Yi Fan immediately brandished the deity striking whip and struck it three times in a row, turning that wisp of divine sense into flying ashes. Then, he once again probed into the diamond chakram. The inside was as clear as if it had been washed. It was sparkling and translucent like a starry sky. The inside of a weapon interwoven with Tao and reason is actually like this. At this point, Yi Fan was relieved. This treasure chakram now belonged to him. After this battle, he became alert. Even with the deity striking whip in hand, some weapons might not be able to break it and couldn't do anything to the opponent's divine sense. Starlight sprinkled down as Yi Fan carved the sixth, Yi, character. Carrying the deity striking whip on his back, he walked alone into the depths of the scarlet earth and disappeared. Three days later, news came from the in province that the two disciples taught by the wavering light holy lands hidden elder had died a violent death. Only two heads remained while their bodies had turned into flying ashes. The only clue was that a, Yi, character had been carved next to the two heads. It was bold and forceful, full of killing intent and provocation. The news that Yi Fan had killed a wavering light holy land disciple in the in province spread like wildfire. Many people flocked to this place. Just one day later, news came from the Kuan province that Yi Fan had fought with the wavering light holy land disciple Qin Tai and had used the diamond chakram to turn him into flying ashes. When this news came out, many of the oases were shaken. In particular, a few of the older generation knew that the Diamond Chakram was the weapon of an important figure in the Wavering Light Holy Land. What happened? How did the Wavering Light Holy Land's treasure fall into Yi Fan's hands? How did he turn the Wavering Light Holy Land's disciple into ashes? You guys probably don't know yet. The Wavering Light Holy Land's hidden elder wants to compete with the Wavering Light Holy Land's orthodox bloodline for the position of Holy Sun. He sent ten of his disciples to kill Yi Fan. Many cultivators in the nearby oases were discussing spiritedly. This is an undisguised provocation. The Wavering Light Holy Land sent ten experts to kill Yi Fan, but in the end, one of them was killed instead. Is Yi Fan really in the area between the In Province and the Kuan Province? Could it be someone else's doing? It should be him. Someone saw it with their own eyes. He was definitely the one who killed Qin Tai with the Diamond Chakram. Yang Yi, Gu Litian, and the others had been killed in the Red Land. Until now, no one had discovered it. The fact that three of them had been killed was enough to cause chaos in the outside world. At night, a bonfire danced. Yi Fan met up with Tu Fei and the Black Empress. That was too fierce. If the Wavering Light Holy Land knew about it, their faces would turn green. Tu Fei said after learning about the result. I really hope you can break the curse and enter the four ultimate secret realms. That way, you can show the supreme glory of the sacred body of the ancients again. Yi Fan said, I'm looking forward to the holy city of the northern region. I'm counting on the Great Sage's land stone materials for the one million kilograms of origin. Tu Fei laughed and said, there's only one of the top ten warriors left. If they're all killed, the news will spread and shake the entire northern region. I want to see where the wavering light holy land will put their faces. Two days later, Yi Fan, Tu Fei, and the Black Empress found the last person in the Kuan province. He killed him with the diamond chakram again. Many people came after hearing the news and saw it with their own eyes. Ji Haoyue, Xia Jioyo, and some of the saints appeared there. Yi Fan saw them from afar. He crossed the void with the Black Empress and Tu Fei. If he didn't enter the four ultimate secret realms, he wouldn't fight with the saints. He tried his best to avoid them. After everything was settled in the In Province and the Kuan Province, Yi Fan set out on the road to the holy city of the northern region. Go find Li Heishui. He's been in the holy city for the past half a year. This was what Tu Fei told him before he left. When Yi Fan left, the In Province and the Kuan Province were shaken. The corpses deep in the Red Land were finally discovered one by one. The six words, Yi, were shocking. The Alcade realm was shaken, and many cultivators of the northern region were shocked. 
The Alcade Realm's hidden elders had sent ten disciples to hunt down Yifan, but they were all killed between the In Province and the Kuan Province. It was a resounding slap to the face. The Alcade Realm's so-called top ten masters became a joke. They were all killed by Yifan's people. Even the Alcade Realm's precious treasure, the Diamond Chakram, had fallen into Yifan's hands. It was truly a shameful thing. One word, Yi, meant ten lives. The ten disciples of the Alcade Realm's hidden lineage had all fallen. It caused a huge wave, and many people were dumbfounded. They found it hard to believe. Those are the top ten elites of the Alcade Realm's hidden lineage. Even if they can't compare to the Alcade Realm's true disciples, they are definitely extraordinary. But they were all killed by the sacred body of the ancients, Yi Fan? This is unbelievable. Most people had only heard about this battle. It was impossible for them to witness it with their own eyes, but the news still spread like wildfire. The young generation and the sons of the great sage were on alert. They didn't care about Yifan's current strength. Even if he entered the level 5, they wouldn't care. But what if he broke the curse and entered the 4 levels secret realm? Everyone shuddered at the thought of this outcome. Even Ji Hao Yue, who had the god king body, and the talented Xia Jiuyo and the others were deep in thought. However, almost everyone didn't think that Yifan could break the curse. In the past, the sacred bodies of the ancients cultivated by the great sage all stopped at the holy palace secret realm. The storm swept the northern region. Yi Fan heard a lot along the way. Half a month later, he finally approached the holy city of the northern region. Chapter 322 Yi Fan headed north. After flying for more than ten days, he passed through mountains and rivers. After who knew how many tens of thousands of Li, he finally approached the northern region's holy city. The northern region's holy city was the absolute center. On this scarlet land, it was just as famous as Origin Ancient Mine. The northern region's residents regarded it as a divine land. Late autumn arrived. The weather was already extremely cold. On the bare tree branches, there would occasionally be one or two leaves that stubbornly hung on. The oasis where the holy city was located was extremely vast, its circumference reaching several tens of thousands of li. There were many cities here. Compared to the other provinces, holy province was the most peaceful. No matter how daring the bandits were, they still wouldn't dare to loot this oasis, because the various great powers all had troops stationed in this province. The northern winds swept through the white grass. The season of snow was already not far away. Many of the pedestrians on the road were already wearing beast skin clothes. The road leading to the holy city was extremely wide. It wasn't a problem for more than ten carriages to travel side by side. Apart from the northern region's residents, cultivators could be seen flying through the sky from time to time. At this moment, Yi Fan was already less than 600 li from the holy city. On both sides of the road were towering mountains and broken cliffs, all of them imposing and majestic. This bluestone road seemed to have been carved out by someone. When he was less than 200 li from the holy city, the number of pedestrians clearly increased. Strange beasts galloped like wind and lightning. Most of them were cultivators. Suddenly, a muffled thunderous sound rang through the air. Several dozen riders rushed over like a tide. It had to be said that these people were extremely arrogant. They rode their beasts forward, stepping in midair. They were only a few meters above the ground as they advanced along the main road. Wild beasts roared. A crazy gale roared past, blowing many people's hair into a mess. Quite a few people glared angrily at them. One could clearly see that several meters above their heads, Longma hooves and unicorn leopard claws trampled through the air. This was a great disrespect to the pedestrians on the road. The people in Midair urged their beasts forward, not caring about the feelings of the people on the main road at all. They rushed towards the holy city, disappearing in the blink of an eye. Normal people definitely wouldn't dare do this, because most of the people heading for the holy city were cultivators. This would easily offend others. Which ancient family's disciple is this? He really is too arrogant, stepping on our heads to advance. There were people on the main road who were discontent. Forget it. Don't say too much. If they hear you and turn around to find trouble with you, it will be a disaster. Someone advised. I feel like it's someone from the Gold Clan of the Northern Plains. Perhaps they didn't do it on purpose. Maybe they had something urgent to attend to. One of the descendants of the Gold family offended a young master of the Sky Demon Palace. Both sides fought a great battle and both sides suffered heavy losses. They are most likely rushing over because of this matter. Even before entering the holy city, Yi Fan could already feel that there was a gathering place in front of him. This city was the gathering place of the entire world. Central Plains Royal Family, Northern Plains Huang Jin Family, and even Southern Mountains Experts, as well as Eastern Desolate's Sacred Grounds. Not long after, Yi Fan finally approached the number one city in the North Region. This was a pure land. Outside the holy city, everything within a radius of 150 miles was lush and verdant. One could not feel the change of seasons. 
Although it was already late autumn, this place was lush and did not feel cold at all. It was like a spring day with warm winds caressing one's face. The plants were lush and the spirit spring was gurgling. The spiritual chi here was extremely dense, many times denser than in other places. Ancient trees towered into the sky. They were hundreds of meters tall like small mountains. Their branches stretched towards the sky and ancient vines crawled all over the cliffs like dragons. It's already late autumn. Why is it still so lively? Someone was like Yifan. He was puzzled and asked the people on the road. Holy city has existed since ancient times. It is the city that has affected the environment of the region, someone replied. Half a quarter of an hour later, Yifan finally saw the legendary holy city, which gave him a great shock. The ancient city was extremely majestic. The city walls were like an endless dragon lying on the ground. They looked like they were cast from copper and shone with a metallic luster. The majestic city gate was hundreds of meters tall. It was extremely majestic and majestic. Looking from afar, the huge ancient city gave off a suffocating pressure. This is the heart of the north region. From ancient times until now, there were many legends about the holy city. After looking through all kinds of ancient records, people would be shocked to find that it was really too ancient. It was impossible to trace back to the era of its origin. Since the beginning of written records, the city had never changed its location. It was unknown how long it had existed. Divine City was also its name. It was rumored that countless years ago, it was suspended in the sky and only fell to the earth during the desolate era. This ancient city was many times larger than the capital of a great country. It was extremely majestic. If one didn't fly and walk like a mortal, it would take a day to pass through the city. The city was very prosperous. There were palaces in great numbers and wide ancient streets. There were gambling dens, immortal towers, wind moon palace, holy lord watchtower, demon king pavilion, and many others. It was extremely luxurious. Mortals and cultivators mixed together. People came and went in the city. Half of them were cultivators. In such a place, no one dared to act rashly. They might accidentally bump into a descendant of an ancient family. If they were unlucky, they might directly step on the feet of a grand elder of a holy land. This wasn't impossible because there were many such people in the holy city. Yi Fan found that his eyes weren't enough. The ancient city was huge and the layout was exquisite. It was very mysterious. He suspected that some palaces were as old as this city. On the side of the bustling street, there would occasionally be a palace that occupied an extremely large area. It was richly ornamented like a palace. What is this place? He asked the passers-by from time to time. This is an inn opened by the Five Elements Palace. It's not bad. A palace as an inn. Not bad. Yi Fan was a little dumbfounded. After walking for a short distance, he saw a palace garden. The garden was magnificent, and the buildings were towering. What is this place? This is a gambling den. It's too small. I suggest you go to the gambling dens in the Holy Lands, the person beside him answered. This kind of palace garden is considered a small gambling den. Yi Fan was really speechless. Not long after, he saw some pavilions that were suspended in midair. They weren't messy and were arranged in a very orderly and elegant manner. Uncle, may I ask what this place is? Yi Fan couldn't help but ask again. It's your first time in the holy city, right? The old man in his fifties glanced at him and said, This is a restaurant. It's not bad. Yi Fan rubbed his chin. He really didn't know what to say. Everything was extremely luxurious. The old man in his fifties said, If you have enough energy, you can go up and have a meal. There are all kinds of delicacies in the world. Female cultivators will pour wine for the guests and play the zither. No one flew in the city. Even if they were cultivators, they still strictly followed the city rules. On the bustling street, people came and went, rubbing shoulders. After walking for a while, Yi Fan finally arrived at a quiet place. This was a Taoist temple. It wasn't grand or tall, but it occupied an extremely large area. There were many ancient trees planted in the surroundings. The Taoist temple was hidden in the vast mortal world. It was much quieter than other places, giving off a feeling of returning to nature. This was a very special place. It seemed to have the aura of the Grand Dao flowing around. There were clearly many people coming in and out, but it was quiet and peaceful. Uncle, I want to ask, where is this place? Why is there a Taoist temple? Yi Fan asked a middle-aged fat man in his forties. You're new, right? I can tell that you just came to the holy city. It was this sentence again. Every time he asked someone, he would hear this sentence. The middle-aged fat man chuckled and said, This is the Dao One Holy Land Stone Square. It's quite famous and is a very good place. Recently, their saintess often appears and stays here. If young people want to see her beauty, they can't miss this opportunity. Uncle, why are you smiling so vulgarly? 
Hee hee. You don't know, but this place has been very lively recently. Eight lunatics jumped out of nowhere and declared that they would gamble on stones in the Tao One Holy Land and win their saintess. Uncle, I see that you really like to gossip. Yi Fan glanced at the middle-aged fat man. These eight lunatics have a great background. Even the Jiang family's grand elder couldn't suppress them. After they took out a scarlet jade token, the Jiang family's old man turned around and left. Who are these eight people? Yi Fan asked curiously. Who knows? The middle-aged fat man muttered, Come, let's go in and take a look. Yi Fan declined politely. The middle-aged fat man chuckled and wretchedly walked into the Dao One Holy Land stone square alone. Who wants to win against the saintess of the Holy Land? Why are they competing with me? But this is good too. If there are more people like this, it will be easier for me to fish in troubled waters in the holy city, Yi Fan muttered. After turning a corner, there was a large lake in front of them. The lake water was dark blue, like a huge sapphire embedded in the ground. Many people were walking along the riverbank. The willows swayed and the warm wind blew. Many dragon boats and phoenix pavilions were docked in the lake, and the melodious sound of stringed instruments could be heard. Yi Fan found that most of the people on the shore were young. When he looked up, he was even more surprised. In the depths of the lake, the sky was shrouded in clouds and mist. There were also many large boats floating, as well as some palaces and pavilions. What is this place? Yi Fan was puzzled. This time, he was not called a first-time visitor, but was looked down upon. You're already here, but you still think you're an innocent young man. Big brother, I really don't know what this place is. Tell me about it. Yi Fan asked humbly. People came and went, and willows lined the lakeside. The man glanced at him and said, You don't know the famous Miaoyu Nunnery in the Holy City? What kind of place is Miaoyu Nunnery? It's my first time in the Holy City, Yi Fan said. Of course it's one of the top ten brothels in the Holy City. Recently, the successor of Miaoyu Nunnery is about to be born. I guess some holy sons and successors of the families of the ancients have secretly come here. You came here on your first visit to the Holy City. I'd like to see it, but I really didn't know about it before. The man glanced at him and said, It's lively here at night. The lights are brightly lit, the immortal lake sparkles, and the jade palaces and jade boats appear in the sky. The most outstanding successor of Miaoyu Nunnery is about to be born, so some holy sons and young people of the families of the ancients may come here secretly. Is Miaoyu Nunnery that famous? Yi Fan was surprised. Miaoyu Nunnery has an ancient heritage and is extremely powerful. Naturally, it's extremely famous, not much weaker than the Holy Lands. Among the top ten brothels in the Holy City, Miaoyu Nunnery could be ranked in the top three, not to mention its heritage and strength. It was said that the previous Nunnery 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 had inexplicable relationships with some holy sons when they were young, and some of those holy sons later became holy lords. Chapter 323 By the side of a vast lake, lush trees flourished, peculiar stones were scattered, and melodious music wafted through the air. Passers-by were never-ending, and many would pause when passing through here. Suddenly, a jade boat streaked across the sky, arriving above the great lake. Clouds and mist enshrouded it, with specks of colorful haze flickering, exuding an ethereal and sacred aura. Enchanting melodies wafted gently, carrying a serene and mystical quality, as if descending from the ninth heaven, captivating one's thoughts and purifying the heart. The descendant of the Miaoyu nunnery has arrived. It's a Miao Yi, it must be her. We've long heard that a disciple of the Miaoyu nunnery is about to be born. Even disciples from some ancient and prestigious families have come to the holy city for her. She's the future head of the Miaoyu nunnery. If she really has arrived, the disciples from the holy ground and the ancient families will likely engage in covert struggles again. The jade boat shimmered with iridescent colors, and atop it stood a young woman. She wore a snow-white dress that gently fluttered, outlining her perfectly proportioned figure in an alluring manner. By the lakeside, most were cultivators with exceptional eyesight, allowing them to clearly see the maiden's appearance. She was like a radiant pearl, otherworldly and full of grace, exuding an unmatched beauty. Her divine charm was deeply embedded within, her bones seemingly crafted from jade. Her countenance was nearly flawless, devoid of any imperfections. Even Yi Fan felt a stir in his heart. This woman named in Miao Yi was truly breathtaking, comparable to Yu Kinru in beauty, and her flawlessness was indisputable. She appeared to be around 18 or 19 years old, her figure slender and graceful, as if sculpted from precious jade. Her temperament was elegant, her skin as fair as snow, bearing a touch of frostiness. This must be a Miao Yi. I've heard of her beauty, unparalleled in the eastern wilds. She's a peerless beauty, unfortunately born into this sect, destined to be hidden like a pearl in the mud. Someone shook their head inside, expressing a sense of regret. The reputation of the Miaoyu nunnery was indeed quite unfavorable. 
otherwise, they wouldn't be situated in the holy city's pleasure district, their cultivation practices closely related to it. However, An Miao Yi, with her exceptional grace, bore no trace of worldliness. She was bright and serene, akin to ice and jade, projecting an ethereal and sacred presence. This contrast was quite striking. Many speculated that she was an extraordinary beauty, perhaps born of a spring, but the reality was that she had a cool and icy demeanor. Amidst dots of colored light, An Miao Yi stood alone on the jade boat. Her black hair danced in the wind, her white dress fluttering. She seemed untouched by worldly dust, resembling a fairy within the moon's palace, even more sacred than the holy maidens of various sacred grounds. Yi Fan's expression remained calm. He didn't entirely believe that this woman naturally possessed such an icy disposition. He felt that the Miao Yu nunnery had captured people's hearts. Although it was originally a power with a tarnished reputation, they had sculpted a divine and holy image, exploiting people's psychology. Because their cultivation ultimately leads to the lotus being stained by dust, it's impossible to remain pure and transcendent forever. They will eventually fall into the realm of pleasure and desires. This is nothing but more enticing, more alluring, creating an aura of purity and elegance, making them seem otherworldly, not belonging to the mortal realm. It's a way to captivate people even further. Why are you smiling so wickedly? Are you up to something mischievous? The man who had previously informed Yi Fan of some information asked. Yi Fan smiled and said, nothing much. I just feel that the Miao Yu nunnery is quite extraordinary. They've wrapped their gifts so splendidly, fishing for fairy tale fish in this way. What are you talking about? Yi Fan smiled faintly and said, what's unattainable is always the best. Creating an image of an unparalleled celestial being and then satisfying certain individuals. If there's a chance to bring her down from her pedestal, as you said, disciples from various sacred grounds and ancient families will most likely be lured in. The man retorted, you're talking nonsense. And Miao Yi was born with a divine light and natural beauty, pure and untainted. So you're saying I'm wrong? Yi Fan would never believe such rumors. Although the Miao Yu nunnery has a bad reputation, and Miao Yi indeed emerged untainted from the mire, the man defended. A faint smile appeared at the corner of Yi Fan's mouth. He said, you've only just seen her, and yet you're already this convinced. It seems that a superior faction like the Miao Yu nunnery truly understands that it's the people's hearts they're enticing, not their physical bodies. Swish. A flash of light, and the five-colored jade boat in the sky disappeared into the deep expanse of the lake sky. There, palaces of jade and pavilions of splendor were enshrouded in clouds and mist, creating an otherworldly scene. I, and Miao Yi, play a tune on the chin under the moonlit night. The sound of divine music emanated from the mist-shrouded palace, clear and refined. However, upon closer reflection, it felt as if one was intoxicated to the core. Amidst her purity and elegance, her performance stirred the hearts of those who listened. And Miao Yi's arrival in the holy city had quickly spread as news. As the bright moon rose, she would be playing a tune on the chin by the lakeside, igniting endless discussions. There was no doubt that the shores of the Miao Yu lake would be packed tonight. Rumors about An Miao Yi's birth had circulated for a while. She was one of the most beautiful women in the eastern wilds, her renowned beauty known throughout the land. Now, untouched by the impurities of the world, disciples from sacred grounds and ancient families would all be drawn to her. Leaving the Miao Yu lake, Yi Fan continued on, walking for over an hour, only circling a corner of the holy city. After passing by the Emerald Lake, he entered an ancient alley. It was unclear how many years had passed, the stones on the ground had been smoothed by countless footsteps. Continuously encountering grand palaces and connected halls, Yi Fan wanted to enter these ancient alleys to see what he might find in these corners. He made numerous twists and turns, and after leaving the ancient alley, he unexpectedly arrived at a bustling free market, entering a lively area. Yi Fan was quite surprised. While this place was filled with market stalls and less opulent than the palaces, there were still many valuable items displayed on the ground. Green bronze essence, crimson jade marrow, divine blood soil, starstone, all sorts of precious materials were available. Many things were treasures that the great black dog wanted to collect to carve runic patterns, which were hard to find in the outside world. Yet, in a corner of the holy city, one could find them all. This made him sigh with admiration. The holy city truly lived up to its reputation as the center of the northern region, where the world's affairs converged. These things could only be displayed on market stalls. He couldn't help but marvel at how there were probably many similar corners of such free markets. It could be speculated that within those magnificent buildings and palaces, there must be even more valuable items. Yi Fan turned around halfway and came across quite a few rare medicinal herbs. Jade snake orchid, nine leaf phoenix grass, red moon fruit, black jade divine lotus, their fragrances were intoxicating, truly treasures. As long as you have spirit source, you can buy anything. He sighed a little. 
Spirit Source wasn't all-powerful, but without it, nothing could be done. Yi Fan continued through the market and arrived at a place where stones were being sold. Each stall had only a few stones displayed, looking rather ordinary with nothing exceptional about them. However, Yi Fan was somewhat surprised. These stones were far from simple, they were imbued with a hint of the primordial aura. When he inquired, he found their prices to be exorbitant. Young man, buy a piece of stone. I guarantee its credibility. Sometimes, the seed material from the primordial old mine can yield astonishing treasures. An old man squatted on the ground, trying to sell Yi Fan a few pieces of peculiar stones from his stall. The flow of people was substantial in the free market. People came and went, frequently stopping. Yi Fan lifted his head and was suddenly astonished. Suspended above the free market was a grand celestial palace, majestic and extraordinary. What place is that? Could it be another pleasure establishment? What are you thinking, young man? That's the treasure pavilion of the Celestial Demon Palace. It's one of the seven major auction houses in the Holy City. It frequently auctions off peerless treasures for astronomical prices. The old man next to him explained. Auction houses that are suspended in the air, truly extravagant. Yi Fan was speechless for a moment. After a while, he asked, do they have divine source? They do, indeed. It has been auctioned before, the old man nodded earnestly. Hiss. Yi Fan sucked in a breath of cold air. He felt like he had come to the right place by coming to the holy city. The old man said, what's the big deal? The treasure pavilion of the celestial demon palace, as one of the seven major auction houses in the holy city, has auctioned everything. Half a year ago, they even displayed a scroll of ancient scripture. What? Yi Fan was genuinely shocked. The supreme scriptures were exclusive to the sacred grounds. It's not complete, supposedly just a fragment. It only touches upon a certain realm. Even so, Yi Fan was deeply surprised. The holy city was indeed extraordinary, even having auctions for divine sources and ancient scriptures. The old man laughed, is this your first time in the holy city, young man? He he, speaking of which, a few days ago, the treasure pavilion of the celestial demon palace auctioned off dragon patterned black gold. No way, even such things are up for auction. Those are the exclusive sacred items of the great emperors that are rarely seen in a thousand lifetimes. Yi Fan's heart raced. The runic saint soldier, shaking light, was made of dragon patterned black gold. It's just a small piece the size of a fingernail. It's too little. Even if the ancient emperors were reborn, it wouldn't be enough to forge an extreme Tao weapon. Yi Fan felt somewhat relieved and nodded. He thought of his fist-sized phoenix blood crimson gold. It would be sufficient to craft a vitra polisher. Perhaps, when absolutely necessary, he could auction it off to exchange for divine source. However, he wouldn't auction it off until he was at his wit's end. Phoenix blood crimson gold was extremely rare, and he intended to keep it for forging his own saintly soldier. In the end, he left this free market. The holy city was the epitome of extravagance, having everything. It not only had places like the Monster King Pavilion and the Sovereign Palace that motivated people, but also stone gambling halls, pleasure establishments, and enchanting residences. It was a city of temptation where one could indulge or fritter away time. After wandering for half a day, Yi Fan had only covered a small portion of the city. The city was truly enormous, spanning nearly a hundred miles from end to end. This won't do. I need to find Li Heishui and have him introduce me to this city. Yi Fan felt that his understanding was too limited and he needed someone familiar to guide him. Before coming, Tu Fei had already told him how to find Li Heishui. Before the sun set, Yi Fan arrived at an ancient alley and entered a very small source stone pavilion. Finally, he found Li Heishui. Li Heishui had a dark complexion, a powerful build, and looked to be around 23 or 24 years old. He was the grandson of the 8th great bandit, Li Hang. Before coming, Tu Fei had told him that Li Heishui was quite cunning and resourceful, living up to his name. He was quite devious. Tu Big Mouth had jokingly said that he could only talk, while Li Heishui not only talked, but also executed his plans. Young Leaf, you're a celebrity now. No one in the northern region doesn't recognize you. Rest assured, you've come to the right place by seeking me out in the holy city. After reading Tu Fei's letter, Li Heishui patted his chest and said, let me show you around and relax a bit. You're the host, I'll follow your lead. Yi Fan smiled. The holy city has ten major pleasure establishments. Miao Yuan, Shui Yue Xiaozhu, Guang Han Xue are the top three choices. You decide. With thick brows and big eyes, Li Heishui, though his face was dark, seemed simple and unadorned. However, his appearance was not to be underestimated. Yi Fan was momentarily stunned, then he could only laugh and cry. Let's just find a place for a drink. I mainly want to learn about the situation in the holy city. Give me a proper introduction. 
Li Heishui waved his hand quite dominantly and said, Tonight, we only talk about pleasure, not anything else. We'll discuss those matters tomorrow. Since you've come, how could I not entertain you properly? The night in the holy city was splendid, with stars falling like thin smoke, covering the city. The moonlight was like water ripples, flowing down. The holy city can automatically absorb and channel the star power of various heavens, Li Heishui explained. This city is truly extraordinary. Yi Fan couldn't help but exclaim. Tonight, we're going to the Miaoyu Lake. I didn't expect in Miao Yi to be born. She's the most beautiful woman in the eastern desolation and has come to the holy city. For the younger generation, this is definitely a significant event. Disciples from various sacred grounds and ancient families from the desolate wilderness will surely come. Tonight will be lively. Li Heishui grinned. Chapter 324 The god city at night wasn't quiet. There were people on the streets and alleys, and melodious music could be heard from the temples. On the side of the streets, there were countless palaces. They were all dazzling and brightly lit. As far as the eye could see, light flickered. The song was faint and ethereal, moving people's hearts and intoxicating them. Saint City was a city that never sleeps. There were many palaces with divine splendor and auspicious clouds blossoming. It was a dreamlike scene. Yi Fan said, most of the people in Saint City are cultivators. Why is it so luxurious? It doesn't look like a god land, but a demonic city. Li Heishui smiled, cultivators are people too, not emotionless immortals. We all have emotions and desires. This is the god city of cultivators. Starlight fell and the moonlight was like water. The entire city was covered in a layer of holy veil. It was a scene of beauty. Singing and zither music could be heard. The fragrance of wine wafted over from the sky. A majestic palace shone brightly and floated in the sky beside the street. Good wine, it's definitely aged for a thousand years. It's the best wine in the world. Li Heishui looked up at the palace in the sky and revealed an intoxicated expression, I'm afraid someone important is entertaining guests here. Even important people are so high profile? Yi Fan was surprised. Li Heishui shook his head, this isn't high profile. It's lonely at the top and the path to immortality is endless. Why do we have to cultivate? There are thousands of ways to cultivate, and different people have different paths. Some people pass themselves in the world of mortals, especially those important people. Once they reach a certain realm, they don't need to go into seclusion. Many people experience the five colors and enter the world of mortals to find a chance to break through. Yi Fan revealed a surprised expression, you know quite a bit. That's not my understanding, said Meng Hao. It's what the great bandit grandfather said. We see the mortal world as the mortal world, but they see it as the immortal world. Different people, different Daos, different scenes. It is indeed a matter of realm. Yi Fan nodded and said, So, in the eyes of others, the extravagance in my eyes might already be a celestial world, or a lively pure land. Li Heishui said, Actually, there are people in the younger generation who have reached this mental realm, comprehending the world of Dao alone in the world of mortals. Who? Yi Fan was shocked. I don't know, the elders didn't say. But I think it's only mental realm. Their true strength can't be that high. Otherwise, it would be too scary. Li Heishui shook his head. High up in the sky, a palace floated with dazzling lights. The rich fragrance of wine drifted through the air, intoxicating one to the bone. Musical instruments were pleasing to the ears, and the singing was moving. It's most likely that a supreme elder from the sacred land is entertaining a banquet. Li Heishui speculated and said, Today we are going to Miaoyu Nunnery. Next time I will invite you to this drunken immortal tower, so that we can spit out blood and be extravagant. How much does it cost to host a banquet here? Yi Fan asked. It's hard to determine the grade. The lowest banquet costs 5 kilograms of source. The most luxurious immortal banquets often cost tens of thousands of kilograms of source, or even more. It's impossible to measure. Yi Fan heard this and gasped. This was too extravagant. One meal cost tens of thousands of kilograms of source. What were they eating? Isn't this too exaggerated? It's not exaggerated at all. Dragon ginseng, divine phoenix wings. Just from the names, you should know how rare these things are. There's even enlightenment tea that can make an immortal have an epiphany. Yi Fan opened his mouth, speechless. After a long time, he said, who opened this drunken immortal banquet? The Golden Family of the Northern Plains. It has a frightening background. There are eight great restaurants in the sacred city, and it can be ranked in the top three. After I sweep away all the stones in the lands of the great sage, I'll invite you here every day to eat immortal banquets. Yi Fan smiled. 
Immortal banquets are only occasionally held when the sacred leader invites an immortal. Let's not think too much about it. Li Heishui shook his head. The night in the Divine City was really different. Along the ancient streets, there were many palaces. It was as if they had arrived in the immortal world. It was like a dream. In front, there was a sea of sparkling Miaoyu Lake in the night. It was as warm as jade, shining with blue light like a huge gem. The shore of the lake was already filled with people. Most of them were young people. They were all waiting eagerly. The night view here is really not bad. All kinds of flowers and plants on the shore were shining with multicolored light. Together with the sparkling and translucent blue lake, it was like an otherworldly divine garden. Silver white moonlight sprinkled down. A dozen jade boats floated on the lake, each with a beautiful woman in a fluttering dress and a melodious jade flute. It was as if it came from an otherworldly pure land, cleansing one's mind. Further away, dragon boats and phoenix pavilions were all flowing with five colored radiance. They looked very misty in the night. The sky in the depths of the lake was even more magnificent. Jade palaces were faintly discernible. They were surrounded by the night and fog, sparkling and translucent. It really is like coming to an immortal palace. Miao Yu Nunnery is really good, making the romantic scene so holy and otherworldly, Yi Fan said. Of course. Few in the Divine City can compare to the romantic scenes they run. Only the Shuayua Lodge and the Moon Moon Tower can compare. Many people should know what's going on. Why do they flock to it like a flock of ducks? Even the heirs of the Holy Lands are no exception. Li Heishui smiled and said, Those heirs have hearts of steel. They might not have come because they are tempted. It's just romantic scenes. Yi Fan nodded and said, That's true. Miao Yu Nunnery needs the support of the future sacred leader. The heirs of the Holy Lands also want to meet the most beautiful woman in the eastern wilderness. It's hard to say. After all, An Miaoi is different from the previous nunnery master. She is peerless. Such a flawless woman might really make some heirs fall for her. Yi Fan smiled and said, What about you? I. I can win the beauty. Of course it's wonderful. Li Heishui laughed. You better not fall for her. You do have to be careful, especially you, little Yi. You're still young and not very determined. You've never seen this kind of scene before. Don't fall for it. Yi Fan was a little speechless. Don't doubt me. I'm telling the truth. The previous Miao Yu nunnery master made some sons of saints and heirs of the clan of the ancients fall for her. Not to mention this generation's in Miao Yi. She is one of the most beautiful women in the vast eastern wilderness. I'm being modest. I'm afraid she's the most beautiful woman in the eastern wilderness. A cold smile appeared at the corner of Yi Fan's mouth. He said, romantic scenes are only as beautiful as people's hearts. If she offers me her body, I'll accept it. What else can I have? Don't underestimate her. If you do, you might really fall for her tricks. Li Heishui showed a rare solemn expression. He said, apart from their heritage, they're not much worse than the Holy Lands. Their cultivation methods are very strange and impossible to guard against. What kind of cultivation methods are they cultivating? Are they comparable to ancient scriptures? In the past, they had the ancient Taoist dual cultivation method. I only learned recently that they obtained another cultivation method a thousand years ago. It's said to be a secret Buddhist scripture from the West Desert. Now, they've developed the dual cultivation method to a mysterious level. Dual cultivation, works like this? Although Yi Fan had heard of it, he didn't believe in such a cultivation method. You'll know in a while. Li Heishui chuckled. Buddhism. Yi Fan rubbed his chin and didn't say anything else. Suddenly, the sound of musical instruments rang out. The beautiful song lingered under the night sky, moving people's hearts. I'm an Miaoi. And Miaoi finally appeared. She was like a goddess of the moon, ethereal and ethereal under the moonlight. Her white robe fluttered as she flew toward a flower boat. It was a five-colored jade boat piled with flowers and specks of auspicious light. It carried her into the depths of the mist of the Great Lake. What's the meaning of this? Some people didn't understand. The main event is coming. If you want to see her beauty, only Hua Yuan can do it. The lakeshore immediately erupted with commotion. Many people fought to be the first to buy a jade boat and row towards the lake. It was extremely noisy. Yi Fan and Li Heishui went up to ask. The required source was ridiculously expensive, leaving them speechless. However, many people didn't care. They only wanted to be able to see an Miaoi up close. Isn't it just an Miaoi? Is there a need to go so far? 
Li Heishui was a bit speechless. They couldn't even buy a jade boat. It could be said to be an astronomical price. However, there were just too many people who had source. Can't we just fly over? Yi Fan asked. It's too embarrassing. Moreover, we might be beaten back. Li Heishui thought for a bit and searched through the crowd. Then, his eyes lit up and said, found it. He stared at a disciple from a great sect and chuckled. That's the seventh disciple of Five Elements Palace's sect master. I've seen this guy before. This disciple from Five Elements Palace spent an astronomical price and boarded a huge dragon boat. It was much taller than the jade boats beside it. It was extremely majestic. Yi Fan thought that he was going to hitch a ride. Who would have thought that Li Heishui walked over and called a follower of the seventh disciple to the side and whispered into his ear. In the end, that follower boarded the dragon boat as if his butt was on fire and went to report. What? The seventh disciple's expression immediately changed. He quickly got off the dragon boat and hurriedly passed through the crowd. Li Heishui swaggered onto the dragon boat. Then, he waved at Yi Fan and invited him to board as well. The surrounding people were baffled. They didn't know what was going on. The dragon boat just changed owners. However, it wasn't appropriate for them to ask. They just watched as they entered the lake. What did you say to him? Yi Fan asked. He only provided a piece of information. He said that his tiger-like fiancé has arrived. Li Heishui replied without a care in the world. Aren't you slandering him? Yi Fan had a preliminary understanding of Li Heishui's way of doing things. Li Heishui snickered. His fiancé is the youngest daughter of Five Elements Palace's sect master. Even if he is suspicious, he won't dare to stay here. This concerns his future. There were many jade boats in the lake. However, there were limited dragon boats like this. They were all reserved by the disciples of some great sects. They stood at the bow of the boat and used their divine power to steer it. They rode the wind and waves and arrived at the depths of the lake. Killing Intent The two of them felt the killing intent. It was very strong, but it wasn't directed at them. Not far away, there was a divine boat that was even larger than their dragon boat. On it stood a man in purple. His hands were behind his back. His black hair danced in the wind and his eyes were extremely deep. Sky Demon Palace's young master. Li Heishui said in shock. On the other side, there was a large golden boat. It was also extremely grand like a tower. A man also stood on it. He wore a golden battle robe. He looked majestic and his skin was bronze. His face was sharp and his eyebrows reached his temples. He looked extremely handsome. The descendant of North Plains Gold family. Li Heishui snickered and said, not to mention the Holy Lands, just these two coming will be a good show to watch. They fought a great battle not long ago. Chapter 325 Sky Demon Palace and the Gold Family This wasn't the first time Yi Fan had heard of this. Before coming to the Holy City, he had even seen the Gold Family of the Northern Plains. Their horses had crossed the sky and stepped on people's heads. They are all superpowers and are on the same level as the sacred grounds. Li Heishui chuckled. Tonight, let's wait for the show. There is a dragon boat over there, much bigger than ours. It seems to be the Prince of the Xia. Yi Fan looked to the other side. Yes, that white-clothed nun is here too. Interesting, brother and sister coming to such a place together. Li Heishui laughed. In the distance, the Xia Prince's black hair flew in the wind. He was handsome and his armor was dazzling. Nine streams of dragon energy curled around his body. He was like a celestial emperor descending to the mortal world. At his side, that pure little nun's large black eyes swiveled about. She was curious about everything, sizing up the surroundings in an extremely pure and innocent manner. He's here too. Yi Fan was startled. On the shore, there was a golden divine hoe. It was bright like a divine fire. A white-clothed man sat on it. He was handsome like jade and had a hint of heroic spirit. Some people could stand in a sea of people and still be recognized at a glance. They were like the favored children of the heavens. It was impossible not to attract attention. Jiang Yifei This was a disciple of the Jiang family. Back in the southern region, he had brought little Tingting and Uncle Jiang back to the Jiang family. Yi Fan had a deep impression of him. He had even suspected that the Jiang family's divine body was him. Is little Tingting okay? How is Uncle Jiang? Yi Fan asked himself. Time passed quickly. Four years had passed in the blink of an eye. He didn't know how the grandfather and grandson were doing. 
Yi Fan hadn't been with them for a long time but it was the first time he felt like he was at home in this world. The time he spent with them was very warm. The golden divine Ho came over on the moon. Its four hooves stepped on the surface of the lake. Jiang Yifei's white robe was especially eye-catching. He was like a god descending to the mortal world. One look and I can tell such a person is extraordinary. Even Li Heishui praised. Do you know who the Jiang family's divine body is? Very mysterious, no one knows. Li Heishui shook his head. Maybe it's him. No way. Li Heishui was shocked. After a short while, Yi Fan and the others arrived at the deepest part of the lake. The lake was shrouded in mist, and the air was filled with a holy aura. The lake water was sparkling, as if they had arrived at the Jade Sea. There are too many powerful people here. Li Heishui looked in another direction. There was a large ship that flickered with black light, and a man dressed in black stood on it. He looked very cold and aloof, as if he was a thousand miles away. This is Su Hung, the eldest grandson of the third bandit, Su Tianxiong. He is the number one expert among the descendants of the bandit. He is invincible and a top expert of the younger generation in the Eastern Baron territory. He's Su Hung. Yi Fan sized him up carefully. Su Hang's skin was snow white and sparkling. It was extremely special, like frost, like cold snow. However, there was not the slightest bit of feminine aura. His sharpness was hidden within, like a divine sword hidden in its sheath. You and Tu Fei are really daring. You subdued his brother. Be careful. Don't let him know. All the ships anchored in the deep part of the lake because the phoenix ship with flowers was right in front of them. In the sky, the majestic heavenly palace was shining brilliantly, giving people a surreal feeling. Immortal music echoed as if it came from the nine heavens. Nine women started to dance. Under the moonlight, they were like fairies from heaven descending to the mortal world. Their graceful movements mesmerized people's minds. Even Yi Fan couldn't help but sigh. Once the beautiful women of the cultivators entered the mortal world, their charm was endless. No matter how beautiful the mortal women were, they couldn't dance like immortals in the sky. To many people, they were the fairies in their dreams. All of a sudden, someone rode a divine sword with divine light, illuminating the lake of ingenious desire. It was a man in yellow clothes. He looked heroic and elegant. The saint son of the Super Yen Holy Land, Xiang Yifei. Yi Fan was surprised. Why did these people come without disguising themselves? That's not right. Li Heishui also sensed the abnormality and said, the young master of the Sky Demon Palace, the heir of the Gold Family, the prince of the Great Xia, the hero of the Jiang Family, and Xiang Yifei of the Super Yen Holy Land. The forces behind them are towering in the clouds. They shouldn't act like this. They should hide their identities. Yi Fan nodded and said, that's right. Miao Yu Nunnery doesn't have a good reputation. Why would these people be so high profile? There must be a reason we don't know. The two of them guessed that there must be a reason. Otherwise, even if these people came to Moon Breeze, they wouldn't show their true bodies because of their reputation. Suddenly, the music in the sky stopped, and everything quieted down. In front, a Miaoi's white clothes fluttered in the wind. She stood against the wind, otherworldly as if she wanted to ride the wind. Once worried too much, damaging one's cultivation. Entering the mountain, one fears the cold teacher's feelings. How can there be a perfect method in this world? Not letting down the nameless, not letting down you. The sound of nature drifted in the night sky. And Miaoi's fine black hair danced in the wind. She was ethereal and otherworldly, beautiful and elegant. She was born with jade-like bones and an unparalleled celestial beauty. Everyone was stunned. Miaoi must be referring to the various wonderful desires, nameless was referring to the great Tao, and you was a respectful term for others. The meaning of these words was obvious. How can there be a perfect method in this world? And Miaoi's voice was moving, her beautiful eyes sweeping across everyone. Everyone was surprised that she actually said such a thing. Could it be that she wanted to leave Miaoyu Nunnery and live in seclusion in the mountains? Did she want to jump out of the mud that was Miaoyu Nunnery? There were many jade boats in the lake. Everyone was shocked. This most beautiful woman in the eastern wasteland was indeed extraordinary. Farian, I understand your difficulties. I am willing to live in seclusion in the mountains with you, someone immediately shouted. Plop. Unfortunately, this person who stood out was unbearable and was thrown into the lake by someone else. Farian, you are elegant and pure, like the divine moon in the sky. When you leave Miaoyu Nunnery and leave the mud, I am willing to walk with you. Although this person did not say, live in seclusion in the wilderness, his meaning was more or less the same. It was already very straightforward. In the end, he was also thrown into the water. 
You are a beauty of a generation. Of course, you should stay away from the wonderful desires. I am willing to travel to Zhongzhou with Farian. Plop. Another person who stood out was thrown into the lake. His whole body was covered in water. The others did not dare to speak, afraid that they would become public enemies. Difficult, difficult, difficult. Forget it. Tonight, we will only talk about Dharma and Tao. And Miaoi's voice was very pleasant, as if it came from above the nine heavens. What does she mean? Could it be that she really wants to be a holy and pure fairy, unwilling to be covered in the filthy wonderful desires? Even Li Heishue revealed a look of surprise. And Miaoi wanted to choose some people to talk about Dharma and Tao all night, but she did not want to leave the others cold. She decided to play a zither under the night moon and dance lightly. Her snow white dress fluttered as she flew into the air. A huge bright moon appeared behind her, reflecting her whole body. The bright and pure divine moon had a diameter of three meters, making her look incomparably pure and holy. She was truly a fairy of the moon. She danced with the heavenly winds, her beauty enough to topple cities. Not far away, a jade zither floated in the air. It was sparkling and translucent. And Miaoi's skin was like ice and bones like jade. She danced within that divine moon in a graceful and moving manner, as if a fairy from the nine heavens had descended into the world of mortals. Her white hands lightly plucked. Specks of divine light flew out, plucking the strings in the distance, releasing the nine heavens' immortal music. She danced while releasing immortal light, landing on the jade zither. And Miaoi's dance was exceptional, making people think that a goddess had descended into the lower realm. Meanwhile, the zither's music was even more so immortal music, making it difficult for people to control themselves. She danced within that divine moon, and could even play this kind of immortal music through the air. It made people exclaim in admiration, all of them becoming extremely intoxicated. Suddenly, a few birds flew over from the night sky, all of them carrying sparkling flower petals in their beaks. They surrounded her and danced together. The people below were all stupefied. A rain of flowers drifted down from the sky. Waves of fragrance wafted through the air. Hundreds of birds danced with her. It was truly unimaginable, shocking everyone and making them even more intoxicated. And Miaoi began to sing, her wonderful voice resounding in all directions. Even the fishes in the lake leapt out of the water, dancing to her rhythm. Song, dance, and zither. Even Yifan was stunned. This flawless woman who was known as the most beautiful in the eastern wasteland was truly astonishing. She was close to the realm of Tao in every aspect, displaying a type of unmatched beauty. Within the divine moon, flower petals sparkled like rain. She danced about gracefully, the zither's music sounded, hundreds of birds merged, and fishes leapt out of the water. All of this became a wonderful scene. The zither stopped, the dance stopped, and the song vanished. The world became quiet. And Miaoi stood alone. Only after a long time had passed did many people wake up as if they had just woken up from a dream. Everyone was stunned. Miaoi is willing to discuss the Tao with everyone. And Miaoi was like a fairy under the night moon. She flew upwards gracefully and entered the bejeweled jade palace. There were many palaces there, and then she disappeared into a jade pavilion. Many people woke up from their dreams. They all rushed into the sky, all of them wishing to meet her up close. It's over. This woman has moved my heart. She really has a special charm, Li Heishue said. Brother Heishue, don't tell me you've already fallen for her. Yi Fan said with a smile. I say, little Yi, don't act like you've seen through the world at such a young age. Young people should fall for such a woman. Otherwise, it would be abnormal. A smile appeared at the corner of Yi Fan's mouth, and he said, all right, then let's discuss. Whether she really wants to leave Miao Yu Nunnery and become the purest fairy in the eastern wasteland, or if she's deliberately manipulating people's hearts, we'll think of a way to take her away. What do you think? Li Heishue gave him a sidelong glance and patted him, saying, let's go. Brother Heishue, I want to bring the beauty home. In the night sky, the bejeweled jade palace flowed with radiance. It was like a pavilion from the immortal realm. As one ascended, it made one feel as if they were in a dream. And Miao Yi had already entered. The Jade Palace was full of people, but they were all blocked by a beam of celestial light. Not many could enter. This is the celestial gate of enlightenment. Without a certain level of enlightenment, one can't enter at all. Cultivators below the four extreme secret realms will definitely be blocked, except for a few. Li Heishue was surprised. The Prince of the Great Xia walked with majestic steps. Dragon Qi surged around him, and his divine armor shone. He was like a celestial emperor descending to the mortal world. The celestial gate of enlightenment could not stop him, and it automatically parted. He pulled the little nun in white and strode in. Swoosh. With a flash of light, the young lord of the sky demon palace walked in calmly, his purple robe fluttering, and his eyes deep. 
Then, the saint of the holy land of Super Yen, Xiang Yifei, appeared on a divine sword. He flashed in, leaving only a beam of holy light behind. In the distant sky, a golden divine Ho came over on the moon. On it was a man in a snow-white robe. He leaped into the air, and his temperament was refined. Jiang Yifei also entered the celestial gate. Yifan's heart skipped a beat. This person was indeed not simple. He was even more suspicious that he was the divine body of the Jiang family. Why did these people reveal their true forms? He thought of this question again. Brother Hei, it's all up to you. I can't use my divine power. I suspect that person just now might really be the divine body of the Jiang family, and he will be able to sense my presence. All right, I'll do it. Li Heishui stepped forward, and a seal of the way rushed out. The celestial gate of enlightenment opened automatically, and he and Yi Fan walked in calmly. There were more than a dozen people who could enter the Jade Tower. Without a doubt, they were all the top cultivators of the younger generation, and all of them had reached the four ultimate secret realms. Yi Fan looked around and could recognize half of them. They were all people with great backgrounds. The young lord of the Sky Demon Palace, the heir of the Gold Family, Su Han, Xiang Yifei of Super Yin, the son of all beginnings, Jiang Yifei, the prince of the Great Xia, and the little nun in white. The people who had arrived earlier had already started talking. Yi Fan and Li Heishui found a place and sat down. Miao Yi heard that the combat power of the sacred body of the ancients is unparalleled among those of the same level. Do you know the truth? And Miao Yi asked softly. Her bright eyes were kind, and she did not have the charm of Miao Yu nunnery. Chapter 326 Yi Fan's heart skipped a beat. He did not expect in Miao Yi to mention the sacred body of the ancients, so he remained silent and listened to the discussion of the others. I once heard that the sea of bitterness of the sacred body is golden, not lifeless, and possesses unparalleled divine power. I've also seen a few words in an ancient text. Their Daoist palace will not give birth to gods, and all the power will be used to nourish their bodies. Two people spoke up, one after the other. Yi Fan was surprised. These people were really knowledgeable, knowing even this. He did not know that the Daoist palace would be like this, and he used to think that there was a problem with cultivation. Su Han was dressed in black, and his skin was snow white like jade. He was like a divine sword hidden in a sheath, with its sharpness restrained. He said, for people with such a physique, their blood is comparable to divine medicine when they reach the great accomplishment. It was mentioned in the notes of an ancient alchemist that it is priceless. I'd like to hear more from you, Brother Su. I'm all ears. And Miaoi's long eyelashes fluttered as she looked at Su Hung with her big, spirited eyes. Su Hung had a strong background. His grandfather, Su Tianxiong, was even more terrifying than the mighty green dragon king. He was the third greatest bandit in the north region, so his family was well learned. His temperament was a bit cold. Even his smile was like a frosted flower. He said, that was something my grandfather accidentally saw on a stone wall. Su Tianxiong was a person with great fortune. He had already become famous in the north region more than a thousand years ago, and he once saw the notes of an alchemist of the antiquity on a cliff. Years ago, a great accomplishment sacred body of the ancients was bestowed with half a bowl of sacred blood, which was refined into a pill by the alchemist and medicinal herbs. Not only did it save a dying person, but that person also broke through to a great secret realm. It has such a magical effect. Many people were moved. Before the antiquity age, the world was chaotic. Even the sacred body of the ancients had battles that lasted for days. A man in a golden battle suit said. His skin was the color of wheat, and his face was sharp and angular. His name was Jin Qishao, the heir of the gold family of the northern plains. He was extremely powerful, and his status was comparable to that of the Xia kingdom's prince. He had also seen relevant records. Years ago, a great accomplishment sacred body of the ancients used his own blood to save many of his dying friends. It was recorded in ancient books that ten drops of blood could bring a person back to life. Was the Great Earth very chaotic before the Primordial Era? And Miaoi's eyes roamed about as she looked at Jin Qishao. It was indeed chaotic with demons running amok. However, they were eventually suppressed by the sacred physique and ancient emperors. Jin Qishao said. Beside him, a purple-clothed man sneered. He had an imposing appearance and was indescribably noble. His eyes were even deeper than the starry skies. Demons running amok? I think it's because the ancient creatures haven't gone extinct yet and are running amok on the Earth. His name was Yayua Kong, and he was the young master of the Sky Demon Palace. He came from the west of the East Baron. This ancient demon palace had existed since the beginning of time, and it was comparable to the sacred grounds. Yayua Kong, what do you mean by this? Jin Qishao asked coldly, his brows furrowed. 
Just now, you said that during the desolate antiquity era, the world was in chaos and the demon race ran amok. I was asking you what you meant by that. Chi Yuekong's purple robes fluttered in the wind. He sat there without moving, but he gave off an oppressive aura. The ancient Yao Palace intimidated the world. Since ancient times, it was unknown how many powerful Yao kings had appeared. It was said that even the Green Flood Dragon King came from this palace. Yao Yuekong's identity was indescribably noble, and his strength was naturally terrifying. Could it be that what I said was not true? Jin Qishao opposed with equal harshness. He was not afraid, because he also had a great background. The Huang Jin family was located in the Northern Plains, but it was also connected to the North region of the East Baron. It was said that they came from the East Baron in the past. There were even rumors that they were the descendants of ancient creatures, and had the blood of the immemorial golden race. This bloodline status in the Northern Plains was like the immortal dynasty Grand Xia's status in the Central Plains. It was unshakable, and they could naturally compete with the Sky Demon Palace. Yao Yuakong snorted and said, in the past, the ancient creatures stirred up trouble and were suppressed by the ancient emperors. Some of the families had no choice but to leave the Northern Plains and the East Baron. The two had fought a great battle not long ago, and the enmity between them ran deep. Now that they were at loggerheads, it was very likely that they would have a life and death battle again. Yi Fan was deeply shocked. He gradually realized that the Huang Jin family and the Sky Demon Palace had such a long history and were so mysterious. Yao Yuakong, we are the golden royal race of the human race. Don't try to slander us. Some ancient creatures stirred up trouble in the past, but now they call themselves the golden royal race of the human race. Although they were enemies, the two did not have the intention to fight. Soon, they calmed down. They did not want others to watch the show. And Miao Yi personally poured the wine and with a flip of her hand, two jade cups flew towards Jin Qishao and Yao Yuakong. Miao Yi salutes the two young masters, there is no need to fight over this. Please drink this wine. Although it was a bit stiff, no one would argue in this situation. They could not turn against each other, so they drank the wine. Someone next to him asked, Brother Yuakong, the Sky Demon Palace has existed for a long time. In the past, many great monsters came from the Sky Demon Palace. In the desolate era, they once fought against the Saint Physique. How much do you know about this? Yao Yuekong's black hair danced in the wind, and he said calmly, although the demons and humans once fought, it is all in the past. Now, we live in harmony, and the grudges of the past have been buried in history. Brother Yuakong, please don't misunderstand. I don't mean anything else. The man quickly stood up and cupped his hands. To him, the Sky Demon Palace was even more terrifying than the sacred grounds. And Miao Yi smiled faintly. Her teeth were sparkling, and her eyes were bright. She said, Brother Yuakong, please don't mind me. I wanted to ask this question as well. We really want to know more about the sacred body of the ancients. Yi Fan did not understand why this woman was like this. Was she really that interested in the sacred body? Complete sacred body is invincible. This was the evaluation of the sacred body of the ancients by Yao Yuekong's ancestors. In the desolate era, the demons were extremely prosperous. The Sky Demon Palace could not be said to be the ruler of the world. There were many great monsters, but they paid a bloody price in the battle against the sacred body. The giants of the demons fell one after another, and they were almost wiped out. The sacred body can subdue all kinds of phenomena, and all domain laws are ineffective against him. He is unstoppable in battles of life and death. Most of the people present were at the level of saints. Some of them had cultivated ancient phenomena and could fight across secret realms. If they were to encounter the sacred body, there was no doubt that all of this would be useless. This was unsettling news. Yi Fan felt a bit uneasy. These people were almost digging out his secrets with their words, which was not a good sign. Yao Yuakong did not reveal anything further and said, didn't some of the sacred grounds cultivate the sacred body of the ancients? He glanced at Xiang Yifei and the son of all beginnings. The others also said, I've heard about it, but I don't know the details. Everyone's eyes were focused on Xiang Yifei and the son of all beginnings. And Miao Yi personally poured wine for them and said, Brother Xiang, can you tell us? That was tens of thousands of years ago. Unfortunately, it still failed, Xiang Yifei said. The Holy Land of Super Yen once discovered a sacred body by chance tens of thousands of years ago. They spent millions of kilograms of source to help him ascend to the fifth level of the Holy Xi Palace. It was a bottomless pit. Although the Holy Land of Super Yen was able to produce millions of kilograms of source, their vitality would be greatly damaged. Many seniors speculated that even if they were to help him break into the four levels of secret realms, he might still encounter other unimaginable difficulties. What happened to the sacred body after that, someone asked. This was the question that everyone was most concerned about. Xiang Yifei did not answer and remained silent. 
I heard that the sacred body was quite pitiful, Su Hung said in a lukewarm tone. Back in the day, although a sacred ground could produce millions of kilograms of source, they could not see any hope, so it naturally ended, Xiang Yifei said. Nowadays, the lands of the Great Sage have opened up a large number of source mines in the northern region. If they were to produce millions of kilograms of source, it would not hurt their vitality at all, someone said. Unfortunately, the loss outweighs the gain. Who knows if there will be shackles after the sacred body enters the four levels. No one is willing to gamble. The son of all beginnings shook his head. Li Heishui interjected, now, there is a sacred body of the ancients, right? I think the lands of the great sage should consider nurturing an invincible fighter. Many people did not respond. What a terrible idea. Putting aside the grudge between Yifan and Alcade, the fact that he was not a disciple of the sacred grounds from a young age was enough to directly reject it. Why is Goddess and so interested in the sacred body? Yifan suddenly asked. Miaoyi is wholeheartedly focused on the path, wanting to understand its source and its essence. I read in the notes of the seniors that the sacred body is close to the great path, so naturally, I want to understand more. The prince of Great Xia laughed and said, the sacred body was famous all over the world in the past. I am more and more looking forward to him breaking the curse and entering the four levels of secret realms. And Miaoyi suddenly stood up, her jade-like body graceful. She came to a jade table and held a small bronze cauldron in her hand. She said, everyone, I would like to invite you to take a look at this item. What is its origin? This small cauldron was covered in green rust, and there were some fish, insects, birds, and beasts carved on it. It was very simple and unadorned, but it did not have any divine power, and the Tao patterns seemed to be damaged. Everyone's expression changed. It was impossible for Nmiaoi to casually take out something for them to see. The reason she invited them here tonight was most likely for this item. Everyone came forward one by one and observed it, but they did not see anything unusual. When Yifan held it in his hand, his heart skipped a beat. He saw a familiar imprint on the cauldron, a grimace. This was the item left behind by that ruthless person. Jiang Yifei was dressed in white, looking extraordinary and refined. He did not say anything from the beginning until he took the small cauldron from Yifan's hand. His expression froze. Goddessen, where did you get this? Brother Jiang is indeed well learned. You must know what it represents. And Miaoyi's eyes were like water as she looked at Jiang Yifei. The imprint left behind by a great emperor. At this moment, Sky Demon Palace young Lord Yao Yuekong's heart also shook. Behind you all is the most ancient inheritance in the Eastern Baron. You are indeed knowledgeable. Miaoyi is impressed. And Miaoyi smiled. Goddessen, are you trying to tell us that this item represents that we can find the other half of the extreme weapon? Jiang Yifei asked calmly. And Miaoyi nodded. Yes. However, it requires the divine body, the saint body, and the sky demon body to be able to obtain the other half of the extreme weapon. Dong. Suddenly, the sound of a bell resonated between heaven and earth. Everyone was shocked and their bodies trembled. What is that sound? At this moment, the entire holy city was shaken. The sound of a huge bell echoed throughout the entire holy city. Suddenly, Jiang Yifei's expression changed. He said, someone crossed the void and entered the barren ancient path platform of the holy city. However, only the great sage can do this. What happened? The young people's expressions changed. At the same time, the entire holy city was in chaos. No one could remain calm. Yi Fan's heart skipped a beat. He had heard the sound of a bell before. It was unforgettable. This was the sound of a bell from inside the purple mountain. A great sage crossed the void. It must have come from the purple mountain. The sound of the bell followed him here. What happened in the Purple Mountain? Did the Great Sage escape to the Holy City? Chapter 327 The Holy City had existed for a long time, and its origins could not be traced. It had existed since the beginning of human records. In the Eastern Wastelands, many great powers, Holy Lands, and Huanggu families all wanted to take it for themselves, but this was not realistic. After all, there was only one Divine City. In the end, many great powers discussed in secret and exercised their authority together to control the city. Regarding the secrets of the Divine City, outsiders almost did not know. Only a small number of secrets were made public and had been exposed to the world. The desolate ancient Tao platform was located in the center of the Divine City. It floated in the sky. This was a grand immortal platform, and it was densely covered in Tao patterns. Without a doubt, these were complex Tao patterns. They were profound to the point that even many holy lords could not understand them. Almost no one could understand them. In the past, everyone thought that they could cross the void from this place and reach a mysterious place. 
They were all excited and tried many times. Reality proved that the desolate ancient Tao platform was indeed an imprint of the Great Tao. It was an imprint that could cross the void, but no one could cross to other regions. Some records vaguely mentioned that the Tao platform could send people to a divine place. There were great fortunes there, but no one had been able to realize it. The reason why there was such a saying was that several ancient great emperors had successfully crossed the void here. Unfortunately, no one could prove it. However, everyone discovered other benefits. There were nine stone orders on the Tao platform, and no matter where they went, as long as they held the stone orders in their hands and used their divine force, they would be able to quickly cross the void and return to the center of the divine city. This was a shocking discovery. There was an old holy lord who tried it. He went to the central plains and used his divine power to cross the void and return to the center of the divine city. Of course, the consumption was also great. If it was a normal person, their divine power would have been sucked dry and they would have died a violent death. The nine stone orders were divided among the holy lands and Huanggu families. In the past, there were more holy lands than there were now. Some of them almost went to war because they could not obtain them. The stone orders were all in the hands of the great sage lords. Only they could cross as they wished and return to the floating divine city. On this night, the center of the divine city was dazzling. The desolate ancient Tao platform vibrated with endless spatial power, and seven or eight figures appeared at the same time. They waved their sleeves, and countless figures fell from their sleeves. Everyone knew that something major had happened. Seven or eight holy masters passed through the void together and retreated to Divine City's heavenly imperial court. This was something that had never happened before. This was especially the case just now. The great golden bell shook heaven and earth, the long and drawn out bell sounds making everyone's souls tremble. Even the divine city resonated because of it, as if it was going to collapse. The sound waves made the entire divine city resonate. This was something that had never happened before. Everyone in the city was startled. They all rushed out to watch from the distance. This is the emperor's might. Heavens, this is the divine might of a great emperor. An elder cried out in alarm. Even someone as powerful as a holy master couldn't make such a sound. Everyone's soul had been moved by the sound waves. There was no need to think too much, there was no need to guess. Almost instinctively, many people linked this to the might of an ancient emperor, causing their hearts to tremble. Heavens, could it be that there's an ancient emperor that hasn't died yet? This is shocking. No, those great emperors can't be in this world anymore. No one can live for so long. Could it be that, someone has become a great emperor? Heavens, it can't be that a new great emperor has appeared, right? Many people revealed expressions of disbelief. The emperor's might just now was too shocking. The divine city was the center of the northern region. It gathered the winds and clouds of the world, so naturally, there were many extraordinary figures. There were the imperial uncles of the great Sia of the central plains, the almighty figures of the northern region's golden clan, and the giants of the southern mountains. Several people rushed towards the sky at the same time. Yi Fan and the others naturally rushed out as well. Even though An Miao Yi was the most beautiful in the world, she couldn't compare to the emperor's might outside. This night, the divine city was destined to be sleepless. Many people couldn't calm down. Something has happened to all the holy masters. The purple mountain must be in great danger. Jiang Yifei pondered for a moment. He turned around and mounted the golden divine Ho, stepping on the moon. His white robes fluttered in the wind, making him look exceptionally elegant. I'll visit Fairy in another day. Goodbye, everyone. A voice came from afar. The golden divine Ho turned into a beam of golden light and disappeared from the shore of the lake. Farewell, we have to leave as well. The saints of Dian and Myriad beginnings left in a hurry. If something happened to the great sage lords, it would affect them greatly. It would affect whether or not they could become future lords. Miaoyi respectfully sends you all off. And Miaoyi transmitted her voice. Since things had come to this, everyone dispersed and left. Two days later, the news finally spread, shocking everyone. The great sage's first attack on the purple mountain ended in failure. They were almost completely wiped out. The Jiang clan, Ji clan, Alcade, and Jade Pool all had extreme weapons. That night, the Divine Sun Cauldron, the Dragon Pattern Cauldron, and the other two replicas were all shattered and turned into dust. In addition, the weapons of several other holy masters had been intertwined with Tao and Reason. They were also turned into dust and turned into nothingness. All of this was because of a bell. It wasn't the birth of a true great emperor. When the bell rippled, many experts were shattered. They couldn't resist at all. The holy lands and the clans of the clan of the ancients studied the purple mountain for many days. They believed that this place definitely contained the secrets of an ancient great emperor. Nine dragons surrounded a mountain. 
Such a terrain was almost impossible to find in the world. They thought of many plans, but in the end, they felt that going deep into the Purple Mountain was too dangerous. It was better to combine the strength of the Holy Lands and cut it in half. Unexpectedly, this led to a great disaster. The Purple Mountain hadn't been broken, but it caused the extreme Tao Divine Bell to shake the world. The bell waves destroyed everything. Everywhere they passed, everything was turned into dust. More than a hundred famous experts were turned into dust on the spot. They didn't even have time to make a sound before their bodies and souls were destroyed. They couldn't resist at all. The great sage reacted quickly and made a decisive decision. They used their great divine abilities to put away the others. They held the stone tokens and flew through the void. As for the extreme Tao weapon replicas and holy master weapons, they were all shattered. When the news spread, the northern region, the eastern wasteland, and the whole world were shaken. The name Great Emperor without beginning appeared once again, surfacing to the surface of the water, shocking everyone from history. Most people in the world didn't know about it, but the ancient inheritances of the world would never forget this name. In the era when Great Emperor Wu Shi dominated the world, he displayed the might of an ancient Great Emperor to the extreme. At the end of the Path of Immortals, Wu Shi's Tao became empty. This was the highest evaluation of him. Even though hundreds of thousands of years had passed, the ancient inheritances would never forget that once Wu Shi appeared, the Great Tao became empty. The holy city was in an uproar, and the world was shocked. This great emperor didn't leave behind an inheritance. The Wuxia bell had already disappeared in history, which made many cultivators feel deeply regretful. Yes, if great emperor Wuxia couldn't leave behind an inheritance, it would be a great loss to the human race. It would be an immeasurable regret. Today, when the Wuxia bell rang, the whole world was moved. The old holy master who was about to die felt gratified, but even more people went crazy. The inheritance of Great Emperor Wu Shi, which had disappeared for countless years, was about to appear. This affected everyone's nerves, and it was an irresistible temptation. Is this true? Great Emperor Wu Shi's inheritance is actually about to appear. Great Emperor Wu Shi shocked the ancients and dazzled the present. He was unrivaled under the heavens, an unsurpassable monument. In just a few days, the world quickly understood some of the secrets of Great Emperor Wu Shi. The news spread too fast. Of course, all of this was revealed by the ancient inheritances, including the Holy Lands, the Gold Families of the Northern Domain, and the Four Undying Dynasties of the Central Continent. I would rather fight a grand completion saint physique and never see Wu Shi again. These were the words left behind by the ancestors of the Sky Demon Palace. From this, it could be seen how much the great demons of the Desolate Era feared him. Before the Desolate Era, the world was very chaotic. The demon race and the human race often fought, and in the end, they were suppressed by the ancient emperors. When the great demons roared through the world, they naturally fought against grand completion saint physiques and ancient emperors, so they deeply understood how terrifying they were. This Wu Shi is too terrifying. Before becoming a great emperor, he actually resisted the ultimate weapon of the central continent with his bare hands. After understanding the secret, even the people of the central continent were stunned. They couldn't help but stare with their tongues tied. In the past, there was no need to talk about great emperor Wu Shi's heaven warping talent when he was young. He absolutely suppressed all his peers in the world, and even the older generation was intimidated by him. He was a living, heaven-defying monster. And when he finally succeeded, it was even more profound and unpredictable, making it impossible for others to estimate his depth. Before becoming a great emperor, he once fought against the people of the central continent at the border of the Eastern Baron. That was an era of geniuses, and it was precisely because of the emergence of countless geniuses that made great emperor Wu Shi unreachable. An unparalleled genius of the Central Continent's undying dynasty was heroic and majestic, rarely seen since ancient times. He was about to create a miracle in that era, succeeding the founder of the dynasty and becoming the new great emperor. In the entire world, there had never been two great emperors from the same inheritance. If he succeeded, it would undoubtedly be a magnificent feat and a miracle. That genius had indeed touched the edge of becoming a great emperor, and if there were no accidents, it was very likely that he would succeed. Unfortunately, he encountered Wu Shi, who hadn't become a great emperor yet. At the border between the Central Continent and the Eastern Baron, he fought against Wu Shi and even used the weapon of Extreme Path, but he was still defeated in the end. The genius of the Central Continent was infinitely close to Great Emperor. If he used the weapon of Extreme Path left behind by First Ancestor, he could definitely display the divine might of a Great Emperor. However, Wu Shi received the weapon of Extreme Path with his bare hands, and he wasn't turned into ashes. Instead, he suppressed his opponent and shocked the world. Great Emperor Wu Shi was a person with a big heart. 
After becoming the Great Emperor, he returned the weapon of extreme path to that dynasty and didn't make things difficult for them. This is a heaven-defying monster. After hearing this news, Yi Fan sighed. Li Heishui said, as long as you break the curse and break through the four extreme secret realms, with your performance today, you will become another heaven-defying monster. I want to loot all the stones in the lands of the Great Sage, and I must enter the four extreme secret realms. Yi Fan's emotions fluctuated from the various secrets of Great Emperor Wu These sacred masters are about to leave. They won't retreat just like that. The temptation of Wu Shu's orthodoxy is irresistible. Li Heishui thought for a moment and said, the only thing you have to pay attention to are those sacred sons. They definitely won't be sent to Mount Purple. They have all seen you before, so you mustn't make any mistakes. Sooner or later, I will block the gates of the lands of the Great Sage and beat them until they don't dare to come out. Yi Fan muttered to himself. Ha ha ha. Li Heishui laughed loudly and said, looks like you are filled with resentment from being chased by these people. What a pity. Even someone as talented as Emperor Wu Shi, who shook the past and dazzled the present, ended up as a pile of dirt. Yi Fan sighed. Immortal immortals really don't exist? Li Heishui also sighed. As expected, the sacred grounds wouldn't give up. They started their second attack on Mount Purple, and it was said that they might use weapons of extreme path. It might be the Divine Sun Furnace, Dragon Pattern Cauldron, or even Void Mirror. The second attack would definitely be Earth Shattering, and they might really open up Mount Purple. Chapter 328 In the past, once the Saint Physique appeared, the world would be subdued. Everywhere it passed, heroes would retreat, not daring to face it head-on. Unfortunately, it had declined for too long. Nowadays, even the disciples of small sects would add the word, trash physique, when talking about this physique. As the years flowed and rose and fell, the saint physique faded away from the masses and could no longer display its supreme elegance. The cycle was unstoppable. Yi Fan wanted to break the curse and change the current predicament. He urgently wanted to become stronger, especially after hearing the secret of Great Emperor Wu Shi. His emotions fluctuated greatly. The Divine City was really too big. After so many days, Yi Fan was only limited to a corner and didn't go deep into it. Of course, this was mainly because he wanted to gamble on stones. It was impossible to look at the flowers on horseback. After choosing a stone square, he would have to stay for a long time. Today, Li Heishui took Yi Fan a bit further. This ancient street was very wide, but there weren't many pedestrians. It was exceptionally quiet. On both sides of the road were ancient trees. Their branches reached the sky and their bark was dry and cracked. Even a dozen people wouldn't be able to wrap their arms around them. They covered the sky and covered the sun, giving this place a sense of eeriness. After walking forward for a while, Yi Fan found that something was wrong. There was a stone square on the side of the road. It was quite large and occupied a vast area. However, it was exceptionally desolate. Weeds were overgrown and the old trees were growing crazily, almost submerging the building. It was obvious that no one had taken care of it for many years. It had almost become a wild land. I'm going to faint. Yi Fan was dumbfounded because he actually saw a rabbit. That's right, a wild rabbit jumped out of the weeds and rushed into the depths of the garden. This was the divine city. Every inch of land was worth gold. How could such a huge palace be so desolate? Unexpectedly, no one took care of it. It had become a strange place with ancient vines and wild trees. It was indeed a bit special. The most excessive thing was that wild rabbits had appeared. Very soon, Yi Fan found two wild chickens. They flapped their wings and flew into the depths of the shrubs. He was quite speechless. This was too strange. What is this place? Why would someone in the Divine City be willing to abandon such a precious place? This place is the stone square of the Heavenly Jade Holy Land, Li Heishui said. In front of him, there was a magnificent doorway on the side of the road. It was covered by ancient trees, and there was a mottled bronze plaque engraved with two ancient characters, Merak. It's that holy land. Yi Fan was surprised. He walked closer and carefully sized it up. No wonder. He thought of crazy, oh. Years ago, when this holy land was at its peak, it used the whole sect to attack the forbidden land of the barren antiquity, but it was almost destroyed. Don't the other holy lands have any thoughts? Yi Fan asked. In the distant past, there were more holy lands than there were now, but up until now, many of their inheritances had already been severed. The treasures they left behind were all divided up by the other holy lands. This was also one of the reasons why the holy lands were becoming more and more powerful. Back then, only three or four people from the heavenly jade holy land managed to escape. How could they suppress the other holy lands who were eyeing them covetously? 
Many of the treasures they left behind were divided, including the vast source mine outside the absolute beginning forbidden land. Why hasn't this place been divided? Yi Fan didn't understand. Of course, there are reasons. Li Heishui explained. The Heavenly Jade Holy Land was located in the central region of the Eastern Baron Territory. The three or four people who escaped from the Heavenly Jade Holy Land died not long after. The other Holy Lands wanted to divide the Heavenly Jade Holy Land equally, but later on, there would be cries coming from the Heavenly Jade Holy Land every full moon. A few sacred lords went to investigate at night, but they couldn't find anything. Not long after, the biggest stone square in the Divine City also heard sorrowful cries when there was a full moon. The other Holy Lands sent experts to investigate, but they didn't even see a shadow. In the end, they didn't dare to touch this place. In the following years, every thousand years, the sorrowful cries would appear in the middle of the night, and it really shocked all the Holy Lands. Until now, no one dared to touch this place. Ha! Huh. The door is open. Yi Fan was surprised. So many years have passed, and only an old guard is left. He's the descendant of that loyal old servant, but he's about to die out. Now, this guard doesn't have any descendants. Can I go in and take a look? You can go in, but the stones have long been transported away by the great sage's lands. There's nothing good left. Can we gamble on stones here? Yi Fan was a little surprised. The old servant who guards this place also needs to survive. He only guards this old house. As for the stones, if anyone wants to buy them, he will naturally sell them. Back then, the great sage's lands had transported many precious stones away first. The cries only appeared in the middle of the night. Although they didn't occupy this place, they couldn't return the stones. The broken stone steps and the collapsed palace were all covered by grass and trees. An old man with blurred eyes and a hunched back sat on a piece of green stone. He was old, and he didn't have much lifespan left. He was almost at the end of his life. Looking at the desolate garden overgrown with weeds, his eyes were filled with nostalgia and sadness. Seeing this scene, Yi Fan couldn't help but sigh. This was a loyal family. Their ancestors had guarded this courtyard without any future or hope for generations. The old man was a little stiff. He slowly turned his head. His face was full of wrinkles, and his eyes were turbid. Young man, are you here to buy stones? What a sad old man. What is he waiting for by guarding here? Yi Fan didn't know what kind of power or belief supported the old man. Buy, I want to buy a lot of stones. Yi Fan nodded and placed a lot of stones in front of the old man. I don't need so much. There are no valuable stones here. The old man was trembling. He pushed the stones back with his rough old hands and said, Moreover, you haven't chosen a stone yet. I'll go choose now. Yi Fan said. Search carefully. Maybe you can find one or two treasures. Occasionally, there will be legendary figures who come here to search for treasures. The old man's eyes were lifeless. He looked at the ruined garden with sadness and said, there was another person who came in just now. He went to the depths to search. Maybe he is one of those people. Li Heishui smiled and joked, maybe we are lucky and will really meet a legendary figure. Suddenly, Yi Fan's expression turned sluggish. His heart was thumping because he really saw a terrifying figure. In the depths of the wormwood grass, there was an old Daoist wearing an ancient Daoist robe. His body was withered and he was squatting on the ground looking at the stones. It was actually the Red Dragon Daoist. Fortunately, Yi Fan's qi cultivation was good enough. If it was someone else, they would have cried out in alarm. He calmed his emotions in an instant and his pulse was not chaotic at all. This was the Peacock King's sworn brother, a super terrifying existence that even the great sage lords feared. Yi Fan had never thought he would meet him here. He couldn't help but glance at the old man and Li Heishui. He didn't know whether they were jinxed or they had great prophecy skills. They really pointed out a super terrifying figure. The red dragon Daoist glanced over and then at the old man and Li Heishui. He didn't say anything. A few months ago, the red dragon Daoist chose a pile of stoneware in the stone stronghold. In the end, Yi Fan took it all away and even the foundation of the villagers' houses were uprooted. Not even a hair was left for him. Yi Fan could imagine the Red Dragon Daoist's expression when he returned that day. He didn't dare to reveal a single flaw. If the Red Dragon Daoist knew he was the one who did it, he would most likely ruthlessly beat him up. He and Li Heishui casually searched for stones under the ancient tree and didn't reveal any strange expressions. Not long after, the Red Dragon Daoist chose a dozen or so broken stones that didn't seem special. He piled them up in front of the old man and was about to pay. Suddenly, the Red Dragon Daoist seemed to have sensed something. He emitted a terrifying aura and disappeared from where he was. 
He rushed out as if he was chasing after something. Why did he leave? The old man was puzzled. He then said to Yi Fan and Li Heishue, why don't you guys stop picking and buy these stones? They are all good ones. Yi Fan was a little hesitant. Could it be that he had to plunder everything the red dragon Daoist wanted? Bye. If that ox nose doesn't come back, I'm very lucky. If he comes back, I'll do him a favor. Yi Fan secretly made such a decision and walked over. Just cut it here. Li Heishue didn't care much. He didn't know the identity of the red dragon Daoist. Wait a little longer. Yi Fan was afraid that the red dragon Daoist would come back. However, after waiting for a quarter of an hour, the other party still didn't return. He secretly thanked his luck and directly cut the stone. After peeling off 13 stones, there was nothing inside. It was empty. The 15th stone was only the size of a fist. As soon as Yi Fan cut it open, he smelled a fragrance. It was like orchid musk, refreshing and intoxicating. He was shocked. This smell was too familiar. Not long ago, he had cut it out from the stone tools left behind by the Yuan Taoist master. It had poisoned the greedy big black dog to death. Why is the red dragon Daoist's eyes so sharp? Does he also know the most profound genesis technique? While Yi Fan was shocked, he also had endless doubts. Of course, at the moment, he had a headache. He had cut out something like this again. Was it going to be wasted again? I cut out a treasure. Li Heishue shouted excitedly. Such a strong fragrance coming from the stone must be a rare treasure in the world. Even the old man next to him, his turbid eyes were no longer dull, revealing a look of surprise. Yi Fan peeled off the stone, revealing a pink fruit. It was only the size of half a fist. It was exactly the same as the last time, just that it was half the size. Shua. Suddenly, a light flashed, and the red dragon Daoist silently appeared in place, revealing a look of shock and anger. Why did you touch my stone? Yi Fan didn't answer immediately. He wanted to sell the red dragon Daoist a favor. He absolutely couldn't let the other party blame him. You went and didn't return, so I took the initiative to sell it to them. At this moment, the old man next to him replied. Daoist Red Dragon was a little surprised and could not help but look at the old man. We've already bought it. If you want it, bring enough source energy to buy it. Even though Li Heishui could tell that the Red Dragon Daoist was extremely powerful, he would never have thought that the other party was so terrifying that he could be the big brother of the Peacock King. Let's not talk about these useless things first. Hurry up and take out the Jade Artifact to seal it. Otherwise, the most conservative estimate is that something worth hundreds of thousands of kilograms of origin source will be ruined. The Red Dragon Taoist was incomparably anxious. His head was drenched in sweat. He searched his entire body but could not find any Jade Artifact. Hundreds of thousands of kilograms? Li Heishue almost bit off his tongue. Damn Black Emperor. At this moment, Yi Fan had the urge to curse, and the corner of his mouth almost twitched. Damn, this greedy damn dog bit down on more than 200,000 kilograms of origin source in one bite. In the end, it didn't even bother to do anything. It poisoned itself until it foamed at the mouth and twitched for half a month. Chapter 329 At this moment, Yi Fan had completely peeled off the pink fruit. It didn't crack, and the fragrance was intoxicating. Li Heishue swallowed his saliva. It's definitely a rare divine medicine. If you want it, then take out 300,000 kilograms of origin source. Li Heishue was asking for an exorbitant price. He didn't know the Red Dragon Taoist's identity and had no scruples. As he spoke, he took out a jade bottle and poured out the pills inside. He put the pink fruit inside very neatly. This is the stone I chose. The Red Dragon Taoist was expressionless. But I did sell it to them. The old man guarding the gate of the Heavenly Jade Holy Land said weakly with the help of his walking stick. Yes, Taoist, you won't rob it by force, will you? This is a disgrace to your identity as a senior. Li Heishue said. Yi Fan quickly stopped him, afraid that he would say too much and bring disaster. This old Taoist was like the peacock king who didn't respect the laws of the world. He did things his own way and almost killed the Alcade Holy Lord. Taoist, if you really need it, I can give it to you. Yi Fan was prepared to do him a big favor. How can you give it to him for free? This is more than 100,000 kilograms of origin source. Li Heishue shouted. Yi Fan didn't dare to use telepathy. At such a close distance, he was afraid that the Red Dragon Taoist would hear him. He only pulled on Li Heishue's sleeve and told him not to go too far. What kind of person was Li Heishue? He was full of evil thoughts. 
He immediately changed his tone and said, You really want to give such precious origin source to this Taoist? Aren't you being too generous? The red dragon Taoist took the jade bottle and sealed the fruit. Only then did he say expressionlessly, I won't take advantage of you. Taoist, you've misunderstood. We didn't mean that. We saw that you didn't return for a long time, so we bought it and cut it open. Now that you've returned, no matter how precious this fruit is, we won't take it anymore. This is the stone you chose, so just give it back to you. Yi Fan didn't want to make the Red Dragon Taoist feel disgusted. Otherwise, the Red Dragon Taoist could easily crush them with an excuse. Thus, he generously gave it out, looking like he didn't want anything in return. Sure enough, the Red Dragon Taoist's expression softened and he said, After all, you bought it first. I won't let you suffer a loss. The so-called source is useless to me. Only this fruit is meaningful. The Crimson Dragon Old Taoist's sleeves shook. Walala sounds rang out, and a large pile of energy appeared on the ground. They shone with a myriad of colors, radiance rushing into the heavens. The spiritual energy was like clouds and smoke, so thick that it couldn't be dispersed. There was a total of 15,000 kilograms of source energy, but he had thrown it out without a care, as if he was throwing an ordinary stone. I only have this much. I'll think of a way to give you the rest in the future. Daoist priest, please don't do this. It makes me feel uneasy. I don't dare to accept the source energy like this. Yi Fan repeatedly declined. The Crimson Dragon held the Jade Bottle, continuously stroking it. After obtaining this fruit, he was in a good mood, his expression gentle as he said, If I tell you to accept it, then accept it. These things are like the copper coins of the secular world to me, they have long lost their use. If that's the case, then I will accept it. However, it would be disrespectful to refuse, and I am ashamed to accept it. Yi Fan no longer declined. Then, he revealed a look of doubt and asked in a serious manner, Senior, can I ask, what is the use of this fruit? The Crimson Dragon Old Man glanced at him and said, This fruit is called the Human Essence Fruit. It has many uses. In the hands of a master alchemist, it can be used to create a divine pill. In my hands, it can extend my lifespan by 50 to 100 years. Refining a divine pill, extending one's lifespan, this was definitely a peerless treasure. One has to know that normal spiritual medicines were of no use to this kind of character. Only the legendary divine objects could be of some help to these powerhouses. This pink fruit could actually extend the life of the Crimson Dragon for 50 years. If it was a normal person, how many years would that be? It was indeed a priceless treasure. The Crimson Dragon Old Man had been trapped by the Emperor's formation for 1,500 years. He was already around 3,000 years old, and his lifespan was reaching its end. To him, this item was definitely the most precious. Can this fruit increase cultivation? This was what Yi Fan wanted to know the most. The mortal essence fruit is even more precious than the divine source, but you can't eat it carelessly, because it is extremely poisonous and needs to be dissolved first. Only the fragrance has a magical effect, and it should be able to increase one's cultivation, but no one will waste it like that. The Crimson Dragon Old Man's words were very obvious. Those who sought this fruit were all antiques, and they definitely weren't looking for it to increase cultivation. In different people's hands, its value is different. Right now, it is worth hundreds of thousands of kilograms of source in my eyes, but in the hands of the old saint who only has a few years left, it is much more precious. The Crimson Dragon Old Man floated away. Li Heishui spoke telepathically, hundreds of thousands of kilograms of source, you gave it to him just like that? Do you know who he is? The Crimson Dragon Daoist, the one who almost killed the Alcade Saint last time. He is a super terrifying existence. What, it's him? Li Heishui was shocked. He already knew that the old man's identity wasn't ordinary, but he didn't expect it to be so terrifying. This was a giant who could do whatever he wanted in the eastern barren land. Yi Fan said telepathically, didn't he say that he will be in the holy city recently? If there is anything, you can go to the stone square in the holy land to find him. This is a great help. I might directly enter the heaven stone garden of one of the holy lands. If there is too much of a commotion, I will need him to suppress it. Li He Shukui nodded and said, I am also a little worried that you will gamble too much and cause a big problem. Today, I met the Crimson Dragon Daoist by chance. What a pleasant surprise. Old man, please take some source. Yi Fan said to the last gatekeeper of the Heavenly Jade Holy Land. This isn't my source, I can't take it. You have already paid a lot when you bought the stones. The old man was hunched and weak. He supported himself with his walking stick and shook his head. Yi Fan rolled up his sleeves and put away a large pile of source, but he left a small portion and walked out with Li Heishui. Today's harvest is very big. 15,000 kilograms of source. If this goes on, you will be able to gather all the source you need in a month. On the way, Yi Fan asked Li Heishui which auction house had the best reputation in the Divine City. 
There are seven big auction houses in the Divine City. I feel that Sky Demon Palace's treasure tower is not bad. Li Heishui pointed to the sky and said, There, it's in the sky of this area. It was a majestic sky tower, majestic and towering. It was Sky Demon Palace's treasure tower. What do you want to auction? Li Heishui couldn't help but ask. I want to auction half a fruit, but I must be anonymous. I can't let others know. What fruit? Don't tell me it's the same as the pink fruit. Li Heishui was curious. Yi Fan took out a jade box. After opening it, there was half a tattered fruit inside. A faint fragrance wafted out, and one could clearly see some teeth marks on it. Why do I feel that it's really similar to the fruit just now? Li Heishui was shocked and revealed a doubtful expression. Why do there seem to be teeth marks? It's the fruit just now. It was bitten by a dog. This was the pink fruit that was bitten by the Black Emperor. After the matter, Yi Fan kept it. He didn't throw it away because he felt that it might be of great use. When he understood what had happened, Li Heishui almost vomited blood. He shouted, this prodigal dog bit off 200,000 kilograms of source in one bite. It really should be skinned alive and eaten. Yi Fan was also very depressed. Having so much source bitten off by a greedy big dog, anyone would be speechless. The medicinal power had dissipated. In this state, it could at most be auctioned for 20 to 30,000 kilograms of source. He thought for a moment and said, now is not a good time to auction it. Wait until the Holy Lands have attacked Purple Mountain and suffered heavy casualties before selling it. No, wait until a Holy Lord is about to die to auction it. F asterisk CK, can't you be more shameless? Auctioning a fruit eaten by a dog for a Holy Lord to eat. Li Heishui was dumbfounded. Why not? I'm saving their lives. Not only do they have to give me source, but they also have to thank me. Yi Fan narrowed his eyes and smiled. Little Yi, you have a bright future. Li Heishui patted his shoulder and smiled. I'm waiting for that moment. Just thinking about it makes me happy. On the ancient streets of the Divine City, people came and went without end. Both sides of the street were filled with heavenly palaces. At this moment, the two of them weren't going to the stone squares of the Holy Lands because it was very shocking to spend money there. It wasn't that young Master Yuan couldn't go in, but Yi Fan's ambition was too great. He wanted to go to the Holy Lands to gamble on rare treasures and wondrous sources. He didn't want to leave his name there prematurely because of his initial accumulation. In the following days, Yi Fan went to the smaller stone squares to carry out the so-called primitive accumulation. However, these so-called small stone gambling squares were also palatial gardens, many times larger than the biggest stone squares in the oases. For eight days, Yi Fan left early and returned late, spending most of his time in the small stone squares in the southeast corner of the Divine City. During these eight days, he constantly bought source stones and cut them himself, collecting more than 5,000 kilograms of source stones. Li Heishui's jaw almost dropped. This was too shocking for him. He was so envious that he was drooling. For other cultivators, this was a huge amount of wealth that could be squandered as much as they wanted. They might not even use this much in their entire lives. However, for Yi Fan, this was only a fraction of what he had. It was far from enough. He had a long way to go. He frowned. Even though this speed was shocking, it would still take more than two years to gather all the source stones he needed. Moreover, he couldn't do anything during this process. He had to put all his energy into stone gambling. It seems that I really need to go to the heaven stone gardens of the holy lands to gamble on rare treasures and exotic source stones. The heaven stone gardens of the holy lands were very special. One couldn't buy the stones and cut them themselves. They could only cut the stones there because the people of the holy lands wanted to observe and summarize their experience. This was a hard and fast rule, and no one knew when it had started. Some people guessed that it was because the Genesis Heaven Masters of the past had made the Holy Land suffer a lot, and they had ended up with this Genesis technique. In fact, after so many years, the Genesis techniques of the Holy Lands had indeed improved a lot. Most people with profound attainments in Genesis techniques might not be able to compare to them. Over the past few months, Yi Fan had imprinted the Book of Source Heaven into every inch of his flesh and blood. Even when he entered the holy city and was busy with stone gambling, he didn't stop studying it. It could be said that his genesis technique had reached an amazing level. Even the stones that contained source stones could almost be seen. From today onwards, I will begin to sweep the lands of the great sage. You're finally going? That's right. I can't wait. Yi Fan made up his mind. On the ninth day, Yi Fan and Li Heishui came to the Dao One Holy Land. They had heard that there were eight madmen who had been causing quite a ruckus recently, saying that they wanted to win the Dao One Holy Land Saintus. The two of them wanted to fish in troubled waters. 
The young Taoist priest of the Tao Yi Holy Land had left a deep impression on Yi Fan. She had purified thousands of evil people with her heavenly voice and the words infinite celestial being. He wanted to see who dared to be so unscrupulous and unafraid of the holy lands. If they could join forces, it would be a good idea to let these eight go to the other holy lands to stir up trouble. The Tao Yi Holy Land was surrounded by towering ancient trees that sprinkled a large area of shade. The Taoist temple was very quiet. In the luxurious divine city, there was a sense of returning to simplicity. In the mortal world, this was like a pure land. The Taoist temple flickered with a faint golden light under the sunlight, looking incomparably holy. This Taoist temple occupied a large area, hidden in the grass and trees. As soon as they got close, Yi Fan saw two familiar people. It was the great Xia Prince and the little nun in white. Beside them, there were some people following them. It seemed that they were not ordinary young people. This time, is your highness going to gamble with Jin Qi Xiao of the Gold Family or with Yao Yuakong of the Sky Demon Palace, someone asked. There's no rush. Let's see who those eight freaks are. I've heard of them for a long time, but I haven't seen them, the great Xia Prince answered. His black hair was like a waterfall and his eyes were like torches. One of them saw Yi Fan walking over and couldn't help but laugh. Oh, this country bumpkin is actually here. Is he going to stare at a watermelon stone again? Brother Wu, do you know this young man? Someone asked. I've seen him in a small gambling den. He actually foolishly bought a pile of watermelon stones and ran away happily, Wu Ziming teased. Hearing this, the others immediately laughed, including the great Xia Prince and the little nun who couldn't help but smile. He is the head disciple of the Five Elements Palace, his name is Wu Ziming, Li Heishui said to Yi Fan. Through his introduction, Yi Fan learned that this group of people were disciples of some big sections. Even if they couldn't compare to the great Xia Prince, their status was still extremely high. With a teasing smile, Wu Ziming waved at Yi Fan and teased, Do you want to buy watermelon stones from the Dao One Sacred Land today? What's wrong with watermelon stones? Li Heishui asked. Everyone immediately burst into laughter. Wu Ziming shook his head and said sarcastically, Even if you can cut out the source stones, they are just a few seeds. The source particles are pitifully small. Do you understand source stones? Coming here is a disgrace to the Tao Yi Holy Land. Young man, go back quickly. This is not a place for you. Someone shook his head and teased. Don't, come with me. In a while, you will pick up watermelon stones behind me. I will leave them for you. Wu Ziming laughed loudly. Many people couldn't help but laugh. The great Xia Prince also smiled and shook his head. What's wrong with watermelon stones? Why don't I bet watermelon stones on you guys? Li Heishui had great confidence in Yi Fan's source technique and called out to those people. Huh, did you hear that? Someone wants to bet watermelon stones with us. Two bumpkins, I really don't know what to say. Wu Ziming laughed and said sarcastically, let's go, pick watermelon stones behind me today. The great Xia Prince couldn't help but laugh, Ziming, you guys are bullying us. Wu Ziming teased, it's not that we are bullying them, it's that they want us to make fun of them. If we don't bully them, they won't do it themselves. Yi Fan said to Li Heishui, these birdmen, prepare to collect the source stones later. Chapter 330 The upper steps were green with moss, the grass was green with curtains, and the ancient trees covered the Taoist temple. It was quiet and peaceful. There were many people entering and exiting the stone square, but there was no noise. It was quiet and natural, giving people a feeling of returning to nature. Someone in Wu Ziming's group teased, Young man, you've never seen a stone square before, right? Take a good look and follow behind us to pick watermelon stones. Ha! Huh. The group laughed. A group of sheep waiting to be slaughtered, Li Heishui replied contemptuously. Black brat, who are you talking about? This group of people all had high statuses. Being looked down upon by the dark-faced Li Heishui, many people gave him sidelong glances. Of course I'm talking about you guys. Is there anyone else who wants to bet with us? Li Heishui shouted. His skin was dark and he looked very simple. This kind of provocation was especially lethal. Black brat, are you challenging us? How many sources do you have to bet with us? This group of people was only teasing them before and didn't take them seriously at all. Of course I have a lot of sources. I'm just afraid you guys can't afford to lose. Li Heishui looked simple and honest. Someone mocked. How many sources is a lot of sources? 50 kilograms. Li Heishui raised his head. The group laughed. Many people shook their heads, feeling that he was cute and overly simple. You have the nerve to enter the Tao One Holy Land with 50 kilograms of sources. I advise you to go back to where you came from. 
Don't embarrass yourself. Black brat, you look so simple and cute. We won't bully you anymore. Hurry up and leave. Why are you telling them to leave? This is too fun. This black brat is a treasure. Don't you guys find it fun to let them follow you? That's right, this black brat is quite funny. It's good to let him relieve his boredom. Relieve your boredom? Can you guys afford to lose? Li Heishui continued to challenge them. Black brat, you're just asking to be bullied, aren't you? Let's bet. We'll bet with you. Wu Ziming mocked, these two silly brats are quite interesting. Since we have nothing to do, we'll play with them later. Yi Fan transmitted his voice to Li Heishui, you dragged everyone in, aren't you afraid of causing trouble? Originally, he wanted to slaughter a few fat sheep, but Li Heishui looked simple and honest, intending to trap everyone in the trap. Li Heishui said, it's fine as long as your genesis techniques are good enough. We are destined to make a huge gamble in the divine city. Sooner or later, we will attract attention. We might as well suppress some people as early as possible. What are you going to use? Yi Fan asked. Li Heishui didn't come with his real appearance, otherwise, as the descendant of a bandit, he would attract some trouble. He was very confident and said, don't worry, I have a black iron token in my hand. If I show it, it will be enough to scare those people. In the future, there will not be similar people who will cause trouble for me. Today, I will take the opportunity to blackmail them. They passed through five stone gardens in a row. There weren't many precious stones on the periphery, so the price was naturally very cheap. There was no way this group of people would stop here. They weren't interested in them at all. The cobblestone path was very secluded. After passing through a large ancient forest, they came to a place with abundant vegetation. The garden was beautiful and lush. Sky Demon Palace's young master Yayua Kong is up ahead, should we go and greet him? Forget it, I believe that Gold Clan's Jin Qi Shao is not far away. The two are like fire and water. They will most likely fight here. If we go now, we will be asking for trouble. Ahead, beside a flowing spring, Yao Yua Kong was choosing stones with the company of a few people. Hey brat, there's a watermelon stone here, do you want it? Someone teased, kicking a head-sized stone out from the grass. You won't go back on your words with us, will you? Li Heishui asked seriously. What a joke, we won't go back on our words. You have so little source, what can you do with it? They stopped here. The garden was very quiet, and there were blue god trees everywhere. The branches were dense, and the leaves were sky blue. It was a very dreamy color, and even the tree trunks were sparkling like blue crystals. Other than that, there were vines crawling all over the place. The flowers were not big, but they were very fragrant, giving this place a kind of poetic charm. I still don't believe it, no, I have to call some witnesses. Li Heishui suddenly shouted at the top of his lungs, Stone gambling, peak duel, come and watch. Hey brat, what are you shouting for? Don't shout in Dao E Stone Square. Stupid brat, you took it seriously. You think you can gamble with us? The dozen or so people all had different expressions. They didn't take it seriously, they originally wanted to tease the two, but they didn't expect Li Heishui to do this. Dao E Stone Square was full of cultivators, many people looked over, not knowing what was going on. The princes and princesses of Central State's Eternal Dynasty, Grand Xia. Some people were surprised, they immediately recognized the handsome prince of Grand Xia and the pure white clothed nun. The Grand Xia royal family had people buying rare stones in the Divine City all year round, so people were not unfamiliar with them. There's also the head disciple of Five Elements Palace, Wu Ziming, and the son of Disillusionment Palace's head, Li Chongtian. Many people were surprised, the people around the Grand Xia Prince all had great backgrounds, they were all disciples of the great sects, many people walked over. Peak battle of stone gambling, everyone please be witnesses. Li Heishui shouted with all his might. The people in the neighboring stone gardens knew that the Grand Xia Prince and the others were here, they all gathered. Hey brat, you really are looking for trouble, I won't feel comfortable if I don't bully you. Li Chong Tian and the others were a bit annoyed. Soon, even Sky Demon Palace's young master Yao Yuakong walked over, his purple robe fluttering in the wind, the surrounding people couldn't help but open up a path for him. It's really starting. Li Heishui mumbled. Who is this hey brat, he dares to gamble with these people. The surrounding people were surprised. Wu Ziming mocked, you guys go ahead and cut the stones, we will double the amount you cut out. You said that? 
Li Heishue said seriously, you don't want to gamble with us, as long as we cut out the source, you will double the amount? Wu Ziming mocked, stupid to the extreme, hurry up and cut the stones, 25 kilograms of source will be used up in one go. Ha, ah, hey brat, here's a watermelon stone, for you guys. One of them laughed and kicked a washbasin sized stone over. Young man, there's more here, hurry up and move it. Another teased. There's also a top grade watermelon stone here, your favorite, ha ha ha. The others laughed and kicked the third watermelon stone over. The surrounding people understood what was going on and laughed. Are you sure that these rotten stones really have source? Li Heishue secretly transmitted, he was afraid that he would really become a laughing stock. Yi Fan secretly replied, I originally planned to take a look around the other stone gardens, but one of the stones they kicked over really had a large amount of origin energy, so I didn't have to choose it myself. Serves them right. That's great. I want to enjoy their expressions later. Li Heishue chuckled. Hey brat, what are you laughing about? Hurry up and cut your watermelon. Hey, there's a watermelon stone here. I'll give you nine, making it an extreme number. Looking at the nine watermelon stones on the ground, Wu Ziming and Li Chong Tian were full of disdain, and they couldn't help but laugh. Everyone around shook their heads. How could he choose a watermelon stone? He really didn't know anything about source. After Yi Fan bought the stones, he picked them up and smashed them on the ground. He didn't cut them, and many people were shocked. Pa cha pa cha. Six watermelon stones shattered one after another. Inside, there was nothing but white. You're asking for trouble, Li Chong Tian coldly laughed. You want to cut out source from a watermelon stone? You're a disgrace to Dao One Holy Land. Crack. When the seventh source fell to the ground, a green light shot out. It was fresh and tender, and it made people feel as if their eyes were sparkling. It was full of life energy. Green Leaf Stone Someone was shocked and said, they really cut out source, and it's a xenogeneic source. One stone like that is worth five pounds of pure source. The green stone that looked like a leaf was only an inch long. It was green and shiny, and it looked like a green leaf. Ha! Huh. Li Heishue laughed and said, xenogeneic source, ten pounds per person. Give it to me. He reached out his hand and asked for it. A dozen people were disgusted. They hadn't thought they'd really cut out source. Ten pounds of source was nothing to them, but taking it out like that made them feel uncomfortable. The watermelon stone has a xenogeneic source. It's like a blind cat finding a dead mouse, someone said. It's useless to say anything else. You guys aren't going to back out, are you? Li Heishue reached out his hand. Wu Ziming pinched his nose and gave him 280 pounds of source to pay for a dozen people. Kacha. Yi Fan broke the eighth stone, but there was nothing inside. Throw out another one, one of them said with a cold laugh. I don't believe a rotten watermelon stone can have a good source. Crack. The ninth stone was thrown to the ground by Yi Fan, and it broke into pieces. In an instant, purple light rushed out, and a purple mist filled the air. The spiritual energy was so thick that it couldn't be dissolved. Xenogeneic amethyst source, someone shouted. Yi Fan squatted down and peeled off layers of stone. The purple light became even brighter, and the ground was shining brightly, shooting in all directions. So many watermelon seeds. Everyone was shocked. Each amethyst source was only the size of a fingernail, and it really looked like watermelon seeds. There were more than 40 of them embedded in the stone. Amethyst is a xenogeneic source, and one of these is worth 15 pounds of pure source. However, there are so many inside a stone the size of a human head. It's worth 1,500 pounds of pure source. On the side, many people revealed strange expressions. They all felt that it was unbelievable. Ha ha ha. Li Heishue laughed. Wu Ziming's face was full of bad luck, as if he had eaten a dead toad. The other dozen people also had ugly expressions. It's too beautiful. It's truly a top-grade watermelon stone. Someone on the side exclaimed, it gave birth to nearly 50 amethyst seeds. It's amazing. Yi Fan peeled off the stone. There were exactly 49 amethyst seeds, a very wonderful number. He held it in his palm, and it was a whole handful. Purple light flashed, and it was resplendent. It made his palm look like it was covered in a purple mist. Everyone, there's nothing to say. One person has 3,000 pounds of source, and the 14 of you have a total of 42,000 pounds. 
Li Heishui laughed heartily. At this moment, everyone was stunned. 40,000 pounds of source was an extremely huge number. At the very least, for many people present, it was enough to make them faint. Heavens, more than 40,000 pounds. This black brat and this delicate and pretty youth's luck is too heaven-defying. They threw nine watermelon stones and suddenly obtained more than 40,000 pounds of source. There's really no justice in this world. When luck comes, it can't be stopped. Did you see just now? The nine watermelon stones were all kicked over by Wu Ziming and Li Chong Tian. The two of them didn't even choose their stones. That's right, I saw it too. Wu Ziming and Li Chong Tian kicked it over themselves. Even the heavens are helping us. Wu Ziming heard these words and had the urge to vomit blood. Li Chong Tian wasn't any better. He wanted to beat someone up. This was too much of a waste. Li Heishui was the complete opposite of them. With a face full of smiles, he moved forward and carefully observed the expressions of the dozen people before laughing loudly. Ha ha ha. Chapter 331 Watermelon stones had lines like watermelon patterns on the outside. Even if one could cut out the source, the amount would be very small. They were like melon seeds and were mostly granular. This was the origin of its name. Of course, things were not absolute. A long time ago, someone cut out dozens of melon seeds and shook the entire city. At this moment, there were 49 amethyst melon seeds. Even though they could not compare to the divine source granules, it was still shocking. Now, it was Li Heishui's turn to laugh. Wu Ziming and the others' faces darkened. 40,000 kilograms of source was too much. Noble guests, don't just stand there. Give us the source, 40,000 kilograms. Your generosity has moved us. Yi Fan and Li Heishui walked forward and began to collect the source. They extended their hands to the people. Wu Ziming and Li Chong Tian were incomparably uncomfortable. They felt as if they had flown up to the nine heavens and were suddenly dragged into a latrine pit by a rake. They originally wanted to tease the two and treat them as a joke, but in the end, they became the spendthrifts. For no reason, each of them had to take out 3,000 kilograms of source. It was truly infuriating. The dozen people felt white smoke rising from their heads as if they were on fire. This was too vexing. They were just teasing two bumpkins, but in the end, they had to use up so much source. Even the air they exhaled was filled with anger. Damn, is there any justice in this world? Watermelon stones, they actually threw out the amethyst source. Mother of asterisk her, I want to beat someone up. A disciple of a great sect mumbled with a wretched expression. 3,000 kilograms of source, mother of asterisk her, half of my fortune is gone just like that. F asterisk king amethyst source. Another disciple was more boorish and angrily cursed. Wu Ziming's face was ashen. If he and Li Chong Tian hadn't been holding on to these two bumpkins, they wouldn't have been treated like donkeys for no reason. Brother Wu, are you sick? Why is your face even more purple than the amethyst source? Li Heishui shook his head and moved closer. He had a simple and honest expression as he asked with concern. Little Hei, don't pretend to be innocent after getting a bargain. Wu Ziming's nose was spewing fire. He felt his nose was about to bleed. He swung his sleeve and threw the 3,000 kilograms of source on the ground. They were all disciples of the great sections. They had more sources than two fei, but they only had two or three cubic meters. Today, they had to hand over one cubic meter. Everybody felt pain in their hearts. Everyone's veins were throbbing, and they unwillingly threw you on to the ground. They were all people of status, and they could not deny it in front of so many people. They could not afford to lose that person. Thank you, your royal highness. Yi Fan personally took the 1,500 kilograms of source energy from the great Xia Prince. Then, he turned around to look at the little nun in white and said with a smile, Little sister, do you have a spring? The little nun in white pouted, her big pure eyes filled with innocence. She was inexplicably dragged into this mess, completely inviting an undeserved calamity. First, she didn't make fun of the two, and second, she didn't have a gambling source, yet she actually wanted to hand over the source. The great Xia prince frowned, not liking to see Yi Fan smiling at his sister. He directly blocked him and threw out a Fang Yuan. Sizzle. There was a pile of origin energy on the ground that flickered with light. Spiritual energy surged and brilliant colors shone. This kind of sparkling thing was truly bewitching. Ha! Huh. Li Heishui laughed loudly. The dozen or so people's faces all darkened, they were filled with a belly full of anger. This was 2F asterisk king unjust. Yi Fan did not care about this. He rolled up his sleeves and collected all the origin energy. In an instant, he had obtained more than 40,000 kilograms of origin energy, and he was one step closer to breaking through. This time, I will really gamble with you. Do you dare? Wu Ziming asked in a deep voice. Why not? But do you still have origin energy? Yi Fan asked indifferently. Wu Ziming opened his mouth. 
Just now, many people did not have enough origin energy, so they borrowed from each other and finally gathered 42,000 kilograms. They could not possibly bring all of their origin energy with them. How can we gamble without origin energy? Now, it was Li Heishui's turn to look down on them, his dark face full of ridicule. Hey brat, don't be too proud. Damn it, how am I black? This is called manliness, do you understand? Li Heishui did not feel that he was black at all and loudly argued. The surrounding people were speechless. Someone mumbled, you are already so black, and you still say you are not black. I have origin energy, I can gamble with you. At the scene, only the great Xia prince did not care about the gains and losses just now and walked forward. How much origin energy do you have? Li Heishui asked directly. Three sides. The surrounding people gasped. The great Xia prince was indeed confident, worthy of being one of the four great immortal empire's inheritors of central state. He carried more than 10,000 kilograms of origin energy with him. Okay, no problem, I will gamble with you. Yi Fan smiled and nodded. The great Xia prince walked like a dragon and tiger, surrounded by dragon qi. He was tall and straight, very intimidating. He was the first to walk towards the deep stone garden. The little nun in white was very dissatisfied. She was inexplicably asked to go to one side by Yi Fan. She felt very wronged, it had nothing to do with her. She wrinkled her delicate nose and clenched her small fist, waving it at Yi Fan. Then, she nimbly turned around and left with her brother. Yi Fan and Li Heishui did not care and followed. Everyone followed, knowing that there was going to be a good show to watch. Sky Demon Palace's young master Ya Yuakong also followed. He was dressed in purple and had deep eyes. He was the focus of attention. His status was comparable to the great Xia Prince and he was surrounded by many people. Early in the morning, the sun shone down, dyeing the edges and corners of the Daoist temple with a layer of holy light. Walking here made people feel a sense of peace, as if their bodies and minds had been baptized. The crowd followed the stone path, passing through a few ancient forests and several Daoist temples. They walked all the way to the 18th level of the stone garden. Only then did the great Xia Prince stop. The stones here were quite expensive. One kilogram of stones was equivalent to 10 kilograms of origin energy. Stones were more expensive than origin energy, and ordinary people could not afford it. After the 18th level of the stone garden, the stakes were no longer pure origin energy, but more precious things. The cost was huge. However, this made Yi Fan quite satisfied. If it was pure origin energy, he really did not know how long he would have to wait to gather what he needed. And these precious stones, if cut out of them, would definitely be extremely precious and could speed up his origin energy collection. How about here, the great Xia Prince asked. Since we're already here, why not go to the Heaven Series Stone Garden? Yi Fan said with a smile. Hiss. Many people sucked in a breath of cold air. The Heaven Series Stone Garden's wondrous stones were frighteningly expensive. Very few people of the younger generation went there. Only the older generation with great backgrounds frequented it. That is a place where a stone is worth 500 kilograms of origin energy. Many people went there to try their luck, but in the end, they all lost until their faces turned pale. There are even some stones that are only a few kilograms, but they are worth 5,000 kilograms of origin energy. Even the Grand Elders of the various Holy Lands feel the pinch. The surrounding people discussed. When the Heaven Series Stone Garden was mentioned, many people were excited and helpless. The threshold was too high, and they could not afford it at all. Not everyone understood. Someone asked in confusion, it's so ridiculously expensive, isn't it too frightening? There are people who go to choose stones like this? You don't understand. Those are all wondrous stones. If something is cut out, it will definitely be a rare treasure with astonishing value. That's right, once a treasure is cut out, not to mention tens of thousands of kilograms of origin energy, even hundreds of thousands of kilograms of origin energy might not be able to block it. A few people who went in and out of the stone square all year round said this, causing many people to suck in a breath of cold air. Since that is the case, why don't the holy lands cut it out themselves? Why are they doing this, allowing others to choose stones? Someone asked. Do you think the holy lands are willing to do this? They are also unable to confirm whether there are treasures inside the stones. In order to maximize their profits, they place them here and sell them at sky-high prices, allowing people to gamble. That is indeed the case. This is the fundamental reason for the existence of the Holy Land's stone squares. The great Xia Prince only hesitated for a moment before happily agreeing. All right, since that is the case, let's go to the Heaven Series Stone Garden. At this moment, the people present were in an uproar. They knew that there would definitely be a great deal today. Are you sure you want to go to the Heaven Series Stone Garden? Wu Ziming, Li Chong Tian, and the rest were all incomparably shocked. Now it was Li Heishui's turn to be arrogant. He said calmly, you guys have never gambled before, right? This time, you have to broaden your horizons. We are actually, being looked down upon by these two country bumpkins. 
Wu Ziming and the rest were as depressed as they could be. All of them were extremely furious. Hey brat, next time, I will decide who wins or loses with you. One of the dozen or so people said. I am not at all black-hearted. Don't mention the word black-hearted to me. Also, next time bring enough origin source. This gambling sage will bet until your faces turn green. Hey brat, you are too insolent. You are the black-hearted one, your whole family is black-hearted. Li Heishui rolled his eyes and retorted. There was an ancient vine in the Heaven Series stone garden. It was so thick that it made people speechless. It had a diameter of 10 meters. It was like a lying dragon, crawling in all directions. This was not a tree, it was just a vine. However, it was so thick. The Dao Yi stone square occupied a large area. Many Daoist temples had its vines. There was also a well next to the ancient vine. It was made of origin stones, and the rope had left many marks on it. It was unknown how long this well had existed for. This ancient vine is tens of thousands of years old. Li Heishui introduced it to Yi Fan. According to legend, it was about to transform into a dragon, but it was turned into an ordinary tree by an expert. All of its spiritual qi passed through the ancient well and nourished the stone square. There was another saying. In the divine city, no matter how old a plant was, it could not transform into a demon. The spiritual qi it gathered could only nourish the city. Yao Yuakong, the young master of the demonic race in purple, stepped forward. He had an imposing appearance and the temperament of a demonic god. His sharpness was restrained, and deep in his star-like eyes, one could vaguely feel that he was the only one in the world. Brothers, if you find any treasures later, can you consider auctioning them at my Sky Demon Treasure Palace? No problem. If you find any treasures, I will definitely trouble Brother Yuakong. Since the other party had extended an olive branch, Yi Fan was naturally willing to make friends. The Heaven Series Stone Garden was usually quiet. Not many people came and went, but now it suddenly became lively. The people in the other stone gardens were alarmed. Many people gathered. I thought it was those eight lunatics. So it's someone else who came to the Heaven Series Stone Garden to choose stones. It's the great Xia Prince who is gambling with others. There will be a good show to watch. There were experts overseeing this place. Ordinary people couldn't enter and could only watch from the outside. Only those who chose stones could enter. After all, the stones here were too precious. There was an old Daoist nun sitting on a praying mat. Her age couldn't be seen. She was motionless. There were four or five old people inside choosing stones. When the great Xia Prince, the white-robed nun, Yi Fan, and Li Heishui walked in, she was motionless like a withered old tree. The others didn't make any noise. They surrounded the Heaven Series stone garden and watched quietly. Fortunately, there were no walls. There was only vegetation. Everything could be seen. Yi Fan stepped into the garden and felt the aura of absolute beginning. It was very strong. It was as if he had returned to that night in the Forbidden Zone. They were definitely precious stones. Yi Fan guessed that most of these stones were transported from the Forbidden Zone or were extremely close to it. Although I have walked around the Heaven Series Stone Garden a few times in the past, this is my first time here. Li Heishui transmitted his voice. Yi Fan replied with a smile, there will be many opportunities in the future. The lands of the Great Sage are all waiting for us. It was clearly not the first time the Great Xia Prince and the White-Robed Nun came here. They seemed to be very familiar with each other. Many people didn't understand why the Great Xia Prince always brought his sister. Only Yi Fan could guess that the Great Xia Princess was in Buddhism. She might be cultivating in the secular world. There were many green bamboos in the Heaven Series Stone Garden, which added a sense of tranquility. There weren't many stones here, but they were all in their respective positions. The people of the Tao One Sacred Land would check them every day because they were too precious. However, these stones were placed very naturally. They were either under the green bamboos, beside the gurgling spring, or between the green vines. The stones and the scenery blended together in harmony. It was as if heaven and earth had returned to one and returned to nature. Master Yuan, who was doing his best, followed them and kept introducing them to the people around them. Even though Yi Fan was mentally prepared, he was still shocked. Many of the stones weren't big, but they were worth thousands of kilograms of source. What was even more ridiculous was that some stones were worth thousands of kilograms of source. He couldn't bear it. Master, this is too ridiculous. Can anyone afford it? Yi Fan said. Master Source said, there are very few young people here. They are all prepared for some old antiques. You guys can't afford it. To those people, they are willing to give everything they have if they can fight for a hope and a future from here. What treasures have been cut out here? Li Heishui asked. Divine Source has been cut out and some rare treasures have been peeled out. It's amazing. Master Source smiled. This stone is worth 50,000 kilograms of Source. Li Heishui exclaimed. 
A stone that was so expensive that it couldn't be accepted was more than 50 kilograms. It lay quietly in the bamboo forest, and there was a Tao rhyme flowing around it. This is ridiculous. Are you guys selling stones? You're selling divine source. Li Heishui mumbled. It's worth that price, Master Source said. Li Heishui sent a voice transmission, this stone is indeed special. It seems to have a Tao rhyme. My spiritual senses are naturally sharp, so I sensed it. Yi Fan shook his head and said, this stone is hard to say. Even I can't see it clearly. It might not be the same on the outside. Maybe it was cut from another main stone with a Tao rhyme. It's not easy to choose. Otherwise, why didn't anyone choose it after being here for so long? That's true. The Tao rhyme is moving, but no one dares to touch it. There must be a reason. After all, the old antiques here are all more cunning than foxes. Li Heishui understood. After Yi Fan looked at the stone materials, his heart trembled. The Holy Land's Heaven Series stone garden was truly extraordinary. He had to be cautious. This stone. Li Heishui was shocked. They saw another stone. It was only a foot long, but it had nine orifices. It looked like a stone person. Is this natural or polished? Li Heishui asked. Of course, it's a natural stone. Otherwise, how could it be worth 45,000 kilograms? Master Source said. Can you see anything? Li Heishui secretly asked Yi Fan. I can't see through this stone. Don't touch it for now. Yi Fan shook his head. Have you chosen? The great Xia Prince asked from nearby. He had already chosen a stone. It was only 7 or 8 kilograms, but its price was as high as 2 square yuan. Your Highness, you only have slightly more than 5,000 kilograms. Now that you've spent 2 square yuan, you only have 1 square yuan left. How are you going to bet with us? Li Heishui asked. I still have more. The little nun in white said. Her big black eyes glanced at the two of them. Don't cry when you lose later. Yi Fan teased. The little nun in white wrinkled her nose and rolled her eyes at him. The great Xia prince snorted coldly. Yi Fan walked back and said, we've also chosen. It's this one. He chose a very large stone. It was as tall as a person, but the price was not too ridiculous. It was 1,500 kilograms. Although it was still very expensive, compared to the stones in the garden, such a large stone was the lowest price. Around the stone garden, the onlookers were all very shocked. The two of them had spent too much. However, Wu Ziming still said, do you really think you can get rare treasures by choosing a large stone? You really don't know anything. Li Chong Tian also sneered, in the heaven stone garden, choosing stones like this is a joke. Li Heishui directly said in disdain, you've already lost all your source, why are you still giving pointers? Learn well. Let's see what you can get. Wu Ziming and Li Chong Tian sneered. That's good to see, learn slowly. Li Heishui laughed loudly. Yi Fan looked at the great Xia Prince and said, Your Highness, this is 10,000 kilograms of source. Whoever gets the highest value wins, okay? That's it, cut the stone. The great Xia Prince nodded. Okay. Yi Fan answered. This time, he was very careful. He personally cut the stone and slowly peeled off the outer layer. Are you confident? Li Heishui secretly transmitted his voice. This stone should be able to cut out something. I feel that there is a rare item inside, but if I don't cut it out, I can't be sure. Yi Fan replied. Kacha. The outer layer slowly fell off. Yi Fan carefully cut down. This time, it was not as casual as when he threw the watermelon stones. Each cut was very careful, afraid of cutting something. Kacha. Suddenly, Yi Fan lightly slashed down again. The stone naturally split open, and a dazzling light shot out. It was extremely dazzling, and then a streak of light rushed out, flying into the sky. Heavens, what is that? Why is it flying? Many people cried out in surprise. It looks like a figure. That's right, a person flew out. Outside the heaven stone garden, the surrounding people were in an uproar. Flying immortal in the stone. It really looks like a figure. Yi Fan was really shocked. At the same time, the old nun also opened her eyes. Chapter 332 A streak of dazzling divine light illuminated the entire sky, making it look as translucent as a piece of crystal. Li Heishui made his move immediately. He charged towards the sky and intercepted this humanoid figure. Meanwhile, Yi Fan was even faster. His hands moved, and then he fiercely pressed down. Strands of power shot out from his fingers, completely sealing this cracked stone. At the same time, the old nun sitting on the praying mat opened her eyes and shot out two beams of light. She stretched out her hand towards the sky. Pop! The humanoid figure shattered with a soft sound. 
Li Heishui charged past without grabbing anything. The old nun waved her hand in the air and a curtain of light appeared, enveloping the heaven stone garden and sealing this space to prevent any divine objects from escaping. Everyone was stunned. They knew that there must have been a peerless treasure that was priceless. Just what is it? I haven't seen such a thing in so many years. It actually produced a flying immortal in stone. It must be an incredible treasure. A conservative estimate would be at least a few hundred thousand kilograms of origin source. Unbelievable. Its value must be comparable to divine source. Such a heart-stirring treasure. I really want to see what it is immediately. That's a humanoid silhouette. Could it be an ancient creature? Everyone discussed excitedly as if they had found a rare treasure. They all stretched their necks to look at the stone garden in the light curtain. Flying immortal in stone was a strange sight. Since ancient times, it was an auspicious omen for stone cutters. Once it appeared, it meant that something extraordinary was about to be born. Ha ha ha. Li Heishui laughed loudly and descended from the sky. It was just a false alarm. Many people did not know what flying immortal in stone was before, but now they understood. Someone explained after exclaiming. It must be a peerless treasure. Don't make a mistake. Li Heishui was very excited. He rubbed his hands and moved closer. The old people who were selecting stones in the heaven stone garden also came over. They were the first to shout about flying immortal in stone. They stared at the stone sealed by Yi Fan with fervent eyes. It's an auspicious sign that hasn't appeared for many years. The young master of the Sky Demon Palace, Yao Yuekong's eyes shone brightly as he stared ahead without blinking. At this moment, the prince of the Great Xia and the little nun in white also walked forward. Such a precious stone was enough to tempt anyone. Even the old Daoist nun stood up and silently walked over to the side to quietly observe. It had been many years since this type of strange phenomenon had happened. As for the white-haired master Yuan, he was so excited that he was trembling as he paced back and forth. This was a scene that all stone cutters yearned for the most. Hurry up and cut it open. Hurry up and cut it open. The people outside the stone garden were itching to see what was inside. There won't be any mistakes when you cut it open like this, right? Will the divine item inside leak its spiritual energy or fly away? Li Heishui asked with some concern. He had heard many legends, so he naturally guessed that the item in the stone was a treasure of that level. It was as valuable as divine source. Don't worry. I have the purest jade here. It will be enough to seal the spiritual energy and prevent it from leaking. An old man next to him handed over a small white jade cauldron with a lid. It must have been prepared specifically for situations like this. The old Taoist nun opened her mouth and said, Don't worry, cut the stone. I have sealed the stone garden. Even if there is something incredible inside, it won't get lost. Yi Fan took away the strands of god power, and the cracked stone returned to normal. There was no more god light coming out of it. It lay quietly on the green grass. Catcha. Yi Fan carefully cut down and peeled off the stone layer by layer. Not long after, a crystal appeared, and a cold air came out. It's so cold. Frost appeared on the grass, and the temperature of the air dropped. Cold air wafted in all directions. It is a xenogenic source, ice origin. The great Xia Prince said. After the stone was peeled off, a piece of snow jade the size of a fist was revealed. It was like a piece of ice embedded in the stone, and it was as big as a fist. Master Yuan said, this ice origin is worth 500 kilograms of pure origin, but it can't create a flying immortal in the stone. There must be something else inside. Keep cutting. Hurry up. The people outside the heaven stone garden were even more anxious than Yifan. Many people were shouting. Catcha. Yifan continued to carefully peel off the stone. When he followed the cracks to the heart of the stone, the dazzling light shot out again. It was incomparably cold and sparkling at the same time. Many people could smell a rich fragrance, as well as an incomparably pure spiritual chi. Good stuff. It must be a treasure. Young man, don't cut this origin. I want it. 80,000 kilograms. What do you think, an old man said. I am willing to pay 90,000 kilograms for this stone. Another old man raised the price excitedly. Yi Fan smiled and said, I want to cut it open and see what is inside. Young man, you have to know that this is very risky. Even if there is a flying immortal in the stone, sometimes it won't be worth much. That's right. This kind of thing has happened before. After cutting it open, there is only a small corner of some treasure. It is far from the expected value. How about this, I am willing to pay 50,000 kilograms. This is all I have. Seniors, we want to cut it ourselves. Yi Fan shook his head. There was obviously something precious inside. How could he sell it just like that? Humph. An old man snorted heavily and flicked his sleeves to the side. He didn't say anything else. 
Oldly, don't show off your disillusionment palace grand elder's prestige here. Another old man laughed. Yi Fan couldn't help but glance at the grand elder. This person should be Li Zhongtian's senior. But even if he was unhappy, he couldn't sell it like this. Continue cutting. No one can behave atrociously here. The old Daoist nun said indifferently. Yi Fan continued to cut. The stone skin fell off and fell to the ground with a rustling sound. Finally, part of the stone core was peeled off. In an instant, a bright light shot out in all directions. A human figure dashed out and circled around the area. A fragrance assailed the nostrils. The light and shadow circled back and forth. It was very dreamy. Heavens, what is that thing? It really cut out a peerless treasure. What heaven-defying luck! It must be a priceless treasure. This black brat and that delicate youth are really heaven-defying. How did they cut out something again? Wu Ziming and the others were furious. They couldn't accept this result. Not long ago, they were still mocking them. This was a naked slap in the face. They cut out a divine object and produced a strange scene like the flying immortal in the stone. Are these two bumpkins trying to make me vomit blood? Li Zhongtian was full of anger but he was also very curious now. He looked forward. Brothers, I will auction it for you in a while. Sky Demon Palace young Lord Yao Yuekong shouted. This was a silvery white light that was incomparably divine. It circled around Yi Fan and danced. The stone core was bright and the fragrance was extremely dazzling. After completely peeling off the stone skin, a palm-sized ice spring appeared in Yi Fan's hand. It was even bigger than the previous one and was worth more than 1,500 kilograms of ice spring. Of course, this was not the most precious thing. Its true value was reflected in the thing sealed within the ice spring. The light was coming from it. There is a treasure within the ice spring. It is indeed a rare treasure. This is, a type of spiritual medicine. Wrong, this should be a divine medicine. Otherwise, how could there be a flying immortal in the stone? A few elders surrounded him and started commenting. They were all incomparably excited. Young man, sell it to me. I will give you a satisfactory price. Is 150 kilograms of ice spring enough? I am Li Ishue from Disillusionment Palace. I will go borrow the ice spring immediately. The senior elder from Disillusionment Palace who snorted coldly just now also said anxiously. The silver holy light finally retracted, revealing the rare treasure within the ice spring. It was indeed a plant. A faint fragrance emanated from the ice spring. This is. What a pity. How could this be? When the divine light retracted and everything within the ice spring was seen clearly, everyone was incomparably disappointed. This was because it was not a complete plant. The crucial part of the plant was missing. Light blue rhizome was sealed within the ice spring. It was crystal clear like a sapphire. There were no leaves on top of the rhizome. What a pity. The crucial part of the herb is missing. A few elders felt extremely regretful and disappointed. No, there is still a part. Look, how can it be so strange? One of the elders was shocked. Yes, there is a part. This is, a pair of feet. After looking carefully, everyone present was shocked. This plant was really too special. Above the light blue rhizome was a pair of tubers that looked like feet. It was not very big, only one inch long. It was silvery white in color, similar to the ice spring. It was definitely a tuber. It was just that it looked too similar to a human's feet. It made people mistakenly think that it was a pair of broken feet of a little jade man. This is. Legend has it that there was a type of divine medicine in the archaic era that did not grow leaves and was shaped like a human. Could this be that type of divine medicine? It is extremely possible. It has already been extinct for countless years. We only know its shape. As for its specific effects, not many people know about it. Since it is known as a divine medicine, it definitely has inconceivable miraculous effects. It is priceless. The elders were both excited and regretful. It was because this humanoid divine medicine was missing too much. Only the rhizome and a pair of medicinal feet remained. The other parts had disappeared and were not sealed within the ice spring. What a miracle! We can actually see an archaic divine medicine. Only the ice spring and divine ice spring can seal this type of plant. The people outside the stone garden were all shocked. An archaic divine medicine, it was like a fantasy. Everyone was stupefied. Little brother, how about you sell it to me for 40,000 gene of ice spring? An elder spoke. Why did it fall instead of rising? Didn't you all offer 150,000 gene of ice spring just now? Li Heishue was dissatisfied. An elder shook his head and said, just now, the radiance was so bright that people couldn't open their eyes and see clearly. Now that the divine splendor has been restrained and revealed, its true form is naturally showing its true value. If it was a complete divine medicine, it would be even more precious than the divine ice spring. Its value is immeasurable. However, it is incomplete. You all saw it too. 
It is only a pair of medicinal feet, so it is only worth this price. Yi Fan spoke calmly and said, There is no divine medicine in the world today. When the great sage lords reached the end of their lifespans, they could not find it even when they roamed the vast wastelands. There has never been an old divine lord who reappeared in the world. How could this kind of life-changing divine item only be worth 40,000 jin of ice spring? Li Heishui also said, Exactly. This is a humanoid divine medicine. Even if you exchange it with a piece of divine ice spring, it still cannot match its value. I, Li Shui, am willing to offer 50,000 jin of ice spring. The illusionary palace's grand elder spoke. Yi Fan shook his head and did not agree. He sealed the ice spring in the jade artifact, not wanting the spiritual qi to leak out. Li Shui's expression turned ugly and he said, Young man, don't be too greedy. A divine medicine that is so incomplete is really not worth that much. Old man, you are wrong. This is a divine medicine that I cut myself. Whether I sell it or not has nothing to do with greed, right? Yi Fan said. At this moment, Sky Demon Palace's young Lord Yayuakong spoke, Brothers, can you talk to Dao Yi's senior and see if he can let me in? Li Heishui and Yi Fan were naturally happy to let him in. After talking to the old nun, Yao Yuakong walked in with large strides. At most, I will pay 60,000 jin of ice spring to buy this incomplete medicine. Li Shui spoke again. Yi Fan suddenly said, Everyone, you have overlooked a fact. This divine medicine's roots are intact and not damaged. Perhaps it can be revived. I will pay 80,000 jin of ice spring to buy this divine medicine. The great Xia prince suddenly spoke. The little nun in white beside him also blinked her big eyes with a hopeful expression. The Dao One Holy Land will pay 50,000 jin of ice spring to buy this rare treasure. The old nun who had been silent suddenly made a shocking price. Actually, I want to find a place to plant it and see what kind of divine medicine it will bear. Yi Fan was still unmoved. At this moment, the news of the Dao One Holy Land cutting out a divine medicine quickly spread. Miao Yu Nunnery, Moon Tower, the Great Sage's Stone Workshops, and many other sects received the report. Chapter 333 In the present world, the divine medicine was nowhere to be found. The Holy Lands couldn't obtain it, and the dynasties that had existed for hundreds of thousands of years couldn't find it either. When the Eastern Wasteland's Old Divine Lord and the Central Continent's Old Emperor were at the end of their lifespans, they both chose to appear in the Great Wastelands for that one in ten thousand hope. However, there had never been any news of anyone obtaining a divine medicine. Perhaps it could only be found in the Great Life Forbidden Zones, but it wasn't a place humans could go to. The Holy Lands were helpless as well. 110,000 kilograms. The Great Xia Prince made another high bid. 120,000 kilograms. Two elders called out this price together, deciding to buy it together. Everyone, it's not that I don't want to sell it, but didn't I just say that we should think of a way to revive such a divine medicine? Otherwise, it will be a loss for the entire eastern wasteland. Yi Fan put on a righteous expression. The people present cursed him in their hearts, feeling that he wanted to be an unscrupulous merchant and raise the price. One of the elders shook his head. As long as the source is cut open, ordinary medicinal plants will turn into ashes and can't exist for long. Even if it's a divine medicine, we have to be careful when using it, not to mention reviving it. The other elder said, countless years have passed. Even if this divine medicine has a perfect root, it can't be revived. Yi Fan smiled. I don't think so. Isn't there a legend that some ancient creatures are sealed in the source? Can they still be revived after cutting open the source? As a divine medicine, it must be different. I think it should be able to revive. Li Heishui chimed in. That's right, at that time, it can bear an undamaged divine medicine. With this immortal root, we can harvest it every year. Disillusionment Palace's Grand Elder Li Heishui was unhappy. He said in a low voice, not to mention that divine medicine can't be revived, even if it can, it needs several thousand years to mature. Can you wait that long? Outside the arena, everyone was stunned. A stock of divine medicine, even though it was damaged, was still so precious. It was even rarer than divine origin after all. What a heaven-defying luck. It makes one jealous. If I could cut out such a treasure, I would definitely pray every day. How many years has it been? No divine medicine has appeared for a long time. Today, one was actually cut out of the stone. How shocking. Outside the stone garden, many people were discussing spiritedly, wishing they could swap places with Yifan. This was a divine medicine that made people tremble, something that could only be discovered and not sought. 130,000 kilograms of origin source. The great Xia prince once again called out a high price. He didn't try to dissuade them and only spoke with a high price. The little nun in white rolled her big black eyes as she accompanied the prince of great Xia. It seemed that she really wanted to obtain the human-shaped divine medicine. What do you want me to say? I really feel that this godly medicine can be revived. Yi Fan sighed. You want more origin source. Many people cursed in their hearts. 
150,000 kilograms. The old Daoist nun from the Dao One Holy Land spoke, her voice cold and emotionless. This. Yi Fan's heart was moved. Even though it was a supreme immortal root, even if it could be planted, it would still take several thousand years for it to mature. He couldn't afford to wait that long. This time, not only were the people outside the stone garden stunned, but even the elders inside the garden were stunned. If the Dao One Holy Land made a move, they would not be able to compete. Can this divine medicine be planted again or not? Li Heishui asked, wanting to stall for time and continue raising the price. The old Daoist nun's voice was calm. I'm already offering the highest price. It's only worth this much. The young master of Sky Demon Palace, Yao Yuakong, had already arrived. His temperament was outstanding. Even though he was a man, he had a bewitching beauty. However, there was no feminine air about him. His eyes were deep like a demon god's. This kind of immortal root is rare and priceless. However, it's difficult to revive it. Only by watering it with a divine spring can it be revived. That's not realistic. If you want to get a divine spring, you'll have to enter the Eastern Baron Forbidden Zones. Grand Elderly Ishue of Illusion Palace sneered. That's not necessarily true. Maybe the spirit springs in the Eastern Baron can revive it. Li Heishue said. Yi Fan also smiled. The Holy Land has been passed down for hundreds of thousands of years. If they can revive this immortal root, a few thousand years is nothing to them. There will be endless benefits in the future. Everyone present was speechless. The two of them were echoing each other. It was obvious that they wanted to be profiteers to the end. Yao Yuakong laughed. He was happy to see this. I think you two are in a difficult position. It's hard to decide who to sell it to. I'm afraid of hurting everyone's friendship. I think the best choice is to send this divine herb to the Heaven Fei Treasure Tower and auction it. Makes sense. Li Heishue nodded pretentiously. Okay, I agree. Someone outside the stone garden said. Everyone turned around and saw many old people. All of them had white hair and youthful faces. They were hale and hearty, obviously not ordinary people. Miao Yu Nunnery, the Moon Tower, the Great Sages Stone Workshops, and many other sects had received the news. Their seniors had rushed over. The birth of a divine medicine was definitely a sensational event. Even though it was incomplete, it was still moving. The seniors who didn't have much time left were even more tempted. Many people rushed over as soon as they received the news. When they looked out, they saw a sea of white heads, and their gazes were filled with fervor. Although they were all people who didn't have much time left, the age gap was huge. In small sects, people of three to four hundred years old were considered old. As for the holy lands, people of seven to eight hundred years old might be at their peak. The difference in strength was huge. Li Shue of Illusion Destruction Palace snorted. He glanced at Yi Fan and Li Heishue and left. He knew he had no chance. That old guy won't hold a grudge and deal with us, right? Yi Fan transmitted his voice. Li Heishue laughed coldly. Don't worry, the black iron token in my hand is enough to crush him. If he dares to cause trouble, I'll make him green in the face. Yi Fan didn't mind. Red Dragon Daoist owed him a favor and had told him long ago. If there was anything, he could go find him. These were unavoidable things. If one wanted to make a shocking gamble in God City, there would definitely be all kinds of disturbances. This was just the beginning. Brothers, if you agree, the Sky Fei Treasure Tower can help you deal with this herb. I'll arrange for people to escort it away. Yao Yuakong was very thoughtful. Okay, I'll entrust it to the Sky Fei Treasure Tower. But we won't auction it now. We'll have to wait for a while. Yi Fan said. He wanted more people to know. It would be best to wait until the Great Sage's main attack on Purple Mountain was thwarted and then auction it off. He still had a mortal Yuan fruit that was bitten by a dog. If these rare treasures appeared one after another, it would definitely be eye-catching. Maybe it would attract more people. Okay, we'll leave it to you. Yao Yuakong found people to take care of it. If it was lost or damaged, Sky Fei Palace would compensate 200,000 kilograms of origin source. This made Yi Fan very satisfied and relieved. However, there was no need to worry about this. Sky Fei Palace wouldn't ruin their reputation to steal it. They had handled many rare treasures and nothing was more valuable than their reputation. Mother Asterisk Kerr, is there any justice in this world? That hey brat only had 25 kilograms of origin source and got such a glorious result. It makes me want to puke blood. Wu Ming's face was filled with bad luck. Li Chong Tian was also indignant. Looking at Yi Fan in the stone garden, he said, he only knows how to throw watermelon stones. In the end, he got a herb. I'm so angry. There were more than ten people in their group. They all cursed the two for being so lucky. This is called strength. You bunch of country bumpkins, learn well. Li Heishue raised his head and turned around, leaving the back of his head to them. Damn it, this hey brat is looking down on us. 
Mother of asterisk her, this country bumpkin is laughing at us. Your royal highness, please cut your stone. Yi Fan smiled. He didn't need to cut the stone. The Xia prince knew he would lose without a doubt. Immemorial divine herbs were hard to come by. There was almost no chance of winning. He didn't want to waste time and directly cut open the stone. He cut out a piece of origin source the size of a small person's head. It was worth one origin source, but it couldn't compare to Yi Fan's stone. The Xia prince was very happy. He pushed the three origin sources to Yi Fan and said, Brothers, I'll treat you to a drink at Drunken Immortal Tower this afternoon. Yi Fan was shocked. That was one of the eight great restaurants in the God City. It was extremely expensive and the highest level of celestial banquets were specially prepared for holy lords and powerful beings. How can I? I'm just making friends. The Xia prince smiled. The Xia royal family of the central state was very concerned about the origin source. Legend had it that their Tai Huang Sutra was cut from the origin source. There were people from the Xia royal family stationed in the God City all year round to buy strange stones. Yi Fan knew that the Xia prince was not an ordinary person. Although he had only seen him gamble once, he had most likely seen some clues and decided to befriend him. On the side, Yao Yuakong laughed and said, I also want to treat these two brothers. Let's drink together at noon and get drunk. Then we'll accept. Yi Fan and Li Heishui laughed as well. Only the little nun in white wrinkled her nose, pouted her lips and mumbled something, then rolled her eyes at Yi Fan and Li Heishui. At this moment, the old Taoist nun beside them asked, Do you still want to choose your stones? This was the Heaven Stone Garden, and all the stones were precious. No one was allowed to stay for too long. Yi Fan said, I want to continue, but I don't have the money. The stones here are too expensive. The people outside the stone garden were speechless, especially Wu Ziming and Li Chong Tian. They were indignant. He won so much and yet he was still complaining about being poor. He deserved to be struck by lightning. I think this young master has his eyes on the stone. It's fine if you can't gather enough, you can choose as much as you want. But you have to use the divine herb as collateral. The old nun said. But I've already given it to the Sky Beast Treasure Tower. Yi Fan answered. You can deduct today's origin source from the auction. The old nun said. Okay. Yi Fan nodded. Are you still not going to stop today? Don't gamble all of a sudden and let the Tao one sacred ground at the divine herb for nothing. Li Heishui reminded. Yi Fan shook his head and replied, I want to gamble in the God City. Today is a rare opportunity, how can I stop just like that? Yao Yuakong followed and said, Brothers, you still want to choose stones? You are indeed bold. The great Xia prince also laughed and said, All right, I want to observe and learn a few moves. Young man, you still want to gamble on stones? The group of old men outside were all astonished. Then, a group of people with great backgrounds walked in with fervent eyes. When luck comes, it can't be stopped. This is the experience of many people who gamble on stones. If you cut out something good, you must consider selling it to us old men. That's right, young man, I wish you good luck. The group of old men followed in with fervent eyes. Even the old nun couldn't stop them because many of them were regular customers. Divine herb, who cut out the divine herb? Let this old man take a look. A clamor came from outside the stone garden. Another group of old people rushed over. Where is it? I want to buy it for 180,000 kilograms. Another group of people rushed over. The old man in the lead had sparse hair and was about to fall off completely. Everyone present was shocked. The old men that appeared one after another all had great backgrounds. They were all frighteningly old undying characters. An archaic divine herb couldn't be found in the present world. It was too shocking and attracted many famous people, including the supreme elders of some holy lands. It could be said that after Yi Fan cut out the human-shaped divine herb, the entire divine city was shaken and caused a commotion. Many people came to watch after hearing the news. They wanted to see what the divine herb looked like. It was a grand occasion comparable to when the divine source was cut out. Come, make way for this old man. Inside the heaven stone garden, there were a lot of shining white skulls. Some people even started to choose their own stones. This was originally a quiet place, but today, it was bustling with noise and excitement. Inside the stone garden, an ancient vine with a diameter of 10 meters rested horizontally like an azure dragon. Yi Fan walked back and forth, arriving here. He patted a strange stone at the side of the well, and then put it down. You must choose correctly, or else our divine herb will be gone. Didn't you hear? Someone just bid 180,000 kilograms. Li Heishui reminded. There's no need to worry. At most, we'll start over again. Yi Fan was very calm. He had studied the Book of Source and knew that the most important thing when choosing a stone was to have a normal heart. What a good attitude. 
Yao Yuakong praised. The Xia prince was about to nod his head, but at this time, Yi Fan smiled and asked the little nun to help him choose a few stones. This made him very annoyed. Young man, you're good at keeping your cool. We all have high hopes for you. Stone gambling is 70% luck. I hope you can cut out more rare treasures. A group of old men followed behind. One of them smiled and spoke. What he said could be considered the truth. Some people had great luck for a period of time. Every time they bet, they would win. These were all examples that had happened before. Yi Fan walked and stopped from time to time to choose stones. He followed the cobblestone path and arrived at a quiet bamboo forest. He stopped in front of the stone that was worth 50,000 kilograms of source. This stone had a special Tao rhyme around it. He had discussed it with Li Heishue before. Finally, someone is going to touch this stone. After so many years, no one dared to touch it. The old men behind him were all very surprised. Yi Fan squatted down and gently patted it. He kept rubbing and examining it carefully. But in the end, he still stood up. He felt that this stone was like an empty shell, but it also seemed to contain something. He really couldn't be sure. He looked up and saw the young Taoist of the Tao Yi holy ground standing quietly in the distance. She was like a fairy that had just bloomed. She blended in with the scenery, ethereal and natural. He still couldn't see her face. There was no fog, no divine light, but there seemed to be some kind of Tao rhyme blurring her face. Yi Fan walked to the other side and continued to choose stones. Li Heishui accompanied him. Yao Yuakong, the Xia prince, and the little nun also followed beside him. Not long later, they walked out of the bamboo forest and came to a place where the sun shone. Yi Fan stared at the nine orifice golem on the stone platform. Why did you put it on the stone platform? Yi Fan asked. Master Yuan answered, this is a human-shaped stone formed by heaven and earth. Legend has it that if this stone has enough time to absorb the essence of the sun and moon, it will one day become a saint spirit. This stone was very attractive to Yi Fan. It was born with a human shape and had nine orifices. He wandered around the garden, but his mind was always on this stone. It was said that there was a celestial stone in this world. It had nine orifices and could transform into a saint spirit. It was an existence close to immortals, but this stone was too small. It was only one foot long. Yi Fan pondered for a while. In the end, he still made his move. He picked up the nine orifice golem and carefully observed it. Many people with profound genesis techniques have seen this nine orifice golem, but no one dared to touch it after so many years. Young man, are you really going to touch this stone? The group of old men was very shocked. They had all studied this stone before, but no one dared to touch it. This stone was only one foot long, but it was worth 90,000 kilograms of genesis stone. It was so expensive that many people couldn't grasp it after seeing it. Is someone going to touch the nine orifice golem? This old man was right to come. I have to take a good look. Another old man came after hearing the news. Last time, those experts from the Genesis Technique family studied it for half a day, but in the end, they still shook their heads and gave up. Is someone really going to cut this stone today? Today, Yi Fan had cut out the primordial divine medicine. The impact was greater than he had imagined. People kept coming to see it. It was a real sensation in the divine city. Yi Fan raised the strange stone and aimed it at the sun. He carefully analyzed it, carefully observed it, and silently thought. He always felt that this stone was mysterious and mysterious. He couldn't quite grasp it. It gave him a dreamy feeling one moment, and then it gave him the illusion that it contained a peerless treasure. Beside him, the old men were all discussing. The divine medicine has been sent away. We won't be able to see it today. It will be auctioned in the heavenly palace soon. But today's trip was not in vain. If we can understand what's inside the nine orifice golem, it can be considered as fulfilling a wish. That's right. I've always wanted to know what's inside it. Unfortunately, those extremely skilled Genesis Technique Masters gave up on it in the end. A group of old men surrounded the place in high spirits. They were all looking forward to Yi Fan cutting open the Nine Orifice Golem and fulfilling a wish of many years. Are you confident? Li Heishui asked. No, but it's worth a try. Yi Fan raised the strange stone and aimed its Nine Orifices at the sun one by one, observing them one by one. When he inadvertently turned around, he couldn't help but be a little surprised. The stone garden was surrounded so tightly that not even a drop of water could trickle through. Many cultivators were watching, but no one made a ruckus. They were all quietly watching. Among them, there was a handsome Jiang clan elite, Jiang Yifei. His clothes were whiter than snow, and he stood out from the crowd. And in another direction, there was also a white-clothed person. It was a woman. Her eyes were bright and kind, and she was perfect and flawless. Her skin was sparkling and translucent. It was actually in Miaoi. She had actually also come here. 
Only at this moment did Yifan know that cutting open the divine medicine had shaken the entire divine city. Many people had come here. At this moment, only a group of old men didn't have any misgivings. They surrounded him and discussed spiritedly. The others were all quietly watching. Yi Fan shook his head. He didn't expect to attract so much attention. He quickly calmed his heart and began again. He aimed the nine orifices of the nine orifices at the sun one by one, and constantly used his fingers to measure its body. Chapter 334 The bamboo forest was dark green and the spirit spring surged. It was peaceful and tranquil. The stone platform was tall and faced the sun, gathering the essence of the sun. Yi Fan stood on it, facing the sunlight as he observed the stone golem. His expression was focused as he slowly turned the strange stone in a serious and careful manner. Suddenly, his expression changed. When the stone golem's right eye was illuminated by the sunlight, he seemed to see a trace of the essence of the sun flash. Was this, an illusion? He could not be sure because it had been a long time since he faced the sun. He suspected that he had been blinded. Yi Fan did not move. He held the nine orifice stone golem and faced the sun, his mind highly focused as he carefully observed. At this moment, everyone knew that this delicate and pretty youth was a Genesis technique expert. His various techniques were very particular and unheard of. Could it be a youth from a Genesis technique clan? His methods are very special and unseen. True Genesis technique experts rely 50% on luck and 50% on strength when choosing a stone. This youth most likely has a great background. Didn't a few people from a Genesis Technique clan come last time? They also saw the Nine Orifice Stone Golem. Their techniques are very different from his. They are definitely not from the same clan. On the side, a group of old men were discussing softly, their eyes burning with passion. If this youth was a Genesis Technique genius, he would undoubtedly be worth roping in. Outside the Heaven Stone Garden, although there were many people gathered, it was very quiet. Ever since Yi Fan was about to move the Nine Orifice Stone Golem, there was no sound of conversation. Everyone was quietly watching. Even Jiang Yifei, who was dressed in white, was waiting with an attentive look on his face. Even his boots were white and spotless, looking exceptionally elegant and scholarly. And Miaoi's black hair danced in the wind. Her eyes moved as she also observed Yifan. Her flawless body was like snow on a flowering tree, moving one's heart. Yifan stood still for a full quarter of an hour and did not observe any abnormalities. The stone golem's right eye was very dry. There was no essence of the sun coming in or out, and there was no lively aura. Suddenly, Yi Fan moved. Specks of light appeared on his right hand. They were multicolored and extremely gorgeous, giving off a dreamy feeling. This wasn't the technique of a cultivator, but rather, a profound genesis magic that could gather with power, absorb the essence of the sun, and draw the spiritual essence of heaven and earth. Yi Fan's right hand moved agilely, and the colorful lights entered his nine orifices. His eyes sparkled with starlight as he stared at the stone man without blinking. He is indeed a Genesis technique expert. I've never seen such strange techniques and mysterious methods before. Can this Genesis technique find out what's inside the stone? At the side, these elders all revealed looks of shock. They were filled with anticipation, and they all wanted to see what other wondrous methods he had. Yi Fan did not release any waves of divine power. This was the first time he was so serious because the nine-hold stone man was too special. After a long time, the multicolored lights penetrated the nine orifices, but there were no changes. The strange stone was simple and natural, still the same. Yi Fan frowned and lightly jumped down from the stone platform, no longer facing the sunlight to observe. These techniques were useless. Li Heishue said, can't you see through it? Just don't touch it. I heard that this stone has been here for many years. Even though some people thought it was valuable, they gave up at the last moment. Purple clothed Yayuakong also reminded, little brother, don't touch it if you're not confident. Many Genesis technique experts have seen it, but they all left in the end. Yi Fan said calmly, I'll take a look. He placed the stone man on the grass and carefully measured its body. Then, he began to quickly move his fingers, pointing downwards. One could clearly see inch-long streaks of golden light plunging into some special spots, falling down like grains of gold. Golden touch, the white-haired Master Yuan cried out in surprise, standing out from the crowd. What, it really is the extremely famous Genesis technique, turning rock into gold hand? Even experts from aristocratic families might not be able to use it. Some of the older people exclaimed. Is this for real? This young man is using the golden touch? This, unbelievable, he really is a Genesis technique genius. The surrounding older people revealed shocked expressions. They had heard of this Genesis technique, but had never seen anyone use it. Outside the Heaven Siri Stone Garden, Wu Ziming, Li Chong Tian, and the rest looked at each other in dismay. They felt as bitter as if they had bitten a gold thread. 
While the great Xia prince was shocked, he paid even more attention. He stood at the very front, almost touching the stone man. Purple cloaked Yao Yuakong also bent down and observed closely. He felt that Yifan's genesis technique was more extraordinary than he had imagined. If he could form a good relationship with him, it would be greatly beneficial to the Sky Demon Treasure Tower in the future. A total of 108 inch long golden lights were shot into the stone man by Yi Fan. This was not divine power, so there was no need to worry about cracking the stone. In the crowd, Master Yuan exclaimed, It's connected. It's the complete golden touch. Yi Fan was very focused and was not affected by the onlookers. He began to hit the stone rhythmically and listened carefully. He only stopped after a long time. How is it? Li Heishui asked nervously. With so many people paying such a high price to choose this stone material, it would be hard for anyone to calm down. I'm still not sure, but I'll choose it. I'll buy it. When Yi Fan spat out the word buy, Stone Garden was no longer calm. It erupted with noise. Everyone began to discuss among themselves. The stone man was an extremely valuable stone. It had been placed here for many years, but no one dared to touch it. It had almost become the treasure of the Dao Yi Stone Square. Today, someone was finally going to cut the stone. Everyone was somewhat impatient, wanting to see just what was inside the stone being. Today's trip was indeed worth it. Our wish of many years will be fulfilled. Some of the older people sighed. Heroes come from the young. Many people have seen this stone. Even people from the Genesis Technique families have come, but they did not buy it in the end. The stone garden was in an uproar. Everyone was discussing their opinions. Wu Ziming sneered, I think he's going to be unlucky. So many experts have seriously studied it and none of them are optimistic about it. He actually dared to buy it, he he. Li Chong Tian also mocked, let's see how he ends up when he falls and bleeds. Inside the stone garden, Li Heishui frowned. You can't see through this stone and cannot be sure. Why do you still want to buy it? What do you mean by stone gambling? The word gamble is placed in front of the stone. If even the genesis technique is useless, then you can only take a gamble. Yi Fan had studied the Origin Heavenly Book, but his Genesis technique had not reached the perfect level yet. He could not compare to the Yuan Taoist Master. Indeed, he could not see through the stone, but he could faintly sense something unusual. He felt that it was definitely not an ordinary stone, but he did not know if there would be a peerless treasure. He did not want to miss it because a few people from the Genesis technique families had come not long ago. He was afraid that even more powerful people would be attracted. Good, good, good. Yuan Taoist Master was the most excited. His body trembled. He had guarded this garden for decades. He was not a cultivator, but he had always wanted to see someone cut open the stone man and see what was inside. Even the calmest Taoist nun revealed a strange expression. She was no longer as indifferent as before. The Taoist girl from the Dao Yi Holy Land also appeared. It was obvious that she also wanted to see. The moment Yi Fan took out his knife, all sound disappeared. The huge stone garden was silent except for the fervent gazes. The entire stone garden was so quiet that one could hear the falling leaves. Yi Fan began to cut the stone. He was cautious and careful. His movements were very small, and his knife was steady and accurate. Ka. When the first sound rang out, everyone was shocked. This sound indicated that the Dao Yi Stone Square's treasure was finally going to be opened. Stone chips flew everywhere. Yi Fan concentrated on moving his knife. He did not hold back and was very fast. In a short while, the stone man's arm was cut open. In the end, there was nothing but stone powder on the ground. There was not even an ordinary source stone. It could be seen that the inside of the stone man was very ordinary. It was white and did not contain any rare stone. Oh no! Li Heishui knew that things were not good. As expected, no wonder those Genesis Technique experts shook their heads and gave up. This nine-hold stone man looks special, but the inside is white stone. There is definitely no source stone. Some old people were very disappointed. They had been looking forward to this stone for many years. Today, someone finally cut it open. They did not expect it to be so ordinary. There was nothing special about it. Some old people even suspected that this was a trap set by the Dao Yi Holy Land. They wanted to trick people with profound genesis techniques. Fortunately, I resisted the impulse and didn't buy this piece of stone back then. Yi Fan turned a deaf ear to these voices and continued to move his knife. Not long after, the stone man's legs were also cut off. Sigh, I have been unable to let go of this stone for so many years. I didn't expect it to be like this. If there was a peerless treasure inside, there would have been a flying immortal phenomenon. Now there is not even a fluctuation. How disappointing. These old people all shook their heads. The most nervous was Li Heishui. This was a stone with a sky-high price. 
If he could not cut out anything, all the previous divine medicines would have to be used to fill the hole. Yi Fan did not say anything. He continued to swing his knife and cut open the stone man's abdomen. It was still white. Then, he cut open the head. Finally, he put the knife on the chest. Stone chips flew everywhere, but there was still nothing. Li Heishui broke out in a cold sweat. He was full of hope, but now he was extremely disappointed. At this moment, there was still a fist-sized stone on the ground. It was located at the heart. In addition, there was no cut on the forehead. Now, the outside of the stone garden was no longer calm. No one was optimistic about this nine-hold stone man. It had been cut until now, and it was still white. It was almost impossible for such a stone to contain a rare treasure. Ha! Huh. Wu Ziming laughed. You overestimate yourself. After so many years, all the experts shook their heads and left. No one chose it. Do you really think you are a Genesis Technique Master? Li Chong Tian also gloated. There are always some people who don't know the immensity of heaven and earth. They think they can guide the world, but in the end, they are nothing. Ha! Huh. The group of them were all laughing. The outside of the stone garden was noisy. Some were sarcastic, some were ridiculing, and some were sympathetic. There were all kinds of expressions on their faces. Now, no one was quiet. It was noisy. No one was optimistic about the nine-hold stone man. Hee <laughs> hee. A deep and meaningful sneer sounded nearby. The supreme elder of the disillusionment palace, Li Shui, had also appeared. At this moment, even Yao Yuakong and the great Xia prince were very disappointed. They were silent and doubtful whether they had underestimated Yi Fan. In the distance, Jiang Yifei frowned and no longer paid attention to this place. And Miao Yi also shook her head slightly. The expression on her beautiful and flawless face became calm. A group of old people quietly watched beside Yi Fan. They did not say anything. The beautiful young Taoist girl stood at the side. She was still very calm and did not say anything. Damn it, this is really annoying. Li Heishui was very depressed. He glared at Wu Ziming, Li Chong Tian and the others in the distance. At this moment, only the little nun in white was still squatting on the ground. She looked very innocent and was still curiously staring at the fist-sized stone. She blinked her big eyes and said, why are you not cutting it? Yi Fan was unperturbed. He stood up and shouted loudly, is there anyone willing to bet with me? Chapter 335 The surrounding elders were shocked by Yi Fan's words. The people outside the stone garden were stunned at first, then broke out into an uproar. Bet? Are you going to bet on that white rock on the ground? It's obvious that it's a white flower stone. It's impossible to extract the source energy from it. Even the lowest level stone gambler knows that. Young man, even if the nine orifice stone golem is empty, don't be so weak. There will be more chances in the future. I think he's possessed. Even at this point, he still wants to gamble with others. The crowd outside the heaven stone garden discussed fervently, especially Wu Ziming and the rest, who laughed loudly. What are you betting on? You're going to use that white rock to extract the source energy? What a joke. I think he's mad because he can't take the blow. I already said that he doesn't know his place. Now he's back to square one. He thinks he's a Genesis technique expert, but he fell from the clouds. Overestimating himself, ha ha ha. Yi Fan's expression was calm as he said, who wants to bet with me? I'll bet with the nine orifice stone golem. If I lose, I'm willing to pay 25,000 kilograms of source energy. The moment he said this, the crowd first fell silent, then exploded into an uproar. This guy is crazy. He doesn't know what he's talking about. 25,000 kilograms of source energy. If you can take it out, I'll bet with you, someone shouted in provocation. Can't take the blow, so you're going to give up, someone mocked. Within the stone garden, Yao Yuakong came forward and advised, Brother, there's no need to be like this. At most, we'll start all over again. It's impossible to extract a rare treasure from such a white rock. Yi Fan shook his head and persisted, it's fine. I just want to bet with them. I even managed to extract a divine herb today. I feel that the heavens are on my side. The fist-sized rock on the ground was glaringly white. Everyone was speechless and sighed when they thought of its astronomical price. Extracting a divine herb is a great opportunity. It's a rare item that hasn't been seen for many years. Do you really think you can extract such a divine item? What a joke. Do you have the source energy or not? If you do, I'll bet with you. Outside the stone garden, all types of noises sounded. No one believed that the white flower stone could produce an origin stone. Li Heishui was anxious. He secretly transmitted his voice, are you really confident? This is the white marble stone. Even a beginner gambler knows that it's impossible to get it from the source. I'm more or less confident, Yi Fan replied secretly. Really? 
Li Heishui saw that Yi Fan was very calm, so he was skeptical. How could I have tricked myself? Yi Fan thought to himself. You're too sinister. You're fishing. Li Heishui relaxed and chuckled to himself, everyone says I'm black-hearted, but I think you're even blacker than me. You clearly got something good, yet you're still so calm. You didn't forget to scam these people. I think I should call you Yi Hei instead. At this moment, there was a commotion outside the stone garden. No one could remain calm. The old Daoist nun from the Dao One Holy Land had to take a few steps forward to prevent people from rushing in. Yi Fan swept his gaze over everyone and said, everything I said is true. Look at what this is. He waved his sleeve and a large pile of source energy appeared on the ground. It flickered with light and surged with spiritual qi. Wu Ziming, Li Chong Tian, and a dozen others had lost a total of 42,000 kilograms of source energy to him. The great Xia Prince had also lost 10,000 kilograms of source energy. In total, it was just over 50,000 kilograms. Outside the stone garden, everyone felt a little dizzy after seeing so many source energy. Most of them were young people and had never dealt with so many before. Their eyes were all burning with passion. Does anyone dare to bet with me? Yi Fan asked again. This time, everyone was stunned. 50,000 kilograms of source energy was too much. Normally, such a scene was rarely seen. Those who could take out so many source energy would not fight over it. Most of them were the big shots of the older generation and used it to buy rare treasures. Even for people like Jiang Yifei and Miaoi, their expressions changed slightly as they were slightly surprised. Some people's mouths were dry and they could not help but swallow their saliva. Their eyes were a little dazed as they stared at the 50,000 kilograms of source energy in the garden. However, such a large pile of source energy was really too much. No young person could take it out at once, so they all stared at it. Some of the older generation could take it out, but they could not put down their pride. Especially in the stone garden, the old people around Yi Fan all had great backgrounds. Many of them could afford to take out 50,000 kilograms of source energy. However, just now, they had followed behind Yi Fan and seemed to be choosing stones together. They could not put down their pride to bet with him. How about this, I will lower the standard and use one square of source as the standard. As long as you work together to gather enough, you can come in. I will accompany you one by one. 10,000 kilograms of source energy was divided into three squares, and 50,000 kilograms of source energy was divided into 15 squares. Yi Fan divided the large pile of source energy into 15 piles and looked at the crowd. Bet, let's gather source energy and join together to bet with him. At that moment, seven or eight people gathered 10,000 kilograms of source energy and became the first batch of gamblers. Wu Ziming, Li Chong Tian and the others could not hold back and wanted to immediately enter the field to bet. This was a rare opportunity to take revenge for what happened before. These two country bumpkins are doomed. Unfortunately, we do not have source energy on us. What should we do? Wu Ziming was unwilling. Isn't that senior Li Yishui in front? He is the Grand Elder of Disillusionment Palace. Li Chong Tian is your Grand Uncle Xian. Why don't you go and borrow some source energy? Someone suggested. That's right. I see that senior Li Yishui is quite dissatisfied with those two youngsters because of the godly medicine. Li Chong Tian, you go and explain. I think he will definitely lend us some. All right, I will go and try. Not long after, Li Chong Tian returned with 10,000 kilograms of source energy. Yi Fan did not make a sound and calmly watched them walk over. He had been waiting for these people and knew that they would borrow source energy from Li Yishui. At this moment, Li Yishui revealed a deep and cold smile and looked towards the stone garden meaningfully. Old thing, let's see if you can still smile in a while. Seeing this, Li Heishui's mouth revealed a cold smile. Is there anyone else who wants to bet? Yi Fan's gaze swept across the crowd. Many people were tempted and wanted to team up. However, seeing how calm Yi Fan and Li Heishui were, they were a bit doubtful and hesitant. Especially the elders in the stone garden, they all showed strange expressions and felt that the situation could change for the better. Is there really no one else? Yi Fan asked again. At this moment, the little nun in white was still squatting on the ground and holding her beautiful chin. Her big eyes were incomparably pure as she unhappily muttered, hurry up and cut it. Yi Fan asked many times but no one responded. Now, many people were a bit doubtful. Even Wu Ziming and Li Chong Tian were a bit uneasy. This was because Yi Fan was too calm and collected. In the end, no one else entered. Only two groups of people wanted to bet with Yi Fan, a total of 20,000 kilograms of origin source. Hurry up! The little nun in white tilted her head and blinked her big eyes to urge them. She was a bit dissatisfied. Little sister, since you are in such a hurry, I'll let you cut the stone, okay? Yi Fan laughed. The little nun in white wrinkled her nose and ignored him. Her expression was focused and only stared at the stone. 
The great Xia Prince was really annoyed and wanted to slap Yi Fan. He frowned and walked a few steps forward to stand beside his little sister. Hurry up and cut the stone. Wu Ziming and the others urged. Okay, let's wait for the peerless treasure to appear. Yi Fan revealed a serious expression. He held the sharp silver knife and moved it on the fist-sized stone. Kacha. The sound of the stone cutting rang out and the surrounding people immediately quieted down. It was as if they had returned to the beginning and no one said anything. The stone powder rustled down and the silver knife moved very quickly. Not long after, the fist-sized stone had shrunk to half its original size. It was still a white marble stone and there was no strange phenomenon. Although Wu Ziming and the others wanted to laugh, they couldn't. In this solemn atmosphere, they were even a bit nervous. In the end, the stone was not even the size of a plum. Many people couldn't help but talk about it. The majority of people believed that it was impossible to cut out anything. It was already such a small piece and it was a white marble stone. If there was a divine object inside, it should have long sensed spiritual energy. Even Li Heishui couldn't keep his cool. Everyone looked at Yi Fan, but he was still very calm and accurately cut the stone. Kacha. When it was only the size of a lychee, the color of the stone finally changed and became a dark red. Many people cried out in surprise. Yi Fan slowed down and carefully peeled off the stone. Everyone immediately held their breath and no longer made a sound, quietly observing. In the end, a dark red stone shaped like a heart was peeled out. The old people present were all shocked and revealed incomparable expressions of pity. What a pity, this nine orifice stone golem really has a chance to transform. The heart has already formed, and in a few million years, it will most likely develop spiritual intelligence and become a saint spirit near the level of an immortal. What a pity, it shouldn't have been born so early. If it was discovered, everything would be for naught. All the old people shook their heads, feeling that this was the will of the heavens. Otherwise, in a few million years, it would be an incomparably terrifying existence that could compete with the ancient emperors. The nine orifice stone golem can only stop here. In the end, it couldn't give birth to a rare treasure. What a pity for this stone embryo. Seeing that all the old people present had come to this conclusion, Wu Ziming immediately laughed and mocked, Genesis technique genius, hand over the source. Yi Fan ignored him and continued to cut. As expected, after the dark red stone heart was cut open, there was nothing. Ha ha ha. Li Chong Tian and the others laughed loudly, full of joy and mockery. Outside the stone garden, there was an uproar. Many people were filled with regret and wanted to beat themselves up for missing such a great opportunity to bet. He he. Disillusionment Palace's Supreme Elder Li Yishue sneered meaningfully. The Xia Prince and Yao Yuekong also shook their heads, feeling that Yi Fan was too impulsive. This was equivalent to giving away the source for no reason. Young man, what can I say about you? You really shouldn't have done this. Nine out of ten bets are lost, especially when it comes to source stones. If you don't cut it open, it's hard to predict the result. Some of the old people around shook their heads, all feeling sorry for Yi Fan. Yi Fan was still very calm and did not say much. However, Li Heishui was sweating profusely, and nothing came out. This was a very big blow to him. Especially after seeing Wu Ziming and Li Chongtian's mockery, he was even angrier. Seeing the sympathetic and gloating expressions of the others, he couldn't help but sigh. What, can't say anything? There were a total of two groups of people who bet with Yi Fan. At this moment, they were all very pleased with themselves. Genesis Technique Genius, go back and practice for a few more years. Not everyone can cut such an expensive stone. You overestimate yourself, thinking that you are the reincarnation of the Yuan Taoist Master. What a joke. Since you don't want to say anything, we will collect the source ourselves, huh? These people laughed heartily, especially Wu Ziming and Li Chong Tian, who were even more presumptuous. Around them, Yao Yuakong, the Xia Prince and the others were silent, and the group of old people also did not speak. Outside the stone garden, there was an uproar. Most people were blaming themselves and regretting. Wait! At this moment, Yi Fan suddenly said calmly, I have not finished cutting the nine orifice stone golem. What right do you have to touch my source? Hearing him say this, everyone was stunned. Even people like Jiang Yifei and An Miaoyi were surprised. You still have stones to cut? Wu Ziming and the others looked at the ground, but they did not care. The little nun in white was still holding her chin and did not get up. She said in a clear and melodious voice, hurry up and cut it. Let me see what is inside. Yi Fan picked up a flat stone from the stone powder. It was half the size of a palm and about an inch thick. Such a flat stone, you still hope to cut out something rare? You really won't shed a tear until you see the coffin. Even now, you still won't give up. We will wait for you to cut it and see what comes out. The two groups of people who bet with Yi Fan did not believe that they could cut out anything. The corners of their mouths curled into a sneer. 
Can you still join? Since you still have stones, I also want to bet with you. Someone outside the stone garden shouted. I want to join too. Count me in. The heaven stone garden suddenly became noisy. Many people shouted and wanted to join. Tens of thousands of kilograms of source was really enough to make people jealous. What should we do? Li Heishue was anxious and secretly transmitted his voice. Wait to collect the source. Yi Fan replied. You. I understand. You little brat, after causing trouble twice, the hesitant people still dare to come in. As expected, I should call you Yi Hei. Li Heishue suddenly understood. This time, Yi Fan did not agree as readily as last time. He was somewhat hesitant and said, everyone, why do you have to be like this? Not long ago, you were the one who said that you wanted to bet with everyone here. Why are you backing out now? Words that have been spoken are like water that has been spilled. We will also join. This old bastard. Li Heishue cursed in a low voice. He discovered that Li Ishue was sending the source to Li Chongtian's group. The dozen or so people were adding fuel to the fire. The corner of Yi Fan's mouth curled up into a cold smile, and he said with a sound transmission, I just want to scam him, this big fish. This old fellow can take out tens of thousands of kilograms by himself, and the others can't even gather ten thousand kilograms. Finally, when Yi Fan agreed, several people quickly rushed over and piled thirty thousand kilograms of source on top of Wu Ziming's group. The others were unwilling. Another dozen or so people gathered ten thousand kilograms of source, but they were too late and could only return dispiritedly. Fifty thousand kilograms of source against fifteen square meters. Everyone, when the time comes, you have to admit defeat. Yi Fan became increasingly calm. Who will win and who will lose? I think it's the other way around. Wu Ziming sneered. At this moment, Li Ishui's heart jumped. He felt something was wrong, but unfortunately, the source had already been sent in. Quickly cut the rock. When a genius like you gives us 50,000 kilograms of source, ha ha ha. What genius, he is just a brat who doesn't know the immensity of heaven and earth. Yi Fan smiled and became even more calm. He said to the old nun of Dao One Sacred Land, Senior, please seal this space to prevent the rare treasure from escaping. Hearing this, everyone was shocked and could not help but look at the scene. Even the number of people talking decreased. Are you sure you want to do this? The old nun asked calmly. I am sure that a peerless rare treasure will appear. Yi Fan was very sure. Hearing this, everyone was shocked. This was truly a series of twists and turns. Seeing his expression, many people subconsciously believed him. Of course, there were also many people who were doubtful, and some even sneered and mocked. He really lost his head from gambling. He still refuses to give up. Let's see how he will deal with this. If he can't cut anything, I want to see where he will put his face. He is shooting himself in the foot. Let's wait for him to make a fool of himself. The people who said this were naturally the people who had bet with him. They were the most arrogant, and all of them had cold smiles on their faces. The old nun of Dao One Sacred Land did not say much. She decisively sealed this space and a transparent light curtain covered this place. From start to finish, the young nun of Dao One Sacred Land was very calm and indifferent. She had been watching indifferently. As for who was the most curious, it was undoubtedly the little nun in white. She was very dissatisfied with Yi Fan. She wrinkled her nose and urged Yi Fan to hurry up and cut the stone. Little brother, are you sure you can cut out a rare treasure? Yao Yuakong asked. The prince of Great Xia also looked over. I am somewhat confident, Yi Fan answered. Hearing this, the surrounding old people were undoubtedly the most shocked. The stone was very special to them. After all, they had been watching it for many years. If they really could not cut out anything, they would undoubtedly be very disappointed. This time, Yi Fan revealed an extremely serious expression. This stone was the forehead of the stone, including the area between the eyebrows. When he cut out this area, he had already confirmed that there was something extraordinary inside. However, he was not in a hurry to cut it open. Instead, he continued to peel off other parts. Now, he had no choice but to be serious. The silver knife slid down, and the stone layer was slowly peeled off. His movements were very slow, as if he was afraid of cutting something. He was extremely careful. Crack. When Yi Fan's last knife landed, the entire piece of stone cracked. Far away from the eyebrows, a cocoon-like object fell out. It was only an inch long and half an inch thick. It was dark gold in color and shone brightly. It was a metal cocoon. No one knew what it contained, but it gave people a very special feeling. He really cut something out. Everyone was shocked. The rare treasure inside the white flower stone was beyond everyone's imagination. This is the thing that came out of the nine orifice stone. What on earth is it? At this moment, the dark gold metal cocoon attracted everyone's attention. Bang! 
Suddenly, it trembled slightly and trembled on its own. What? It can move? Is it some kind of ancient creature? Everyone's expression changed. There were indeed many legends about ancient creatures. What could such a metal cocoon contain? Yi Fan quickly retreated, feeling the danger. At this moment, a shocking murderous intent permeated the air. It was so shocking that many people's faces turned pale. What on earth is about to be born? Many of the older generation began to be on guard. This was the only reassuring thing. There were many older experts here today. Crack. The dark gold metal cocoon quickly cracked. Then, a black sword aura shot out and pierced through the old nun's seal. The cold murderous intent caused people's souls to tremble. The bone-chilling murderous intent was intimidating. The cocoon completely shattered and turned into dust. A small black sword less than an inch long appeared in its place. It clanged and exploded with murderous intent. It pierced through the sealed space and shot up into the sky like a black light. Heavens, this murderous intent is too terrifying. It's definitely interwoven with Tao and reason. The Nine Orifice Stone Statue is indeed a miraculous being born by heaven and earth. It contains such a divine sword. If it wasn't born too early and placed here, the Nine Orifice Stone Statue would have become a sacred spirit in the future. This is a murderous sword created by heaven and earth. Some of the older people exclaimed. Heavens, look! What material is it made of? It seems to be. Black dragon patterned gold. That's right. It is indeed a sacred object exclusive to the great emperors, black dragon patterned gold. This was even more shocking. Everyone was extremely excited. The small black sword, less than an inch long, was covered with natural dragon patterns. It was simple and natural, but at this moment, a black light shot up into the sky. It's made of the same material as the sacred weapon of the wavering light sacred ground, the dragon patterned cauldron. This is a peerless treasure. The nine orifice stone statue actually gave birth to such a thing. This will be its future weapon. This nine orifice stone statue is amazing. If it wasn't cut open, it would be able to compete with the great emperors. Although the black dragon patterned gold sword was less than an inch long and was a very small sacred object, if it hadn't been born prematurely and nurtured by the nine orifice stone statue, it would definitely become an extreme sacred weapon in the future. Everyone was both regretful and shocked. The nine orifice stone statue was too extraordinary. It was born with a weapon, and it was a sacred object like the black dragon patterned gold. If it could really be born, its battle power would definitely shock the world. Everyone worked together to seal the small black dragon sword. Quick, seal it. It was born prematurely, and the stone statue has a grudge. Hold on for a while, and the sword will return to its normal state. The black dragon patterned gold sword was born from the sacred object of the sect. This result made everyone who had bet with Yi Fan dumbfounded. Wu Ziming and Li Chongqian's faces turned green. As for the Supreme Elder of the Disillusionment Palace, Li Yishui, he almost vomited blood. This result was too unexpected. Their hearts were bleeding. Tens of thousands of kilograms of source stone had been swindled away just like that. At this moment, these people couldn't bear it anymore. Damn, this is too cruel. Tens of thousands of kilograms of source stone. These two brats are too evil. Their faces are evil, and their hearts are evil too. Those who had bet were on the verge of collapsing, and they kept cursing. However, no one was paying attention to them. The black dragon patterned gold sword that had been cut out was definitely a rare treasure, and everyone's attention was drawn to it. Especially since it was born from the Nine Orifice Stone statue, it was absolutely moving. White-robed Jiang Yifei was the first to transmit a message to Yi Fan. Following him was the beautiful An Miaoyi. If not for the fact that the stone garden was sealed, she would have floated in. At this moment, many people expressed their goodwill to Yi Fan and wanted to buy the sword, even though it was very small. Chapter 336 Inside the Heaven Stone Garden, sword energy rushed to the heavens. The small black sword that was less than an inch long moved with endless murderous intent. Compared to normal weapons, it was really too short and small, to the extent where it was even somewhat insignificant. However, its might was terrifying. The black light pierced the clouds with a cold and austere aura that made people tremble to the bones. Even their souls were trembling, and their bodies and minds were terrified. Some of the older generation took action at the same time. The black light was suppressed and retracted from the sky. Meanwhile, the small black sword was jumping about, wanting to escape. Clang! It turned into a beam of black light and pierced through a precious stone, stabbing into the light screen the old Daoist nun had set up. The old Daoist nun's jade-like fingers pressed down in the void. The space was sealed and all directions became silent. A type of divine might of the great Tao surged and immediately pressed down. Dang! An elder flicked his fingers continuously. 
Hundreds of beams of divine light shot at the small black sword, causing it to tremble. It then turned into a beam of black light and shot back. Chi. The black light flickered with a dazzling sharpness as it shot towards the crowd. Such a terrifying weapon was absolutely powerful. Some of the elders' expressions changed as they all took action. Clang. More than ten elders flicked their fingers at the same time and struck the small black sword. It shook for a while and its light finally dimmed. The nine orifice stone man was cut, so its resentment is indeed great. We need to put in more effort to disperse its remnant will. Only then would the small black sword return to its normal state. It was now a completely vicious weapon that could kill and injure people. If not for the old Daoist nun and so many elders sealing the stone garden, this place would have become a land of blood. The small black sword's power was flourishing as it interweaved with the Tao. Moreover, it was cast from the black dragon patterned gold. It could be said to be unstoppable and almost impossible to block. Clang clang clang. The black dragon patterned gold sword vibrated as black light shot out in all directions. It interweaved into a terrifying black lightning that actually had the power to destroy the heaven and earth. Li Heishui was shocked and said, so terrifying. Even cutting the stone is dangerous. If one is not careful and is pierced by it, all rare treasures will become illusions. The young master of the Sky Demon Palace, Yao Yuakong, exclaimed, The Black Dragon Stripe Golden Sword, this is a rare treasure, absolutely priceless. The great Xia Prince's gaze was fervent as he said, Brothers, sell it to me and I will give you a satisfactory price. Yi Fan shook his head and said, I don't have that idea yet. Maybe I'll keep it for my own use. It wasn't that he couldn't sell it, but that he couldn't right now. Just now, quite a few people sent him sound transmissions, saying that he couldn't sell it right now. Yao Yuekong's eyes were also burning with passion, this is a weapon made from a saint artifact. Even though the materials used are few, and it is far from an extreme saint artifact, it is still extremely rare. It can be sold at a sky-high price. Boom! The stone garden trembled. When these elders truly took action, not even the black dragon pattern sword produced by the stone man could display its power, it was still sealed in the end. The reason why it was so swift and fierce was mainly because the Tao and Truth intertwined with each other were displaying their might under the effect of resentment. It was equivalent to a little incomplete nomological power. These elders did not stop there. Each of them pointed out a finger, and a divine light shot out. Bolts of lightning fell down and enveloped the small black sword. This was equivalent to a baptism. With a cheat sound, the resentment was dispersed and completely refined. The small black sword lost control, and the black light finally disappeared. Ding! The black dragon pattern sword fell to the ground and pierced through a precious stone. It was made of a special material, a saint artifact, and it was extremely heavy. It actually sank into the ground. Yi Fan quickly moved forward and with a wave of his right hand, he guided the small black sword up. It turned into a black light and appeared in his palm. Even though it was less than an inch long, it was very heavy, a thousand times heavier than ordinary refined iron. Even though it was so short, it still weighed more than a hundred pounds. When it was in the stone man's forehead, it was not heavy at all. Only after it came into being did its heaviness become apparent. Worthy of being a weapon that interweaves Tao and Truth, to have such a mysterious transformation. After subduing the black dragon pattern sword, there was a short period of silence. The stone garden immediately became noisy, and a group of elders surrounded Yi Fan. Little brother, sell this sword to me, 130,000 pounds of origin source. Sell it to me, 150,000 pounds of origin source. This old one needs it, 180,000 pounds of origin source. When these people opened their mouths, they easily offered hundreds of thousands of pounds of origin source. Many people's eyes were burning hot. At this moment, the stone garden was in an uproar, and the surrounding cultivators were both envious and jealous. Two exceptional treasures were cut out, and both of them were sold at sky-high prices. Many people's eyes were green, and they looked over like wolves, wishing they could pounce over and snatch it. This black dragon pattern sword interweaved Tao and Truth, and it was definitely the older generation's favorite. It was priceless. Of course, it also had a fatal flaw, and that was that it was too small. It could only be measured with a piece, and compared to normal weapons, it was like a sesame seed. Many great figures would refine an iron peak or several great mountains when refining magical treasures, and the materials used were in the tens of thousands of pounds. Its value lay in the fact that it interweaved a portion of its own laws, and the materials were divine objects. Even though it was small, it was still an exceptional treasure. Seniors, let me think about it myself. These old men couldn't be provoked, and Yi Fan didn't want to offend them. The black dragon pattern sword was only half an inch long, and its entire body was jet black. It was sparkling and translucent, and it didn't move at all in the palm of his hand. There were dragon-shaped patterns on its surface, profound and natural. These were natural dragon patterns of the Great Tao, and also the origin of its name. 
The more Yi Fan looked at it, the more he liked it. He felt that if he used his powerful divine sense to control it, it would definitely be unstoppable, and it could greatly increase his combat strength. However, cutting out this rare treasure in front of everyone and wanting him to stay might cause great trouble. This was a problem that gave him a headache. After thinking about it carefully, he already had many treasures in his hands, and the most important thing now was to collect origin source and raise his cultivation level. Let me see. The little nun from the great Xia dynasty revealed a hopeful expression. Yi Fan handed it to her, and the little nun in white held it in her palm. Her large eyes blinked, and she couldn't shift her gaze away no matter what. Little brother, please sell it to us. The great Xia prince spoke again, wanting to buy the sword. My sister likes it so much, as her elder brother, I want to give it to her as a gift. This old man also likes it, but no one wants to give it to me, so I can only buy it myself. An old man at the side joked. Yes, as old men, we can only buy it for ourselves. Little brother, do you think 180,000 origin source is enough? The little nun in white returned the black sword to Yi Fan. She was reluctant to part with it, and her large eyes glanced around, unable to shift away. The purple-clothed demon Yuakong smiled and said, Little brother, don't be in a difficult position. Who should you sell it to? Just put it in our sky demon treasure tower for auction. Yi Fan was surrounded by the crowd, and it was difficult for him to get away. At this moment, the elegant Jiang Yifei entered the garden, and after bowing to the old nun, he also came forward to buy the sword. At the same time, An Miaoi walked over gracefully. Her fragrance that was like an orchid drifted in the air, her eyes were clear like water, and she had a sweet smile on her face. Although she didn't say anything, it was clear that she was also interested in this sword. Li Heishue squeezed in with great difficulty and said, Everyone, you all know the origin of this sword. It is the weapon of slaughter of the future Holy Spirit, it was nurtured by the Nine Orifice Stone Man, this is the Holy Sword born from heaven and earth. Everyone couldn't help but sigh in amazement at how miraculous creation was. A black gold dragon patterned holy object was born between the nine orifice stone golem's eyebrows and transformed into a holy sword. All of this was too inconceivable, shocking, and inconceivable. Yi Fan smiled and said, Seniors, let me think about it carefully. In any case, I will not be leaving the Divine City in the near future. When the time comes, I will give you a satisfactory answer. From start to finish, the one who was the calmest was the Dao One Holy Land's female Daoist priest. She stood in the distance, her eyes calm and indifferent. Yi Fan put away the large pile of origin source on the ground. Rays of light flickered and sparkled. It could be said that his harvest was huge. He had obtained another 50,000 kilograms of origin source. Those who gambled with him all had ashen faces, without a trace of blood. Especially Wu Ziming and the others, they had the urge to kill. They felt that they had been tricked. This was a trap, waiting for them to fall into it. Hey brat, you guys are ruthless enough. If you say another word, I will fight with you. Li Heishui mocked, just now, you were mocking us and mocking us. How do you feel now? Using the words you used to mock us, we fell from the nine heavens to the ground. Let me add another sentence, we still fell face first. You. Wu Ziming and the others were so angry that their bodies trembled, but they couldn't do anything. Now that Yi Fan's origin source technique was astonishing, he was the center of attention, like a moon surrounded by stars. Even people like An Miaoi, Yao Yuakong, and the elders with great backgrounds didn't want to get involved. Yi Fan had first obtained the Divine Medicine, then the Holy Sword from the Nine Orifice Stone Golem. At this moment, he had naturally become a popular figure, and many people wanted to rope him in. Brothers, I have already booked a banquet at the Drunken Immortal Inn. We will not return until we are drunk, the Prince of the Great Xia secretly transmitted his voice. This was something that had already been agreed upon, so Yi Fan didn't refuse and agreed. Let's celebrate today, Yao Yuakong said with a smile. He also had the same idea, and he had mentioned it before. Before that, I have to pay my debt. Yi Fan walked forward, arriving in front of Master Yuan and the old nun, and piled the 45,000 kilograms of origin source on the ground. The nine orifice stone golem was extremely expensive, and if it wasn't for the dragon rune black gold holy sword, it would have been a huge loss. Not far away, the supreme elder of the disillusionment palace, Li Shue, was so angry that he wanted to vomit blood. This was equivalent to him paying the bill. He had been tricked into such a cowardly state, and he was literally rushing to deliver the source. How could he endure this? Today, we will have a good chat about origin source techniques, the prince said, his sister following beside him. And Miaoi suddenly transmitted her voice with a smile, Miaoi, I intend to prepare a table of delicacies for lunch and toast with wine. I wonder if little brother is free? She was the most beautiful woman in the Eastern Baron territory, and every frown and smile of hers could move people's hearts. Being invited by her was something that many people wished for. She quietly waited for Yi Fan's reply. If news of this were to spread, many men in the Divine City would definitely be envious and jealous. Jiang Yifei's white robe was spotless, and he looked like a jade tree in the wind. 
His smile was very infectious, and he didn't step forward. Instead, he spoke to Li Heishui, wanting to invite the two of them. Beside him, many elders were also very direct, and they extended an olive branch to Yifan. They were not only interested in the dragon rune black gold holy sword, but also his origin source techniques. Naturally, many people had the same idea. If they could befriend the origin source technique genius, it would naturally be beneficial in the future. Chapter 337 The Divine City was a place where experts from Eastern Baron, the royal family of Central Plains, and the overlords of Northern Plains would often appear. Everything here was luxurious and prosperous. The Drunken Immortal Inn was known as one of the eight great immortal inns of the Divine City. It floated in the air. This was a bejeweled jade palace. Every brick and tile of the palace was carved out of jade, and it was beautiful and magnificent like a dream. Yi Fan and Li Heishui rejected the others and went to the drunken immortal inn with the prince and Yao Kong. The little nun went with them. The palace was surrounded by white mist. It was richly decorated, as if they had arrived at the ancient heaven. The group flew into the air and stood on the white jade stairs. They looked back and saw the mist. It was like they had arrived at the celestial world. May I ask the heavens if there are celestials? The prince of great Xia murmured in his heart. Yi Fan was startled. Comparing the past with the present, he was dazed. In this world, cultivators could fly in the sky and travel a thousand miles in the blink of an eye. If he was in his hometown, he would already be a celestial being. The white jade road stretched forward like a bridge that led to the heavens. They strolled on it, advancing step by step. Many spiritual birds and rare beasts danced among the clouds. Among the majestic palaces, sixteen young girls flew in the sky and landed in the mist. They bowed respectfully and led the group forward. The drunken immortal inn was very particular. It was a retro building that looked like it had been through thousands of eras. It was majestic and had a deep foundation. Li Heishui smiled, everything here belongs to the Huang Jin family. Brother Yuakong, aren't you afraid of attracting trouble? Those who come are guests. They won't be unreasonable and ruin their reputation. Yao Yuakong's strength was shocking. It was hard to find a worthy opponent among the same generation. Not long ago, he fought with the descendant of the Huang Jin family. Esteemed guest, this way please. The sixteen young girls were not weak cultivators. However, they could only lead the way and serve the dishes for the guests. Southern Heaven Gate? Yi Fan's expression changed. There were three ancient words engraved on the grand gate in front of him. As he walked here, there were clouds and mist everywhere beneath his feet. This place was built to imitate the legendary ancient heaven, the Prince of Great Xia introduced. It was obvious that he was a regular here. Why haven't I heard of the ancient heaven? Yi Fan asked. Ten thousand years ago, the Qing Emperor mentioned that he wanted to build a celestial court. He had laid out such a layout, but he eventually fell, Yao Yuakong explained. The Azure Emperor was the great emperor of the fiend race from ten thousand years ago. He was Yan Ryu's ancestor. As for how long he had lived, it was hard to say. It can't be that some ancient heavenly court really collapsed, right? Yi Fan was suspicious. Impossible, Emperor Qing only mentioned it. The prince of the great Xia dynasty shook his head. After passing through the southern heavenly gate, there was an incomparably spacious area ahead. It was divided into four regions, each with the four sceneries of spring, summer, autumn, and winter. This place. Yi Fan was surprised. It was much more spacious than on the ground. There were many palaces here. The four gardens had four different scenes of the four seasons. Yao Yuakong said, there are four barriers here. Although they can't be compared to the small worlds created by the ancient sages, they are almost independent spaces. The Golden Family of Northern Plains has a deep understanding of the Tao of space. A young girl beside him said softly, esteemed guest, please choose the garden. In the end, Yi Fan chose the winter scenery. Ever since he came to this world, he had never seen a season with snowflakes. The cold air brushed against their faces. The palace was covered in silver and snow. Standing under the palace, all they could see was a vast expanse of whiteness. Yi Fan was lost in thought. He thought about the snowy season in the past. Those people and things. Now, they were separated by a galaxy. It would be difficult to meet them again. A delicate fragrance drifted over. The plum trees were proud of the snow and the wind. The flowers bloomed in the bitter cold. They sat down and enjoyed the snow and the flowers while drinking. It was a unique scene. After drinking several times the fine wine, even the little nun in White's face was flushed and her big eyes were sparkling. Princess, you are a monk. How can you drink? Yi Fan joked. The little nun in white did not cut off her hair and covered it with a snow white hat. She wrinkled her delicate nose and murmured in a low voice, I'm cultivating in the secular world. Yao Yuakong said, I have long heard that Buddhism has all kinds of divine arts. They are all amazing in the world, but I have never seen them before. 
Yi Fan wanted to get information about Sakyamuni from the Buddhist faction, but the prince and the little nun of Great Xia didn't talk about it in detail. What is the name of Buddha now? Past Buddha or Tathagata Buddha? Yi Fan asked Li Heishuate secretly. Buddha is the revered one. There are no other names. The little nun said. What kind of Buddha is Sakyamuni? Yi Fan asked indifferently. The little nun's blushing face froze. She stared at the wine glass with her big eyes and didn't say anything else. The prince sighed, sigh, let's not mention this name. It is a taboo in western desert. I also want to know what happened. I have flipped through many ancient books and can only come to one conclusion, there is no Tathagata Buddha in Buddhism. Why do you say that? Yi Fan asked in confusion. It seems like, the Buddha has already perished. The prince of Great Xia shook his head slowly after saying this. Brother Xia, you are in the wrong. Li Heishui raised his glass and drank, we have already said this much. Why are you still hesitating? Are you trying to keep us in suspense? The prince was called Xia Yiming and the little nun was called Xia Yilin. After getting to know each other, they started to call each other casually. He is the revered one, but he isn't. The traitor might have something to do with him. Some say he is the demonic shell of Buddha. Xia Yiming didn't say anything else. Yao Yuakong said, Your Royal Highness, can't you be a bit more specific? This is just a little secret that I've heard. There's nothing else. You must not speak of it, or else you will be killed. Grand Xia Prince Xia Yiming said. What secret? Who will kill us? Yi Fan asked. Let's not talk about this. There is nothing to gain from it. Xia Yiming shook his head firmly. Brother Xia, with your status, why are you afraid? Yao Yuakong didn't understand. We really don't need to talk about Buddhism. Xia Yiming raised his eyes and looked around at the endless snow, saying, Mount Meru is not an ordinary place. Seeing him like this, the others didn't ask any further. The prince's knowledge was indeed limited. Yi Fan asked another question, how long has Buddhism existed? It has existed since ancient times. The little nun lowly Xia Yilin's pure big eyes were filled with doubt. She looked at him as if he didn't even know this. Since ancient times? Yi Fan was shocked. Buddhism existed before the Sakyamuni 2000 years ago. This left him in a daze. There aren't many people in the East Baron who know about Buddhism. It's fine if you don't know about it. Yao Yuakong smiled. Yi Fan thought about it. On the other side of the universe, Buddhism was created by Gautama Buddha, but there were already Buddhists before him. Rather than saying it was created, it was more accurate to say it was spread. In some ancient scriptures, it was recorded that Gautama Buddha saw Buddhists cultivating at the expense of their bodies. He thought that it was not the right way, so there was the Rulai Dharma. He felt that he had grasped something, so he didn't ask any further. He thought about it for a while before coming back to his senses. Outside the palace, there was a vast expanse of whiteness. Snow swirled in the air, and the fragrance of plum blossoms wafted through the air. The few of them drank and chatted merrily. This banquet cost 250 kilograms of source energy. It was quite expensive, but compared to the legendary immortal banquet, it was nothing. The immortal banquets here cost tens of thousands of kilograms of source energy. They are specially prepared for divine lords and mighty beings, and they need to be booked in advance. Otherwise, it would be difficult to gather all the ingredients. Even Sky Demon Palace's young lord Yao Yuakong was speechless. Isn't it too exaggerated? Yi Fan asked. It's not an exaggeration at all. Take one of the dish's divine phoenix wings as an example. It's really cooked from a bird king that has part of the bloodline of the divine phoenix. It condenses all of its essence, and ordinary cultivators can break through a realm after eating it. Yi Fan suddenly asked, is there a heavenly rock wing? There was a heavenly rock banquet in the past, but the old rock king made a big fuss over it. In the end, the golden-winged heavenly rock was cancelled because of him. Yi Fan opened his mouth, speechless. Li Heishui said, there are only a few immortal banquets a year. Only when the Divine Lord invites the mighty beings will it be held. Let's not think too much about it. But I really want to drink a cup of enlightenment tea from the immortal banquet. It is said that even mighty beings can gain enlightenment from it. Yao Yuakong shook his head. Enlightenment tea is a rare item in the immortal banquet. It's priceless. There is only one tree of enlightenment in the entire eastern barren. It's good enough to collect 30 leaves every year. God knows how many people are watching. There is only one tree of enlightenment in the world. Where is it? Yi Fan was surprised. In the Undying Mountain, Yao Yuakong said. Hiss. Everyone sucked in a cold breath. The Undying Mountain was one of the seven forbidden zones in the Eastern Baron. It was located in the north of the central region. Yao Yuakong said, the only tree of enlightenment is still growing in the Undying Mountain. Every year, only 30 leaves can be sent out. That's not far from the Holy Cliff, right? Yi Fan asked. That's right, it's not too far away. 
It said that the sacred cliff was a cliff that was cut out of the undying mountain by someone with peerless magic power. Yao Yuakong was worthy of being the young master of the Sky Demon Palace. He knew many things. Yi Fan nodded. He had to make a trip to this place, and it wouldn't be too long, because the Holy Cliff had the Nine Secrets. The Holy Cliff was connected to the Undying Mountain. Ancient Saint Huang died there. The cliff was dyed dark red with blood. There was also a Great Emperor carved formation runes there. Yi Fan felt that there must be a lot of secrets there. Suddenly, music could be heard. In the palace next door, a girl in white was playing solo. A flock of spirit birds were attracted. These palaces were open for the nobles to admire the snow and plum blossoms. They could see each other sometimes. It's a Miaoi. Yi Fan's expression changed. Farian, why are you playing solo here? The Grand Xia Prince asked. Miaoi also arranged a banquet here. I wanted to toast little brother Gu Feng with wine, but I was rejected. And Miaoi's brows were arched. Her flawless face had a faint smile. Gu Feng was Yi Fan's current name. He couldn't walk around the Divine City with his real name. Farian, why do you say that? Why don't we drink together? Yi Fan smiled. Yao Yuakong and the Prince of Great Xia also invited her. And Miao Yi smiled lightly and nodded. Then, she walked over gracefully. She walked over and glanced at Yi Fan with her big eyes. She smiled and said, Little brother Gu Feng, you are the first person to reject me. Miao Yi is very vengeful. Chapter 338 And Miao Yi gracefully sat down. She had a natural body fragrance that smelled like orchids and musk. She would occasionally take a sip and speak witty words. She clinked glasses with a few people and very quickly blended in, not feeling like she had suddenly joined the group. The great Xia Prince and Yao Yuakong were not ordinary people, so they would not be moved by ordinary beauty. However, An Miaoi had a strange charm that made people uncontrollably feel good about her. Little brother Gu Feng, Miaoi offers you a cup of wine. You won't refuse this time, right? Her smile was very sweet. Yi Fan took a sip of wine and said, Next time, I will invite Farian to admire flowers under the moon as an apology. Yao Yuakong immediately laughed, under the moon. Little brother Gu is still young, don't learn bad things. And Miao Yi rolled her eyes at him. Although she came from Yao Yu nunnery, she was usually as pure as ice and as clean as jade, like a snow lotus on a cold peak, sacred and inviolable. At this moment, her smile was like a flower, giving her a unique charm. Yi Fan smiled, how would I dare? Brother Yuakong has misunderstood me. Farian is as beautiful as the moon fairy. Last time, Yi Yu's zither music left a deep impression on me. I was thinking that if I apologize under the moon, I might be able to see an immortal dance again. The great Xia Prince smiled, how about Farian perform an immortal dance for us now? The snow is swirling, do you have the heart to let me dance in the cold wind? And Miao Yi smiled faintly, but eventually stood up and went to the plum trees outside the palace. She danced like a cloud, her clothes purer than snow. Like a fairy, she danced in the snow, her graceful figure vividly displaying a kind of gentleness. The plum blossoms danced in the air, sparkling and translucent, revolving around her. There were specks of red in the pure white, making her look even more ethereal. Good. Good. Waves of cheers came from the other palaces. Many people could see the flawless figure of an immortal dance in the snow. Not long after, An Miaoi gracefully floated into the hall. Even the little nun in white was influenced and became much closer to An Miaoi. Little brother Gu's genesis technique is amazing, how did you cultivate it? As they drank and chatted merrily, they finally brought up this question. This was what everyone wanted to know. It's just some ancient techniques passed down in my family. It's hardly elegant, Yi Fan replied. Yao Yuakong said, little brother Gu, you are too humble. Although you have only fought two or three times, I can tell that you have some amazing skills. Great Xia Prince Xia Yiming said, so it comes from a genesis technique clan. I wonder which clan it is from. Yi Fan already knew that there were a few Genesis Technique families in the northern region that had a long history and were very famous. They also had close relationships with the Great Sage. A small family in the mountains, not even worth mentioning. It's not some aristocratic clan, and merely some shallow Genesis techniques passed down by their ancestors that they never use. When Yao Yuakong heard this, he said, as expected of an expert. A hidden clan. It can't be the Yuan Taoist master's branch with the longest heritage, right? That is the strongest Genesis Technique branch in the world. Yi Fan shook his head and said, Little brother Gu, you are too humble. I can see that your genesis technique is quite ancient. It can't be the Yuan Taoist master's branch, right? That's the strongest genesis technique branch in the world. The prince said, Little brother Gu, you are too humble. I can see that your genesis technique is quite ancient, and I'm afraid it's not much weaker than the Yuan Taoist master's branch. 
There are a few great Genesis Technique families in the northern region, and I feel that your Genesis Technique is better than theirs. I've seen two of their successors, and they are definitely not your match. Yao Yuakong said. And Miao Yi smiled, of course I know. I heard that a few people from a Genesis Technique family came to the Nine Orifice Stone statue, but they gave up in the end. How can they compare to Little Brother Gu? To be honest, I was just guessing. Since I had already cut out the Divine Herb, I just took a gamble. Yi Fan smiled and changed the topic. He didn't want to dwell on this. Li Heishui said, Your Highness, your Xia Empire has a royal family stationed in Divine City all year round. Are you really that concerned about Genesis Technique? Indeed. The great Xia Prince answered. Yi Fan swirled the wine in his jade cup and said, I've heard some rumors, but I don't know if they are true or false. Yao Yuakong also said, I've also heard some rumors, can Brother Xia explain to us? The great Xia Prince Xia Yiming put down his cup and said, What you've heard must be that our ancestors obtained a heavenly book from a stone when they cut the Genesis technique, allowing us to rise unstoppably and establish the great Xia Empire. Is that true? Yes, that is the legend. Li Heishui nodded. And Miaoyi was also very concerned. She softly smiled and said, Your Highness, please tell us in detail. Let us understand more about it. The prince was overjoyed. It's all a rumor. How can the Tai Huang scripture be cut out from a stone? It was created by our ancestor, the Tai Huang scripture, and it represents a kind of achievement. The Tai Huang scripture was one of the four great scriptures of the Central Plains. Its offensive power was unparalleled in the Central Plains, and it seemed to be the strongest in the world. It was said that the only one that could compete with it was the fighting formula of the nine esoteric arts. Unfortunately, this peerless saint art only appeared once every few hundred generations. The two great saint arts had never met before, and everyone wanted to know which one was stronger and which one was weaker. Yao Yuakong nodded and said, I'm also thinking, how could the Tai Huang scripture originate from someone else? The Tai Huang scripture was a legend, close to the level of a god. Some said that he could go against the laws of nature and kill immortals. Back then, his offensive power made the entire world tremble. Once he used his imperial draconic chi, no one in the world could compete with him. The Grand Emperor had left behind an indelible mark of glory in the annals of history. Xia Yiming said, the reason why the great Xia imperial clan resides in the northern divine city is purely because we need the source and the rare treasures within it. The crowd didn't believe it. At least, there were other rumors. Some said that they wanted to refine a cauldron of immortal pills, while others said that they wanted to repair a saint weapon. Yao Yuakong said, according to the ancient records of the northern divine city, more than a hundred thousand years ago, during the desolate era, a peerless beauty was cut out of a rock. Do you think it's similar to the nine orifice golem? Li Heishui shook his head and said, it's hard to say. Maybe it's an ancient creature that was sealed in the source. It said that the land of the great sage couldn't stop her and let her escape. And Miao Yi said. The source isn't just for gambling, there are even more valuable things. Li Heishui said. When they talked about the source, they couldn't help but mention the two rare treasures that Yi Fan had cut out. Everyone started to evaluate their value. That human-shaped godly medicine is too damaged, only two legs are left. It's worth at most a few hundred thousand kilograms of source. The great Xia Imperial Prince said. Yao Yuakong nodded and said, its real value is less than 50,000 kilograms. Primordial godly medicine is more valuable than divine source, but it's still too damaged. Without a doubt, he had the right to speak. After all, the Sky Fei Treasure Tower was one of the seven great auction houses of the Divine City. If someone urgently needs it, they can auction it. I think there will be a huge increase in the price. Yi Fan smiled. Without a doubt, and Miao Yi was born with a clever mind. She instantly guessed what was going on and said, the Holy Lands are attacking the Purple Mountain. If there are any casualties among the important figures, they will definitely fight to bid for the primordial divine medicine when they return. That's right. Yi Fan smiled and nodded. Unscrupulous businessman. The little nun in white mumbled. Little sister, you can't say things like that. I'm saving lives. Yi Fan smiled. Who's your little sister? The little nun wrinkled her nose and rolled her eyes. If that's the case, I think it can reach 300,000 kilograms of source. Yao Yuakong said. Gulp. Li Heishui gulped down a mouthful of wine to hide the sound of his own saliva. This was too shocking. A damaged primordial godly medicine was still so valuable. What's the price of the black gold dragon vein sword? He couldn't help but ask. My two brothers, can't you sell this small sword to me? I will give you a satisfactory price. The prince was very sincere. It was obvious that the little nun in white really liked the small sword that was less than an inch long. Hearing this, her big eyes immediately blinked. Miao Yi is cultivating a special art and urgently needs an invincible weapon. I also want to buy this sword. 
And Miao Yi smiled. Yi Fan flipped his hand and the black gold dragon vein sword appeared in his palm. He passed it to the others for them to admire. Yao Yuakong said, not long ago, someone from the Sky Fei Treasure Tower sent a black gold dragon vein sword smaller than a fingernail. It was sold for 40,000 kilograms of source. Hiss. Everyone sucked in a breath of cold air. An emperor's exclusive holy item was indeed ridiculously expensive. It was many times more valuable than a god source of the same size. The ancient emperors needed a lot of resources to forge an extreme divine weapon. It couldn't be measured with such a granular object. If one thought about it, an extreme divine weapon, not to mention the Tao and reason contained within, just the material alone was hard to measure its terrifying value. No wonder the ancient emperors couldn't find the materials they needed even after searching the world. This is ridiculous. The others looked at the sword. The great Xia Prince said, this sword has been nurtured for a limited time. It is far from being born. It has just begun to interweave Tao and reason. And Miao said, this sword is less than an inch long. If it is melted, it will be similar to the black gold dragon vein sword sold for 40,000 kilograms of source. Considering that it contains part of its own laws, we can add another 70,000 kilograms of source. It can't be that cheap, right? Li Heishue said. And Miao smiled, if we consider that it was born from the Nine Orifice Golem, a saint spirit sword born from heaven and earth, we can add another 50,000 kilograms of source. 250,000 kilograms of source. Li Heishue's heart was beating fast. Yao Yuakong said, in fact, it is even more precious. A saint sword born from the Nine Orifice Golem could sell for 350,000 kilograms of source. Even the great Xia Prince couldn't bear it when he heard that number, let alone in Miaoi. Although they had super forces behind them, they couldn't just randomly buy rare materials. 300,000 plus 350,000. That's 650,000 kilograms of source. Li Heishui felt dizzy. Yi Fan thought for a moment and said, if I don't want ordinary source, can I trade it for xenogenic source? Yao Yuakong said, it will be difficult. No one wants to trade for xenogenic source. If you want to trade, I think the price will drop by two thirds. What? That's a big difference. Yi Fan was shocked. Pure source is very weak for people with high cultivation. It is not even as dense as their own spirit chi. Xenogenic source, on the other hand, is different. It is a concentrated essence. For high-level cultivators, it is useless for their practice, but it is good for recovering god powers. 650,000 kilograms of pure source. If you trade it for xenogenic source, it will only be worth 200,000 kilograms? Yi Fan was shocked. Something like that. The great Xia Prince nodded. That. Yi Fan was speechless. But he had no choice. Otherwise, he would need a million kilograms of source to level up. It would be like a mountain. How could he refine it all? He would be drowned. The only thing he was happy about was that he had mastered the source technique, so he could continue to gamble on stones in other holy lands. It should not be a problem to collect what he needed. Dong. Suddenly, the sound of a bell rang through the sky. The entire god city was shaking. This bell. Yi Fan was shocked. The purple mountain Wuxia bell was ringing again. It's the same as last time. Everyone stood up, feeling incomparably shocked. They felt a type of incomparably grand and majestic aura. Without a doubt, the Great Sage had attacked the Purple Mountain for the second time, but they had run back. They did not know what had happened this time. Brother Yuakong, let's start the auction. Yi Fan said. Then, Li Heishui said to Yi Fan, that mortal Yuan fruit that was eaten by a dog should be auctioned. He could not help but laugh. Chapter 339 The Divine City Resonated The Great Sage Lords crossed the void and brought the sound waves of the Wuxia Bell over. Purple Mountain was the great bell left behind by Great Emperor Wuxia. It had recently become the focal point of the world. The second attack on Purple Mountain ended in failure. The Holy Lands returned with heavy casualties, and the Divine City was shaken. An hour later, the news spread that three Holy Lords were heavily injured. Many of the older generation were turned to dust by the Wuxia Bell Wave, their bodies and souls destroyed. Hiss. After hearing this result, everyone sucked in a breath of cold air. Everyone in the Divine City was shocked. This time, the Great Sage Lords reached an agreement with the 13 Northern Region Bandits. They wanted to enter Purple Mountain with the help of the Heaven Devouring Evil Jar, but they still failed. If not for the ancient Heaven Devouring Jar blocking the Wuxia Bell Wave at the crucial moment, the Holy Lords would be in danger. The Dragon Pattern Cauldron, Divine Sun Cauldron, and Void Ancient Mirror were used to suppress the so-called Trump Cards. This time, they were not used. Half an Extreme Path Weapon could not stop the Wuxia Bell. After such a major event, they were naturally not in the mood to sit anymore. 
They all stood up and the banquet ended. Before leaving, and Miao Yi smiled sweetly. Little brother Gu, if you want to sell the black dragon pattern sword, you must consider Miao Yi. In just a few days, the news spread all over the world. Everyone was shocked. What did great emperor Wu Shi leave behind? No one could control the bell, but it still had such power. It was truly terrifying. Yi Fan did not continue gambling. He waited for the Sky Demon Treasure Tower to auction the ancient divine medicine. These days, he finally went around the divine city with Li Heishui's company. He couldn't help but sigh. It was indeed a giant city left behind by a god. Inside the divine city, not all places were extremely luxurious. There were also old tea houses on the roadside. I guess the Holy Lands will definitely use extreme path weapons next time. Half a heaven devouring jar won't be able to stop the bell wave. Great Emperor Wu Shi has great achievements. Everyone is jealous of the inheritance he left behind. The Holy Lands will definitely use their extreme path holy weapons. In a shabby little tea house, everyone was talking about the Purple Mountain incident. Although the tea house was small, no one found it shabby, because some legendary almighty figures would sometimes appear in such places. Yi Fan and Li Heishui were also sitting there, waiting for the upcoming auction. In a while, when the auction house's bell rang, they would enter the Sky Fei Treasure Tower. All the Holy Lands are really having a rough time. The number of people who died this time is even more than the last time. It's rumored that even a Saint Lord is heavily injured and on the verge of death. This is truly a huge matter. A few days ago, didn't he cut out the primordial divine medicine? That brat is really lucky. If he takes it out to auction now, it will definitely be a heaven-defying price. Yi Fan rubbed his chin. He didn't say anything and listened attentively. Li Heishui murmured, this is called opportunities always go to those who are prepared. Not everyone can step on dog sh asterisk t. I heard that the forces outside the Eastern Baron territory are getting restless. I heard that the four immortal dynasties of the Middle Plains have all sent their experts here. As soon as these words came out, everyone gasped. Since ancient times, the Middle Plains had always been the center of the world. It had always been prosperous and had countless experts. Unless of the Arch was born, the Middle Plains, the Southern Mountains, and the Northern Plains had always been the strongest. The four immortal dynasties ruled over the world. It didn't mean that they only had these four ancient inheritances, but that they were the most powerful. Apart from the four great mystical books of the Middle Plains, there were also some ancient scriptures. Although they weren't created by Thearchs, they were still extremely profound. If a few sect masters or royal lords come, the Purple Mountain will be really lively. All the Holy Lands will have to use their extreme path weapons or they will lose the initiative. They must make a big move in the near future. Everyone drank tea and discussed at the same time. Everyone was very concerned. This is too far away from us. It's not something ordinary people can touch. Let's talk about something else. Is there any special news recently? Finally, they got tired of this topic and started to talk about other things. 40 Dao Comprehension Tea Leaves from the Undying Mountain flew out this year. This is more than in previous years. It's a pity that the divine tree grows in the Undying Mountain. Otherwise, how many Dao Comprehension Tea Leaves could such an ancient tree produce every year? There's no point in complaining. Only the big shots get to enjoy such a rare treasure once in a while. By the way, that sacred body of the ancients has been making quite a ruckus recently. He's been looting and robbing bandits everywhere. All the holy lands and the younger generation are trying to catch him, but they've been unsuccessful every time. Yi Fan laughed when he heard the news. It must have been Tu Fei who hired someone to do all this. He has the source chi of myriad on him. All the holy lands want to catch him. The saints are all out in search of him. You guys might not know this, but the latest news is really shocking. What's wrong? What happened? The dog with the sacred body of the ancients is really shining. It's smearing all the holy lands' names. Yi Fan and Li Heishui looked at each other when they heard this. What did the Black Emperor do? They listened carefully. That dog is even fiercer than the sacred body of the ancients. It's biting people from the holy lands everywhere, specifically targeting the younger generation. The elders of all the holy lands were attacking the purple mountain, and the younger generation were looking for the sacred body of the ancients to seize the source chi of myriad. The big black dog was extremely ferocious. In less than 20 days, it had bitten a total of 63 people, all of whom were disciples of the holy lands. It's strange. Every time this dog bites someone, it will howl. 500 kilograms of source chi. Kid, you know what it means. I really don't know what it means. Yi Fan was speechless when he heard this. The dog was indeed doing its best, but it was too greedy. It was obviously howling at him, demanding 500 kilograms of source chi for each person it bit. Of the 63 people bitten by this dog, 49 were female disciples. 
Nowadays, the female disciples of all the holy lands turn pale at the mention of this dog. This perverted dog. Yi Fan cursed in his mind. The most interesting thing is that it's clamoring to take the saints and saintesses as its human pets. Pfft. Many people in the tea house spat out their tea when they heard the news. This dog is too outrageous. What a powerful dog. It dares to challenge the holy lands. The latest news is that the dog really captured a few disciples of the holy lands and made them call it master. In the end, those people directly broke down. Huh. There's such a thing? I heard that the saints are pursuing that dog with all their strength. Yi Fan was slightly speechless. The big black dog was too capable. As expected, he was very outstanding. Dang. The sound of a bell rang out, spreading throughout the entire god city. It wasn't the Wuxia bell, but the great bell of the sky demon artifact tower. It announced to everyone in the god city that there was going to be a peerless treasure auctioned. Every time such a bell rang out, the god city would be shaken. This time was no exception. Many people soared into the sky, flying towards the artifact tower in the sky. We have to be careful later. I reckon there might be Saint Lord level characters here, Yi Fan said. Li Heishui nodded. They soared into the sky and arrived at the Sky Demon Artifact Tower. Clouds surged, and palaces were everywhere. There was also a spatial enchantment here, and it was many times vaster than what they saw from below. There was a massive palace in the center. It seemed to have been built by an ancient giant. It was extremely tall and grand, like a mountain standing in the center. This was the famous Sky Demon Artifact Tower. Even 100,000 people could come, and they would all have seats. It was extremely luxurious, and its entire body flickered with purple light. It was completely forged from precious violet sunstones, and it flowed with dreamy colors. When Yi Fan and Li Heishui arrived, they just happened to encounter Wu Ziming and Li Zhongtian. Beside them, there was also a young man with an extraordinary temperament. When he saw Yi Fan and Li Heishui, Wu Ziming's face instantly darkened, and he sneered. Brother Wu, what are you laughing foolishly about? Could it be that there is some joyous occasion? Li Heishui asked. The other party was clearly sneering coldly. His voice was bone-chilling and filled with killing intent, but he still said this. Black brat, don't be so smug. I'll teach you a lesson. Li Zhongtian said coldly. Don't tell me you want to kill us and rob us. Li Heishui did not care. Wu Ziming coldly said, don't think that just because you know a little Genesis technique that you can do as you please in Divine City. There will be powerful people who will trample you to death. Who wants to trample us to death? Yi Fan indifferently asked. Someone will use a Genesis technique to trample you to death. Li Zhongtian sneered. What you have learned is nothing more than a country bumpkin technique. In front of a true Genesis technique aristocratic family, it is nothing. Wu Ziming mocked. We haven't learned much, but someone just had to give us tens of thousands of kilograms of Genesis energy. Li Heishui laughed. These two were the ones who cut open the nine orifice stone golem? Beside him, a man in embroidered robes exuded a faint arrogance and conceit. That's right, it's these two brats. Li Zhongtian answered. All right, I'll remember this. I will go to the stone square and gamble until their faces turn green. They won't dare to step into this trade for the rest of their lives. The man in embroidered robes swept an indifferent glance at Yi Fan and Li Heishui, not giving them a second glance. Wu Ziming sneered, just you wait, a stone gambling battle is about to begin. As long as you appear in the stone square, I will make your faces turn green. Dealing with them counts as a stone gambling battle? The man in embroidered robes shook his head, a cold smile appearing on his lips. Unless the Yuan Taoist master is reborn. He did not even look at Yi Fan and Li Heishui as he walked away. Wu Ziming and Li Zhongtian were extremely courteous to the man in embroidered robes, accompanying him as they hurriedly followed. Who is that guy? Li Heishui looked at the three from the corner of his eyes. He should be someone from a Genesis Technique aristocratic family, and is most likely an amazing genius. Yi Fan said as he gazed at that person's back. How are you so sure? Li Heishui asked. That person's right index finger has a faint golden luster. This is the embodiment of the golden touch technique, Yi Fan said. Can you deal with him? Li Heishui asked. I'll only know after I try. Yi Fan smiled calmly. From the looks of it, you can most likely trick him? Li Heishui smirked. It's hard to say, this person is very powerful. Yi Fan smiled. When they arrived at the Sky Demon Treasure Tower, Yao Yuakong had been waiting for them for a long time. He led the two to a VIP room upstairs, where they could clearly see everything in the auction hall. At this moment, there was a sea of people. It was unknown how many cultivators had come, but there were almost no empty seats. The Red Dragon Taoist is here too. Li Heishui pointed downwards. 
The Red Dragon Taoist was sitting in an inconspicuous seat with the others. The people around him obviously did not know that he was a terrifying person. There's a good show to watch. The price of the divine medicine will definitely not be low. Look, even the people from the sacred grounds are here. Li Heishui laughed. There were many treasures in this auction, and the ancient divine medicine was destined to be the highlight. Suddenly, Li Heishui stopped laughing and said, I saw my grandfather. Please don't be a fool, especially not for that fruit that was eaten by a dog. Even the thirteen bandits had come. One could imagine how tempting the ancient divine medicine was. Suddenly, Yi Fan saw a few people wearing dragon crowns. He was surprised and said, Are those the big shots from the Central Plains Eternal Dynasty? Li Heishui also noticed and nodded, They must be here for the Purple Mountain Wuxia's inheritance. They came to the Divine City on the way. There were a few people wearing dragon crowns on their heads who had extraordinary appearances. They weren't members of the Imperial Clan of the Grand Xia, and they entered one of the VIP suites. And Baldies, there are a few old Baldies over there. Li Heishui stared blankly and said, These old Baldies seem to have halos on the back of their heads. Yi Fan was shocked and said, Western Desert Buddhists with halos on the back of their heads, this is really terrifying. At the same time, he couldn't help but sigh. The great Emperor Wu Shi's fame had shaken the world. The moment the inheritance appeared, it caused a huge commotion. These people must be here for the Purple Mountain. Chapter 340 A few old monks had pale golden skin and faint halos behind their heads. They walked into a VIP room and disappeared. Have these old monks cultivated the golden body? Yi Fan had heard of the golden body of Buddhism on the other side of the starry sky. Even people from the western desert have come. Emperor Wu Shi's inheritance has indeed shaken the world. It's really influential. Li Heishui sighed. Suddenly, his expression froze and he said telepathically, Over there, an existence even more terrifying than the Green Flood Dragon King has come. Yi Fan followed his gaze and saw a middle-aged man in his forties. He had fair skin, a tall figure, and a lean appearance. Who is he? This is the third greatest bandit of the northern region, Su Tianxiong. He's Su Yuan and Su Heng's grandfather. Li Heishui introduced. Yi Fan paid attention, remembering his appearance. This was an extremely terrifying figure. He personally suppressed Su Yuan, so this definitely couldn't be exposed, or else there would be a great disaster. Before long, Yi Fan saw the Grand Xia Prince and the white-robed nun. They accompanied a middle-aged man wearing a dragon crown and a golden dragon robe. That middle-aged man was extremely valiant. One could vaguely see nine true dragons coiling around his body, coiling around his golden battle suit. On top of the dragon crown on his head, there was even a dragon head formed from dragon chi. It was a shocking sight. This must be an important figure of the Grand Xia royal family. The draconic chi has taken form and formed a dragon's head. This is a sign that the supreme imperial scripture has been cultivated to an extremely high level. Li Heishui was astonished. Many powerful figures had come, but he didn't know most of them. The resplendent auction hall was packed with people as far as the eye could see. Now, Yi Fan and Li Heishui weren't worried. Since all the holy lands had come, the damaged divine medicine would definitely fetch a sky-high price. Li Heishui said, I've already investigated. It seems that the Alcade Saint is gravely injured. The main reason is that her vitality was injured by the Peacock King's Primal Chaos Seal. This time, she almost died at Mount Purple. Yi Fan couldn't help but look at an inconspicuous spot in the crowd. The old Daoist Red Dragon sat in the crowd and didn't even look at the various sacred grounds. As expected, he was fearless. He had personally participated in killing Sacred Lord Wavering Light last time, and he still dared to come here. But thinking about it, it made sense. The Holy Lands and the Thirteen Bandits had temporarily reconciled. They had borrowed the ancient Heaven Devouring Jar to attack Purple Mountain, so Daoist Crimson Dragon sitting here didn't count for much. Clang. The Divine Bell rang and the Sky Fey Treasure Tower quietened down. The auction was about to begin. At this time, there were fewer people coming in and out. Almost all the important people and great forces had arrived, so there was no need to wait any longer. At the very front was a dragon platform made of yellow diamond. It was sparkling and sparkling, flowing with golden splendor. It was incomparably beautiful, and it was completely carved from yellow diamond. A white-haired old man walked onto the dragon platform and announced the start of the auction. Sixteen young ladies stood at the two sides of the dragon platform. They came from Sky Demon Palace, so they were naturally all fairies. They were graceful and beautiful, and their bodies were covered by pink muslin. They were in charge of presenting the auction items. At first, several small items were sold, but the highest price was less than 1,000 kilograms of source. Nothing was too shocking. The fourth auction item is a piece of ancient precious jade. The starting price is 1,000 kilograms of source. The white-haired old man announced from the dragon platform. A young fairy girl walked gracefully, her hair swaying in the wind. 
She carried a red sandalwood tray and walked onto the dragon platform. There was a piece of ancient jade on the tray. It was glossy and had exquisite patterns. Yi Fan's heart jumped. This piece of jade was too familiar. It was definitely an emperor jade. It was the broken jade left behind by great emperor Wu Shi. He didn't think he would see it here. It was being auctioned off with a starting price of 1,000 kilograms of source. This was simply a joke. If others knew of its origin, not to mention 1,000 kilograms of source, even 100,000 kilograms would be fought over crazily. What's so special about this piece of jade? Someone in the auction hall asked. This jade has a kind of Tao rhythm. It seems to be a jade pendant of a great figure in the past. The white-haired old man introduced. Everyone carefully observed it, but in the end, they all shook their heads. No one made a bid. There was a blurry mark on the ancient jade. It was one of the nine dragon veins. However, it was only a corner and not the entire dragon's body. This piece of jade is broken. Only a corner of the mountain can be seen. Even if one has seen the purple mountain and the nine dragon veins, they won't be able to recognize it. Yi Fan was excited. Now, Great Emperor Wu Shi's inheritance had shaken the world. If someone recognized it, it would definitely cause a huge wave. At this moment, Yi Fan was extremely excited. He couldn't calm down more than if he had cut out a peerless treasure. 1,000 kilograms of source. He quoted the starting price. 1,000 kilograms of source. Suddenly, a voice came from another VIP room, opposing with equal harshness. Yi Fan recognized the voice. It was the young master in embroidered robes who came with Wu Ziming. He immediately frowned. 3,000 kilograms of source. 2,000 kilograms of source. The man in embroidered robes continued to raise the price. Li Heishui didn't understand. He said, it's just a piece of broken jade. What are you buying it for? This piece of jade was very important. Yi Fan couldn't say it or it would be a huge disaster. He had to get it, but he didn't want to be a fool. He smiled. An ancient jade from hundreds of thousands of years ago. I want to play with it. Since they want it too, I'll give it to them. 5,000 kilograms of source. If it's more than this price, they can take it. 6. The other side said 6, but he didn't say it in the end. In the end, Yi Fan bought the ancient jade for 5,000 kilograms of source. Although he spent a few thousand kilograms more, it was definitely worth it. If one wanted to enter the Purple Mountain, they had to use the ancient jade. This was the only key left behind by Great Emperor Wu Shi. If people knew about it, there would be mountains of corpses and seas of blood. It could open the inheritance of Great Emperor Wu Shi. Yi Fan was determined to get the Wu Shi scripture. Many important people were in the Sky Fei Treasure Tower. No one cared about these small items. They were all waiting for the ancient divine medicine. They didn't know that they had passed by a heaven-defying ancient jade. Fortunately, this was the case. Otherwise, there would be a shocking battle here. Wu Ziming and the others are deliberately raising the price to target us. Li Heishui was very dissatisfied. Yi Fan was in a good mood and didn't care. He said, in the future, we will reason with them at the stone square in the Holy Land. In the end, the main event finally arrived. A young demoness carefully held a scroll and delivered it to the yellow dragon platform. The handwriting left behind by a supreme being. The starting price is 15,000 kilograms of source. The white-haired old man transmitted his voice. Boom! The auction hall immediately boiled over. Many people looked excited. Many grand elders of the great sects took action to bid for this item. 40,000 kilograms of source. 50,000 kilograms of source. This old man bid 70,000 kilograms of source. 80,000 kilograms of source. The scene was quite lively. A group of old men competed to bid. Many young people could only watch with envy. They couldn't participate at all. This group of old men seems to have taken aphrodisiac. Their eyes are all red. Li Heishui laughed. Don't speak nonsense. In this place, there might be people who can intercept divine will transmissions. Yi Fan reminded. In the end, the handwriting of this supreme being was sold for a sky-high price of 120,000 kilograms of source. It was really shocking. On the yellow dragon platform, the white-haired old man announced, next, there will be a rare ancient treasure auctioned. The auction hall suddenly became so silent that even the sound of a pin dropping could be heard. The 16 demoness cultivation was not weak. However, at this moment, they were all sweating and panting, weak and powerless. They worked together to carry a broken bell. It was more than a meter tall. It was old and unadorned. There was nothing special about it. It looked like a common bell among the common people. Everyone was shocked. These girls were in the Holy Xi Palace's secret realm, but they were so tired. It was enough to show how heavy this bell was. 
The white-haired old man of the Sky Demon Palace stepped forward and took it. He brought the dull bell to the yellow dragon platform and placed it at the highest point for everyone to see. It's broken. It's already destroyed. The crowd was in an uproar. One side of the bell was completely missing. Strictly speaking, this was half a bell. What is a broken bell for? Someone asked loudly, puzzled. Everyone, don't underestimate it. This is a rare ancient treasure. The white-haired old man's expression was solemn. What is it? The white-haired old man said, this item was found in an abandoned ancient mine. It has existed for an extremely long time. It has at least 50,000 years of history. There are many ancient objects in the world. It's not just because they are old that they are precious. What is its origin? An elder asked. It is not an ordinary bell. This is a weapon used by an ancient great figure who is about to step into the ancient sage realm. As soon as the white-haired old man's words fell, the auction hall suddenly became noisy. Many elders were excited and began to bid. 70,000 kilograms. 80,000 kilograms. 50,000 kilograms. At this moment, even the Holy Lands participated in the bidding. This bell was already broken and could not be repaired. However, there were still remnants of the laws. It was worth the great figures to study. The scene was very lively. Some old men kept raising the price. They were all figures of the super forces. This group of old men, after eating aphrodisiac, they are on steroids again. Li Heishui mumbled. Yi Fan smiled and said, your grandfather is also participating. Li Heishui. In the end, this broken bell was sold for a price of 80,000 kilograms. It was extremely shocking. One could imagine how expensive it would be if it was in perfect condition. Now, we will auction the last rare treasure. It can be said to be peerless because it is impossible to find a second one. The white-haired old man sighed. He personally walked down the yellow diamond dragon stage and carried a spotless white jade cauldron onto the stage. The jade cauldron was only a foot tall. There was a lid on it. It was tightly sealed and sealed. I think everyone already knows what it is. That's right, it is an archaic divine medicine. It was cut out from a stone by a little friend. The auction hall was in an uproar. It was difficult to calm down. Many people stood up. The auction this time was for this divine medicine. Of course, many people only came to see it because they could not afford it. It would definitely be an astronomical price. It would most likely fall into the hands of the holy lands. No one could compete with them. The white-haired old man opened the white jade cauldron and took out the divine medicine. Even though it was sealed in the ice and snow, there was still a faint fragrance wafting out, making people feel refreshed. The light blue stem flickered with sparkling radiance. The milky white medicinal foot was no different from a human's foot, just much smaller. Too much time has passed. No one knows what this humanoid divine medicine's name is anymore. In the current world, even if you travel through the great desolate lands, it will be difficult to find this kind of humanoid divine medicine. Its base price is 150,000 kilograms of source. Hiss. Everyone sucked in a breath of cold air. This divine medicine was indeed a peerless treasure, but it was too badly damaged. Its true value would not exceed 150,000 kilograms of source. However, the base price was already here. It was obvious that the final price would be ridiculous. After a short period of silence, many people shouted out high prices. 160,000 kilograms of source. 180,000 kilograms of source. 200,000 kilograms of source. Even the third great bandit Su Tianxiong stood up and shouted out a sky-high price. When the group of old men saw this, they all sat down. They knew that there was absolutely no chance. This was a contest between Holy Lord-level characters. As expected, the Holy Lands began to bid. The various great sage lords personally came and sat in the VIP rooms. That group of old baldies also made a move. Li Heishui was overjoyed. Several old monks with lights on the back of their heads directly pushed the price to 150,000 kilograms of source. And the mysterious figures from the central plains wearing dragon crowns added another 50,000 kilograms of source in one go. Hiss. Yi Fan sucked in a breath of cold air and said, it seems like these people really want to enter the Purple Mountain. They are making preparations to buy a life-saving divine medicine in advance. Li Heishui said, we might as well take advantage of the fact that there are so many important people here to quickly auction off that dog nod fruit. Yi Fan nodded and said, that's right. As long as the divine medicine is sold, let the Sky Fei Treasure Tower immediately auction off that dog tooth fruit. Ha ha ha. I want to see which holy lord will buy it and what expression he will have. Chapter 341 150,000 kilograms 
As soon as these words were spoken, the entire auction hall went silent, and everyone was stunned. The great figure from the central state shouted out 300,000 kilograms of origin source with a momentum that could swallow mountains and rivers. Are they crazy? A damaged divine medicine worth 150,000 kilograms, but they're doubling the price. In the hall, even the older generation changed their expressions. Against such a big shot, even the holy lands would be helpless. In the VIP room, the four mysterious big shots from the middle ground had calm expressions, as if it wasn't 150,000 kilograms, but a pile of rocks. They were all middle-aged men, each of them extraordinary, like heavenly kings descending. The four of them wore dragon crowns, looking majestic and intimidating. No one knew how old they really were. The four of them didn't belong to the Grand Xia Empire because the Prince of Grand Xia and the Little Nun were in another private room, accompanying an imperial uncle of Grand Xia. 150,000 kilograms. An old monk from the Western Desert said. 130,000 kilograms. In the VIP room, a middle-aged man wearing a dragon crown calmly called out. The auction hall fell silent. Even someone as powerful as Su Tianxiong sat down. Although he was a super terrifying big shot, he wasn't strong enough in terms of origin. 10,000 kilograms in one go, they really don't care about origin at all. As expected of the big shots from the middle ground. An immortal ancient dynasty that rules over billions of miles of land, no one can compare to them. Everyone was shocked and discussed in low voices. The middle ground has four immortal dynasties, as well as the hundred schools of thought and many ancient sections. Which ancient dynasty are they from? Look at the dragon crowns on their heads and the clothes they're wearing, they should be from an immortal ancient dynasty that has a long history and is incomparably prosperous. They're definitely here for the Purple Mountain, aiming for Emperor Wu Shi's inheritance and buying the divine medicine to save their lives. Everyone guessed their identity and became even more fearful. An immortal dynasty was even more powerful than a holy land, and there were few great powers in the world that could compete with them. 140,000 kilograms. The wavering light holy land called out. As a great sect in the Eastern Baron, they were determined to get the human-shaped divine medicine, so they naturally didn't want to fall behind. 350,000 kilograms, an important figure from the ancient Hua dynasty said again, but he wasn't as aggressive as before. In the VIP room, Yi Fan and Li Heishui looked at each other. According to Yao Yuekong's analysis, if a divine lord came back heavily injured from attacking the Purple Mountain, the incomplete human-shaped godly herb could be sold for 350,000 kilograms of source stones. At this moment, it had reached this number, and it seemed like it was still rising. As expected, someone from the Jiang clan of the ancients raised the price to 360,000 kilograms of source stones. 370,000 kilograms of source stone. The Yao Guang Holy Land continued to raise the price. Sacred Lord Yao Guang was severely injured and needed this human-shaped godly herb to heal and recover as soon as possible. Otherwise, if this dragged on and they attacked the Purple Mountain again, he might not be able to participate. 380,000 kilograms. An important figure from the ancient royal dynasty stated the price calmly. At this moment, the other holy lands and clans of the clan of the ancients were no longer bidding. The old monk of the western desert Buddhism had also withdrawn from the competition. 400,000 kilograms of origin source. Yao Guang directly raised the price of this godly medicine to a whole number. In the ancient royal dynasty, an important figure wearing a dragon crown said calmly, 410,000 kilograms of source stones. The Yao Guang Holy Land had been silent for a long time. It wasn't that they couldn't bear the price, but they felt that there wouldn't be a result if they continued. The other party was from an immortal dynasty and had a deep foundation. If they were determined to win, it would be a huge battle. 410,000 kilograms of source stones going once, going twice. Dong! The sound of the hammer stopped. In the end, an important figure from the ancient royal dynasty bought the human-shaped godly herb for 410,000 kilograms of source stones. Crazy! Its actual value is more than 100,000 kilograms of source stones, but it has reached this number. No one dared to believe it. This number was so shocking that it was hard to accept. Even a holy land can be suppressed by others. The forces of the central plains are indeed unimaginable. Even Li Heishui was dumbfounded. It was even higher than the sky-high price they had expected. It was indeed beyond their expectations. Yi Fan said, it's just a coincidence. If it weren't for the important figures from the Central Plains and the West Desert, there wouldn't be such a high price. The final treasure, Godly Herb. After the hammer fell, people started to discuss. Some people stood up and were about to leave. Everyone, please stay. We received a commission at the last minute. There is another treasure to be auctioned, the white-haired old man said. What else? Even the Godly Herb has been auctioned. Is there something more attractive? Someone asked. 
The old man smiled and said, I think many people here will be interested. What is it? Human essence fruit. The white-haired old man stood on the yellow diamond dragon platform and uttered these three words. What? Many people were shocked. The mortal essence fruit cut from a rock. Many people from the older generation knew about it. Legend has it that these things are extremely difficult to find. Apart from Genesis Masters, only demonic monarchs with some true dragon blood in their veins can discover them with their innate divine abilities. These fruits are fake dragon pearls formed by the earth. That's right. The white-haired old man nodded. Boom. The auction hall was in an uproar. Everyone sat back down and no longer left. The mortal essence fruit is a treasure that can prolong one's life. Even this thing can be cut from a rock. I haven't heard of it for many years. Everyone was shocked. They were all discussing about the godly herb. Now someone was auctioning this fruit. It made people speechless. Even though the mortal essence fruit is not as good as the archaic divine medicine, it is still a rare treasure. Who told you it is not as good as the godly herb? That is because it is not mature yet. If it continues to absorb the essence of the world, it can become an earthly fate fruit, also known as a fake dragon ball. It will not be any worse than the godly herb. In the VIP room, Yi Fan learned a lot. It turned out that this fruit, even if it was grown in a rock, could still grow and absorb the essence of the sun and the moon. The people from the Holy Lands were the most excited, especially the Yao Guang Holy Land. They had missed the humanoid divine medicine and were overjoyed to find out that there was also the mortal essence fruit. Everyone, please be quiet. The white-haired old man walked up the stage with a jade cauldron and placed it at the highest point. Take it out and let us have a look, someone shouted from below. The jade cauldron was opened. A slightly damaged fruit was sealed in a transparent jade ware. It appeared on the stage, emitting a light fragrance. How come this fruit is damaged? Everyone present was a cultivator. Their eyes were sharp, and they immediately saw the key point. It was bitten by something and lost most of its spiritual chi. What a wastrel. Who bit it? What a waste. The mortal essence fruit is meant to be refined. How could it be eaten? It would be strange if it was not poisoned to death. Hearing these angry voices, Yi Fan's forehead was full of black lines. He had the urge to kick the big black dog again. This damned dog really knew how to waste things. That's not right. Why do I think it looks like teeth marks? Could it be that it was bitten by a dog? The eyes of these people were all extremely sharp. Many of the older generation people had blank eyelashes. They had seen everything, so they immediately recognized the teeth marks. It really was bitten by a dog. Which dog deserved to be hacked to pieces? This is the mortal essence fruit. Who is so bastard to feed it to a dog? Hearing these words, Yi Fan was really speechless. At the crucial moment, it was the white-haired old man from the Sky Devil Treasure Tower who calmed their dissatisfaction. Everyone, this is something collected from the countryside. An old farmer found it by smashing a rock. Of course, he doesn't know how precious it is. But you can't feed it to a dog. Damn it, I'm so angry. What is this? Goddamn wastrel. The group of old men were anxious and cursed. In the VIP room, Li Heishui laughed wildly. Yi Fan was so depressed that he was speechless. This mortal essence fruit has a starting price of 50,000 kilograms. The white-haired old man announced the start of the auction. Immediately, there was a wave of dissatisfaction. If it is not damaged, it could be worth more than 200,000 kilograms. But now, it can't be more than 50,000 kilograms. Why is the starting price so high? That's right. The spiritual chi is almost gone. Although this was said, the crowd still frowned and started to bid. Although it had been bitten by a dog, it was indeed a mortal essence fruit. It was a rare treasure that could prolong one's life. Among them, the Holy Lands were the most uncomfortable. They wanted to give up but were unwilling. Especially the Yaoguang Holy Land, they really pinched their noses and bid. 60,000 kilograms. 70,000 kilograms. 80,000 kilograms. Are you kidding me? This was bitten by a dog. Why are you fighting so fiercely with me? If you don't like it, then don't fight. I will bid 90,000 kilograms. Li Heishui laughed happily. Seeing a group of old men fighting over a mortal essence fruit that had been bitten by a dog, he had the urge to punch the ground. But soon, his smile froze. His grandfather stood up and bid, 90,000 kilograms. I. Old man, why are you fighting over this fruit that had been bitten by a dog? His black face was full of shock. Yi Fan smiled and said, this thing is second only to a divine medicine. You should congratulate your grandfather. 
It's easy for you to say that. Li Heishui replied in a bad mood. I say, Li Deku, you are in the prime of your life. Why are you fighting with us? An old man was extremely dissatisfied. Li Heishui's grandfather replied calmly, This is prepared for my grandson. I want to refine a cauldron of spiritual pills for him to increase his cultivation. I. Li Heishui was tongue-tied. He had just been laughing wildly, but in the end, he realized that he might be the one to enjoy this fruit that had been bitten by a dog. 50,000 kilograms. At that moment, the scarlet dragon Daoist, who was sitting in the corner, opened his mouth. His voice was not loud and was very calm. When the group of old men saw that it was him, they all sat down and refused to speak again. Even the third-ranked bandit, Su Tianxiong, did not speak. 120,000 kilograms. The Yaoguang Holy Land made a bid. Only a powerful force like this did not fear the terrifying Scarlet Dragon Daoist. The Scarlet Dragon Daoist did not bid again because he was truly lacking in energy. In the end, no one competed with the Yaoguang Holy Land. They all knew that they had to win. The Mortal Essence Fruit was sold for 120,000 kilograms. The Yaoguang Holy Land pinched their noses and accepted this result. The four important figures of the ancient magnificent dynasty were the first to leave. They wore dragon crowns on their heads and had imposing appearances. Seeing them come out, everyone made a path for them. They were all extremely fearful. These were definitely the super experts who had come to invade the Purple Mountain. Soon after, the old monks from the western desert also left. Seeing the divine halos behind their heads, everyone was incomparably shocked. They knew that the third attack on the Purple Mountain was about to begin. As soon as Yi Fan and Li Heishui walked out of the VIP room, they saw Wu Ziming, Li Chong Tian, and the man in embroidered clothes. From today onwards, if you come to the stone square of the Holy Land, you will understand the result, hee <laughs> hee. Wu Ziming laughed coldly. Li Heishui also laughed coldly. I remember what you said before. If we were to gamble until our faces turned green, we would never dare to step into this business for the rest of our lives. As long as you understand. Li Heishui said. What a joke. Whatever you say is true. I just want to know who this person you invited is and what his background is. The man in embroidered clothes directly walked forward, not even glancing at him. He simply ignored him and said indifferently to Wu Ziming beside him, it's not a gamble to deal with them. It's just a matter of convenience. I came to the Divine City this time to cut a piece of Divine Source and bring it back to celebrate my grandfather's birthday. Li Heishui laughed coldly. Looking at the man's back, he said, fine, fine, then let's meet at the stone square of the Holy Land. Let's see whose face turns green. Fighting with you counts as a battle? The man in embroidered clothes indifferently glanced at the two of them and directly left. You dare to compete with the Tuoba clan with such crude and unrefined techniques? In the past, even the Yuan Taoist master visited their clan. Wu Ziming laughed heartily and turned around. As long as you appear at the stone square, we will naturally appear and let you know what a true genesis technique is. A fragrant breeze blew over. And Miaoi passed by and said with a faint smile, Is there going to be a stone gambling battle? Miaoi will definitely go and watch. Oh, there's such a thing? The great Xia prince and the little nun in white also happened to walk out of the VIP room. They were immediately surprised when they heard this. In front, Wu Ziming stopped and turned around with a smile. Farian, if you can come, it will naturally be my wish. Such a battle may be more interesting. Then, he extended an invitation to the great Xia prince. Your highness, you must come. This is the astonishing genius of the Tuoba clan, an ancient genesis technique aristocratic family. He found the divine source in an ancient mine three years ago. Someone from the Tuoba clan? The overjoyed prince exclaimed, this is really one of the most ancient genesis technique aristocratic families. It is said that they can stabilize dragon veins and lock mountains and rivers. Someone has found the divine source in an ancient mine alone? Jiang Yifei, an elite of the Jiang clan, walked over. He was dressed in white and had a refined smile on his face. Wu Ziming hurriedly introduced, it is this genius of the Tuoba clan who found the divine source in an ancient mine alone. The man in embroidered robes also stopped. Even if he was conceited and frivolous, he did not dare to ignore the people of the Great Xia Empire and the Huanggu clan. Yi Fan's heart shook. The man in embroidered robes of the Tuoba clan was indeed extraordinary. His genesis technique was indeed amazing, or else he would not have found the divine source. And Miaoi's fine black hair fluttered in the wind. Her bright eyes were kind and her flawless face had a moving smile. A battle between genesis technique geniuses will definitely shake the divine city. Miaoi will definitely go and watch. That's right, we will definitely go. This will be a grand event. We may find a rare treasure that is even more precious than the Archean Divine Medicines. The great Xia Prince and Jiang Yifei nodded one after another. They said that they would go to the stone square of the sacred land to watch the Genesis Technique battle. Even the eyes of the little nun in white lit up. 
The man in embroidered robes, Tuoba Chan, indifferently swept a glance at Yi Fan, as if he did not regard him as an opponent. However, in front of Miaoi, the great Xia prince and the others, he did not say anything. Chapter 342 We will wait for you at the Holy Stone Square. Genesis skills against primitive skills. This was what Wu Ziming said. Li Chong Tian turned around and sneered. They accompanied the man in embroidered clothes, Tuoba Chang, and left. Little Yi, if you don't win their underwear, you will be sorry to me and them. That was what Li Heishui said. He couldn't take it. He wanted to go berserk. Miao Yi will be there to watch Ancient Wind show off his power. And Miao Yi smiled. Her white clothes fluttered as she rode the wind. She stepped on a cloud and left the Sky Devil Treasure Tower. This is going to be a great fight. I can't miss it. The Xia Prince smiled and left with the little nun. Then, Jiang Yifei flashed a friendly smile at Yi Fan and Li Heishui and left. Yi Fan returned to the Sky Devil Treasure Tower to collect his winnings. The primordial medicine and the human fruit were sold for 530,000 pounds of Genesis skills. The auction house took a 10% commission, which was 53,000 pounds of Genesis skills. But they gave them a 3,000 pound discount, so Yi Fan had earned 480,000 pounds of Genesis skills. It was like a small mountain. He had a headache. If he didn't use Xenogenic Genesis skills, he wouldn't be able to refine it. He'd be drowned in it. But he didn't need to use Xenogenic Genesis skills. He still needed to gamble on stones. He could spend the Genesis skills to buy something more valuable. Yao Yuakong asked them to stay. He invited them to drink. Geniuses with Genesis skills were worth recruiting, especially for an auction house like the Sky Devil Treasure Tower. Brothers, this way please. We need to celebrate today. Yao Yuakong smiled. Okay, let's drink today. Tomorrow, we'll buy that mop, Li Heishui said. Which mop? Yao Yuakong asked. Li Heishui said, he comes from an ancient Genesis skill family. He's called a genius. He's even more arrogant than the Yuan Taoist master. His name is Tuoba Chang. So, it's an ancient family. They really are powerful. Come, let's drink and talk. The Tuoba clan was an extremely ancient clan with a long history. Together with the other three clans, they were known as the Four Genesis Technique Sections. Unless the Yuan Taoist Master's faction appeared, no one could surpass them. The ancient Genesis Technique families were filled with talents, and there were often geniuses who were valued by the various sacred grounds. If something strange happened in the Genesis mine, they would definitely invite them. The banquet lasted from noon to dusk. Both the host and the guests enjoyed themselves. Only then did Yi Fan and Li Heishu leave. In the Sky Fei Treasure Tower, a damaged primordial divine medicine was auctioned off for a sky-high price, shaking the entire divine city. There was no doubt that a Genesis Technique genius like Yi Fan was something that many people envied. Many people were discussing him after he had harvested several hundred thousand kilograms of Genesis in one go. In the next few days, the stone workshops of the various holy lands became much more popular, especially the Dao One Holy Land. There was an endless stream of people going in and out every day. Many people thought that there might be a second primordial divine herb in the same source mine. Yi Fan and Li Heishui kept a very low profile. They didn't go out because there were too many important people in the Divine City. They didn't want to become the center of attention again. The important people of the Central Plains Eternal Dynasty, the Eastern Wasteland's Great Sage, and the Western Desert's Holy Monks were all in the Divine City. If they were too high profile, they might run into these people. Even so, there were still many people talking about him. How could he be ignored for being able to harvest a primordial divine medicine? Although he didn't go out, Yi Fan had become very famous in the Divine City. When talking about Genesis techniques and stone gambling, he would definitely be mentioned. In less than seven days, there were even more mysterious people in the Divine City. The hundred schools of thought and the various sect masters had all appeared. This was definitely shocking. Obviously, they wanted Emperor Wu Shi's inheritance. They had crossed the void and arrived at the Divine City. In an instant, the Eastern Wasteland was shaken. Even the various Holy Lands were crying wolf. The Central Plains was too powerful. They couldn't help but be on guard. The hundred schools of thought and the various sect masters had personally come. Even the Eastern Wasteland's Great Sage felt that it was too much. The pressure of competition had increased. There was no doubt that the third attack on the Purple Mountain would be earth-shattering. Finally, after half a month, the important people left one after another for the Purple Mountain to prepare for the next attack. In this half a month, another Genesis Technique genius in the Divine City rose to fame. Tuoba Chang had become famous in the Divine City. In less than 10 days, he had only fought a few times and had already displayed astonishing Genesis techniques. The white-haired Master Yuan from the various Holy Land stone workshops all asked him for guidance and listened to his teachings. 
At the same time, there were rumors in the city that the Genesis Technique genius Gu Feng was afraid of Tuoba Chang and didn't dare to go out. People naturally didn't believe it at first, but Yi Fan and Li Heishui had disappeared for half a month and hadn't gone to gamble on stones again. The rumors gradually became true. In the end, many people believed that the Genesis Technique genius Tuoba Chang had come to the Divine City and the other Genesis Technique genius, Gu Feng, had avoided the battle. Didn't he take out an Archean Divine Herb? Why wouldn't he dare to face someone in a Genesis Technique match? What do you know? The Tuoba clan is the Genesis Technique Sacred Land. They represent the Supreme Inheritance. Even the former Yuan Taoist Master has visited them. Many people were discussing in the streets and alleys of the city. The center of the northern region had always been based on the source. Almost everyone knew about the source. Naturally, everything that had happened in the stone square would spread quickly and widely. The Genesis Technique genius Gu Feng even dared to touch the Nine Orifice Stone Golem. The Golem had been there for many years and no one thought highly of it. In the end, he took out the Saint Spirit Sword. This is enough to show how terrifying Tuoba Chang is. Even Gu Feng avoided the battle. Tuoba Chang must have an amazing Genesis Technique. Rumor has it that he took out a Divine Source several years ago. He must be even more powerful now. Many people were discussing in the Divine City. Tuoba Chang had not done anything, but his reputation was already like the sun in the sky. When Yi Fan walked on the street, he heard many rumors. He did not expect that there would be so many rumors in half a month of seclusion. Li Heishui sneered. It must be Wu Ziming and Li Chong Tian spreading rumors to slander us and elevate Tuoba Chang. He had heard too many rumors after walking around the city. It seemed that they were really afraid and did not dare to accept the battle. Oh, they've appeared. Are they going to accept the battle? The youth who took out an Archean Divine Herb has appeared again. Is he going to enter the gambling den today? There will definitely be a big show to watch. Some people recognized them and pointed at them from behind. What are you guys talking about? We've only been in seclusion for half a month. Why are there so many rumors? Li Heishui said arrogantly. Who knows that pig head Wu Ziming? Go and tell him that the two gambling sages have come out of seclusion. Tell them to hurry over and deliver the Genesis technique. Everyone was dumbfounded. The rumors in the city were all saying that they did not dare to face Tuoba Chang in a Genesis Technique match. They did not expect this brat to say such a thing the moment he came out. Boom! A commotion immediately broke out on the street. The news quickly spread. There was no doubt that there would be a big show to watch. Many people rushed to the street after hearing the news. Those two have appeared again. There is really going to be a Genesis Technique match. There will be a good show to watch. That's right. It's on the street in front. Looks like they are going to the G Clan stone shop. This actually created a strange scene. As soon as Yi Fan and Li Heishui made their appearance, there were tens of thousands of people who turned out and gathered in one place. The street was packed with people. Many people who liked to gamble had come. Someone asked in a loud voice, Brother Gu, is what you said true? You want to face Tuoba Chang in a Genesis Technique match? Li Heishui did not seem to care. Didn't I just say that whoever is going to deliver a letter to that pig head Wu Ziming, don't come see me if you don't have a hundred thousand kilograms of Genesis Technique. We won't accept gifts that are too little. The crowd was in an uproar. This brat was too confident. Let alone Genesis Techniques, few people dared to do so given Wu Ziming and the other's status. The Ji clan's stone shop occupied a vast area, like a royal garden. Strange stones were laid out, beautiful trees were verdant, and small bridges were built over flowing water. It was a pleasant scenery. Many stones were naturally piled up, and each stone garden had its own unique scenery. Some stone gardens were misty like the southern region's water villages. Some stone gardens had maple trees swaying, like the northern land's red leaves flying in frost. The G clan stone shop was on high alert when they heard that a Genesis Technique genius had arrived. If it was anyone else, they would naturally welcome them. However, Yi Fan and Li Heishui had cut open the nine orifice stone golem and obtained the Saint Spirit Sword. The commotion was too big. Everyone now understood that these two people's genesis techniques were extremely profound and extremely shocking. Even if they did not say that the stones they chose would definitely contain rare treasures, it was almost there. Such people would not be welcomed by the stone shop. If they cut out some peerless treasure from the G clan's heaven stone garden, it would definitely make their hearts ache. The G clan stone shop wanted to put away some of the extremely expensive stones, but they did not know which stone contained the divine object, so it was not easy to choose. Moreover, if they really put them away, they would likely become a laughingstock in Divine City. After all, those extremely expensive stones were too famous. People would notice if any one of them was missing. Yi Fan walked in the stone garden, passing 18 levels in a row. He did not stop at all, heading straight for the deepest part. His target was clearly the Heaven Stone Garden. 
This made the hearts of the G-Clan stone shop sink. They felt a kind of pressure. That's right, it was just like when the legendary Yuan Taoist master roamed the northern region. As long as he appeared, all the great sages' stone shops would be fearful. Now, although Yi Fan had only gambled once in the Dao One sacred land, the item he cut out was too extraordinary. It actually had some of the Yuan Taoist master's power, making people fearful. Why haven't Wu Ziming and Tuoba Chang come yet? Li Heishui asked others. He had the aura of a gambling saint. Everyone was speechless. This brat Heishui was really domineering. The rumors over the past half a month had been dispelled. He was clearly going to fiercely retaliate. More and more people came. The Ji clan stone shop was overcrowded. Many people in Divine City had heard that there would be a Genesis technique battle and had rushed over. Not long after, Yi Fan arrived at the deepest part of the stone shop. There was a lake here. It was dark blue like crystal and overflowed with spiritual energy. It was very beautiful. There was a small island in the middle of the light blue lake. It was only a few hundred meters in radius. It was filled with fallen petals and flowering trees. The petals were sparkling and fragrant, rippling across the surface of the lake. The small island in the lake was the G Clan's Heaven Stone Garden. It was as beautiful as a divine land, almost like a dream. Suddenly, there was a commotion behind them. Everyone quickly moved to the sides, opening up a path. You guys really dared to show up. Wu Ziming sneered. His voice came from afar as he mocked, Today, the genesis techniques of the aristocratic families will compete with the crude techniques of the countryside. The genius of the ancient genesis technique family, Tuoba Chang, is here. The lakeside was noisy. The main character had arrived. Everyone knew that a genesis technique battle was unavoidable. Chapter 343 The lake was a faint blue, clear and translucent. Lush vegetation and pavilions dotted the shore, creating a beautiful scenery. At this moment, there were figures everywhere. It was unknown how many people had come, men and women, young and old. It was a noisy scene. Wu Ziming strode forward with a sneer on his face. Hey brat, you finally dare to show yourselves. After hiding for so many days, you can't hold back anymore? Li Heishui also sneered. Can't hold back anymore? I was so excited that I came out of seclusion to ask you for source. Did you bring enough Genesis source? If it's less, you can go back to where you came from. We won't accept any. Everyone by the lake was speechless. These two were at each other's throats the moment they arrived. This Genesis technique showdown would definitely be very intense. Brother Tuoba has enough Genesis source, but don't even think about it. Li Zhongtian sneered. Tuoba Chang was very indifferent, not caring about this. He silently stood there, observing the island in the lake and the sparkling petals. It's good that you have Genesis source. Li Heishui's lips curled in a trace of indifference. He was afraid that the other party would gain something without Genesis source. Wu Ziming smiled nonchalantly. Do you really think you can take it away? From what I see, the Genesis source you obtained from the Spirit Herbs auction is just the right amount to contribute. That's right, Brother Tuoba's grandfather's 300th birthday is approaching. You guys have given him a huge gift. Li Zhongtian laughed heartily. Cut the crap, let's have a real Genesis technique showdown. Let's see who will be giving away Genesis source. Li Heishui said. Everyone nearby was filled with anticipation. These two groups were filled with confidence, and both of them were super Genesis technique experts. It was very likely that they would obtain an astonishing treasure today. That's right, a Genesis technique showdown. Let's have a look at the rare treasures. Everything is fake. Let's cut the stone and see the truth. Let's fight now. Everyone was very excited. They wanted to see the methods of a Genesis technique expert. Perhaps they could see the birth of a rare treasure. Even the Yuan Taoist master had praised the mysterious techniques of a Genesis technique aristocratic family. Everyone will be in for a treat today. Wu Ziming was very high profile. It's a pity that it's a duel of country bumpkins. Li Chong Tian muttered in a low voice, but everyone could still hear him. The higher you climb, the harder you fall. Now, you can brag as much as you can and belittle us. Li Heishui sneered, but he didn't say it out loud. Yi Fan stepped forward and wanted to cross the water to the small island where the Heaven Series Stone Garden was located. In order to gather 500,000 kilograms of origin source, he could only choose precious stones. Taba Chang who hadn't even glanced at Yi Fan and Li Heishui had finally glanced at Yi Fan and said, Wait. Yi Fan stopped and looked at him calmly. Since the other party was so cold, he didn't want to say anything and waited for him to speak. Tuoba Chang said, the Heaven Stone Garden of the Sacred Land is a sacred land. True Genesis technique experts fight their way in. What do you want? Yi Fan asked. We don't need to start from the first stone garden. We can use this lakeside as the starting point. If we can't find Genesis of the same level, there's no need to enter the sacred stone garden to compete. That's right. 
If the difference in Genesis techniques is too great, Brother Tuoba doesn't need to waste time. Wu Ziming agreed. That should be the case. If we can't find Genesis of the same level, what's the point of entering the Ji Clan sacred stone garden? Li Chong Tian sneered. All right, you choose your stone. Yi Fan didn't have much to say to him. By the lakeside, grass and trees grew and pavilions stood tall, but there were very few stones. One of the Ji Clan's Genesis masters stepped forward and said with a bitter smile, There are no stones here, only a few scattered garden stones. Tuoba Chang shook his head and said, No, in my opinion, there are still some precious stones here. You just need to be perceptive. Everyone present was shocked. There were no stones by the lakeside, only common waste stones. They were ornaments of the garden, accompanying the roots of the ancient trees or beside the old vines. Yi Fan and Tuoba Chang moved at the same time, walking between the most ordinary stones. Their movements were extremely fast. Otherwise, if there really was a strange stone, it would definitely be chosen by the other party first. The stone that his finger touched turned golden, someone cried out in surprise. What's going on? Many people were dumbfounded. Tuoba Chang's speed was extremely fast. His index finger kept pointing out, and every time it landed on a stone, the stone would turn golden as if it was cast from gold. This is. Crimson Gold Divine Hand, the Realm of Perfection, an elder exclaimed, feeling that it was an eye-opener. It was the first time many people had heard of it, and naturally, it was the first time they had seen it with their own eyes. Tuoba Chang's finger seemed to have a strange magical power. As he walked, he touched dozens of stones until they were completely golden. Only after he walked a dozen steps away did those stones return to their normal state, and people couldn't help but be shocked. Yi Fan's heart trembled. The other party was indeed an expert. Crimson Gold Divine Hand had already reached the realm of perfection, and he could clearly see what was inside the stones. Ding! Suddenly, Tuoba Chang stopped and pointed at a stone that was riddled with holes. It looked like a rotten piece of wood that had been chewed on by insects and was full of holes. He held this stone in his hand and continued to chew stones along the way. However, in the end, he didn't change anything and chose this stone. This is the ghost-shattering stone, and it almost can't be produced. Why did you choose this? Many people were puzzled, and even Wu Ziming couldn't help but remind him. Yi Fan came to the lakeside and swept his eyes over some stones. He didn't make a move for a long time. After all, this wasn't the true stone garden, and there were only some useless stones here. It was a bit difficult to choose a precious stone. However, no one rushed him. The scene was deathly silent, and everyone was waiting quietly. Many people were confident in him since he could cut out the primordial divine medicine. Yi Fan walked half a circle around the small lake and looked at all the useless stones. Suddenly, his eyes lit up. He went to the lakeside and fished out a stone that was as big as a human head. He looked at it and chose it. Tuoba Chang was very straightforward and didn't say anything. He pointed with his gold finger, and the ghost-shattering stone broke into pieces. A dazzling light shot out. It was a sky-blue light that was very beautiful. It was reflected in everyone's eyes. It was a xenogenic source that was as big as a fist. It shone with light like the essence of the blue sky. It shot out beams of blue light. This was the blue diamond source, and it was worth 1,500 kilograms of pure source. Yi Fan didn't say anything. He gently swiped the stone, and it broke. At the same time, a red mist rose up and shone. It was also a xenogenic source, and it was about the same size. It was like a fiery red sun, and it shone with light. It was called the fire red source. Everyone was shocked. Geniuses could turn stone into gold, and they could casually cut out 1,500 kilograms of source. People could only admire them, but they couldn't learn it. Okay, let's go to the island. Tuoba Chang didn't say anything and boarded the boat. No one dared to fly here, so they could only take the boat. The people of Ji Clan's gambling den could only secretly pray. It was a disaster and not a blessing for these two experts to choose this place. Yi Fan and Li Heishui boarded the boat and rowed towards the island. The real battle was about to begin. Let's go and watch. We will stand on the water and watch quietly. Many cultivators asked, and in the end, the Ji family people agreed. They were delighted and surrounded the island. The island was only a few hundred meters wide, and there were many trees. Many of them were thousands of years old, and they were strong like dragons. Their petals danced in the air, and they shone brightly. The island was decorated very well. There was a spirit spring, and strange stones were laid out. It was a natural scene, and the flowers and trees were all around. This was like a paradise. On the island, there was an old man with skin like a baby and hair as white as snow. He sat among the trees, and his eyes were closed. He didn't move and didn't react at all. Ha, huh, we're not late, right? A group of old people appeared. They were all old and healthy, and their ages were frighteningly old. We finally made it. Luckily, it hasn't started yet. 
It was the group of old men who had cut the stones for Yi Fan at the Dao Yi Stone Workshop. These people had great backgrounds and came from various large sections. Many of them didn't have much lifespan left, so no one was willing to offend them. After the group of old people got the news, they excitedly rushed over and directly landed on the island. The Ji family's Heaven Stone Garden couldn't let anyone enter casually, but these people were old customers, so it was specially open for them. There were many white heads as far as the eye could see. Sister Biyue, let Miaoi go in too. And Miaoi, who had just rushed over, saw Ji Biyue and asked. Ji Biyue chuckled and nodded in agreement. With this exception, Jiang Yifei, Yao Yuakong, Su Hang, Jin Qishao, the Prince of Great Xia, the Little Nun in White, and some successors of the Sacred Grounds also entered the Stone Garden. Everyone was shocked. The impact of this Genesis Technique showdown was so great that it attracted so many people. Not only were there the Elders, but there were also Sacred Land descendants like Xiang Yifei and the Saint Son of All Beginnings. Ha, huh, young man, don't tell me you're going to cut out another peerless treasure this time. An old man laughed. Another person walked up and said to Yi Fan, Do you need me to introduce you? The good things here are no less than the Dao Yi Sacred Land. Some stones have been here for many years, and we've been thinking about them. They're comparable to the Nine Orifice Stone Golem. Hearing this, the expressions of the Ji Family Stone Workshop people changed. They cursed inwardly. These old people had nothing better to do. Yi Fan smiled and expressed his thanks to them. Under an ancient tree, Yi Fan found a dragon head stone. It was as big as a millstone and was extremely lifelike. There was a faint dragon aura around it. This stone. He was shocked, full of shock. This stone was too extraordinary. Even a normal person could see some dragon aura, let alone him. Especially since this stone was natural and not man-made. It naturally became a dragon's head. People couldn't help but sigh in admiration. How is it? This stone is even more special than the Nine Orifice Stone Golem. This is the head of a true dragon. An old man sighed. Yi Fan was indeed shocked. After careful observation, he couldn't figure it out. There was a phenomenon on the surface of the stone. The dragon aura was faintly discernible, but he felt that the inside might be hollow. He couldn't be sure. How about this dragon head stone? It's priced at 50,000 kilograms, do you dare to cut it? An old man asked. Forget about this stone. Yi Fan shook his head. He really couldn't figure it out. If you don't cut this stone, you'll make us old fellows regret it for the rest of our lives. The group of old men urged him. If I cut this stone, I'll most likely regret it for the rest of my life. Yi Fan shook his head firmly. It wasn't worth the risk. On the other side, some old men were enthusiastically introducing the sky-high priced stones in the Heaven Series Stone Garden to Tuoba Chang. This stone can make a sound. Li Heishui was shocked. He pointed at a 50-kilogram stone in the nearby Spirit Spring. At this moment, it was greenish-brown. When the clear spring water hit it, it gave off a pleasant sound as if someone was playing a zither. This stone is very special. It's called the Immortal Sound Stone. We old fellows have been eyeing it for decades. This stone would give off a wonderful sound as long as water hit it. It was extremely strange, making people want to cut it open to see what was going on. 80,000 kilograms of source, so expensive. Yi Fan knocked on it gently and listened carefully. In the end, he frowned. This did not seem like a stone from the source mine. He thought hard for a moment and finally stood up. How about this stone? It's unforgettable. An old man pointed to the front. This was a land facing the sun. There was no vegetation, and it was very dry. There was only a solitary stone, about the size of a table. 80,000 kilograms of source, isn't this too ridiculous? Li Heishui was shocked. Because this stone is special. The world gave birth to a Tao diagram. You guys go take a look. An old man introduced. Yi Fan walked over and was shocked. There was a deep eight trigrams imprinted on the stone. This must have been carved on. Li Heishui curled his lips. It was born. Yi Fan had learned Genesis techniques and could tell. He was very uneasy. The stones in the Ji family's sacred stone garden were all extraordinary. How is it, little friend? Are you tempted? Do you want to cut it open and show us? A few old men tried to persuade him. Yi Fan studied it carefully. After a long time, he said, apart from this Tao diagram, I can't see anything special for now. Little friend is really calm. Then come and take a look at this garden's treasure. A group of old men led him to the other side. This was a very large stone, about two meters tall. It stood quietly beside the flowering trees. The falling flowers gave it a kind of ethereal feeling. This stone is worth 150,000 kilograms of source. So expensive. Even if you cut it with God's source, it wouldn't be much. Li Heishui shook his head. 
Little friend, you have to look carefully. This stone is very special. It's called Peerless Beauty. A group of old men praised this stone. On this exquisite stone, the world gave birth to a diagram. The outline was the head of a beauty. Although it wasn't clear, it gave one an ethereal feeling. It should be a peerless beauty. Some people speculate that there might be a peerless beauty sealed inside. You can see the outline through the wall. Do you dare to cut it? An old man's eyes were burning. He really hoped that Yi Fan would nod. Let me take a look. Yi Fan walked around the stone, knocking and listening. He was really troubled. After looking at four heavenly stones, he couldn't see through any of them. He felt that they were all hollow and nothing could be cut out. However, it was faintly discernible. He had a feeling that there might be a shocking treasure inside. This made him frown. Cut it, cut this precious stone called Peerless Beauty. Maybe a female sacred spirit will come out. An old man tempted. If I really cut out a female sacred spirit, who in the divine city can suppress her? Yi Fan smiled. I think little friend is tempted. This garden's treasure really can't be missed. Some old men were even sadder than Yi Fan and tried to persuade him. Chapter 344 These heaven-grade strange stones were all extraordinary and were the treasures of the garden. Even Yi Fan couldn't see through them. He felt that this knowledge was vast and endless. In the past, the Yuan Taoist master was called a peerless genius. He could see through the ancient minds of the earth with a glance, and he could see through all the secrets in the source. Tuoba Chang also frowned. He felt a bit of pressure walking in this stone garden. Some strange stones were shrouded in mist, making it hard for him to see through them. The island was very small, only a few hundred meters in circumference. The ancient trees were strong, but they weren't densely packed. Each tree was like a horned dragon, its old skin was like dragon scales, and its branches were full of flowers. Pink, pure white, sky blue, light purple. Every single petal was sparkling and translucent, and their fragrance assailed the nostrils. This was like the pure land of the gods, and it gave people a feeling of peace, tranquility, purity, holiness, and divinity. Especially under an ancient tree in the center, the old man of the Ji family who guarded the stone garden had skin like a baby and hair as white as snow. He was like a god sitting cross-legged. Many old men came here, but they didn't disturb him. From beginning to end, this person had been meditating with his eyes closed. Yi Fan and Tuoba Chang walked around and looked at the strange stones. They faced each other under a few ancient flowering trees, and everything was very calm. Tuoba Chang said, peerless treasures don't count. If you lose, you will give the other divine item apart from the 50,000 kilograms of source. That's what I wanted. Yi Fan nodded. Then, the two started to choose stones. Everyone held their breaths and watched seriously. The great Xia Prince, and Miaoi, Ji Baiyu, Jiang Yifei, Yao Yuakong, Jin Qishao, and the others all walked forward. They opened their divine eyes and sensed with their hearts. As for those old men, they quickly stuck close to the two of them, walking step by step. Their muddy old eyes all shot out divine light, sweeping away their senility, each of them full of vigor and vigor. As for the others, they stood at the edge of the island in complete silence and watched calmly. Tuoba Chang was the first to move. His entire right hand had turned crimson gold as he strode forward and pressed down on the dozen odd stones that he had set his eyes on. The crimson gold divine hand gave him a divine sense that could see through everything. A faint golden luster appeared on the surface of his body, and he was connected to those stones. Everyone was shocked, because at this moment, the strange stones all became transparent, and everything inside could be seen clearly. Everyone knew that origin stones were special. Even the most powerful cultivators were unable to sense what was contained within them, but origin techniques were miraculous and defied common sense. This is the doing of the Yuan Taoist master. In the past, it was rumored that once the heavenly master appeared, there were no secrets within the stone, and everything could be seen clearly. The Tuoba clan's wondrous arts are truly shocking. They actually have such methods to make the wondrous rock unable to escape. Tuoba Chang is indeed a genius. To have such achievements at such a young age, he might even become the sixth Yuan Taoist master of the northern region in the future. A group of old men exclaimed in admiration as if they had seen a peerless beauty. Their eyes flickered with extraordinary splendor, and they all had their own ideas. As for the others, they were also indescribably amazed. Many people had thoughts of roping him in. The northern region came from the origin, and such a person would definitely be an honored guest of the various great forces. In comparison, Yi Fan was very calm. He was like a cloud drifting gently through the flowers and trees, his crystalline fingers gently brushing past. There was no brilliance, nor was there any unusual phenomenon. There was only a natural feeling of clear spring water flowing above the stone. His entire person was very ethereal. Finally, Tuoba Chang stopped in front of the dragon head stone. His crimson gold right hand rested on it, connecting with it. Many people gasped when they saw this scene. 
It was obvious that the genius of the Tuoba clan had taken a fancy to this stone. His expression was especially solemn. A group of old men all gathered around. This stone had been displayed for many years, and no one had dared to touch it. If it was cut open now, it would fulfill one of their wishes. And Miaoi's hair danced in the wind as she approached with light steps. The elegant Jiang Yifei also revealed a look of surprise as he moved forward to observe. Wondrous stones were the most difficult to cut. Even the Yuan Taoist master would frown at times, let alone the current world. Tuoba Chang's crimson gold divine hand tapped on the dragon head stone. It did not become transparent, and only a trace of draconic qi leaked out. Ding! 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 Tuoba Chang's fingers continuously tapped a total of 365 times. Rays of divine radiance entered the dragon head stone. At the same time, his body was also dyed with a faint golden radiance. He actually connected with the millstone-sized dragon head stone and became one. He closed his eyes and placed his right hand on the dragon's head. Multicolored light flowed as if the hand of a god had come back to life. A treasure wheel appeared under his right hand. It's really a treasure wheel. It's colorful and brilliant. Whether it was the group of old men, a Miaoi, the great Xia prince, Jin Qishao, or the spectators outside the small island, everyone revealed a look of surprise. This is the Heaven Origin Treasure Wheel. It can imprint the secrets of the wondrous stone and understand what kind of treasures it contains. The geniuses of the Tuoba clan are really astonishing. They can even recreate such a method. I heard that this is a unique technique of the Yuan Taoist master. The expressions of the older generation who understood everything changed. The others were also moved after hearing about it. At this moment, Li Heishui's heart also jumped. The opponent's genesis technique was so astonishing. It was really difficult to say who was stronger in a genesis technique battle. Swoosh! Light flashed, and the man in embroidered clothes, Tuoba Chang, retreated. The heaven origin treasure will stuck to his palm, and the light became even brighter. It was like a five-colored divine sun, so bright that people could not open their eyes. However, no one closed their eyes. They opened their divine eyes and shot out lightning rays to see what was imprinted on the heaven origin treasure wheel. Dragon, oh my god, there's a dragon. The heaven class sacred stone garden was in an uproar. Everyone cried out when they saw this scene. There's a dragon imprinted on the heaven origin treasure wheel. Is this real? There's a dragon inside the dragon head stone? The heaven origin treasure wheel flickered into Oba Chang's palm. There was a dragon shadow inside, shaking its head and wagging its tail, continuously swimming around. Vaguely, there was a kind of terrifying dragon might rushing out, making everyone dumbfounded. Everyone was stunned. This was like a fantasy. Could it be that a true dragon was about to be born? The expressions of the people of the G clan completely changed. They had looked for peerless experts to look at the wondrous stones in the garden. How could they have missed such a peerless treasure? Not to mention Jin Qishao, the little nun in white, Xiang Yifei, and the others, even the older generation were extremely excited. They all surrounded the stone. Many people from the major factions secretly sent voice transmissions to Tuoba Chang, offering heaven-grade prices to buy the stone. I've heard that true dragons are born from heaven and earth. Could it be that there's really a foot-long young dragon in the dragon head? No matter what, there must be a peerless treasure in the millstone-sized dragon head. It must be related to a true dragon. Everyone's eyes were burning with passion. There were even some old men with frightening backgrounds who regretted looking at the stone in the past. They had seen it before, but in the end, they gave it up. The faint golden light on Tuoba Chang's body slowly dimmed. The heaven origin treasure wheel in his hand disappeared. He lightly patted the dragon head stone and said, I choose this stone. Now, no one doubted his genesis technique. He had displayed all kinds of methods, and he definitely had a trace of the Yuan Taoist master style. Li Heishui cursed, no wonder he is so arrogant. He really has a peerless genesis technique. Now, things are not looking good. Needless to say, Yi Fan already felt the pressure. The other party chose the dragon head stone and even used the heaven origin treasure wheel to reflect a true dragon. If it was a true dragon, no matter what rare treasure was cut out, it would not be comparable, unless it was an immortal. Yi Fan expressionlessly walked around the stone garden. Choosing an ordinary stone was definitely not possible. He had to cut out a shocking divine object. Right now, there were still the immortal sound stone, eight trigrams Dao diagram stone, peerless beauty stone, etc. He frowned and stood between the origin suppressing stones in deep thought. A true dragon is like an immortal, not descending to the mortal world. It shouldn't be like this. Maybe it's something else. As long as I cut out a peerless treasure, should be able to compete with it. Yi Fan stood in front of the eight trigrams Dao diagram stone. He did not make a move and only walked around it a few times, constantly thinking. The eight trigrams Dao diagram stone was very attractive. 
It was formed naturally. Looking at it, there was a feeling of the Tao flowing, and all methods returning to one. However, in the end, Yi Fan walked away. He came in front of the peerless beauty stone, stroked it with his hand, and then gently tapped it. His movements were very rhythmic. His fingers were light and agile, like a few sprites jumping, drawing out beautiful trajectories. Little brother, you don't have a choice. I think you should choose these few treasures. An old man advised. The genius of the Tuoba clan has chosen the dragon head stone. You can only choose from the stones of the same level. That's right. If he really cuts out a young true dragon, you can only cut out a female sacred spirit king to be able to compete. Yi Fan had already calmed down. After thinking for a long time, he finally gave up on the peerless beauty stone and walked to the side. Can you choose it or not? Are you afraid? Wu Ziming saw that Yi Fan had not chosen a stone and interrupted his thoughts. A country bumpkin wants to compete with the wondrous arts of a Genesis technique sacred land? You overestimate yourself, what a joke. You're a frog at the bottom of a well. How can you compare to Brother Tuoba? If such a person is also a Genesis Technique genius, it will be an insult to Brother Tuoba. Li Chongtian also sneered. Li Heishue reprimanded, shut your beaks. You're interfering and seriously destroying the Genesis Technique showdown. Wu Ziming mocked, he's already scared because he can't choose a stone. Are we not allowed to say anything? Li Chongtian also laughed impudently. Even if he cuts out a rare stone, it can't compare to Brother Tuoba's dragon head stone. I think he should just admit defeat and avoid having to spend an astronomical price to buy a stone. The smell of gunpowder was already thick in the air even before the stone was cut. Both sides had already begun arguing, and there were quite a few people in the surroundings who agreed. Tuoba Chan coldly said, don't say anything. Let him choose his stone. I want him to lose until he has no place to show his face. Yi Fan turned around and smiled. Everything is possible in the field of stone gambling and genesis techniques. Even if you think you've seen a true dragon, it may just be an illusion. He came to the edge of the spirit spring and fished the immortal sound stone out of the water. With a gentle brush, the water dried up, and the greenish-brown stone looked natural under the sunlight. Yi Fan felt that this stone was the strangest. It didn't seem like a stone from a genesis mine, but it gave him a special feeling. The crowd quietened down to the point where even a pin drop could be heard. They realized that Yi Fan's expression was extremely solemn. He was definitely going to use his genesis technique. Suddenly, two beams of purple light shot out from Yi Fan's eyes and pierced through the stone. Heavens, this is the Heaven Origin Divine Sense. The Delusion Breaker Eye is a Heaven Origin technique that uses Divine Sense to see through everything in the stone. This is a Heaven Defying technique. All the older generation figures were shocked. And Miaoi, the Joyous Prince, and the others were all emotional as they walked forward. Wu Ziming, Li Chong Tian, and the others all shut their mouths after learning what the Heaven Origin Divine Sense was. Suddenly, the heavenly Tao melody rang out, making everyone feel intoxicated. It was as if a supreme great Tao was transmitted from the celestial world. The stone inexplicably let out a strange sound that resonated with Yi Fan's heaven origin divine sense. It resounded throughout the stone garden. It was like an indescribable scripture that was slowly being chanted, cleansing one's soul. At the center of the island, under that thick ancient tree, sparkling and translucent petals fluttered about. That godlike elder opened his eyes with a schwa sound, sweeping his gaze over. I choose this stone, Yi Fan said calmly. Chapter 345 The heavenly melody of the Great Tao continued for a long time. The stone was simple and unadorned, causing people to be mesmerized. Yi Fan chose this stone. His voice was sonorous and powerful, resounding throughout the island. Many people were stunned. This stone actually emitted a Tao melody that was stimulated by the heavenly divine sense. It resounded throughout the heavens and earth, causing people to be indescribably amazed. Immediately, some of the major powers transmitted messages, wanting to purchase this stone at a sky-high price. This included the people from the various holy lands, all of them trying their best to rope in Yi Fan. Everyone present was shocked. This was indeed a battle of Genesis techniques. Both geniuses had chosen shocking stones. There will definitely be an extraordinary item cut out. There is actually a mysterious heavenly melody ringing. Could it be an ancient scripture? It is rumored that the supreme sovereign scripture of the Grand Xia Empire was cut out from this stone. The Great Tao is boundless, lofty, and profound, causing people to have the impulse to sink into it. Maybe it will be an immortal scripture. Everyone's expression changed. They were all filled with envy, paying close attention. Little brother, if you cut out something good, don't forget us bunch of old men. A group of old men had fervent gazes, excitedly rubbing their hands. They deduced that a shocking item would most likely appear. If it really was an ancient scripture, it would cause a huge wave. The various holy lands wouldn't be able to sit still. 
If it wasn't for the old man with jade-like skin sitting cross-legged under the ancient tree in the center of the island, there would most likely be people fighting over these two stones. Cut the stone, quickly cut the stone. Many people shouted, hoping to immediately know what kind of peerless treasure would appear. The expressions of the G-Clan's people were incomparably ugly. These two stones were too precious. If they cut out a shocking treasure, it would truly make their hearts ache. After choosing such a stone, Li Heishui finally heaved a sigh of relief, feeling that it would most likely be comparable to the dragon head stone. Wu Ziming coldly laughed, what rare treasure can compare to a true dragon? Even if we cut out a rare divine item, we will inevitably lose it and give it to Brother Tuoba. That's right, this is equivalent to giving Brother Tuoba a big gift. Li Chong Tian also coldly laughed. Cut the stone. Li Heishui ignored them and only spat out these two words. Now, they could only cut the stone to determine the winner. At this moment, everyone was extremely nervous, all of them paying close attention, all of them waiting for the treasures within the dragon head stone and immortal sound stone to appear. After a short uproar, the island quickly calmed down. It was so quiet that even the sound of falling flowers could be heard clearly. You first. Yi Fan made an inviting gesture. The man in embroidered clothes, Tuoba Chang, didn't speak. He withdrew a five-colored beast skin pouch, and there were over ten sharp little knives of different shapes within it. The ancient clans were very particular about Genesis techniques. They used different sabers to cut different Genesis stones. Tuoba Chang took out a silver dragon saber and held it in his hand. Crack. The first blade descended, and he chopped off the dragon horn. With a light stroke, it turned into stone powder, and there was nothing inside. Kacha. The sounds did not stop, and Tuoba Chang continued to descend his blade. His movements were light and graceful, and it did not seem like he was wielding his blade. Instead, it seemed like he was dancing with his fingers. His technique was close to the Tao, and it was filled with a kind of beauty. From all these details, it could be seen that Tuoba Chang's attainment in Genesis techniques was extremely high, and he seemed to be close to the Tao. The dragon scales danced in the air like flowers, and they fell to the ground with rustling sounds. A third of the huge dragon head had been cut off, and a thick layer of stone chips accumulated on the ground. At this moment, it was extremely quiet. No one dared to disturb him, and everyone held their breaths as they watched. Tuoba Chang was completely focused. The silver blade was like a dragon, and the world was silent. Only he danced with the silver blade, as if he was playing a piece of music. Time slowly passed. His movements became slower and gentler, as if he was afraid of breaking the peace and destroying the divine object in the dragon head. Everyone's nerves were stretched taut, and they were almost suffocating. Their eyes did not blink as they stared at the center of the square. The embroidered clothes to Oba Chang had become the absolute focus. Ding! A clear sound echoed in everyone's ears like a dragon's roar. The silver blade floated in the air, and a mysterious aura spread out. Dragon Chi, Dragon Chi has rushed out. Many people widened their eyes. Wisps of dragon-shaped Chi flowed out from the dragon head, and it was very strange. Hey brat, you're finished. This stone will definitely produce a divine object that will shock the world. Wu Ziming sneered and swept a glance at Li Heishui. Swish, swish, swish. Tuoba Chang moved his blade as if it was flying. He suddenly sped up, and the rhythm increased. The stone chips were like snow, fluttering in the air. Ding. When the last sound rang out, the millstone-sized dragon head stone was completely peeled off. Other than the stone powder on the ground, only a bowl-sized bead was left. It was dark green in color, and there was no brilliance. However, there were wisps of dragon chi lingering around it, as if something had broken out of its shell. This is, a dragon ball? Yes, it looks very much like a dragon ball, a treasure born from heaven and earth. There might be a true dragon inside. It's born from the harmony of heaven and earth. The small island immediately boiled up. Everyone looked excited, and only the G-Clan members did not smile, and their faces were solemn. Quick, we can't wait anymore. Quickly cut out the peerless treasure. I desperately want to see the birth of a young true dragon. Everyone urged. Even Great Xia's prince and the white-clothed little nun were no longer reserved, squeezing to the front. And Miaoi, Jin Qishao, and the others also did the same. Tuoba Chang held the dragon ball in his hand and did not continue cutting. He turned back to look at Yi Fan and said, It's your turn. Yi Fan did not say anything superfluous. Light flashed in his hand, and an inch-long small black sword appeared between his fingers. That's, the black dragon pattern golden sword. It's the holy spirit sword cut out from the nine orifice stone golem. Everyone was dumbfounded. This was too extravagant. Yi Fan wanted this holy spirit sword to cut the stone. This. Many people were completely speechless. Wu Ziming sneered, what's there to show off? 
When the time comes, he won't be able to cut out anything. I'm waiting to see his face turn into a vegetable. The black dragon pattern golden holy spirit sword was as translucent as black jade. It was naturally formed. Yi Fan held it between his fingers and continuously moved it on the immortal sound stone. The stone skin quickly fell off. He used this sword to cut the stone in case of accidents. Last time, it was very dangerous to cut the nine orifice stone golem. If he did not retreat in time, he would have been pierced. Purple light flashed in Yi Fan's eyes, turning into two beams of light that landed on the immortal sound stone. The black dragon pattern golden holy spirit sword moved with the two beams of purple light and quickly slashed. A melodious sound suddenly came from the stone. Everyone was looking forward to seeing what exactly was inside. Yi Fan's movements were very light and also had a sense of beauty. It was as if a living piece was beating. The black dragon pattern golden holy spirit sword turned into a black dragon that danced in the air. What exactly is it? Can it compare to the dragon ball? Could it really be an ancient scripture? Silence. There was no noise. The island was exceptionally quiet. No one knew when, but the guardian of the sacred stone garden, that old man propped up a screen of light, as if he was afraid that some rare treasure would escape. Ding dong. A sweet sounding sound rang out. Yi Fan fiercely shook the small black sword. Stone fragments flew everywhere, and the immortal sound stone was completely cut open. A jade cocoon the size of a fist appeared. It was sparkling and shining, and no one knew what was inside. Another cocoon. Last time, the small black cocoon produced the Holy Spirit Sword. What will it be this time? Suddenly, a wonderful sound rang out. It was not the heavenly sound of the Great Tao, but rather an intoxicating immortal music that made people's minds want to sink. Only when Yi Fan grabbed the jade cocoon in his hand did the immortal music stop. Only then did heaven and earth calm down. Outside the stage, cries of alarm sounded. Just now, many people had actually lost control of their minds. At this moment, everyone had a tacit understanding. The younger generation all retreated, and a group of old men stepped forward, ready to take action at any time. That was because it was very likely that something unusual would appear. In order to prevent accidents, the older generation prepared to work together to suppress it. You first. Yi Fan indicated. Tuoba Chang did not say anything else. He carefully used the silver blade to cut towards the dragon ball, and the dark green stone bead cracked open. Hong. A powerful aura rushed out, causing people's hearts to tremble. The draconic might was terrifying. Dragon, I saw a dragon. A true dragon flew out. Many people cried out, all of them incomparably shocked. They stared at the scene, almost forgetting to breathe. A dragon over half a meter long rushed out from the stone bead and danced in the air. The draconic might overflowed in all directions. It was extremely astonishing. No, it's formed from draconic chi, not a true dragon. When things calmed down, people clearly saw that the little dragon was not a true body. The dragon bead was already broken, and there was nothing inside. Disappointment was written all over Tuoba Chang's face. What a pity, there's only a strand of draconic chi, nothing else. This is only a strand of essence chi born from heaven and earth, and it has the shape of a dragon. It's not a true dragon's chi. Many people shook their heads. It was far from what they had expected. The difference was too great. Many people sighed. Why is it like this? Wu Ziming clenched his fists. Li Chong Tian was also extremely disappointed, and he stamped his feet. Ha! Huh. Only Li Heishui shook his head and laughed, causing the faces of Wu Ziming and the others to turn ashen. A true dragon does not descend into the world, what a pity for this stone bead. It is impossible for a true dragon to be born in this world. If there is a celestial world, without a doubt, when the time comes, this bead will definitely turn into a true dragon. The old man from Ji family who was guarding the stone garden said these words, and then he stopped talking. The draconic chi was about to scatter and disappear from heaven and earth. Great Xia's prince charged over and said excitedly, I want this draconic chi, 5,000 kilograms of source. He raised his hand and sealed the space, restraining the draconic chi. Everyone revealed a weird expression. The chivalrous dynasty had inherited the supreme imperial scripture, and within it was an offensive saint technique, imperial draconic chi. To cultivate this technique, apart from one's own talent, there were also some secret techniques. This draconic chi would be of great benefit to him. Tuoba Chang nodded and didn't speak. He spent 50,000 kilograms of source to buy the dragon headstone, but he didn't get a peerless treasure. This was a huge blow to him. The heavenly source treasure will reflected the true dragon in the stone, and in the end, it was just like what Yi Fan had said, it was just a dream. There was no expression on Tuoba Chang's face. When it was Yi Fan's turn to cut the jade cocoon, he didn't hesitate and retreated. 
He waved the small black sword, and with a clang, he cut open the jade disc. Ding dong. Celestial music rang out, and a dazzling radiance appeared. The center of the field was resplendent, and it caused people's hearts to sway. It was as if there was a demonic power that caused people to sink into depravity. This is a mortal melody, what a pity. An old voice filled with regret said, but almost no one heard it. Chapter 346 After the jade cocoon was cut open, an object was revealed that shot out dazzling nine-colored light. It was only the size of a chicken egg and perfectly round. There were nine holes on its surface that cried out when the wind blew. This type of music was extremely wondrous, making one couldn't help but become intoxicated. They really wanted to hold it in their hands and listen carefully. There was a type of demonic power to it. Its entire body was sparkling with nine different colors. It was exceptionally beautiful and dazzling, as if it was the world's most precious treasure. At the center of the island, the deity-like elder under the ancient tree shook his head and said, What a pity, it was born in the secular world. Senior, may I ask what this is? Many people asked. They didn't understand at all, and even those old men didn't know. They looked towards the protector of G family sacred stone garden. This is an immortal melody. If there is a mortal energy to nourish it, one can carve a portion of the Tao imprint. It is an immortal book born from heaven and earth. G family's elder shook his head and said, In this world, it is unknown whether or not there are immortals, so how could one find immortal energy to nourish it? In the end, it is only a treasure within a musical instrument. It has nothing to do with cultivation. It's actually an immortal melody. I've heard of it before. A few old men cried out in alarm. It was indeed as the protector of G family's stone garden said. This object was born in the secular world. If it was born in the immortal realm, after being nourished by immortal energy, it would become a heavenly book, engraving a portion of the heaven and earth's patterns. Now, it only produced great Tao divine sounds when it was about to appear. However, it stopped there. Without immortal energy, it would never appear again. What a pity, or else this really would be an ancient scripture. It might even be a world-shocking immortal scripture. Why is it like this? It was born in the secular world. There was no one who didn't feel regret. Otherwise, this would be a heavenly Tao immortal book, a great opportunity. Yi Fan held the immortal melody in his palm. It was sparkling and warm, flickering with nine-colored splendor. If it was given to a mortal emperor, it would definitely be a national treasure. However, it was useless to cultivators. The immortal melody he cut out was the same as the strand of draconic energy in the stone bead. It was of little value and didn't have much use. It could only be considered a rare object. Tuoba Chang used 100,000 kilograms to cut the dragon head stone, and he used 80,000 kilograms to cut the immortal sound stone. Little brother Gu Feng, Miaoyi is very interested in the immortal melody. Don't give it to others, you must keep it for Miaoyi. And Miaoyi secretly transmitted her voice. This was how rock gambling was. Even if one's genesis techniques were astonishing, it was still possible for one to be deceived when encountering a rock. Everyone sighed in their hearts. If even these two Genesis Technique geniuses had made such a mistake and spent such an astronomical sum for no reason, one could imagine what the others would think. The Holy Land Sky High Price Strange Stones bring them a lot of profit every year. They have always earned it steadily and never lost money. If they could cut out rare treasures, the Dragon Head Stone and Immortal Sound Stone wouldn't have been left here for so many years. Many people shivered and warned their friends around them. The Holy Land established the Stone Workshop to maximize the benefits. If they had the slightest confidence, these strange stones wouldn't have been sent here. The great sage's land doesn't lack stone masters. At this moment, both Yi Fan and Tuoba Chang were very calm. Moreover, they reacted quickly and charged toward the other guardian treasures. Yi Fan arrived in front of the peerless beauty stone in a dozen steps, while Tuoba Chang rushed to the eight trigrams Dao diagram stone. I choose this stone. Yi Fan directly threw out 150,000 kilograms of Genesis and bought the stone. I don't have any more genesis on me, but as the number one successor of the Tuoba clan, I will write a contract here. I will definitely send the genesis over in a few days. Tuoba Chang had just spent 100,000 kilograms of genesis and was now empty. Everyone was dumbfounded, not knowing why these two were doing this. It was as if they wanted to snatch the stone. That's right, they seemed to be fighting over a peerless sacred object. Strange stone, peerless beauty. It was over two meters tall and silently stood beside the flowering tree. The falling flowers gave it an ethereal feeling. It was worth 150,000 kilograms of Genesis. Strange stone, 8 trigrams Tao diagram. It was as big as a table and looked simple and natural. The Tao imprint seemed to be embedded in the stone. It was worth 120,000 kilograms of Genesis. Are they crazy? Why are they snatching stones after cutting nothing? Everyone didn't understand. Only the people of the G clan were calm. If they cut a few more stones, their profits would be even greater. 
the two quickly started to cut the stone. Their blades flew and the stone chips danced in the air like snowflakes. This old man's horizons have been broadened. A few of the garden's greatest treasures will be cut open in my lifetime, fulfilling one of my wishes. Facing the peerless beauty stone, Yi Fan wasn't gentle at all. He slashed with the black gold dragon mark sword as if he was fighting for time. If there was a rare treasure inside, this speed was already the fastest under the premise of not injuring it. Almost in a moment, the huge strange stone was cut open. Unfortunately, the peerless beauty stone was empty. This time, there wasn't even a chicken rib, there was nothing. At the same time, Tuoba Chang also completely peeled the 8 trigrams Dao diagram stone. Other than leaving behind a pile of stone powder, there was nothing. In an instant, the two were as fast as lightning as they pounced towards the other stones. There were still five garden's greatest treasures. Their target was obvious. They quickly rushed over and each took one. The stone Yifan chose was called Immortal Pot. It was over a meter tall and shaped like a gourd. Some people speculated that there might be gourd seeds inside. It was a peerless treasure worth 50,000 kilograms of Genesis. The stone Tuoba Chang chose was shaped like a male tiger that wanted to break through the sky. It was called White Tiger Ascension and was worth 120,000 kilograms of Genesis. Little Yi, are you crazy? Li Heishui didn't understand and secretly transmitted his voice. This was too crazy. Just now, the Immortal Sound Stone and the Peerless Beauty Sure had paid a total of 230,000 kilograms of Genesis, but in the end, it was all for naught. And now, Yi Fan didn't seem to care at all. He threw out another 50,000 kilograms of Genesis as if he was under a spell and didn't care about the consequences. It's not that I'm crazy, it's just that there's a crazy stone here that definitely contains a peerless treasure. If it's cut out, everything will be worth it. Yi Fan replied. Brother Tuoba, what's wrong? Wu Ziming and Li Chong Tian also asked. However, the genius of the Tuoba clan didn't care at all. After carving his dead on the stone again, he quickly began to cut the stone. The Ji clan was naturally not afraid that he would renege on his debt. In the current world, no one dared to extort the Ji clan, not even ancient Genesis technique families. What's going on? Li Heishui didn't understand. Yi Fan had already spent 330,000 kilograms of Genesis and was rapidly cutting the immortal pot, making everyone feel crazy. I can't explain it now. I'll explain it later. He and Tuoba Chang both sensed that there was something strange about this place. There was definitely a stone that could make people crazy. Their Genesis techniques were exquisite and had a trace of the Yuan Taoist master's elegance. Whether it was the Heavenly Source Treasure Wheel or the Heavenly Source Divine Sense, they were close to the Tao. However, they had been deceived. A strange aura had interfered with their judgment. It was extraordinary. The two immediately thought of a situation mentioned in an ancient Genesis technique book, this place definitely contained an astonishing treasure. Whether it was the Tuoba clan's treasure book or the peerless Genesis book left behind by the Yuan Taoist master, they both had clear records. A peerless spiritual treasure that could interfere with the Genesis Technique Master's judgment, making them cut the wrong stone to protect themselves. This was the legendary Stone King. It must have given birth to an unimaginable divine object. One of them had cultivated the Heavenly Source Divine Sense, while the other had cultivated the Heavenly Source Treasure Wheel. Their unimaginable sharpness allowed them to sense the abnormality and capture the strange aura. If they could cut out such a spiritual treasure, they would be able to recoup all their expenses. Thus, they cut the stone that was most likely to contain a divine object. Now, it was no longer just a battle between Yi Fan and Tuoba Chang. They were also fighting with a peerless stone. Crazy, they've really gone crazy. Everyone was tongue-tied. The two had already spent more than 300,000 kilograms of Genesis, but they didn't care at all. It seemed like they wanted to continue. The Prince of the Great Xia, Jiang Yifei, and the others were from immortal empires and eternal families. They were also shocked when they saw this scene. Even they couldn't afford to pay such a price. And Miaoi's beautiful eyes flashed. She smiled faintly and said, This is indeed in Genesis technique battle that will shake the entire divine city. This is too shocking. Even the quietest little nun in white was blinking her big eyes, full of puzzlement. There's a stone king here. Some old men were very sensitive and immediately guessed this possibility. Heavens, if there's a stone king, it's not impossible to cut out an ancient scripture, an emperor's divine object, or a young true dragon. The group of old men's expressions changed. They immediately scattered and searched everywhere, as if they wanted to join in. After the celestial lake and the white tiger ascension were cut open, they were still empty. There was nothing inside. Everyone was shocked. The stone square of the sacred ground was indeed a deep pit. It was very difficult to get out after jumping in. One would sink deeper and deeper without being able to cut out anything. Little Yi, don't be crazy. You, are still choosing stones? Even Li Heishui was shocked.
Yi Fan threw another 120,000 kilograms of source stone on the ground. It was sparkling like a small mountain. He began to choose stones again. There were still three Garden Guardian treasures left. They were all priced at 120,000 kilograms of source stone. This time, he didn't act immediately but chose patiently. Tuoba Chan was also crazy. He carved the price on a limestone slab and quickly rushed over to choose a stone. This is crazy, he's really crazy. I haven't gambled like this in many years. Throwing out hundreds of thousands of kilograms of source stone, it's really frightening. Everyone was shocked. All of this was too crazy. Everyone was flabbergasted. At this moment, Yi Fan had spent a total of 450,000 kilograms of source stone. He didn't even frown. In the end, Tuoba Chang chose a stone. It was one of the extremely expensive stones called Divine Moon. This stone was like a crescent moon. It was very special. It was more than 2 meters long and had a sparkling luster. The stone material was very smooth and smooth. It was a rare source stone material. Under the sunlight, it flowed with radiance like a divine moon. Tuoba Chang quickly cut down without any delay. The stone skin fell off and the jade-like stone skin flew in all directions. This extremely expensive stone named Divine Moon continuously shrunk. Suddenly, a divine radiance rushed into the sky and illuminated the entire island. The light blue lake became sparkling. The radiance was resplendent and a divine aura rushed into the sky. Everyone's pores opened up and they felt comfortable as if they were being embraced by immortal spirit energy. What is this? A divine item came out. At this moment, the small island was in an uproar. Everyone found it hard to calm down and went crazy. This thing was too astonishing. Just a strand of divine radiance from the crack in the stone was already like this. It was easy to imagine that it was a peerless treasure. Tuoba Chang was incomparably excited. He slowed down the speed of his blade and was very careful in case he cut something. A head-sized stone ball was cut out. Rays of divine radiance shot out from the crack. The thin layer of stone skin could no longer block the divine radiance contained within. This stone ball actually floated in the air and didn't sink at all. Heavens, divine source, it's actually divine source. That's right, divine source, it's the size of a human head. Even the older generation was in an uproar. This kind of divine item was rarely seen in the world. All the holy lands yearned for it. The most conservative estimate is that its value is definitely above 500,000 kilograms of divine source. When an old man said such a value, everyone sucked in a cold breath. This was divine source. The size of a human head was comparable to a mountain of ordinary pure divine source. Tuoba Chang didn't peel off that thin layer of rock because he was afraid that he would be blinded. Even so, the dozens of beams of light that were shot out were enough to illuminate the entire island. Even the blue lake water was sparkling with brilliance. Ha ha ha. He couldn't help but laugh. The appearance of divine source was something that hadn't appeared in the sacred city for many years. This was definitely sensational news. Hey brat, let's see how you turn things around. You want to compete with the Genesis Technique aristocratic families? Li Zhongtian laughed loudly. Don't even think about it in this lifetime. What can they use to compete with such a piece of divine source? Wu Ziming also said sarcastically, I've been looking forward to seeing your faces turn green for a long time. Finally, it's time to see your faces turn green. Everyone went crazy. They were all shouting and discussing. The divine source was too shocking. Li Heishui was also in a daze. He didn't have any temper at all. The appearance of the divine source stunned him. At this moment, only Yi Fan was still calm. He said, in this world, divine source isn't the most precious thing. There are even more sacred things in precious stones. Hearing him say this, and Miaoi, the Xia Prince, Jiang Yifei, the little nun, and the others all looked over. The older generation figures also turned around. Even more people shook their heads. Some were sympathetic, and some were gloating. Such a piece of divine source had been cut out. To turn things around was definitely more difficult than reaching the heavens. Wu Ziming laughed presumptuously. Then cut out a sacred object for me to see. Alright, I'll try today. Maybe I can really cut out something even more precious, Yi Fan said calmly. Once he said this, the stone garden quieted down. Everyone's gaze was focused on him. And Miaoi's beautiful eyes turned in astonishment. The little nun in white blinked her big eyes and opened her mouth wide. She looked like a cute swallow as she stared at him in shock. Even Jin Qixiao, the saint child of all beginnings, and Yao Yuakong, who had strong wills, revealed an indescribable expression. Ha, huh, you won't shed tears until you see the coffin. You're already at this stage and you still want a miracle. I think you don't know the immensity of heaven and earth. Li Chong Tian laughed. Can you really cut out something even more precious? Someone muttered. 
Almost no one believed it. Divine Source was too precious. Everyone present thought that a miracle was almost impossible. At this moment, the news of the Divine Source's appearance spread like wildfire. It shook the entire Divine City, and more and more people rushed over. Yi Fan was very calm. He was seriously hammering on a priceless stone. Even at this stage, he was still unperturbed. Little Yi, you must cut out a shocking treasure. Otherwise, we'll be in trouble. Li Heishue secretly transmitted. We'll wait for you. Let's see how you'll shed tears when you see the coffin. Wu Ziming mocked and laughed loudly. Yi Fan heard this and stood up. If that's the case, why don't you join in and gamble with me? Then, he looked around and said, of course, if there's anyone else who's willing, there's no harm in joining in. I don't believe that you can still turn the tables at this stage. Chapter 347 I don't believe that you can still turn the tables at this point. Wu Ziming sneered. Not to mention him, even the others didn't believe that a miracle could happen. What was Divine Source? It was the most precious of all sources. It was formed from the world's most primordial essence, and even the Holy Lands desired it. The Divine City hadn't been cut out for many years. This piece was the size of a human head and was priceless. Who could turn the tables in such a situation? What else was more precious than it? It was almost impossible. Today, I will bet with you even if I have to sell everything I have. Wu Ziming sneered. Not long ago, he lost several tens of thousands of kilograms of source to Yi Fan. Now, he finally had the chance to take revenge, so he borrowed source from Li Chong Tian. Their connections were quite broad, and they knew quite a few people. More importantly, their sects were great sects in the North region. Five Elements Palace and Illusion Destruction Palace were quite famous, and they both had older generation figures here. The two of them had gathered quite a bit of resources. Not only were these two moved, but the others also found it hard to stay calm. Since Yi Fan had already spoken, many people were eager to try. The head-sized piece of Divine Source had already appeared. Not many people believed that Yi Fan could turn the tables. This was almost impossible. This kind of divine item was rarely seen in the world. We will also bet with you. More than 20 cultivators joined hands and collected 15,000 kilograms of source. They walked forward in large strides and piled up on the ground. At this time, Wu Ziming and Li Chong Tian also collected enough source. Because of the support of the sect elders, they collected a total of 15,000 kilograms of source. I have waited for this day for a long time. Wu Ziming gritted his teeth. Not only did he lose so many origin stones in the previous defeat, but he was also humiliated and ridiculed. Today, there was such an opportunity. He felt that it was a heaven-sent opportunity. Is there anyone else? From beginning to end, Yi Fan was very calm. After standing up in front of the stone, he walked forward and asked a few more questions to see if anyone else wanted to bet. He is too calm and collected. Doesn't he know the value of the source of God? It's such a big piece. Unless there's a complete primordial godly medicine, there's no way it can compare to it. Many people wanted to join in, but when they saw how calm and composed Yi Fan was, without the slightest hint of dejection, they all began to mutter. Everyone couldn't help but think back to the last time when the nine-hold stone golem had been cut in half. They all thought that there wouldn't be anything left, but in the end, Yi Fan had dug a hole for them to jump into. Even though many people were confident in the divine origin, they still hesitated. They were afraid that it would be like last time, that Yi Fan would hold back. Is there really no one else? That is divine source. Do you not have confidence in Toba Chan? Yi Fan asked again. He walked far away, allowing the falling petals to land on his body. The flowering tree swayed, and the fragrance assailed his nostrils. Yi Fan walked under the ancient tree, and was already quite a distance away from the two stones. Suddenly, two figures walked into the field and quickly arrived in front of the stone that Yi Fan had just carefully hammered and almost confirmed. Our hands are itchy, let's choose a stone too. The two chose the strange stone that Yi Fan had just examined, and piled 120 kilograms of source on the ground. These were two old men. They had been in the stone garden all along, and they weren't far away. Thus, they quickly came over. One of them was Illusion Palace's Grand Elder Li Yishue. Previously, he was the one who instigated and lent Li Chong Tian and the others tens of thousands of kilograms of source to bet with Yi Fan. Today, he didn't act rashly. He had been observing and made this move at the crucial moment. You. Li Heishui's expression immediately changed. He was confident in Yi Fan, and felt that he could definitely pick out a peerless treasure. However, he never would have thought that Li Yishui would do something like this, and compete with another old man of great background for source halfway. This was definitely intentional. It was almost shameless, taking advantage of such a loophole to buy that stone. Do you have any questions? Li Yishui smiled faintly, as if he didn't care. Do you have any shame? Li Heishui pointed at them angrily, and finally couldn't help but scold. 
Li Shui's face immediately darkened, and he said, Young man, don't be rude. Otherwise, I will discipline you on behalf of your elders. You are really. Li Heishui was so angry that he wanted to curse. If he didn't spit on their faces, he wouldn't be able to swallow this anger. Yi Fan hurriedly went forward to stop him, then turned around to face Li Shui, and said with a sullen face, You too, aren't you going too far? Li Shui indifferently said, Oh? How is it too far? Are you talking about choosing the stone? Just now, you didn't choose, and now we are buying this stone. Old man, didn't you see Gu Feng knocking and observing just now? He clearly chose that stone. Li Heishui wanted to beat these two up. He didn't choose in the end, didn't he walk away? Li Heishui replied with a smile that wasn't a smile. At this moment, the stone garden was in an uproar. There were sounds of discussion everywhere. Some were envious, some were cursing, some were sympathizing, and some were gloating. These two old fogies are really shrewd. It's really unexpected that they would make such a decisive decision. Too despicable, too shameless. How can they do this? Indeed, old people become crafty. To think that they would make such a move. But it really isn't right. Why didn't I think of this? That Genesis Technique genius is too inexperienced, allowing such a loophole to be taken advantage of. The crowd outside was in an uproar, unable to calm down. There were those who hated, those who mocked, and those who wanted to beat Yi Fan up. Everyone acknowledged Yi Fan's Genesis Technique, and felt that the stone he had chosen would most likely contain a peerless treasure given the confidence he had displayed earlier. Although many felt that it would be very difficult to compare to the Divine Genesis, everyone believed that it would contain a valuable treasure. Don't stop me, I won't be able to vent my anger if I don't beat them up. Li Heishui was truly enraged. He wanted to throw the black metal token at the two in front of him. You talk big at such a young age. Didn't your parents teach you to respect your elders? Li Heishui's face darkened as he sneered, killing intent flashing in his eyes. Snatching our wondrous stone and wanting to kill us. Li Heishui wanted to throw the black metal token and beat them up. However, Yi Fan firmly held him back, not letting him go forward. Li Heishui calmed down and did not act rashly. He turned to face the Ji family and said, We have already paid 120 kilograms of Genesis Source. Are you not going to do anything to them? Master Yuan of the Ji family revealed a troubled expression and said, Although you have paid Genesis Source, it is only for a few of the garden's treasures. You have not chosen which stone to use. Ji Biyue was dressed in green, revealing her curvaceous figure and bare feet. She leisurely walked forward and said with a faint smile, Little brothers, there is really no other way. You can only blame yourself for not deciding earlier. Since the Ji family had already said so, there was no way to change it. This made Li Heishui furious. Yao Yuakong came forward and advised Li Heishui, forget it. The great Xia prince shook his head and also transmitted his voice, you are too careless. Some people felt that Li Heishui's actions were shameful, but they could only discuss and curse him. They could not change anything. This was the heaven stone garden of the Ji family, everything had to be done according to the rules. Some of the older generation could not stand it anymore, but they could not say anything. The small island was filled with splendor. That head-sized divine source floated in the air and did not sink down. Dozens of divine radiance shot out from the rock, dyeing the ancient trees and the dancing petals in the air with divine radiance. Li Shui looked at Yi Fan and Li He Shui calmly and said, Young people, this world is fair and unfair. There are many things that you need to learn. Not showing off after getting a bargain, you guys are good. Li He Shui pointed at the two people in front of him. Li Shui was unperturbed and said calmly, This old man and brother Yang Kuan borrowed some resources from some old friends. Other than wanting to buy a priceless strange stone, we also want to make a bet with you. That's right. The old man called Yang Kuan was the supreme elder of Five Elements Palace. He immediately piled 60,000 kilograms of God Source on the ground. This move was too ruthless. They had just stolen someone else's stone and now they wanted to make a bet. They were ruthless and wanted to kill them all. Aren't you guys too much? Yi Fan's face darkened. Words spoken are water spilled. You are the one who said that you want to make a bet with everyone here. Li Shui said with a smile that was not a smile. Although many people felt that it was too much, they could not say anything. It was obvious that both sides had grudges. The two youths were tricked and they could only admit defeat. Li Shui was furious. The other party was too much, using any means necessary. He could not help but explode. Old man, you want to use force to suppress us? You are not strong enough. Oh, then what can you do? Yang Kuan asked. Li Shui was very indifferent. He casually said, I'm quite interested in the dragon pattern black gold holy spirit sword. I think it's worth 50,000 kilograms of origin source. Why don't I borrow some origin source from a few of my old friends? When the time comes, you can use the holy spirit sword to repay your debt. 
Yao Yuakong, and Miaoi, and the others had predicted that the Black Gold Holy Spirit Sword was worth 35 kilograms of God's source. Li Yishui's words were obviously malicious and he wanted to steal the sword at a low price. Dream on. Li Heishui was furious. Don't worry, let him go. At the crucial moment, Yi Fan secretly transmitted his voice and pulled him back. Little Yi, you. Li Heishui turned around and looked at him. Then, he seemed to have thought of something. He suppressed his emotions and slowly calmed down. I only borrowed 20,000 kilograms of God Source. That's it, a total of 80,000 kilograms. I will make a bet with you. Li Shui revealed a faint smile and said, I am very fond of the Black Gold Holy Spirit Sword. Okay, I accept. You can cut the stones first. Speaking up to this point, Yi Fan asked loudly, Does anyone else want to participate? Yao Yuakong transmitted his voice and advised, Brother, do you really want to bet? Just admit defeat this time. There is no need to be impulsive. The great Xia Prince also advised. At this moment, everyone turned to look at him. Jiang Yifei's robe was whiter than snow. His expression was calm, elegant, and handsome. And Miaoi's eyes were filled with spiritual energy. She quietly watched. Jin Qixiao's expression was solemn and he did not move. Even more of the older generation remained silent as they watched the scene unfold before them. If that is the case, let us also give it a try. More than 10 people came forward and together, they gathered a total of 18,000 kilograms of God Source, which were sparkling and glittering. Although there were still many people who were tempted, they resisted the impulse. Firstly, they felt that it was not right to add insult to injury. Secondly, seeing Yi Fan take the initiative to invite them, he was too calm. Okay, since there is no more, it is limited to the few of us. Yi Fan revealed a smile. The first batch consisted of more than 20 people, and they gathered 15,000 kilograms of God Source. Wu Ziming and Li Zhongtian gathered 15,000 kilograms of God Source. Li Shui and Yang Kuan gathered 80,000 kilograms of God Source for the bet. The last batch of people gathered a total of 18,000 kilograms of God Source. The sum of these people's God Source was a total of 143,000 kilograms. At this moment, Li Shui's expression changed. Because he saw Yi Fan actually smiling at him. His delicate face, his mouth full of snow white teeth, was very bright. His heart immediately sank. His head rumbled, and he shouted in his heart. Oh no! He might have been tricked by this harmless looking little bastard again. Seniorly, aren't you going to cut the stone? Let us all broaden our horizons. Yi Fan said with a smile. Everyone was startled. Their gazes all turned to look at Yi Fan, Li Shui, and the sky high strange stone. Li Hei Shui was completely relieved, and he almost laughed out loud. He mumbled, Yi Hei, Yi Hei, this is really a technical job. Tricking people is also a kind of art. Chapter 348 Everyone inside and outside the Heaven Series Stone Garden looked over. Yi Fan and Li Shui became the center of attention. Everyone was shocked. At this moment, Li Shui should have been very satisfied, but he had a gloomy expression, clearly in a bad mood. Meanwhile, Yi Fan, whose stone had been stolen, had a radiant expression, his teeth gleaming. He could only be described as happy. As for the black brat beside him, no matter how one looked at it, he was holding back his laughter. He was like a wolf, his mouth almost reaching his ears. It's over. Li Shui must have been cheated. It can't be. He was very ruthless just now. How could he have been cheated? Don't you see how meaningful those two brat smiles are? It's like a weasel looking at a little chick. Everyone's attention was focused on the two of them and the heaven rank wondrous stone. Li Shui could no longer remain calm. His previous indifference was swept away, and his expression turned gloomy. At the side, Yang Kuan also had a gloomy expression as he looked down at the strange stone on the ground. This stone was called, Levitating Flying Immortal. It was one meter long and did not have any special shape. It was very irregular, but there were many patterns on it that looked like feathers. The Levitating Flying Immortal stone lay under a thousand-year-old ancient tree. Many cultivators had seen it before, but no one dared to cut it. It was worth 150 kilograms of spring. This is a rare precious stone. It has the aura of the absolute beginning. It's definitely a stone from an old pit, Yi Fan commented with a smile. Li Shui's expression turned even more gloomy. He silently took out a silver knife and started to cut the stone. His movements were very slow. After all, this was an extremely valuable stone, and he was afraid of damaging it. You're wrong, Senior Li. When cutting this kind of levitating flying immortal stone, you have to go against the patterns, like peeling off a scale. You have to peel it up bit by bit. Yi Fan seriously guided him from the side. The veins on Li Yishui's forehead bulged as he said, there's no need for you to tell me. At the side, Yang Kuan also snorted heavily, revealing an extremely impatient expression. 
But at this moment, Li Shui used too much force, and the levitating flying immortal stone cracked. Yang Kuan immediately jumped in fright and said, Be careful. Even though they guessed that they might have been cheated, they still couldn't help but be careful when buying the stones that cost 120,000 gene of origin source. Cut along the lines. Don't use brute force. Go with the flow. Yi Fan began to guide him again. Even though Li Yishui's veins were bulging, he didn't say anything else. He had never cut this kind of ascension stone before. If he was careless, it might really crack. That's right. Be a little gentler when you use your blade. The blade's momentum has to be light. Yi Fan smiled as he instructed. However, Li Shui and Yang Kuan felt as though they had been slapped in the face. Their faces were even longer than the Black Emperor's, and they wished they could slash him with their blades. However, the angrier they were, the more mistakes they made in cutting the stone. Kacha. Another large piece of the levitating flying immortal stone cracked and fell to the ground. However, nothing was cut out of this part. Li Shui's and Yang Kuan's faces were covered in sweat. 120,000 kilograms of source power was gambling on this rock. Other than their own reserves, they had also borrowed source power from other people. If this was a waste, just the thought of it made them vomit blood. They were asking for it. Kacha, Kacha. Stone powder fell down. The levitating flying immortal stone became smaller and smaller, but there was still nothing. Sweat drenched Li Ishue's back. Even though Yang Kun didn't make a move, he didn't feel good in his heart either. Even if it wasn't a hundred claws scratching at his heart, it was close. Li Heishui opened his mouth wide and laughed silently. Not to mention Yang Kuan and Li Shui, even Wu Ziming and Li Chong Tian felt bad. Kacha When the levitating flying immortal stone was only the size of a palm, Li Shui and Yang Kuan's faces turned completely white. It was obvious that this stone was a rare treasure. When they raised their heads, they noticed that Li Heishui was calm and unruffled. He was using the dragon stripe black gold saint spirit sword to trim his nails. Their faces instantly turned from white to green and then purple. This was truly infuriating. If it wasn't for the fact that they were in G-Clan's stone workshop, they really wanted to kill someone. Kacha. Li Ishue forcefully threw the palm-sized stone to the ground. It broke into pieces, but no rare treasure appeared. His face turned green as he stood up. At this moment, he felt that the world was spinning and he almost spat out a mouthful of blood. 120,000 kilograms of spring water was wasted and nothing was cut out. They were obviously tricked. There was only one word to describe how miserable it was. There was no second time in one's life. You. Li Shui was so angry that his entire body was trembling. He pointed at Yi Fan and Wu Ziming in anger. What do you mean you stole our stone? You can't cut out anything valuable and you want to blame us? Li Shui laughed loudly. Li Shui and Yang Kuan's vision turned black. They were so angry that they almost fainted. This loss was too great. They used all their schemes to steal other people's wondrous stone, but in the end, they suffered the consequences of their own actions. They couldn't blame others at all. Even so, the two of them were emitting smoke from their seven orifices. Their hair was about to ignite and they wanted to roar towards the sky. These two old bastards are so pitiful. They were tricked and jumped into the pit themselves. They can't even vent their anger. Outside the stone garden, everyone was discussing. Many people couldn't help but mock and laugh loudly. They asked for it. Just now, they were so shrewd and stole the other party's source, yet they ended up like this. That youngster really is something, digging such a big pit and waiting for people to jump in. Who would have thought of this? It's all because of greed. This is a technical job. It can definitely be considered an art. Li Heishui's words had a double meaning. Huh. Many people couldn't help but laugh loudly. Li Shui and Yang Kuan wanted to vomit blood. They were tricked in such an artistic way and even ridiculed. No one could take this. Yi Fan walked over to the other extremely expensive wondrous stone. He lightly patted it and said, Actually, this one isn't bad either. I like it more. Everyone laughed loudly again. Li Shui wanted to beat him up. How could he endure these words? Yang Kuan even more so swung his sleeves and walked out of the stone garden angrily. Have you chosen the stone? Tuoba Chang asked coldly. Beside him, that head-sized divine source floated quietly. Divine radiance shot out in all directions. It was exceptionally dazzling. Even the stone surface could not hide its divine splendor. I have. Yi Fan answered. Unexpectedly, he didn't touch the last heaven level wondrous stone. Instead, he moved out a stone beside the levitating flying immortal stone. This stone was very ordinary, about the size of a roller. There was nothing special about it. It was completely dark green in color and shaped like a stone block. 
The heaven level stone garden was filled with precious stones. This stone was worth 15,000 kilograms of divine source. Although it was expensive, it couldn't be considered a garden treasure. Just now, when Yifan was looking at the levitating flying immortal stone, he used his heaven origin divine perception to examine it. He saw a trace of its wonders and was shocked. He didn't know if this was the stone king, but it couldn't be too bad. Seniors, please help me seal this space, Yifan said solemnly. Everyone revealed a look of surprise. Could it really be that he could cut out a peerless treasure? One had to know that Tuoba Chang had cut out a divine source. It was almost unsurpassable. Do you really think you can cut out a rare treasure? Wu Ziming sneered. Just now, his senior, Yang Kun, had been tricked. He was furious, but he couldn't do anything to help. I want to see what you can cut out. Li Zhongtian also sneered. Disillusionment Palace's Grand Elder Li Yishue didn't say a word. He stood to the side with an ashen face. He had wasted 120,000 kilograms of divine source. A group of old men gathered around. Although they admired Yi Fan's original technique, they didn't think he could cut out something more precious than the divine source. However, everyone still worked together to put up a light screen to seal off the area. The Stone Garden's guardian, the silver-haired old man with translucent skin, also walked over to prevent any accidents. Li Heishui reminded him in secret, didn't you say there was a stone king? Don't let it interfere with your judgment again. Don't worry. This time, I used the original sky secret technique to confirm that there is a peerless treasure in this stone, Yi Fan answered confidently. However, he was still a little uncertain. He felt that this was a substitution and not the real stone king. Tuoba Chang cut out a divine source, and I chose such a stone. If they are both substitutes for the stone king, then it will be quite terrifying. I wonder what is inside the stone king, Yi Fan muttered to himself. He began to cut the stone carefully. He held the dragon rune obsidian holy spirit sword with two fingers and peeled off the surface of the stone. In the distance, everyone became nervous because they realized that his posture was very strange, as if he was going to leave at any time. The great Xia prince said, Brother Gu's original technique is amazing. Are you really going to cut out another peerless treasure? Yao Yuakong was dressed in purple, and his eyes glowed purple. He had the temperament of a demon god. Maybe there will be a surprise. And Miao Yi smiled faintly and didn't say anything. Her beautiful eyes swept back and forth between Yi Fan and Tuoba Chang. As for the group of old men, their expressions were solemn. Divine light flickered on their fingertips, and they were all ready to attack. After all, Yi Fan had cut out the primordial divine medicine and the saint spirit sword. These people took his words very seriously. Yi Fan moved his sword quickly, and the mill-sized stone quickly shrunk. The surface of the stone kept peeling off. In the end, when the stone was only half the size of a human head, Wu Ziming and Li Chong Tian couldn't help but sneer. How could such a big stone compare to a head-sized divine source? Even the supreme elder of the Illusion Destruction Palace, Li Ishue, gradually calmed down. He revealed a sneer and was no longer as gloomy as before. Many people shook their heads. They felt that Yi Fan would lose without a doubt. Even Li Heishue was a little nervous. Clang! When Yi Fan cut off another piece of the stone with the black sword, a blazing divine light suddenly shot out, making people unable to open their eyes. Everyone was shocked. Many people opened their eyes wide and watched carefully. Yi Fan continuously waved the small sword. The stone fell off, and a stone ball the size of half a human head was cut out. Through the stone, dozens of divine lights shot into the sky. The ancient trees were bathed in the divine light, and they were green and translucent. Even the flowers became divine, flickering with light. Divine Source Many people exclaimed. They never thought that a second piece of divine source would come into being. Half the size of a human head. The most conservative estimate is at least 250,000 kilograms of source. An old man quoted in shock. Heavens, another piece of divine source. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Two pieces of divine source in one day. Even in the past, this didn't happen many times. It's priceless. Why would such rare divine objects appear one after another? Everyone was discussing. Even the little nun in white couldn't help but squeeze forward and watch curiously. My eyes can't take it. This kind of divine light is too intense. I can't even look straight at it. Someone's eyes were red as he was forced to turn his head away. Huh. After Wu Ziming recovered from his shock, he couldn't help but laugh loudly and said, So what if it's a divine source? It's only half of Brother Tuoba's divine source. That's right, you guys lost. This piece of divine source will belong to us. Li Zhongtian also laughed impudently. He was extremely excited. He he. Li Yishue let out a breath of resentment and let out a cold laugh. Suddenly, this stone ball moved. It immediately rushed into the sky and wanted to escape. Bang! 
It crashed into the barrier of light. If it wasn't for the fact that this place was already sealed, it really would have escaped. What's going on? This stone ball can fly. Heavens, what is inside the divine source? Why can it fly by itself? A stone that can fly, how is this possible? Everyone was dumbfounded. This defied common sense and was inconceivable. The divine source could float in the sky and not sink, but it definitely couldn't fly. This was definitely a world-shocking treasure, and there might be other treasures inside. Bang, bang. The barrier of light was very sturdy. The stone ball crashed in all directions and wanted to escape, but it couldn't do so. Within the heaven stone garden, a group of elders all made their moves. However, they didn't attack, but rather used gentle divine light to suppress it. They imprisoned it and then sealed it. This was because there was a world-shocking treasure inside the divine source. They were afraid of destroying it, so they didn't dare to use too much force. The outer layer of the stone couldn't conceal the divine source's radiance. Many rays of divine light shot out from the cracks, and it was extremely resplendent. It was drawn down. The group of elders' eyes were burning with passion as they fixed it in the air. They were all a bit excited. Little brother, you are indeed amazing. You cut out another exceptional treasure. Sell it to us. We are willing to buy it for a sky-high price. The people who spoke were all representatives of major powers. They all wanted to buy this stone. This sex rare treasure is more precious than that human head-sized divine source. The G-Clan Stone Garden Protector said. That's right, it's more precious than that divine source. Someone nodded in agreement. Wu Ziming and Li Chong Tian felt as if they were struck by lightning. Their faces turned pale on the spot. They were just filled with joy and excitement, but they never expected the situation to reverse in the blink of an eye. They were close to despair. Li Shui's face was full of black lines, and his veins were throbbing. This result was a huge blow to him. His body swayed and he almost fell onto the ground. He and Yang Kun had already jumped into a pit, and now they had to hand over another 80,000 kilograms. It was as if they had been struck by a heavy blow. Brother Gu Feng, sell this rare treasure to us. Great Xia will give you a satisfactory price. The Great Xia Prince transmitted his voice. Little brother Gu Feng, Miao Yi is willing to buy this treasure. No matter what condition you have, we will try our best to satisfy you. And Miao Yi also transmitted her voice with a sweet smile. My two brothers. Jiang Yifei also spoke. In a moment, Yi Fan was drowned out by all kinds of divine wills. Many people transmitted their voices to him in secret, tempting and promising him all kinds of benefits. Everyone, let's peel off the outer layer and see what exactly is inside the divine source. Yi Fan replied. He didn't want to sell it carelessly. That's right, peel off the outer layer and see what's inside the divine source. Outside the heaven stone garden, the others all shouted loudly. These people couldn't enter the stone garden, and their status definitely couldn't compare to the representatives of the major powers and the many old men. However, they were the most numerous, and their shouts shook the heavens. At this moment, the news spread quickly. Something even more precious than the divine source had been cut out. The entire divine city was once again in an uproar. Within the Heaven Stone Garden, the group of old men didn't stop them. They also wanted to see what exactly was inside. Seniors, please make your move. Yi Fan didn't step forward. In the end, the protector of the Ji Clan Stone Garden walked over. The tip of his finger flickered with divine radiance as he carefully peeled off the outer layer. In an instant, resplendent splendor appeared like a sun. Those with weaker cultivations couldn't even open their eyes and couldn't see it. Only those with greater strength could. This was the divine source, resplendent splendor. What is that? There's a creature inside the divine source. There's really a living creature. Is it a golden snake? It doesn't look like it. There seems to be horns on its head. Could it be a dragon? It's too dazzling. I can't see it clearly. It shouldn't be a dragon. Everyone was astonished. There was actually a living creature inside the divine source. Chapter 349 It can't really be a dragon, right? True dragons are like immortals, not descending into this world. How could there be this type of thing? The scene erupted with commotion. Many people cried out in alarm. There was a living creature within the divine source. This truly left everyone shocked. The stone sphere that was half the size of a human head had a thin layer of stone peeled off. It was like a golden sun as it floated in midair, releasing blinding radiance. Those with weaker cultivations only had one choice, and that was to close their eyes. They almost couldn't look straight at it. The divine radiance injured their eyes, shooting outwards like golden needles. Those with profound cultivations squeezed forward. Many people widened their mouths in shock, all of them wishing to see what kind of creature was produced within. Yi Fan found it difficult to calm down. 
The divine source that produced a living creature within exceeded his expectations. The divine source jumped about like a frightened child. It wanted to escape, but it was suppressed by the screen of light from the older generation figures, so it could only stay in place. Many people completely surrounded it, to the extent where even Yifan couldn't walk in. Something even more precious than the source appeared in this world, it truly was too shocking. There was no one here who could remain calm. They were all stirred up to the extreme, clamoring noisily. Gufone little brother, you have to sell this sect's rare treasure to us. Gufone little brother, can we discuss this? My Yin Yang sect plans on buying this divine source and the creature inside. There has to be a first come first serve basis. I was the one who said it first. Old man surnamed Wang, you stay behind me. The highest bidder will get it. This old one doesn't mind paying an astronomical price. Before they even confirmed what was inside the divine source, the group of elders were already arguing until their faces were red and their necks were thick. They began to clamor noisily. They were all great sects senior elders, every single one of their backgrounds terrifying. There's no point in arguing. Gufone little brother should make the decision. We'll sell it to whoever he says. Gufone little brother. E, Gufone little brother, where are you? Only now did the group of messy elders notice that the main character wasn't in front of them, who knew where he was squeezed to. Seniors, I'm outside and can't enter. Can you all give me a spot and let me see what exactly was cut out? Yi Fan really couldn't squeeze in. This group of old men seemed to have been injected with chicken blood. They were all lively and full of energy. Although their arms and legs were old, they were harder than iron. Almost all of the younger generation were squeezed out, and many of them grimaced in pain. Only the prince of Great Xia, Yao Yuakong, Jin Qi Shao, and the others could stay inside, but they were all disheveled, and it was already good enough that they could stand there. The little nun in white wrinkled her nose and hid behind her brother. Quick, make way for Brother Gu and let him in. Old man, get out of the way. Don't block the main character. The crowd stopped pushing and shoving. Yi Fan finally walked in and came to the center of the field. Without a doubt, he became the center of attention. Me too. Li Heishui's shoes were pushed away by the group of old men. His clothes were in a mess, and he finally followed them in. He couldn't help but complain, seniors, don't be so excited like you've seen a peerless beauty. My clothes are about to be ripped off. Yi Fan finally came inside. The divine source was dazzling, and this group of old men fought for a long time, but they still couldn't figure out what was inside. Seniors, let's not fight over this first. What do you all think it is? Yi Fan was also observing, but the divine radiance was too intense. He could only see a rough outline and couldn't examine it in detail. The main thing was that the creature inside the divine source itself was very special. It emitted a hazy brilliance that wrapped around itself. Vaguely, one could see that it was a golden figure. It looked like a golden snake, but also like a golden dragon. It didn't move at all. There can't be a true dragon in this world. It should be a flood dragon or a holy snake with horns. It's most likely a golden snake or a flood dragon. Who said there isn't a true dragon? Maybe it's a young immemorial dragon sealed inside the divine source. The opinions of the older generation were quite different, and they all had different viewpoints. The divine source was glaring and illuminated the entire island. The surrounding lake water became sparkling and translucent, turning it into a golden color. As for the ancient trees on the island, they were all dyed in golden radiance. Even the petals became divine, flowing with brilliant colors and flickering translucently. Yi Fan remained silent. He activated his heavenly origin divine perception and observed carefully. His eyes immediately shot out two beams of purple light that entered the divine source. It's. This was a wondrous technique from the heavenly origin book. It could see through fabrications and see through the source. Yi Fan clearly saw the creature inside, and he was extremely astonished. It was a small thing that couldn't move at all. It was sealed inside, but it was definitely still alive. Its bodily functions were slowly recovering, and the sound of a heartbeat could be heard. It really looks like a dragon. Yi Fan's heart beat rapidly, and he couldn't suppress his excitement. This little creature was half a foot long, and it curled up inside. It had a golden dragon body and a pair of dragon horns on its head. No, it doesn't have dragon scales. Yi Fan observed carefully and found that its body was very smooth. Its golden body surface was sparkling and translucent like jade, and there wasn't a single dragon scale. Soon, he calmed down and began to ponder seriously. At this time, he discovered another abnormality. The so-called golden dragon horn was actually made of flesh and was flickering with light. Strange little dragon, little flood dragon, little golden snake. He was puzzled and couldn't determine what this was. And what surprised him the most was that this little creature's eyes were extremely large. They were actually opened, and it seemed very innocent as it stared at him. 
It's much larger than a dragon's eyes. It's too watery. Yi Fan was speechless. This little creature seemed to be very human-like. Pung. At this time, the divine source throbbed again. It continuously wanted to escape, as if it was frightened by a group of old men. It was obvious that it wasn't that powerful. It couldn't struggle free and couldn't escape. So cute. The white-clothed little nun lowly stared at the divine source with her large clear eyes. Her eyes weren't burned by the divine radiance and seemed to be able to see everything inside. Little brother Gufong, Miao Yi really hopes that you can sell this source to me. And Miao Yi also approached and spoke softly. Her body fragrance was like that of orchids. Little brother Gufong, can you use your genesis technique to observe it? An old man asked. Yi Fan shook his head. Up until now, he could only confirm that this little creature wasn't a vicious creature. It seemed like it wouldn't harm people. He extended his right hand and held the divine source in his palm. At this moment, all the pores on his body opened up. The world's most primordial essence entered his body, making him feel very comfortable. This was the divine source. Even though it hadn't been refined, it already made people feel that it was different from others. Kacha. Suddenly, the divine source cracked. The golden little creature struggled to break free and wanted to rush out. Quick, lay down restrictions and tightly seal this place. Stop it. Don't let it escape. Everyone was shocked. The group of old men quickly took action. Layer after layer of light barriers descended, and it was unknown just how many layers of barriers were sealed. In the distance, the other cultivators were even more excited. Some broke their heads and rushed forward, creating a clamor as they wanted to see what was going on. Meanwhile, some people acted as if they were avoiding snakes and scorpions, quickly retreating out of fear of being contaminated. Rookies, what are you guys foolishly rushing forward for? Not a single archaic creature is kind. If they truly come into being, rivers of blood will flow. Don't tell me you guys don't know. The archaic creatures that came out in the past were all incomparably tyrannical and took away many lives. When these words were spoken, there was immediately a wave of panic. The people who were rushing forward were all dumbfounded and quickly retreated. In Qi family's important area, flying was not allowed at all. However, at this moment, people couldn't care so much anymore. Many people rose into the air and fled far away. Of course, there was still a large group of people who stayed behind and didn't leave. On the contrary, they advanced a certain distance because they saw that the older generation characters didn't retreat. Kacha. The divine source cracked open. With a flash of golden light, that little creature rushed out. No one wasn't nervous because the archaic creature's ferocious might shock the world and left behind too many legends. Only Yi Fan could still be considered calm because he sensed with his divine sense that this little creature didn't have any killing intent. Swoosh. The golden figure flashed. No one could stop it. Even the heaven sealing earth locking technique that Yi Fan used couldn't stop it. It was inconceivably fast. Fortunately, this place was sealed and it couldn't escape. It floated in the air and emitted a hazy golden light. Heavens, is it really a dragon? At this moment, everyone could clearly see that it was similar to a real dragon, except that it didn't have dragon scales. Its entire body was like golden jade, sparkling and translucent. Of course, there were also differences. Its eyes were too big and extremely watery, making many girls jealous. At this moment, its expression was very human-like. It seemed to be a bit scared, confused, and somewhat innocent at the same time. Swoosh. With a flash of golden light, it returned to Yi Fan's palm and fingers. Many people cried out in alarm. It was just too fast. A few older generation figures didn't even have time to take action. Kacha. This little creature's body was extremely small, no more than half a foot long. However, it bit off a fist-sized piece of divine source with a single bite. I. Yi Fan's expression immediately changed. He wanted to snatch it back, but this little thing swallowed it in one gulp. There was simply no time. Its small body didn't expand and didn't change in the slightest. It was still just that exquisite and hazy with golden light. I'm going to cry. I ate 50,000 gene of source in one gulp. Li Heishue opened his large mouth and screamed miserably. Yi Fan quickly shook his hand, wanting to send this little thing flying. However, its reaction was extremely fast. With another bite, another fist-sized piece of divine source disappeared with a kacha sound. 50,000 gene of source is gone. The corners of Yi Fan's lips were twitching. This time, he finally shook off the little creature, putting away the divine source with a flip of his hand. There's no justice in this world. 50,000 gene of source was eaten in the blink of an eye. Li Heishue's heart was even dripping blood, feeling waves of pain as he howled dryly. In the distance, the others were also stupefied. This little thing was too extravagant. 
as soon as it came out, with just two bites, 50,000 gene of source was gone. Two-fifths of this divine source was eaten by it. It could be said to be as extravagant as it could be. Yi Fan turned his hand over, grabbing towards this little creature, wishing to lock it in place and seize it. However, this little thing was just too fast. With a flash of golden light, it immediately arrived in midair. You wastrel, this is divine source, how could you do this? Li Heishui shouted towards the sky. In the distance, there was a clamor. Everyone was shocked, all of them discussing among themselves. Dark lines appeared on Yi Fan's forehead as well. It really wasn't worth it, having so much divine source devoured by this little creature in one go, making him feel waves of pain as well. However, at this moment, the little thing in Madeira revealed an extremely human-like expression. It actually felt extremely wronged, a pair of large eyes brimming with tears, staring pitifully at Yifan's hand, as if it was searching for that piece of divine source. It was just short of saying, that piece of divine source is mine. Its current appearance really made one unable to produce any killing intent, only pity and sympathy. Especially its pair of large eyes, they possessed great destructive power towards females. You ate my 50,000 gene of source, can you not look at me like that? Yi Fan said while bringing out a bean-sized piece of divine source, summoning it, wishing to draw it down and capture it. Who would have thought that this little creature was full of spirit, its large and lively eyes widening until they were perfectly round. A small claw was clenched into a small fist, forcefully waving downwards. Everyone was dumbstruck. This little creature was truly human-like, able to understand human language. Yi Fan quickly took action, grabbing towards the sky, wishing to capture it. Swish. With a flash of golden light, it began to flee, flying into the distance. At the same time, the other older generation figures also took action, preparing to capture it alive. What exactly was this? Everyone wanted to know, wanted to understand, and only by capturing it would they be able to find out. With so many people taking action, even if this little creature was extremely fast, it still couldn't escape. It seemed to be extremely alarmed, its pair of large eyes filled with a fearful expression. In order to escape, it didn't care where it was going, flying down with a whoosh sound. Aya. The white-clothed little nun cried out in alarm, because this little creature, in its panic, bumped into her shoulder. This was a very special scene. The golden little creature landed on the white-clothed little nun's shoulder, one of its small claws clutching a lock of her beautiful hair, a timid expression on its face. Meanwhile, the white-clothed little nun Loli was also scared stiff, a fearful expression on her face. The two pairs of large eyes were almost the same, one bright and timid, the other blinking, scared, both with pitiful appearances. Quick, catch it. Don't let it escape. Little sister, hurry up and take action. On the side, many people shouted like this. However, the white-clothed little nun stared at the little creature on her shoulder, her large eyes blinking, slowly losing her fear, not taking action. This little creature seemed to have also sensed that there was no danger, gathering its courage to move a bit, looking at the surrounding people with a wrong expression. Don't take action, this little thing isn't dangerous, it doesn't have any killing intent, different from ordinary archaic creatures. Yi Fan said. Even though he said this, the golden little creature didn't appreciate it at all. When it looked at Yi Fan, it was seething with anger, reaching out a small claw to point at him, silently complaining, a pair of large eyes brimming with tears. No matter how one looked at it, it seemed as if Yi Fan had committed a monstrous crime, causing it to feel incomparably wronged. Yi Fan was speechless. After staring at it for a while, he said, Don't stare at me like that, I was the one who rescued you from the stone. Brother Gu, this little creature is fated with my little sister, you must sell it to us. The great Xia Prince spoke, full of sincerity. Yi Fan didn't say anything, unable to reply right now. It was because right at this moment, it was unknown just how many divine wills were transmitting sound to him, all of them saying that they wanted to buy this little golden creature. Hurry up and observe the surrounding stones, see which one is abnormal. Yi Fan transmitted his voice to Li Heishui. What do you want to do? Li Heishui was puzzled. I suspect that the true stone king hasn't been found yet, Yi Fan replied. At this moment, everyone was squeezing forward, wanting to see this little creature from a closer distance. They were all eager to know what it was. What kind of creature is this? Many people express their doubts. Yeah, it doesn't look like a true dragon, nor does it look like a flood dragon. Even its horns are fleshy, those large eyes are too bright. The protector of the G family's stone garden, that old man with skin like white jade, walked forward with a serious expression. Could this be? Chapter 350 Senior, do you know what it is? On the side, an elder asked with a respectful expression. From this, one could see how extraordinary the status of Ji family stone garden's protector was. 
Even some rotten old men considered themselves to be of the younger generation. His body was tall and imposing. His silver hair fell down like a waterfall, and his skin was snow white like jade. One could tell with a single look that he cultivated a strange art. This little golden creature. He frowned, seemingly a bit unsure. Everyone was listening attentively. What was shocking was that even that little golden fairy was listening attentively. It tilted its head, paying close attention to this place. The silver-haired elder looked carefully, nodded, and said, it should be an archaic divine silkworm. When these words were spoken, everyone's jaws dropped. How could it be a silkworm? It clearly looked like a true dragon, yet it was said to be a bug. The little golden creature blinked its large eyes, seemingly quite perplexed. It didn't acknowledge the elder's words. Everyone was puzzled, full of questions. However, everyone knew that this elder's status was extraordinary, and he wouldn't speak irresponsibly. No matter how you look at it, it looks like a young dragon. It has nothing to do with a silkworm. Someone mumbled softly. The silver-haired elder said, in reality, you can also call it a beast. However, a Yuan Taoist master in the past called this creature a divine silkworm, and that is how it was passed down. Why is that? Everyone became even more puzzled. Someone asked. According to what the Yuan Taoist master said, its first form is a type of divine silkworm. The reason why the word divine was added before the word silkworm is because it is too extraordinary. It can be called a divine bug. The silver-haired elder spoke slowly. No one interrupted, all of them listening carefully. The little golden fairy was quite dutiful, also listening carefully. This type of creature was extremely strange. It could continuously evolve, and its first form was indeed a silkworm. Its entire body was golden and sparkling, and it ate source as food. Its lifespan was unknown. It was rumored that after one transformation, it would break away from the scope of a silkworm and become a little golden snake. In its life, it could experience nine transformations at most. Each transformation was a new life, equivalent to a rebirth, and its strength would soar. However, under normal circumstances, it was already not bad for this type of creature to transform once or twice, because the conditions for each transformation were extremely harsh. What kind of existence will the nine divine silkworm transformations become? Someone asked. The silver-haired old man said, it will become an unimaginably powerful creature. Even in the primordial era, it will be enough to run amok in the heavens and earth. A divine bug can transform to that level? Many people found this a bit hard to believe. Indeed. The silver-haired old man nodded. These secrets had come from a former Yuan Taoist master, who had traveled through the mountains in ancient veins and excavated countless mines. His understanding of primordial life forms was the most authoritative. However, the silver-haired elder only knew a portion of it and couldn't explain it in detail. After all, too much time had passed, and the dust of history had drowned out everything. The truth was getting further and further away, and it was extremely difficult to uncover it. Normally, this kind of divine bug can only undergo one or two transformations. If it completes nine transformations, it won't become a true dragon, right? Hearing this deduction, everyone revealed a surprised expression and looked at the little elf on the shoulder of the little nun in white. Its whole body shone with a golden radiance, and it really looked like a young dragon. Its big eyes were filled with innocence, as if saying, don't look at me. The silver-haired elder shook his head and said, as for what it can transform into, no one can say for sure. In the past, a Yuan Taoist master had said that the nine transformations of the divine silkworm couldn't be predicted at all. As for what kind of creature it would become, it was hard to say for sure. He had previously speculated that the humanoid kings among the primordial creatures might very well have been transformed from this kind of creature. Of course, there was no proof for all of this, and it was all speculation. However, the Yuan Taoist master had the most right to speak about the primordial races, because they had come into contact with them too much. From the underground and ancient mines, they discovered many secrets ordinary people couldn't know of. After understanding all of this, there wasn't a single cultivator who wasn't shocked. They stared at the little golden creature, and all of them revealed strange expressions. If this little thing could undergo nine transformations, it would become an unmatched existence. How many transformations did it undergo? Finally, someone brought up this question. It should have only undergone two transformations, said the silver-haired elder. However, everyone was still puzzled, because this little elf was extremely perplexed. It seemed as if it didn't understand anything at all, and it didn't approve of the elder's words. It is like a blank sheet of paper, and it is also very pure. It doesn't seem to know its own identity. That's right, no matter how you look at it, it seems like a little muddle-headed. It doesn't know anything. The silver-haired elder shook his head and said, every time it transforms, it is a new life. Not only does its body change, even its memories are erased, and it has to start anew. So abnormal. The nine transformations of the divine silkworm, isn't it equivalent to experiencing nine lives? 
even a few messy old men were shocked. Otherwise, how could it become an existence that can run amok in the heavens and earth, said the silver-haired elder. Someone pondered and said, I recalled an ancient scripture that had long been lost in the eastern wasteland. It is very similar to the nine transformations of the divine silkworm. In the past, there was the imperishable heaven art that produced a divine embryo from an old body that was on the verge of death. Today, Yi Fan cut out this kind of creature. A living primordial creature appeared, shocking everyone. Many people were both envious and jealous. Even though it is an primordial creature, it might not necessarily be more precious than brother Tuoba's divine source. Wu Ziming suddenly spoke. That's right, it can't transform at all. Under normal circumstances, it will reach its limit after one or two evolutions. How can it compare to a divine object that is worth 500,000 kilograms of pure divine source? Li Zhongtian echoed. They were afraid of losing and didn't want to admit defeat. They weren't willing to hand over tens of thousands of kilograms of divine source to Yifan. Let's not talk about whether it can carry out the nine transformations of the divine silkworm. Just the fact that it is psychic surpasses divine source, the silver-haired elder said. It can be psychic? Everyone revealed doubtful expressions and asked again. Because it can produce divine source, the silver-haired elder explained. Ten thousand years ago, a Yuan Taoist master once said that regardless of whether it could transform into a supreme existence, the value of a divine silkworm was at least 600,000 kilograms of divine source. This kind of creature ate source as food. It could spit out divine silk and form a divine silkworm cocoon, which was the purest divine source. Heavens, it can't be, right? Everyone was shocked. This little spirit could produce divine source. It was truly stupefying. At that moment, the group of old men and countless people stared at the little elf that looked like a real dragon with burning eyes. It blinked its large eyes and still had an innocent appearance. A small golden claw grabbed a lock of the white-clothed little nun's beautiful hair and anxiously pressed it against her shoulder. Little brother Gufone, state your price. This little spirit is mine. I will buy it no matter the price. A group of people surrounded Yifan. He couldn't interrupt at all. Everyone was extremely fervent. Senior, how much source does it need to eat before it can spit out a divine silkworm cocoon? Yi Fan asked the silver-haired elder, using this to divert the attention of many cultivators. A lot. The gains don't make up for the losses. If it was a little creature that had only transformed once, it would be quite good if it could spit out a divine silkworm cocoon worth 10,000 kilograms of pure source after eating a million kilograms of pure source. This is too wasteful. Everyone was stupefied. A divine silkworm that has transformed twice or more will have a much higher conversion rate. Many people gave up. They couldn't afford to raise this little thing. It was simply like a little glutton. Of course, this was only for ordinary sections. However, the people from the various holy lands were tempted. Divine source had a special meaning and value. The top powers yearned for it. If they could, at certain times, they would be willing to squander an endless amount of pure source to transform it into divine source, even if it was extremely wasteful. The white-haired elder said, 10,000 years ago, the Jade Lake Holy Land had a divine silkworm. It was gifted to them by a Yuan Taoist master. Everything I know is from the Jade Lake. Many people revealed strange expressions. 10,000 years ago, that extraordinary person came to the divine city and gambled until the great sage's face turned green. However, there was nothing they could do. All laws were interlinked. When the origin technique reached its peak, it would be close to the great Tao. It could also obtain the power of heaven and earth. That extraordinary person's strength was unfathomable. The divine silkworm of the Jade Lake can ultimately transform into a supreme creature? The silver-haired elder shook his head and said, It's almost impossible. Every transformation requires extremely harsh conditions. Even in the archaic era, it was difficult to succeed, let alone now. Little thing, I saved you. Hurry up and come over. I'll give you source to eat. Yi Fan smiled. He took out a large piece of pure source and waved at the golden little creature. The dragon-like little fairy immediately became angry. It tilted its head to the side and ignored him. You have quite a temper. Just now, you ate my divine source. It's worth 50,000 kilograms. Yi Fan laughed. You stole Xiao Guai's divine source. It naturally has to be angry. That belongs to it. The white-clothed nun muttered softly. In just a short while, she had already given the golden little creature a name. This little thing seemed to have accepted it. It stretched out a small claw with its palm facing up. It seemed to want that piece of divine source as it stared at Yi Fan. Yi Fan scared it and said, Little thing, I saved you. From now on, you will follow me. Why do you still need divine source? If you don't listen, I'll sell you. All right, I want to buy Xiao Guai. The white-clothed nun looked very happy. 
The golden little fairy clenched its small fist and silently waved it at Yi Fan. Then, it looked at the great Xia princess and blinked its large eyes. Yi Fan had a headache. How should he deal with this little thing? It seemed like he couldn't keep it. Many major forces, including the people from the great sage's land, were transmitting messages to him. They wanted to buy this golden little creature. He couldn't afford to offend any of these major forces. Moreover, this little thing looked like a wastrel. A piece of divine source the size of half a human head wasn't even enough for it to chew. Do I really have to sell it? But if it goes through nine transformations in the future? Yi Fan shook his head and didn't make a decision. He walked over to Tuoba Chang. It was time to collect the spoils of war. Wu Ziming and Li Zhongtian were standing at the side. When they saw Yi Fan coming over, their faces instantly turned pale. They had lost tens of thousands of kilograms of divine source. On the side, Disillusionment Palace's Grand Elder Li Yishue felt dizzy. Not long ago, he had jumped into a huge pit, and now he had to hand over 80,000 kilograms of divine source. He really wanted to vomit blood. Yi Fan did not pay attention to them. The most important thing right now was to collect that head-sized divine source. It quietly floated in the air. Even though it was covered by the rock, there were still several dozen streaks of divine radiance shooting out. They were exceptionally resplendent. Tuoba Chan was extremely unwilling, but there was nothing he could do. He could only watch as Yi Fan held the divine source in his palm. Little thing, I still have such a big piece of divine source here. Do you want it? Yi Fan tempted the nearby golden little creature. Whoosh! As expected, a golden light rushed over. It was so fast that no one could react in time. Fortunately, Yi Fan was prepared. He put away the divine source origin with a flip of his hand and grabbed it. Whoosh! The golden light flashed and disappeared. The golden little creature returned to the white clothed little nun's shoulder and stared angrily at Yi Fan. Nine Transformations of the Divine Silkworm Is the ancient legend really going to come true? Red Dragon Daoist appeared in the stone garden. His pupils contracted as he stared at the golden little creature. At the same time, Li Heishui transmitted a message to Yi Fan. He seemed to have discovered a strange stone shifting, 